Sean Parr, welcome to day number two, which means there's more for you. We made a little history yesterday at the Ultimate RV Show. And I'll tell you what, we put this incredible team to work. They're working for you. The phones are blowing up. And I want to talk numbers for just a second, guys. Ian, Chris, uh, Morgan here on the stage. And we're all going to be so busy today because the phones blew up yesterday. We had over 150,000 people check in. 29 countries watched us. Make a little history here on this very stage and in this area right here yesterday. So much fun, but a lot of products. We have over 20,000 units still available. The phone's been blowing up like crazy. I mentioned show specials like crazy today as well. And we're going to have some demonstrations that these guys are going to be doing that are going to just blow your mind. So sit back, relax, and get ready. It's day two, which means, again, more for you. Morgan, more we're going to be you. busy. Yeah, very busy. More for you. And listen, the beauty part is that it is virtual, a virtual event. So if you have a question about any RV that you've seen so far, just text it. Text Easy RV to 32094. We've got you. We've got show specialists on standby just for you. You can even call that lovely number on the bottom of your screen, 866-853-3510, and we are here for you. Morgan, Bye. that's a great point about it being virtual. Because, you know, and Ian, you know as well as I do, whenever you get a chance to get out to the RV shows, when it's RV soup out there, <laughs> you are not going to come out and look at the RVs. No. But we get a chance to walk through them. They can see them and buy them from the comfort of their home. Yeah, absolutely, Chris. I mean, like you said, I've been to shows. I've been to you know Hershey. I've been to Tampa. I've been yep. to all these big shows. It rains and, every and, time. And it rains <laughs> every <laughs> single time. I ain't a duck. And it, <laughs> quack, 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 quack. <laughs> and when, when this happens, your shoes are getting wet. You're yep. ruining shoes. You have to carry around an umbrella. You're trying to shake it out when you're right. going in the yard. It's just not fun. It just and it ruins the experience. Reps make you feel uncomfortable if you want to come into a unit with your shoes dirty. Yes. You know, and then, oh, can you, well, let me just show you. But here, we get to get dirty and show them everything inside. And good part of the RV, the Ultimate RV Show, too, is first looks. Yes. Brand new units that have never been seen before. Well, and Chris, and, and we do have some first looks. We have a great one coming. I'm going to tell you guys about it in just a second. But the other thing I want to mention, when we talk about a virtual show, the great thing here is we were able to see the rain coming. You know, yes. We, yes. we saw the rain coming. So what we actually did is we... Chris and I worked our tails off yesterday in between <laughs> running units all over the place, and we pre-recorded today's session. So yes. we knew the rain was coming. We didn't want to get out there, ruin our shoes, and walk through everything, but we wanted to make sure you guys still had the same great experience. Yes. We're able to enjoy the show right here at the Ultimate RV Show. And Chris, when you talk about first looks, I'm excited. we have one coming up next. It's Love me it. and my good friend, Jonathan Gust. It's the Hideout 253 RL. And when I when we talked about shows, I talked about this last night. There's a couple things I feel that people come for, and that's great deals, which we certainly have. Yeah. And it's new products, new innovations. And this Hideout has a couple things I have never seen before. Things that it just makes so much sense when you look at it. Things I think a lot of other manufacturers are going to start adopting. And when you see it, Chris. Wow. Because the real living floor plans are all about having fun and enjoying setting up the entertainment space. Yes. And Hideout does a good job anyway. So hearing that makes me excited. Well, and what you're going to see, Chris, is that this is a little bit shorter unit. A lot of times your rear living, you know, they're 27, 28 sure. foot. Yeah. This one it com compacts it down into a 25 foot. But they do something to be able to still give you a lot of space and a lot of seating. In this little, I don't want to say little mid-size RV, <laughs> right? right? <laughs> You're able to fit six people around a table. Wow. So, wow. yeah. So, folks, we have a, a fun packed day. There is a ton of great stuff to show you. And again, we're going to kick it off with the Hideout 253RL. Hey everyone, welcome to the first look of the Keystone Hideout 253RL. I'm Ian Baker, joined by my good friend John of the Keystone Hideout 253RL. I'm Ian. Welcome to the first look of the Keystone Hideout 253RL. I'm Ian Baker, joined by my good friend Jonathan Gust, and I'm super excited to show you this floor plan, guys. It's a great spin on a rear living. They took a, uh, a basically a floor plan that's been around for a long time, modified it, and made it much better. Now, here's the thing, folks. You're going to love this floor plan, and what you're going to want to do is text EZRV to 32094. Put EZRV in the comments section below, because we are here at the Ultimate RV Show. It is truly the easiest way to shop for an RV, because once you enter that text, not only will you lock in the show pricing, but it'll also get you in touch with one of our show specialists. And they'll be able to walk you through units just like this one out on a lot, so you know exactly what you're getting, or even schedule a virtual 
walkthrough so you don't have to leave the comfort of your couch and we can deliver it right to your driveway. Jonathan, again, I love what you guys have done here. Why don't you take it away, my friend, and tell the people all about the 253RL. All right, well, the 253RL I designed is a typical rear living in this portion, which is the best part of a rear living, right? Huge windows in the back, great seating, so you can enjoy that campsite experience. You can see out of all the windows and really enjoy that space. These all fully reclined, so you get a nice pushback, so you can relax and enjoy yourself when you want to. Okay. Uh, so we got great seating here when you want to relax and enjoy yourself. So um, what I wanted to do with the rear living though was look at the options of how we can create in a 25 foot uh, model, mm -hmm. how do I create more storage, more seating and, and uh, more countertop space, which is really the thing you're typically lacking in this size of floor plan. So. And, and the thing is, like you said, Jonathan, with the rear living floor plan, right, I, it's super enjoyable because you're right back here. You have all the light coming in, as you mentioned, from the side windows, from the rear window. If you have a beautiful view out the back, you can enjoy it. You can kick back, relax. And as everyone will see in a second, you still have a view to the TV from here. Even though we've moved it, right. basically every seat in this RV you can see the TV, which I think is awesome. Yeah, with the prep here, you can put up to a 40 to 50 inch TV, depending on what you wanna do, and you can angle it right into any seating area here. And again, when you're backing up into a campsite, typically this is the view, right? That's and exactly that's it. That's why you have this huge window, and we don't yep. lack, so this may be a really great price point, mm -hmm. um, but we didn't slack on window sizes or anything else, because again, uh, that, that common sense camping that we talk about with Hideout yep. is what we're gonna incorporate through as we walk through this whole thing and show you that, so. Love it, excited to see it. So let me, uh, let me move on to the all new designed uh, jackknife sofa. So this is a new design as far as the trim goes. This is Albany interior. So okay. this is a new interior that we just came out with. Just a little sleeker design. Uh, the customers we're finding are liking more residential type uh, designs and feel. So yeah. we went with that. The nice thing about this is your standard sofa in something in this typical layout is gonna be either a 60 inch sofa. This mm -hmm. is a 72. So, okay. so a, a, an adult can actually sleep on this jackknife sofa, which is typically not the case. Yeah, th that's huge. When it comes to sofas, I mean, that's, you know, the, the great thing about the jackknife is you get a ton of storage. Generally, the downside is just like you said, most adults can't sleep there unless you're curling up into a fetal position, and that's just not how I want to sleep all night. So uh, to be able to have that 72 inch, like as a, as a six foot adult guy, I love that I can actually use this as an extra sleeping space or, you know, a couple's model, like a rear living. If I have a buddy that's coming over or I meet, you know, a friend at the campsite and, you know, maybe we have a few uh, too many cocktails, there's a place they can uh, take a nap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so in other features, what they'll sometimes do in other floor plans, uh, traditionally, they'll do like a U-shaped dinette, right? Yeah. And, yep. and maybe in this floor plan, you might be able to seat three. Well, you can easily seat three now here. Yep. But let me show you how you can seat six in this particular setup as opposed to three. I'm interested. Show me. So you just pull these out right here. So the awesome thing about this is seating. It's also storage. This can work as an ottoman, if you will, if you want to take the table down and relax. But you just take this out, sit down, and there's three of these all combined. Get and out. now you got seating for six. Let me try this. All right. Pull that thing out there. All right. Now I'm 200 pounds. You sure I'm not going to break this thing? No, it's 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 See built. What we got. The, yep, they Ooh. built it for 300 pounds. So that's, that's actually really sturdy. Yeah. I I. I gotta be honest, I am shocked. I'm impressed. It's, uh, no, it is, it's, it's very sturdy. Um, I, like, I like the fact that you were able to incorporate storage and make it a lot more versatile. Yeah, and so one of the things we did is we incorporated, this is a, like more of a toy hauler table, okay? Yeah. So it's longer and a little bit more narrow, but the nice thing is, is we can actually, again, comfortably seat, everybody can sit, we can hang out, we wanna play cards. You want to play beer pong, whatever you want to do. <laughs> you, can, you can do whatever you want here. So it's just a little different setup and it's much more functional. So again, the whole, the whole purpose in this on a 25 foot floor plan was to, how do we reinvent the wheel and do it better? And so we're, we are fortunate to have engineers at Keystone now and younger, uh, younger product managers like myself that can sit here and go, okay, this is how we used to do it. Yep. How do we do it better? Yeah. Because this is still, this is a house and, the, and people are gonna come in and enjoy this. They want the space, they want the seating. And this is what we try to give you. So we were pretty excited when this worked itself out through the engineering process. Uh, it seems simple, 
but now I gave you in one in one process here, which typically there's just a board right across there, right? Yep. And that's all there is, and you throw the table underneath there, and that's all it is. You got so it. So now you can pull this out. You can have storage in here. You can keep the storage while this is used as a seat, or you can take the table down and lounge and freaking put your feet up and relax, man. Now, do so, you still have space for the table with these in there? Absolutely. So if you see this lip here, so when you slide this back underneath, that table okay. will sit right on top of that lip. It's all secured and it straps in. So everything, literally the table, the legs, everything is in this one space. So you don't have to take it into the bedroom, take yes. it somewhere else and put yeah. it storage everywhere. Everything's nice and neat, night and tidy right in there. So it's awesome. You know, Jonathan, I gotta be honest. I've seen a lot of RVs. I've seen a lot of cool stuff. And for this year, this is probably my favorite thing. Like, like this, I, I'm just, I'm shocked at the versatility and the seating you're able to get in you know what I would consider like a, a mid-sized travel trailer, you know it's uh, you know we're not in a, a 35 or a, you know a 40-foot monster travel trailer, and you have seating here for six, and it still feels open with the slide and everything. I mean, even with everyone sitting here, you're not crammed like like you mentioned the U dinette. A lot of people see it, and especially in bunk houses, and they think, oh man, I can fit you know everyone in here. But what they oftentimes don't realize is that your knees become a problem because everyone's knees are banging together. Yeah. Um, whereas here. I mean, you can very comfortably sit six people. Yeah, I mean, in. look at this. Yeah, I, I squeeze right here. This There's still too. plenty of room there. The camera guy can't even come sit down. <laughs> <if he wants> to. <laughs> yeah, no, this is so. this is really cool, man. I, I really like this. And, and again, the fact you're able to make it into a, an actual bed. Yeah. Um, Man, that, this is this is awesome, especially especially at this price point. Yeah, that's a that is a huge deal. So, uh, again, with that with that twenty five foot layout, what you were talking about with the openness was a key to it as well. So, as we kind of go through, I'm going to put this back in here. As we go through, we can kind of pan around to this side. So, what we wanted to do is create that open atmosphere. The beauty of a of a bigger unit, right, is you get the opposing slides or whatever that gets that open environment. Well, yes. We wanted to give that open environment in a smaller floor plan. I mean, this is around 6,000 pounds. I mean, you can tow this with a half ton all day long, easy Love peasy, it. fully loaded up. Love it. But usually we're lacking on 25 foot is the amount of seating that we have and the openness. So what we wanted to do, typically in the setup, you're gonna have this very traditional TV cabinet yep. with a fireplace and you're gonna have this all kind of blocked in and it's tight and everything in. Yep. And the only countertop space you're gonna have in the whole darn thing is that right little here. L, that's yep. it. Yep. yep. So we open this all up. Now, what tip? What people are usually going to ask you is, well, I don't have any pantry. I don't have storage. Right, so right. And I would say the same. We took care of that for you. <laughs> we put it right here. So now you have a full pantry and you have more pantry space. So you can put your bread, whatever you want to do. You can put everything in here. You can stow it away nice and easy. You still get a great fireplace, which is an awesome feature at this price point. That is amazing. And it's all tucked away. So what did that give you? That gave you all this countertop space. Dude. Now, and one thing I will say too, you know, because at first glance, like this looks like it's really shallow, but what you don't realize, I mean, you got all this extra space still up here. I mean, that is, that is good space. And this is super deep. Yeah. That is... Dude, that, that's that's really cool. I love, I, again, I love the ingenuity that went into it and uh, kind of creating storage space where normally you wouldn't see it. And like you said, the countertop space in here. Do it's, you like to cook? It's crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm Italian. I like to cook. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. yeah Fair yeah. enough. So, yeah, so, so you can appreciate it. I mean, like you said, a lot of times, you know, you're camping and you hardly have place to like put a spoon down, yep. let alone actually prep food. And, yep. and while I love having a cooktop cover, if I'm cooking, I'm prepping food, a lot of times I'm using it, yep. you know, so I can't utilize the cover. And you're so right. I love that you have all the extra countertop space yep. right over here. So when you're actually cooking, you can prep the food you need to. Uh, dude, that is, this is an awesome countertop. And the, the nice thing here is, so again, kind of expounding upon that is, this is usually your countertop space. So you put a yep. coffee pot here, you put a couple more things here, you're done. Yep. You're fill. So now I can put, I can place everything over here. And I have two windows looking right onto my campsite. Oh, side, look which at that. Is huge. Usually yeah. you have one tiny little window, maybe. Yep. And you might have a window in your entry door, and that's about it. Yep. So on something like this, on a, again, this small of a floor plan, very open and uh, appealing to what the customers want. So when we go through, when I've designed new floor plans, what I look at is I go to campgrounds, I talk to people, and I actually listen to what they want. Which is huge. Because I don't want to design something that I like. I want to design something that the campers that are actually camping like, right? Yes. So um, I take their advice. And if you go to a campground, mm -hmm. they have 
stuff all over the countertop. Oh, yeah. If you go to my house, I have stuff all over the countertop. <laughs> There's never enough countertop space. There's yep. never enough storage. So yep. that, those are the things we wanted to look at, and but create an open environment as well. Because although this is a small floor plan, we want it to feel open. We want them to feel like they're comfortable and in, in a good space. So, and yeah. Jonathan, a, cu a couple of things there. So one of the things that you know I really take away in, in uh, what you said is the fact that you're listening to the customers. You're listening to actual campers. And for me, that's huge. I love when manufacturers are actually taking feedback because far too often in the past, we've seen it where just like you said, manufacturers are making what they want and what they think people want. And that's not necessarily the case. Yeah. You know, I, I know for me, one of my biggest pet peeves for example, is having to tie my trash bag to a pole. And you know, it, it just, it's super annoying and manufacturers just weren't putting in places for a trash can. And I'm finally starting to see that trend as people are starting to listen. But you know, it's just things like that when you actually get that feedback, I think that speaks volumes about the manufacturer. Well, that was a really good point and I forgot to do that in this unit. Oh, well, maybe, I, <laughs> maybe I remember. I was like, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> so a great spot for trash, which is a great point. Those little common sense things again, like yep. trash can, as silly as that is, there's a lot of RV floor plans that you'll go into and you, you miss that and then you buy it and you're there. And you're like, oh crap, I don't even have a place to put my stinking trash can. Are yep, you kidding me? <laughs> so, exactly. Um, so let me uh, go back real quick to the fireplace. So yeah, yeah, please. 32 inch fireplace. This okay. is standard. This isn't an option. So that comes with every unit. Okay. And this powers on just for ambient lighting. And I'll kind of expound upon the ambient lighting in a second. But it also works as a heater. So if you're out at the campground, you don't want to run your propane uh -huh. to heat. This will heat this space, especially in this unit. That'll heat it just fine. You're in those, you know, 40s, low 40s, 50s. Um, you can you can run that just fine and it'll heat the space really nice you can run the fan you're ready to go so that is that's a really cool feature about that so we're talking about ambient lighting right so you have you have the lighting with the fire and the well I think the fuse is there's something going on there <laughs> we'll figure that out yeah but, yeah for sure um, the ambient lighting as well is underneath the table so all around your countertop so at night instead of having these big LED lights which are great yeah yeah and you need them but at night you want to relax you want to watch TV you just want to read or whatever so you have the lighting behind here and all the overheads and all around that. the countertop so that's just a nice soft lighting for at well, night when you're trying to enjoy yourself. And, and Jonathan, and, and, and I will tell you, right? So, because we've seen LED lights in a lot of manufacturers and, and I say this in a lot of the, the YouTube videos that I do, is that I don't understand who approved blue lights, right? <laughs> like I see all these blue lights in a kitchen and you I call don't them know. RV lights. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. And, and I keep saying like, why, you know, everyone wants residential. Why not put in like a soft white light? It just, it's so much cleaner, it's classier, it looks better. Yep. And so I am so glad that that's what you guys put in. And honestly, with the lighter wood, the lighting, the LED lights you have in here, all the windows all the way around, I mean, this, again, even though it's a mid-size unit, it feels very open and big in here. Yeah, it's a, it's awesome. So uh, a little bit on the technology, of course, USB yeah, ports. Please. You have a Bluetooth stereo that this can run through Bluetooth. It has a USB, so you can charge if you want, of course, the, the traditional auxiliary. But uh, this also runs speakers inside, outside, and that's dual zone. So if you just want to listen to music outside while somebody's watching TV in here, yep. you can just select to watch it outside, or you can just select to watch it inside, or both if you want to. So Perfect. Kind of a cool feature there. One of the key features for hideout in this price point, you just don't see hardly ever. Yeah. Uh, pretty much, I don't think ever at all, is a central vac system, okay? You're normally gonna see this in high-end freaking, you know, Montana's or any of the high-profile yeah, motor homes. wheels, stuff like that, motorhomes. Yep. So we did that, again, uh, I, I keep going back to this common sense camping and just, yeah. just listening to what they want as opposed to what we wanna do or what's easy for us to build. So this comes with a 14 foot hose. You can literally come through here and vacuum out everything that you want. It's centralized here. You have you have a vacuum for your house. Why wouldn't you have a vacuum for your little house that on wheels? So, it, that is yeah. a great point and it makes perfect sense. Uh, I love, again, that you guys are able to put that in there because you know, with vacuums, I, I don't want to take one with me. It's big. And so a lot of times I'm stuck sweeping and I would much rather just vac it out. And this makes it super simple. And one of the things you talked about, Jonathan, was price point. And I just want to let everyone know that here for the Ultimate RV Show, folks, you can pick this one up starting at $165 a month. So as you see, we go through, we still have a ton more amenities, but folks, that is very doable. If you're looking to get into the RV lifestyle, this is one that you definitely want to check out. All you have to do is text EZRV, or you can comment EZRV in the comment section below. So Jonathan, I love it out here. Let's take a look at the uh, the bathroom and bedroom and then we can uh, make our way outside. Yeah, let me show you one more oh, thing in the please, kitchen area please, before yeah. we move forward. Please so do. 
again, we see all this open countertop space. All this is great. We did all that, the central yep. vac. Also, oh. but we gave you a 10.8 cube <laughs> refrigerator. Yeah. Okay. So this is 10.8 cube. It's a 12 okay. volt system, which is awesome. It very runs nice. on very low amperage. Okay. But the beauty of this is that the the freezer freezes really well. It operates very residentially. Okay. Okay. So if you how you expect your your fridge to work at home is how this is going to act. So awesome. A ton of room. You get way more space here. It's it, typically in this price point you're going to see a 6 cube. Yep. Maybe an 8 cube gas electric. Right. That may or may not work all the time. <laughs> uh, this, so you've been camping. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so this is a tried and true system. It's awesome and it works great and we're really excited about it. It's a Norcold system. Of course that brand's been around for a long time and they do a great job. So yeah. the beauty of this is we've seen residential fridges come into the industry, right? And they got yep. like some weird bolt on or some weird latch or you got to strap it yeah this this still operates with the rv latch so it's really easy it closes Super and you're simple. done yep yeah yep i like that like you said the big space the 12 volt cools down much quicker yeah that's that's a home run it is and again i don't mean to be beating a dead horse but at this price point just not something you normally see. Yeah, stainless steel refrigerator that's going to operate great for you. And uh, uh, the most amount of storage you're going to see in a 25 floor, floor, floor plan as far as the refrigerator goes. So let's check out the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Let's come on in. So large bathroom. Large bathroom. So this is a great space. What we want to do, of course, is give you a good shower. That's the biggest thing. This is a, a traditionally called a couples coach, if you do will. Do you mind if I stand in there? I, I'm, I'm a shower guy. I like height, right? Get in there. All right, because I'm, I'm six foot, and yes, this. This is what I want, right? Yep. I want to be able to make sure I can stand in here. I have room to spin around. Yeah, this is good. It's you know A lot of times you get the neo angle where it's kind of tucked away in a corner, and yep. it's a little small. Not the problem at all here. It's functional, right? Again, yeah. again, I'm, we'll just keep saying common sense camping. We're going to make this a hashtag. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> so, it works out good. Uh, great sink here, and look at all the storage. Again, th again, I keep talking about 25-foot floor plan, but I want to offer storage. We know storage is king in these things, so uh, a ton of storage here in the Big in the linen area. closet. Yep. And I do want to add, is this... Yeah, you guys put a porcelain bowl in here. We do. I'm impressed. Yep. I'm yep. impressed. We, uh, that's one thing that is really important to me personally. I grew up camping, so yep. I know, I know what the plastic ones can do Yep. and I know how they smell over time <laughs> and that's really the worst thing. So the porcelain toilet is king. My sure. man. Yep. Yeah, no, that's, that's, uh, it's one of those things. Again, I talk about in my videos that, you know, if it has a plastic toilet, if there's room, it's one of the first things I personally change out. So I love that you guys did that as a standard. That's wonderful. Yep. That's awesome. So what we did here, I did a pocket door so we didn't have, you get too clunky in here. So it's nice and open. There's a true queen bed here. Okay. You got wardrobes on both sides, some storage up above. You got a fan up here, which is nice at night. Uh, the really nice thing is you have that separate entrance into the bedroom. Yeah. So that's, that's huge. So if somebody's using the bathroom there, you can come in, you can come out, you can yes. do either way, but you have dual entrance. So yeah, that way it, you're it, not blocked off. And plus if someone's sleeping out yeah. there, you know, and kind of lets you come and go as you please. Yeah, and normally in RVs, it's a 27 foot RLS. Yep. Okay, a 27 yep. foot floor plan is gonna have the dual entry. So we were able to pull this off at a 25 foot. That's awesome. So it'll still give you that. And you're still gonna have a ton of storage under here, which is awesome. There's your, your hose, your central vac. That's the central vac. And then yep. this, the, we seal all this off. So anything in your pass through on the outside, which we'll show you, is completely sealed off. You're not gonna get any smell, like if you wanna put your gas cans, whatever you wanna do, sure. put it under there. Cool. It's gonna be separate so you can store your linens and stuff under there as well. So. Well, speaking of the outside, Jonathan, let's go hit that. We're gonna run out of time pretty soon here. So okay. wanna go explore the outside. Um, I did want to do you before we go is there something on that side is that a well uh sometimes clothes get dirty yeah and you want to <laughs> put them some, you want to put them somewhere so okay we, i thought i saw something we have a nice little just a, a nice little laundry chute right here okay. so you pop that open you can put your laundry basket in there and again now that's sealed off in a way and it doesn't stink up your trailer so yeah love it awesome perfect all right dude yeah let's head on out and we'll take a look at the outside sounds good All right. So the first thing as we're walking out here, what I want to tell you guys again for the price point and, and Camping World's doing a great job as far as uh, as far as the price point that they're giving you for the hideout is we don't slack on power features. So we know that's very important. So you have a power tongue jack, you have power stabilizer standard. This is an option that we're, you're going to have to upcharge the customer for or anything. Okay. And a power awning. So all of this is run all on power. It all has manual override as well. So you don't have to worry about anything if something happens and you don't have power. So that, that's huge. You know, as we come up front here, so one of the things I always talk about is, is the power tongue jack. And it's one of those things that oftentimes is just 
uh, it's overlooked, but for me, it is so functional. Yep. You know, it's one of those things I almost always want just because you get sick of cranking up and down, and especially if you have a uh, weight distribution hitch, that's a lot of cranking. You know, yep. you're really moving. While I would 100% recommend getting one for towability and safety, this right here will make your life so much easier. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. So. Um, a couple other features here, of course, are the extended diamond plate, which is nice just for to help prevent against damage. Mm -hmm. uh, the dual, the, you have the dual propane tanks up here, which is covered. Okay. And everything set, and then of course the pass through what we talked about before, and that's that is all by itself. So it's it's separate from everything inside. So any any wet storage, anything you want to put in there, you're all good to go. So cool. Did we unlock it. We did. Oh yeah. Yep. Excellent. Now, one other thing I see right here that, again, I don't really see in this price point is this one's prepped for side camera? Yeah, no, just the side cameras and rear camera. Yeah. Really? So, yeah. So, you get the absolutely. whole thing. Yeah. So, it's something that has become more important, uh, and that's, again, listening to the customers. Uh, they're using, that camera prep, prep is one of the more most ordered parts after aftermarket so we're seeing that uh, become more prevalent for the okay. customer okay so we want to provide at this price point as well so it's prepped and they can buy that if they want if they feel like that's a value to them they can buy it okay and if not then it's fine too so yeah awesome but make it available of course there's some power stab jacks there okay yeah awesome like i said power and then you got the power on in here above me just go back up into it <laughs> <laughs> we got the uh so the awning lights can be turned on and off manually so if you want them on you can okay. if you want but the outside speakers again uh to reiterate uh inside if you're just got your phone like where you're listening to spotify whatever you want to listen to uh you can listen to that out here you can play it and link it right through these speakers right here so it's awesome that's yep. cool and then tv hookup yep. i assume Perfect. Yep, you got TV hookup. You're all set up there. Extra large grab handle. Again, just getting into this area. And of course, the solid step that has come into this industry you know, three years ago or so, um, that has just really revolutionized the step, which is so funny because typically you've seen the same step on an RV for 50, 60, 70 years. Who knows how long? Right, um, right. This thing is really, it's just so secure and smart. And these are one of the little things we do again that it, at this price point, you typically don't see something like this. Correct. But we found that it's very important to do that. So maybe I'm not going to put a pretty little light on the inside. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend the money and give you something that's super functional that you're going to enjoy for years to come. So yeah, yeah. I, I love it. And, and you know, like you said, very solid. You know, I've I've become a big fan of the solid steps personally. Um, you know, because you can run up and down these things. It doesn't give you the flex. And uh, especially with the larger grab handle, you have that support heading all the way in now something else i really like is uh this guy right here tell me a little bit about that so that that's just a fun thing because if campers uh, a lot of them have pets and so this was a fun way to uh, to incorporate a pet handle so you can put the leash here mm -hmm. and and so you have that little space and also it's a bottle opener so Which if you want to have your favorite little suds <laughs> you can do that while you have your your dog hanging out and, here so and that is one other thing i do want to mention real quick is that you know with this so this one is a, a pet friendly unit in my opinion because you have this here also these are pet friendly steps dogs are able to climb that's up a good in point yeah and with that big slide you have plenty of space for them to be able to yep. walk around lay down pretty much everything you need i agree um, jonathan i want to thank you so much for your time today yeah, folks, again, this is the Keystone Hideout 253RL. If you're interested in this unit, which I know you are, you're going to want to text EZRV, or you can comment EZRV in the comment section, or give us a call. That will do a couple things. It will lock in your pricing as well as get you in touch with one of our show specialists. We'll take care of everything else for you. Jonathan, thank you awesome, so much, man. sir. Appreciate Pleasure. it. Pleasure. Appreciate it. Thank you. We're at the movies and we need to silence our phone. Who knows where that button is? I don't have silent. Everyone does, right up here. It happens to all of us. We buy a new home and we turn into our parents. What I do is help new homeowners overcome this. Was oh, that an adjustable spanner? Good choice, Steve. Okay, don't forget, you're not assisting him. You hired him. You have nowhere to sit. You have too many. Who else reads books about submarines? My dad. Yeah. Oh, those are... Progressive can't protect you from becoming your parents, but we can protect your home and auto when you bundle with us. Look at that. Camping World is the one-stop shop for all your outdoor essentials. Shop chairs and side tables starting at only $9.99. And patio lights starting at $10.99. Grills for only $9.99? Who knew travel could be so easy? Your vacation just got a little brighter, a little tastier, and a little cozier. 
See America for less when you shop at Camping World. We're having a ball. Sean Parr, Elise, good to see you. And we're so glad that you were with us again. Yesterday, we had some record-breaking numbers, and that was on a Wednesday. Hurricane Sally says, you know what? Let's see what we can do to dampen things. No, you can shop and buy and stay dry from right where you are. That's why we're here, and we're going to take you all over our incredible lots and see some incredible some unbelievable show-stopping deals. We've got a lot to get to today. Oh, so many trailers to show you. So we're going to toss it to our most popular segment, the dual entry travel trailers. Chris is out there in the field ready to show you the Coleman Lantern. So get ready. And you know, the greatest thing about those first looks is we've got a lot more of those coming up. We've got to thank Ian and Jonathan. We saw so many incredible uh, different looks inside and these just came off the line. So when we get to 2021s, we know exactly what we want. We know exactly what we need. You see all these bonus items. So, and speaking of which, we're going to keep Chris and Ian busy so much today. We're going to check in with Chris Young and see what he's got going on. Welcome back to the Ultimate RV Show. Hey, everybody. What's up? It's Chris Young. I'm going to show you some double-entry travel trailers here that I think you're going to like, especially if you're looking for some family camping. First up, I'm going to be right inside the all-new 2021 Coleman Lantern 263BH. Now, here's the deal. If you like these double-entry floor plans, they're going to be bunk houses, so they're going to be set up for the family to where the kids can have their own entrance, the parents can have their own entrance, or friends, family, however you want to do the setup. We got one ready for you. Text Easy RV to 32094. Leave me a comment down below, Easy RV, or give me a call, 866 853 3510. Someone's going to be standing by to walk you through units like this to answer all of your questions and get you through financing. Have that unit delivered to you. The paperwork will be mailed to you with a prepaid envelope. You don't even have to worry about stamps. They're going to bring it to you and set it up. Easy RV is the greatest thing since sliced bread. So, what do you say we take a look at my first double entry travel trailer? the Coleman Lantern 263BH. Now, right here on the off-camp side, you're going to see I got double over double bunks with a solid ladder. These are the two-inch thick teddy bear style mattresses with that microfiber underneath. I got some dual USB charging ports up top, LED push-button lights, double of the curtains here to give me some privacy. And down below, a large window plus another dual USB charging port. Kev, see if you can get in there and snag that. Look at that beautiful big light. That really helps with not only lighting up the bunk or bringing in the airflow for the kids or the family that are in there, but also brightening up the trailer uh, total. Down here, you're going to see that if you didn't want to have it set up as a bunk, you could set it up as storage. Take a look at the space that we have there. Easily lifts up. You could put pretty much whatever you wanted in there. On the off camp, or excuse me, on the camp side, opposite side, we have our master bath. Single surround shower, plastic bowl with the foot flush, solid and plenty of headroom in here. You're not going to be cramped left or right or up and down. I got my corner notches for my soaps, my shampoos, whatever I need. Plus, I got my nozzle here, clean myself off. Vent fan that is also powered. So we need to help get the steam out. You got it right there. And since this is all about the double entry travel trailers, having an access point going from the bathroom to the outside really helps reduce the noise and reduce the disturbance when you're talking about the family members coming in and out, the kids or whatever. They have their own entry point. You have your own entry point. We're going to go outside in just a minute here. Single basin, large sink right there. Got storage underneath. Got myself a medicine cabinet right here as well. Now, Coleman knows camping. They've been doing it forever. And you know the Coleman brand by now. Tried and true, they make a great product. Here at the Ultimate RV Show, I'm standing inside the all new 2021 263BH. You like this one? Text Easy RV right now to 32094. Leave me a comment down below, Easy RV, because with the Ultimate RV Show, what we have here is the 263BH can sleep six. Tons of amenities. Dry weight is 7,600 pounds, starting at just $19.95 or as low as $150 a month. $150 a month, starting at $19.95. You can have the booth dinette here with giant panoramic windows, wood balances to look outside, enjoy that cross breeze. This reduces down into a sleeper. I got myself a seven cubic foot fridge. This is the Norcold, the fridge freezer combo that runs on both gas and electric with the automatic switch. 
modified L-shaped kitchen here on the campsite with plenty of countertop space. Flush mounted microwave, flush mounted three burner cooktop with the grill style grate and the LED accent lights on the controls. This is for that family that wants to get out. This floor plan is great for those that are like, we got a lot of people, we need some space. This super slide here on the off camp side opens this camper up so that you can have the room to move about, to do the entertaining. If somebody's over here cooking, somebody wants to come by, access the fridge, they want to go to the bunks, they want to go to the booth dinette, you're not going to be cramped. And that's what these double entry travel trailers are about. Families that are active and want to get out. Once again, if you like this floor plan, somebody is standing by right now to help you find one. Just text Easy RV to 32094 Drop a comment down below, Easy RV, or give us a call, 866-853-3510. You want the farmhouse style undermounted sink with the apron, the brush nickel high rise faucet, they're gonna get it for you. Now, I'm only gonna get a chance to show you some brief features of these travel trailers, but our specialists are standing by to make sure if you have any questions, they're gonna answer them for you. All the paperwork's gonna be mailed to you too, prepaid envelopes, don't even have to worry about it. Then somebody's gonna deliver your trailer and set it up for you and talk about how great the shaker style cabinets are with the frosted glass inlays, the brush nickel fixtures, the space that you have up here, the campsite window so you can see the kids playing while you're cleaning and doing the cooking and having some fun. And then when it's time to relax, just kick back and do your thing, you got an entertainment center right here with a fireplace, multiple flame settings, has a blower, light, those crystals down there light up, makes a great ambient feel, just makes the place pop, it really does. And you even have like a little mini mud room down here. So if you're like me, you stepped in a giant mud puddle before walking in, you could dry your shoes down there easily. TV backer is right here, power's right there, got your connections for your entertainment right here, and double solid pocket doors leading into the master bedroom. Why is that important? That helps reduce the sound, and it gives you your privacy. So if you do have the family, you do have those friends, you got all you need right here. Big lip up top for some storage on the shelf. Got my LED reading light, large end table down there, plus dual USB charging once again, power port, ward storage on both sides, windows on both sides. This is one of those family campers where if you know you're gonna be out and about, you need a good place to rest your head, you need good space, you need entry level and you need good price. The 263BH by Coleman, it's a great option. Double entry, bunks, we got double over double bunks. You got a large camper queen bed right here with storage underneath. Got a TV backer right here, so if I need to do some TV watching, I absolutely could. My power, my cable are there. If I got a CPAP machine or a reading light, I got space to put my stuff right there. And once again, with the Ultimate RV, show that we have going on right now, the prices aren't gonna get any better. That's why we're having the Ultimate RV Show. This is a 2021, 7,600 pounds, roughly 30 feet long, sleeps six for a starting at 1995 or as low as 150 a month. You can't beat that. Text Easy RV 32094. Now you'll have to excuse me as I kind of make my way around this one because I'm kind of in the swamp lands right now. But when we come outside, you're gonna see we got a beautiful 16 foot awning with the LED light strip there. Got the external sound for my dual zone speakers inside. Fresh water connection there. This is a double axle travel trailer. And you're gonna see on these 15 inch aluminum wheels, you got the Dexter Easy Loop axles with the extra wide suspension in there. That suspension is gonna help when you're going down the road, you're not gonna have that rocking up and down. And once again, dual entry points, dual access points. Kids have theirs, adults have theirs, or family and friends. However you want to put it, you're going to have your access points. And did I mention powered leveling jacks in the front and the rear? Yep, absolutely. Speaking of the rear, external shower right back here on the back, arched ceilings with the backup camera, those three inch nozzles, those arch ceilings are gonna help make sure that the rain, the elements, they stay off the top of the camper. Those nozzles are gonna make sure it doesn't fall on you, the family, or the friends. Got the door latch right here, black tank flush right here, which black tank flushes are so important to have when you're talking about just the ease of owning a travel trailer, because being able to clean that easily, 
Trust me, I would say it's a must have. Let's walk around the pond that we have so I can show you some of the pass-through storage that we have here. Finished off pass-through storage. And you're gonna see that's good space for your chairs, your beach gear, your fishing gear, your hunting gear, you know, all that good stuff that you need to stow at, you know, inside or underneath your bags right there. Got the little mini diamond plated rock guard, seamless super flex roof going all the way over the top, twin 20 pound LP tanks and a powered tongue jack on this unit. Now, setting up is a breeze when you have power tongue jacks and power leveling jacks. That's one of those things where until you realize that you don't have it, you need it. No, it don't make no sense, but it did to me. You need to get the power leveling jacks and the power tongue jacks. But during the Ultimate RV Show, if you like this 2021 Coleman Lantern 263BH, right now, starting at $19,995. Sleeps up to six, you can tow it with a truck because it's 7,600 pounds or as low as 150 a month. Now, you say, Chris, I love that one, but do they have different colors? Do they? I love this floor plan. We have this floor plan all over the place. Over 19,000 RVs are ready for you to choose from. All you gotta do is text Easy RV to 32094. Drop Easy RV in the comments down below or give us a call 866-853-3510. Somebody's gonna walk you through a unit, show you, answer your questions, then get you set up with a financial specialist who's gonna help you work through the paperwork. They're gonna mail it over to you. They're gonna send the envelope so you can mail it back without even having to buy a stamp. Then when it's ready to go, they're gonna deliver that unit to your house or your campsite, show you how to set it up and give you that walkthrough as if you were at the dealership yourself. Then all you gotta do is just enjoy camping. Easy RV is making it so easy for you to own an RV. That's why we're calling it Easy RV. Ultimate RV show with the Easy RV. There's a song in there somewhere. I'm just not good enough to make it up. So you want this one? Act right now. $19,995 as starting at or as low as $150 a month. I got some more double entry travel trailers coming up. So hang on. Hey y'all, Kaylin and Melissa here at the Ultimate Campsite here to finish our talk about the glamorous act of dumping. I want to first point out that we pulled this out of the box like this. Fully assembled, you don't have to pull out your tools and screw anything together. There's no pieces to figure out how they go in. We pulled it out and here she is. So Melissa, is there anything super special about this that you want to show us about the Tetford? Yes, yeah, so the Thedford, this is our 35 gallon. This is the largest that the Thedford that makes. It is a four wheel. They do come in a two wheel, but the four wheel is a lot easier to maneuver and get from point A to point B. Especially when you're already not wanting to move your camper. This right. is the least that you're gonna to wanna to be moving. Um, this comes with a tow handle. It also can connect to the ball on the back of your truck, so it makes it easier for you to move. A lot of people think 35 gallons, wow, that's a lot to be moving around, but as long as you can hook it to that ball, it just moves just as smooth as smooth as ice. That's awesome, and these <clears throat> these tires will handle kind of rough terrain that you see in your yes. campsites and things like that? These are rugged tires, and they're also pneumatic, so they do turn with you as you're turning in the vehicle when you're pull, pulling it behind. Okay. Um, also, um, another plus about this one is a lot of the other brands, they do not have an auto level stop. So when this is full, it's going to pop up and it's going to tell you where other brands do not have that and you can make quite a mess with that. Okay. Um, this is going to be where you can empty the tank out once you get it filled for you. It's just as simple as just like the hose that we showed you, you're going to take this and you're going to hook it up to your camper, camper with your uh, dump valve and it's going to do the business. You don't do anything for it. You just pull that release handle and you're good to go. And this hooks on there to go? Yes, that's gonna hook on there so that it's easier. So it gives you like a little bit of a T handle. Okay, to, okay, to I'm with you, with. I'm with you. Yeah. So whenever I go to the dump station, I use a regular hose here? The dump station's going to have their own hose so it's gonna suck it out on that end right there. You're gonna use this extension right here to connect to your RV. Okay. Sometimes you're gonna need a little adapter just to get it tight, but other than that, this is everything that you're going to need. Okay. And we have a little storage area here, so you don't have to worry about taking any of these connectors off, but it all stores right here. You just take everything off and this closes up for you real tight, and you're good to go. Awesome. 
And like we mentioned before, guys, if, if this is something that you need as a new camper, you're like, wow, I didn't know that I didn't have to move my camper every time I needed to dump it. You can comment camp below or text camp to 32094 or give us a call at 866-235-8751. Now, Melissa, how big is this here? It's 35 gallons. Um, now, is that bigger than most of the ones we're gonna see? You can get them at 18 gallons, you can get them at 27 gallons. So yes, 35 gallon is gonna be one of the largest ones awesome. that you're gonna be able to get your hands on. Oh, okay, that's great, that's great. <clears throat> and a lot of people would think that this is gonna be hard to pick up, carry around. Um, how would I pour it, take it with me from campground to campground? You can attach these to the back of your ladder on the back of your unit. You can get straps or you can get just a little hook ladder and this will just attach right on. Okay, awesome. Awesome. So the Tetford 35 gallon is regular price at $53.99. The promo price here for the Ultimate RV Show is $39.75. And if you're a Good Sam member, it comes in at $37.77. So uh, just remember guys, those prices are only good for the Ultimate RV Show through Sunday. Uh, the Tetford 35 gallon portable tank. Uh, thanks guys. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young once again at the Ultimate RV Show inside a double entry travel trailer. Now, these are going to be bunk houses, perfect for the family. The one that I'm in right now, the 2021 Forest River Wildwood X Lite 263 BHXL. And you know what? If you like this unit, you say, Chris, I got to have this Versa Lounge, which I'm going to get to in just a minute. You need to text Easy RV right now to 32094 or leave me a comment, Easy RV, or give me a call, 866 853 3510, because here's the deal. You can get this one, or we have tons of these around and in your backyard with the same floor plan. Chris, I love the double over double bunks on the off camp side. I love having the super slide. Can I get one of those? Yes, you can. And I'm only gonna have a few minutes to walk you through this one and tell you how great it is. Our specialists are standing by there right now to take the time, walk you through and answer everything that you have. So if you want a bunkhouse that can sleep eight people, six people, 10 people, whatever you need, they're gonna be able to walk you through it. All you gotta do, Easy RV 32094, they're gonna walk you through. They're gonna let you talk to finance. Then they're gonna help you get it delivered to your home or campsite and all you gotta do is go camping. That's what Easy RV is all about. Now, love what Forest River did over here with the Versa Lounge. First off, when you take a look at the super slide that we have here, look at the large panoramic windows, the natural light that's coming in, the airflow, and this lounge, which is as functional as functional can be. It can be a booth dinette, it can be a regular dinette, it can be a chaise lounge, you can move this around, move this cushion around, and when you reduce it down and pull the sofa out, it becomes two full beds. Now you can see the image right here of both of them pulled out. You got beds on beds on beds. And their storage options, look at what they've done with the Wildwood x Light. They have given you not only side opening storage, but the stowaway totes, not only under the dinette, but if we make our way over here to the sofa, sorry, Fritz, I'm all, don't wanna step on you there, buddy. Check out the stowaways that we have down here. They know that organization is key and storage is key, but more than that, functionality is gonna be key. So having those options of storage, being able to adjust this and move it, they know that your life isn't always gonna be one simple floor plan. So they've taken the best of a couple when it comes to this bunk model and included it so that you can have that form and functionality that you love so much. Over here on the campsite, we got an L-shaped kitchen. We got the drying rack slash cover. And you're gonna see we got the 50-50 split on the sink. Seamless countertop here. High rise faucet in that graphite or matte black finish. Just a beautiful decor all the way around. We got the three burner cooktop right here with the grill style cover and the solid metal cover as well, which has a lock in place. If you'll see, look how nice that is. So easy to move the pots and pans around. But if you check out over here, there's actually a little latch that you will lock this in place. And to get it back down, you just lift it up. And there you go. Got myself an oven underneath. 
We got a fridge freezer combo that runs on both gas and electric as a Dometic, has the automatic switch, plenty of space. Storage is something you're not gonna be lacking for in this one either because this unit comes with the pantry. This all new Wildwood X Lite 263BHXL. Now, these are double entry travel trailers that I'm focusing on right now here at the Ultimate RV Show. So, since we do have the double over double bunks here on the off camp side, you got the Teddy Bear Bunk Series mattress with the extra plush, comfy little beds, dual USB charging ports, got a large window in the back. Plus, down below, I got another big Teddy Bear mattress right here. I got the dual USB charging ports right there, the solid ladder to get me in and out, and of course, my access point, which is gonna be inside the bathroom, which is right over here on the campsite. Plenty of space. I got the tough shower on the angles, the tough shower door on the angled bar here, the herringbone single surround shower, not cramped up or down or left or right. Got my shower nozzle right here. This is just a beautiful unit for the families. Form and functionality is what Forest River was thinking about with this Wildwood x Lite 263BHXL. And with the Ultimate RV Show going on right now, double access point travel trailer so that the family can have their access points, kids can come in, they can come in, use the restroom, hit the bunks, not wake up whoever's sleeping in the master bedroom. And get this, right now, the Ultimate RV Show, $29,995 starting on this travel trailer right here, or as low as $218 a month. You can't beat that. Text Easy RV right now, 32094, or leave me a comment down below, Easy RV. We're going to make sure that if you can't get this specific one, we have this format, this layout ready for you. Specialists are standing by right now to walk you through, to answer your questions to help you get with financing and then have that unit delivered. It's all taken care of. Even when we mail you the documents, we put stamps on the postage, on the, on the envelope, so you don't have to even get a stamp for it. Can't beat that, man. Can't beat it with a stick. Come over here to the entertainment center. You're gonna see I got my TV backer right here on this beautiful wood cabin decor. Got my port right there to run my cables through. Component shelf, Furion AM FM control center, fireplace with multiple flame settings as well as a blower and lights there's all my connections there not to be outdone you got some storage solid door leading into the master bedroom right here and i love what they did with these shades that are almost like blackout shades you see how dark it was when it first came in makes life easy if you want to sleep in Go for it. Those shades are going to keep it nice and dark. Plus, you got the wood balances here. Got the bed with the storage underneath, the strut supported. And just because we know you might need to take 19 pair of shoes with you, come on, Fritz. We got to have the box storage, man. We got to have it. Put your shoes in there. Put whatever you want in there. That is organization and storage. Plus, we got the space underneath to actually store the shoes. But take a look at how much room we have to load stuff here. This is the all new Wildwood X Lite 263BHXL starting at $29,995 or as low as $218 a month during the Ultimate RV Show. I got space on both sides, dual USB charging ports. I got ward storage on both sides and cubby hole access. So if I wanted to put my cell phone or something like that in there, you absolutely could. But once again, if you like this floor plan, you like this layout, you say, Chris, that's beautiful. Do they have an X, Y, and Z? Can I get a little X, Y, and Z? Can I do a little A, B, and C? Yes, you can. Our specialists are standing by right now to walk you through and get you exactly what you want. That's what Easy RV is all about. But what if I got a trade-in? They're going to do the same thing. Easy RV, easy trade-in. We just make it easy. Ultimate RV Show is about making it easy for you. Because when you take a look at the creature comforts that we have here, like the air conditioning with the quick cool, that Versa Lounge, which is beautiful, we want you to enjoy the camping experience because if you don't enjoy it, you're not gonna do it again. So some of the little things that they've done in these campers is really what makes them stand out and is really what makes you want to go camping and do more of it. Out here on the campsite, you're gonna see we got the magnetic clasp for the external kitchen and yes, that is a griddle, my friends. 
We got the small little, as I like to call it, the dorm style fridge. You got your prep area right here. So if you go have a good, let's say you go fishing. You're in Michigan, you go catch some of them steelheads that my buddy Sam catches all the time. You wanna come clean it up, put them on the griddle. You can do it out here, not have to worry about doing all that stuff on the inside. Push that away, close it up, and you are good to go. Solid step over steps right there, solid grab handle coming in. Got my backlit LED dual zone speakers. Just take a look at the graphics on this 263 BHXL. They know what they're doing with the Wildwood X lights. Got the large awning with the LED light strip, adjustable pitch arms. And you know, this segment is all about the dual access points. This is for the families. You got the kids wanna go in one spot, the adults wanna go in the other spot. If they're sleeping in the bunks and they don't wanna wake anybody up, they have their own access point in there to get inside, go through the bathroom and get, their, get to their beds. Power leveling jacks on the front and the rear. Plus you got your low point drains right here, your cold and your hot. Double axle travel trailer with the extra wide berth in there. That's very important. That's something that that suspension is really gonna make sure that that ride is a little bit easier when you're going down the road. You're not gonna have that bumping and rocking up and down, which is gonna pull the back of your truck. Making our way over here to the pass-through storage. And here it is. I told you, $29,995 starting at, or as low as two eighteen dollars a month. I mean, I, I kind of make fun with that voice, but when you boil down to it, you can't really beat that. For this travel trailer, you're talking about sleeping six or more with that Versa Lounge, you can adjust and fly. 7,600 pounds, lightweight, convertible, beautiful, can sleep your friends and family. And at the end of the day, isn't that what you want to do? Don't you want to get out, disconnect, and just reconnect with the family? That's what camping and RVing is all about. So why not make it easy on yourself to make it easy to get an RV with Easy RV. That's what we're doing. Text Easy RV to 32094. If you like this Wildwood X Lite 263 BHXL, you like the bunks being on the off camp side, you like the campsite bathroom, you like the super slide, guess what? We have them for you. We got over 19,000 RVs right now, all over the place. Camper World's got you. Easy RV. Let one of our specialists virtually walk you through that camper and answer your questions for you. You got stuff you wanna know about dry weight. What about the BTU, the BTUs on the AC? What about the furnace? What about this? What about the ducting? Our specialists are standing by right now to answer those questions for you, get you through that camper, show you how easy the process can be. Then when it's time to do the financing, those folks are standing by as well. They're gonna walk you through that process, find the best options for you, mail the paperwork out to you and include the envelopes in there with the stamps on them. I can't emphasize how easy it is. And at the end of the day, when it's time to take delivery of your unit, they're gonna bring it to you. Campsite, home, it don't matter. They're gonna give you that professional walkthrough that you would get at Camping World on site. You don't even have to change out of your pajamas. This one, starting at $29,995 or $218 a month. What else is out there that has prices like that during the Ultimate RV Show? Text Easy RV 32094 to find out, because I can guarantee you, you're gonna like what you see. Bunk houses, double entry, family, fun, that's what it's about. So text Easy RV to 32094 to get started right now. I'll be back in just a minute with another, another double entry travel trailer, come on. Chris Young, so busy today. And of course, we talked about Hurricane Sally. We knew it was coming. So we wanted to make sure that we pre taped some great stuff and bring those products to you. He's talking about Easy RV. All you have to do is text that number again to 32094. Text Easy RV to 32094. The safest, fastest way, the best way to see America, of course, in an RV right now. And you get to stay dry, right? That's right. Stay dry and shop and buy while you're at it. Look at you. While you're at it, make sure you're texting Easy RV to 32094. We have specialists standing by ready for your questions. If you have any other questions, if you want to see an RV in person, we have over 150 Camping World locations nearest you. Also, don't forget, we have Ultimate Giveaways along with the Ultimate RV Show. So make sure you're registered on our website, ultimatervshow.com. We've got more campers to show you. Up next, we've got the Pioneer BH, and Chris is going to take it away. 
Welcome back to the Ultimate RV Show. Chris Young here showing you some double entry travel trailers. These are gonna be bunk houses, floor plans for the family. And here's the deal, the Ultimate RV Show, we're gonna show you ones that are brand spanking new. For example, the one that I got for you right here, the 2021 Harlan Pioneer BH270. You're gonna see this one starting at 20,995 or as low as 158 a month. But if you want this one or you want something similar to this, we have over 19,000 units for you. We got people standing by to make sure that we're gonna get you an RV as easy as possible, which is why we've come up with Easy RV. Just text Easy RV 32094, drop me a comment, Easy RV, or give us a call, 866-853-3510. Why? Because I only have a few minutes to show you how great this travel trailer is, but we have people standing by right now that are gonna virtually walk you through these units, answer all the questions, give you all the specifics, and let you ask the questions that you've been wanting to know that I can't get to. Then they're gonna let you talk to finance people. Get the paperwork mailed out to you with envelopes with stamps on them already, so when you send them back, you don't even have to buy a stamp. Then we're gonna deliver the unit to you, give you the walkthrough as if you were right there at Camping World, and then all you gotta do is just enjoy camping. And when you're camping with the family, it's that much more enjoyable, which is why I love bunkhouse units or bunkhouses with double access points. Because when the kids want to come in, the family want to come in, having those dual access points, hands down, it's a winner. So we're going to start right over here in the rear off camp side. We have double over double bunks. You got the plush fur covered mattress right here. I got a large window plus a LED reading light back there, charging ports solid ladder that goes up and down so I can store away if I need to. So if you got the kids that want to get up or for the furry friends, bunks are great for dogs too. Good sleeping spot for them. Down here, you're going to see we got the same thing. Large window, LED lights, teddy bear style bunk mattress right there. Plush, got that rounded edge so you don't have the hard corners. Now, these are 200 pound capacity back, so easily get one adult or a couple of kids up there if you want. But all in all, this one can sleep six people, Dry weight is 7,700 pounds. Truck could easily tow it. You're looking at the 2021 Harlan Pioneer BH270. 80 inches ceiling height in here, which is important because that means more interior height in here means the higher the slides as well. So you have more overall space and headroom and getting up and down, you can sometimes knock your noggin. That's not fun. Take a look at the solid wood construction here on the shaker style cabinets. Pantry door right here, plenty of space. We're gonna go right to the second access point of this double access travel trailer. Got the plastic bowl with the foot flush. Got the single surround shower, which also has the tub. Got my corner notches. And now I'm six foot two. Do not even have the skylight here. The fan is right there. We got plenty of room left and right and up and down. Plus, I got my shower nozzle right here. If you wanted to you know, bathe off the kids, if you got the little ones or you got animals, this tub is a great space to do that. You just take the hose, spray them down, good spot to get them cleaned up. Plus, you can go in and out right here. That's the great thing about the double access entry point travel trailers. You have the option of, look, we're dirty. We just need to go in and shower off. You don't have to track it through the living room or track it through the kitchen area. Corner mounted vanity sink right here. Plus I got my medicine cabinet right there, my raised lips. And once again, I can't stress enough that if you like this unit, you say, Chris, I understand. There's a bunch of bunk houses out there. There's a bunch of access double blah, blah, blah. But I want that one. Then you need to text Easy RV to 32094 right now and get on it. Because this is the all new 2021 Heartland Pioneer BH270. But if you like the floor plan, we're gonna find one for you. Over here on the off camp side, surrounded by large panoramic windows with wood valances all the way around. Plus I got my LED accent light right here, making it have that residential feel. Booth dinette to enjoy those camp meals, reconnect with the friends and family. Cause at the end of the day, that's what RVing is all about. If you're just discovering RVs, maybe you heard your friends or family talking about it. Oh man, it's great. They, they went on a trip to the Grand Canyon or yeah, oh, it was awesome. You're taking your own home. You're seeing America the safest way possible. And you're disconnecting from everything and reconnecting with your family. At the end of the day, isn't that just a great thing to do? Could you imagine sitting here and playing cards with the loved ones, enjoying that camp meal, talking about how you went fishing for six hours and didn't catch anything? 
Maybe that's just me. Come over here to the campsite. We got a flush mounted three burner cooktop here in the kitchen. We got the angled L shape. Love the 50-50 stainless steel split sink here with the high rise faucet. Got a campsite window so I can see everything that's going on. My microwave here. Got a little spice rack storage up here if I want it. Oven down below. So plenty of good cooking options. I mean, that's really, you know, when you go out and cook those camp meals, you not you don't need to make a four course meal, but if you have a three burner cooktop, sure. You know, move the pots and pans around. You got that grill style grate, it's gonna be easy to do. You have so many options when it comes to enjoying time with the family. You wanna sit back and relax. We got a leather jackknife sofa right here. Ah, oh, this reduces down into a sleeper as does that booth dinette that I was just sitting in a few minutes ago, which is what helps make this bunkhouse uh, a six sleeping option. Now to me, the double over double bunks, even at 200 pounds, that only counts for one person. So you got one and one there. Uh, but with kids, you can get two kids up there. Just always watch out for that weight limit. Just always wanna check for that. And talk to your specialist. When you text Easy RV to 32094 and you get somebody to show you a unit like this, Talk to them about the weights. Talk to them about the layouts. Hey, how many people can I sleep on that? What does it look like? Can you lay down on it for me and show me? They will, they absolutely will. We got ourselves a hutch over here and our entertainment center with more storage right there. Dual USB charging port up there too. Fritz, we could both charge our cell phones up here if we needed to, man. Look at that. Got the Bluetooth AM FM control with USB mirror right there so I can check myself. Got the hangers. Coming into the master bedroom, we got ourselves a solid pocket door separating us off from all the noise that might be going on outside. This is really where, when you're talking about the family travel trailers, sure, you could use this as a hunting cabin, a fishing cabin, set it up for whatever you want. If you got property down by the lake, the beach, whatever, you know, so, dude, it's a great option for you. You can sleep a bunch of people, you got space. But as the family, if mom and dad want to separate from the kids, the parents just want to come in here, take a night, get some rest, do whatever. You can shut that solid pocket door and just break away from all the noise. Plus, you got storage underneath right there. Put your bags, put your gear, your fishing gear. I got large nightstands on both sides with dual USB charging ports and power ports. Plus, I got mirrored ward storage on both sides. Side opening storage up top. So if you need to put that CPAP machine, reading light, whatever, you got the space and the power options to be able to do that. All in all, oh, TV backer over here too. So if you wanna watch TV, got your power port and your cable right there. So, I mean, I can't stress to you enough, especially now during the Ultimate RV Show, the RV lifestyle has taken off. People are discovering how great it is. They never really thought about it. A lot of people haven't. Um, how wonderful it is to see the country in your own thing. You've been paying for hotel rooms. You've been buying plane tickets. Man, take your own home. Plain and simple, take your own home. The Ultimate RV Show is gonna give you a chance to easily get an RV with Easy RV. 32094, text Easy RV right now. You got to, man, get your RV. Power ports outside, got a cable connection here if I wanted to. Fresh water connection over here on the campsite. We got the solid steps coming outside. This is a double axle travel trailer, and you're gonna notice the right there on those 15 inch aluminum wheels, the Dexter Easy Lube axles, that extra wide berth in there is really gonna help with the suspension, rocking back and forth, going down the road. You're not gonna have that sway and tug as much as you usually would. Double access is what we're focusing on in this segment, double entry points. Right here is the entry point into the bathroom. You got the fold up steps there, got my leveling jacks on the front, or the rear and the front, Main entry point right here under the large, beautiful awning with the adjustable arm, dual zone speakers, LED light strip going on right here. And I got my pass-through storage, plastic clip to hold it. Look at that, finished off pass-through storage. God, I love it, man. Good space to store your chairs, your whatever, beach towels. Hunting gear, kids, don't put the kids in there. Don't do that. Well, I might, you don't. Come around to the front, diamond plated rock guard here. Got the super flex roof going all the way over the top. Twin 20 pound LP tanks, battery, power tongue jack. Let me tell you, when you talk about setting up, 
making life easy, having a power tongue jack, to me, it's a must. Try to find yourself a travel trailer that has one. But at the end of the day, with Easy RV, when you talk to one of our specialists, they're going to help you find that because that's what we're doing. Here at the Ultimate RV Show, I'm standing in front of the all new 2021 Harlan Pioneer BH270. Starting at $20,995 or as low as $158 a month. That's what you can get this one for. How many travel trailers out there are like it? A bunch. How many are in your area? A bunch. So if you like this floor plan, if you love having the slide with the booth dinette, the sofa, the double over double bunks, the separated master bedroom, the kitchen, and the rear corner bath, we got one for you in your area. <laughs> Just text EZRV32094, drop me a comment, EZRV, or give me a call, 866-853-3510. We got somebody waiting right now that's going to walk you through a unit close to you. Then they're going to let you speak to somebody in financing. They're going to walk you through the process. Okay, what, what are the rates? Why should I finance? How long can I finance? They're going to answer all of that stuff for you. At the end of the day, they're going to make the process simple. Then they're going to mail you the documents. Postage is going to be included on the return envelopes. I've said it a billion times. Don't even have to buy a stamp. Then when you got your unit done, signed for, they're going to bring it to you, either your campsite or your home. They're going to help you set it up. They're going to give you the walkthrough that you would get if you were standing in Camping World. So if you want this one for $20,995, starting at $20,995 or as low as $158 a month, or you say, I love that floor plan. What else you got? Something out there for you. And during the Ultimate RV Show, you're not going to be able to beat the price or the selection. With Easy RV, you don't even have to get out of your fuzzy slippers. Buy wearing your pajamas, eating bonbons. I'd love it. But leave us a comment down below, Easy RV, or text Easy RV to 32094 to find your double access entry point bunkhouse travel trailer, because I got more coming up in just a minute. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Ultimate Campsite here at the Ultimate RV Show. You know, when it comes down to coolers, we have so many to choose from. And when you're out and about and you're doing your thing at the campsite or you're just going fishing, you're going hunting, you're doing whatever, you got your RV you see in the world, you want to take something with you, Lauren, turn around for him. This is it. Let me tell you about no. the Polar Bear 18 pack series. As a matter of fact, hang on. I put this in here last night. Is it still in there? It's still in there and it's cold. It Feel cold? that. <laughs> Feel that. It is still cold. That's awesome. These linings that they have in here, go ahead and take this off. Sorry. I mean, look, it's easy. Yeah. Easy to carry. These linings that they good. have in here, not only are they antimicrobial, you can pull them completely out if you want to. And here, let me get the paper again. If you want to dry it out or whatever, I should just reach in, grab the bottom, pull it out, leave it out. You can wash if you want to, but this is this is the best way to dry it. And heavy duty stitching, so it's not gonna tear. Heavy duty welding on the zippers. You got multiple straps on this, heavy duty handles. I'm gonna say heavy duty until you're just done with me saying heavy duty. And what is yes, that? Do these, there's two on each there, side. There's one on each side, but do you know what it yep. is? I know it's a bottle opener also. It is a bottle is it, opener. <laughs> do they do something else or just two of the same? I mean, well, with, with the adjustable straps, I think it's just two. It's, it's more along the line of if you needed to hook it up to something, but also got serves it. the purpose of being a bottle opener. Right. But you got the pouches on each side, so you can put your bottles in there. This 18 pack. It's a lot of storage. It is a lot of storage. You got the mesh Everything. pack there. You got a cell phone pouch, key pouch. So this is great if you're going down to the beach. Yeah. You know, you got the lotions and stuff. You know, it's, it's okay if it gets wet. But lightweight, this is my it's favorite part. on the back, right there on your spine. You see this? Arm. Look at that. So you're not going to have that, even if you have a heavy pack, because 18 cans can, can get kind of heavy. Um, that's going to be comfortable. Look, you got the little sunglasses pouch oh right here. Oh my gosh, storage right there. Storage yep. in here. <laughs> it's storage for days. That's what Polar Bear is great at. They're great at just making sure it's convenient for you. Not only is it convenient to use, to clean, to, to not have to worry about because they're so heavy and they're so durable, it's just convenience all the way around. And when it comes to having a cooler for what you need, if you need, I mean, come on, 18? Yep. <laughs> do you need more than 18? Do you really need more than 18? Well, Chris, we got a big family. Okay, get two of them. 
Yep. You can carry it on your back. How many times have you been walking down to the beach, walking down to the lake, and you got your bag on one side, you're dragging really? the cooler, and somebody's carrying a big cooler behind I'm them? Envisioning myself do that <laughs> all the time. I yeah. see you do it all the time. You yeah. carry it all the time. I know. Now we get the backpack. You don't have to worry about it. So, Polar Bear, 18 pack backpack cooler. We have them. We want you to have them as well. They are on sale right now, but only during the Ultimate RV Show. Regular price on this is $109.99. That's still a good price for the yeah. heavy duty welding, the construction that's in this, how easy it is, plus all the storage. Here at the Ultimate RV Show, your price, $84.17. Good Sam members, you know how much we love you. Your price is even better, $79.97 for this cooler. Regular price, once again, $109.99. Here at the promo for the goods for the Ultimate RV Show, you're looking at $84.17. Good Sam price, $79.97. This is the cooler you want. Drop us a comment down there. Put camp. I need this cooler. Camp. Text camp 32094. Give us a call 866-235-8751. This will be your favorite cooler. It's mine but I'm not letting you have this one because this one is mine. So thank you so much for joining us here at the ultimate campsite, ultimate RV show. Lauren, don't tell anybody I took this. We'll see you later. Welcome back to the Ultimate RV Show. What's up, everybody? Chris Young, excited to be inside the all-new 2021 Forest River Gray Wolf 26 DBH. Now, the 26 DBH has been one of the top-selling floor plans in the country for a while now. One of the main reasons being the form and the functionality. You can sleep up to six people. This one weighs 7,700 pounds. And during the Ultimate RV Show, starting at $27,995 or as low as $210 a month. Now, the Ultimate RV Show is helping you find the right unit for you. We got over 19,000 ready to go right now. So if you like this one, you want this specific unit, this very one. Nope, Chris, I don't even want lighter interior. I want the zebra shades. I want the whole nine. You need to text Easy RV to 32094 or leave me a comment down below. Easy RV or give us a call 866-853-3510. We got somebody standing by right now. I'm only gonna get a chance to give you some brief overview options on this beautiful travel trailer, but we have people ready to show you every inch and nook and cranny inside this travel trailer. Give you the options, answer all your questions, set you up with financing so that when you're ready to go, that travel trailer will be delivered to you. You'll get the walkthrough. All you gotta do is go camping. That's how easy Easy RV is gonna take care of you. Now, this 26 DBH, double over bunks back here on the rear, off campsite, you're gonna see we got the window up top, I got a power port, I got my little mushroom light, plus dual USB charging ports down here. The Teddy Bear Bunk Series mattresses are comfortable, they're plush, they're fuzzy, the kids like them. And they also work great for kids, to, or for, uh, for dogs as well, not just kids. So if you got the furry friends or the small ones, you got your hideaway ladder right there. When everybody's up and safe, just store that away so that you're not tripping on it. I got myself the same thing down below, which is why this is a double over double bunk. And you're going to see USB charging as well down here and the mirror. Plus, I got privacy curtains on both sides that are decorative, which go along with this light on dark interior that they have inside the 26 DBH. I'm a, just a big fan of what I call the graphite style. I, I like the look and feel of it. We come in here to the access point into the bathroom, which is really what this section is all about. It's about double access point travel trailers. It's great for families that have, you know, big, you know, kids, you got big groups of people that are going to be staying with you. You could easily sleep six inside this travel trailer. But if you're looking for a hunting cabin or a fishing cabin, you want to set up something on one of your properties, you want to take it down to the beach, do seasonal camping, something you can just come to every now and then. These are great. Once you get in, dirty, nasty, you've been fishing, playing in the water, you can come into the bathroom here, get cleaned up without having to track all that stuff through the living area and the kitchen area. You got a large single basin sink right here, the graphite style fixtures, large medicine cabinet, got the plastic bowl with the foot flush. We come over here to the shower and you're going to see with me being 6'2", 
I do need the skylight to give me the additional headroom, but I'm not cramped left to right. And even this isn't really that bad. Got my shower hose right here, corner notches there. Got the little tub down here in the surround, which is a great spot if you need to spray off the kids or clean off the dogs, good spot to do that here. So this one, if you like it, once again, just drop us a comment, Easy RV, or text Easy RV to 32094 because this 2021 Gray Wolf 26 DBH starting at 27,995 or as low as 210 a month, you can't beat that. Not for a Gray Wolf. Got pantry storage right here in the kitchen. Look at all of that shelf space that we have there. Forest River knows that, you know, if you're going to take your family with you, you're going to need the space to store stuff. Uh, but not only that, you know, look, it's, it's your travel trailer. It's your RV. When you get it and you say, I'm not going to put food there. I'm going to put all my tackle boxes there. Go for it. It's your camper to do with what you want. If you're going to take the family out, you got all the space right there. Come over here on the off-camp side. You're going to see this beautiful, big U-shaped dinette. Can easily sit six people to enjoy the meals, to enjoy just reconnecting with each other. The zebra shades allow you some light options. So if you need just a little bit of darkness, if you wanna go completely dark, if you wanna go light, the whole nine. I'm a big fan of the zebra shades just because it gives you that option. Large panoramic windows, you got the wood balances here, can open up the windows, let the airflow come in, play the card games, and man, let's face it, when was the last time you got a chance to disconnect from everything and reconnect with your family? When was the last time you got a chance to go on vacation and just be with your family in your vehicle? That's what RVing is all about. You've been paying for hotels. You've been, pay you've been paying for flights. You've been paying to go do this stuff when you could be paying as little as $210 a month to have your own home to take on your vacations or to take on your trips. That's why RVing is so popular right now. People are discovering it. And with the Ultimate RV Show, we're giving you the opportune time. I'm not, not doing a pitch. We're giving you the opportune time to jump on it. Look, it's been crazy. We are, have a little bit of trepidation when we want to get out to the dealership. People don't want to, you know, hey, man, you know, I, just, I, I don't know about all of that. That's why Easy RV is here. Easy RV gives you a chance to have someone walk you through virtually. Touchless delivery. Touchless contact. The paperwork will be mailed to you. The return envelopes, already got stamps on them. The virtual appointment, somebody's gonna walk through there. You say, hey man, how much headroom do I have in that slide? Can you lay down on this jackknife sofa and tell me how big it is? Can I see what it looks like, you know, with a six foot two human being laying on it? Our people will help you do that. Over here on the campsite, beautiful. Look at the graphite fixtures that we have here on this kitchen. Farmhouse style, undermounted sink. You got the high rise faucet with the sprayer. Got the hand sanitizer station as well. Flush mounted three burner cooktop. Frosted glass here with the inlays on the shaker style cabinets. And look at the storage space that we have just up there. You got the vibration smart 10 cubic foot fridge over here. The fridge freezer combo. Look at the room that we have in there. Your stuff's not gonna be knocking around. It's gonna stay cold in there with that puppy. Got my microwave, decorative backsplash. When it comes to the entertaining, you got the entertainment center over here with your TV mount, your power, and you're gonna notice the driven speakers that we have here. Loud, beautiful speakers, plus they're dual zone. You have them outside as well. So if you wanna play music inside or outside, you absolutely can. Got your component shelf here and here. There's our command center with AM, FM. There's your zones. You want to play dual zone. It's got the USB. It's got the HDMI. It's got a fireplace, multiple flame settings, and that blower right there, you know, sure, you got, you know, 25,000 BTU furnished. You got a 15,000 BTU AC. This little 5,100 BTU fireplace will kick out the heat, and that blower does a great job of knocking off the chill when you come in, or maybe it's a cool night at the beach and you got the windows open. You got multiple flame settings. Got a little mudroom down there. Get your shoes wet. Cut the fireplace on. Put them under there. And first, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go this side. You go that side. Double entry, solid pocket doors leading into the master bedroom. This is nice because you have the walk around. You don't have to worry about waking the kids up or waking your partner up when you're in here and you just want to get up, maybe go to the fridge, get some water, go use the bathroom, open your pocket door. But more than that, these solid doors 
help keep the privacy where it should be. It'll be quiet in there, quiet in here. Now, mirrored ward storage on both sides. Got me some LED reading lights, side opening doors up top for the storage. And I got my power ports, my charging ports on both sides as well. The 2021 Forest River Gray Wolf 26 DBH show price starting at $27,995 or as low as $210 a month. If this is a type of travel trailer you've been looking for, solid grab handle, solid steps coming in and out, large awning with the LED light. I got an external kitchen space here with my burners. Got a little place to do some cleaning. LP Quick Connect if I want to use that. Got the mini fridge there, even have an ice maker. Because I mean, how can I have my outdoor bourbon without my outdoor ice? You even have, well, it's mainly for a sprayer, but I call it the external shower as well. Get everything going in there. Slide it away. My plastic clip to close everything. And you're gonna see we have the enclosed underbelly on this one as well. I got my LP quick connect right there. So if I do have my grill, I can just plug right into the LP. Double axle travel trailer, 15 inch aluminum wheels on that extra wide berth right there in the suspension. Make that ride a whole lot easier. You're not gonna be getting as much rocking. You wanna set the TV up outside? Got your mount right there. Slide your TV in, get your power port. Here's your connections for entertainment. Right there, dual zone speakers. Let me tell you, there's a reason why the Grey Wolf is one of the top selling floor plans for a pretty good while. The 26 DBH is family friendly and fun. And right now you can get this one, sleep up to six, 7,700 pounds, starting at 27,995 or as little as $210 a month. But if you say, Chris, I love that, but, but can I get one with a, with an ABC? Can, can you do get one with the X, Y, and Z? Yes. We have over 19,000 waiting on you right now. And our people are standing by right now to give you that walkthrough, answer those questions for you. They're gonna do it virtually, get everything taken care of for you. Then our finance folks are gonna make sure you get the best plans possible. They're gonna take care of you from stem to stern. And when it's time to go, they're gonna bring that camper to you, either at your home or at your campsite. They're gonna give you that walkthrough that you would get at Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors, same level, and you don't even have to get out of your pajamas. Text Easy RV to 32094. Drop me a comment, Easy RV, or give us a call 866 853 3510. Because at the Ultimate RV Show, Easy RV is all about making sure your RV gets to you as easy as possible. Ultimate RV Show will continue in just a minute. Hang on. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World. The only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at campingworld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. An RV isn't exactly a traditional mode of transportation, which is why the Good Sam Insurance Agency isn't exactly a traditional insurance agency. We're experts in RV insurance, and our plans, policies, and coverage are as flexible and open as the roads you take in your RV. See how much you can save on specialized RV insurance. For a limited time, receive a $10 Camping World merchandise certificate when you get a free quote from the Good Sam Insurance Agency. The Good Sam Insurance Agency, wherever your adventure takes you. Chris Young doing a phenomenal job showing you all the insides and all of the inventory that we have. And here's the one thing that I love what Chris does. He gets so excited because we've seen some show pricing already that you're not going to see. I want to talk about pricing because it's very important. If you think these prices are going to be around forever, they're not. They're not. The Ultimate RV Show will go until Sunday. And once the RV Show is done, so are those show prices. So if you see something and you say, you know what? That's too good to pass up. You need to jump on it. And he also gets so excited about Easy RV. 
All you have to do is text EZRV32094. We take the work out of everything. And if you want to see something again, if you want to see a demonstration, our specialists know what they're doing. They will listen to you. They will take care of you. They'll spoil you rotten. They're already taking care of all the paperwork and everything else, and they're going to deliver it to you wherever you go. You know what we should do? What should we do? We're going to give away... Is it time? ...an RV in just a few moments. Ooh, who's ready? So, in case you didn't know, in order for you to win said RV, you have to be registered on our website, ultimatervshow.com. <laughs> So uh, what do you say? Is it time? We're giving away a brand new Coleman 17B. Hold on a second. We're giving away a Coleman 17B. Now, Chris has been talking about Coleman. You just saw him do that uh, amazing Wolf RV. It was just absolutely gorgeous and all that storage space. The Coleman is remarkable. And when he was talking about some of the products or some of the storage and all the the amenities that we have in, in the Coleman, we're going to give one of those away. Brand spanking new. Can't win if you're not registered now, but you say, well, is it too late? No. We're going to be giving away stuff all weekend long. This is so only day two. Get on it and register right now. And do we do it now or do we wait just a little bit longer? I suppose we do it now. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the great news. We're going to be doing this uh, all weekend. I'm Sean Parr. Elise, we're having a great time. And where would you take your, say you won the Coleman and you get the family in there, where would you go? I'm definitely a beach camper, so I'm going to be heading towards towards the ocean. Nice. Yeah. East coast, west coast, doesn't matter. No. Well, Sally's proven that Florida coast uh, <laughs> or the uh, Gulf Coast uh, took a little. Not ideal. Yeah, but we're getting the remnants <laughs> of that. But that's what's all about you, where you get to buy and stay dry wherever you are and I love the, of your home yeah and love the fact that uh, everybody has been commenting also at easy rv you just text 32094 to easy rv and again those show prices will not last through sunday that's it you see something you want you want to add a couple of extras to it like chris was saying no problem we can do anything to make you happy and comfortable just text easy rv we've made it so easy for you 32094 or just call in because a lot of people are like look i want to talk to somebody right now 866-853-3510 i think the time has come you ready to do this we're ready somebody right now is going to win the coleman 17b at least why don't you say the name congratulations to daisy rarden wow so Daisy Rarden right now is probably, I mean, we could cheer on the stage. We got a whole crew back here that is trying to stay dry. <laughs> Daisy Rarden. <Woo. laughs> Imagine Daisy sitting there right now saying, honey, I, we just registered. We just won. We just gave away a Coleman 17B. Only at the Ultimate RV Show. And somebody's going to reach out to you right now. And congratulations, Daisy. And we're not done. Like I said, we're going to be doing stuff all weekend long. This is what it's about. I've been an RV person my entire life. Uh, We're going to speak some RV language, do a little RV trivia a little bit later on as well. And this is an opportunity like no other. The Ultimate RV Show is a part of history where you can actually shop around and see the products from your couch, from your work, from your computer. It's Thursday. We're going to be doing this through Sunday, and it only gets better. And just a quick second, I want to thank all of you for tuning in and watching and being a part of the largest virtual RV show in the history of this industry. And um, um, Sean, you were saying that, you know, you, you've you RV'd a lot. I also grew up camping oh, with yeah. my family. Nice. And you know, my favorite part of the day is just reconnecting with my family around the campfire. And that is what we're actually getting into with our next segment. It's called Home Sweet Campsite. How about you? What was your favorite part? Well, I took the kids, and you and I have talked about this uh, when we weren't standing in front of a camera. We were talking about how much we love to motocross and, and the toy haulers and getting out there and having fun with the families. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. Uh, lately, we've been around the campfire. We've been toasting the marshmallows. Uh, we've been doing a lot of that with the uh, concert series that uh, Camping World is doing, too. So why don't we jump into it and, uh, and get busy? All right. Sounds good. Here is Making a Campground Feel Like Home. Keith and Tia from Soulful RV Family. We've been traveling with our boys for over six years now. We started RVing six and a half years ago, and I wish I could claim credit for it, but I can't. It was all her fault. Uh, 
I was working. You're welcome. Down in, well, thank you, honey. I was doing media for my former NFL team, and we had sold our house in South Florida and bought a house in Georgia to be closer to my family. Well, we had a problem. I needed to be down there for football season, and my wife came up with the brilliant idea. Why don't we get an RV? I thought about RVs I had seen on TV and in movies, and I thought, there's no way I could be in that small, tiny space with her and three growing, adventurous, energetic boys. But after shopping for RVs, she convinced me, and we jumped feet first in, and I haven't looked back since. And honey, I will say it in front of everybody. You were right. You were right. We have this recorded, right? <laughs> so I'm a homeschooling mom of three boys, three very rambunctious boys. And RVing has allowed us to take our homeschooling on the road, what people now call road schooling. Mm -hmm. And it has made our homeschooling that much more robust, if you will. We have taken them to different historical sites, science museums. Mm -hmm. One of the best things about RVing is that you get to choose what's right for your family. And that choice is a choice of a campground. You know, some families love camping by a stream in the mountains. Some love beach camping. My wife particularly loves urban camping close to a city. But when you choose these campgrounds, what are the specific things that you look for? When I think about my favorite campsite, honey, it's not the amenities, the 50 amp service. It's not the concrete pad we had there. It was the view. We had taken a summer trip, two and a half months long, all the way up to Acadia National Park in Maine. And for the 4th of July, we were on the ocean. It was cool, the ocean breeze, it was rocky, it was a different kind of beach. But I think the atmosphere, the lobster that everyone had, even though I don't eat seafood, it was, it was magical, it really was. It was everything that I ever envisioned in a campsite. As special as that was, I think my most favorite campground was in Florida, mm -hmm. where we were able to pull up directly on the beach. We were able mm -hmm. to see the glorious view of the ocean tide rolling in and rolling out every morning. I would just sit up yeah, in the front did. seat every morning with my <laughs> cup of coffee and my feet up enjoying that view. We got to go beach camping again. We haven't been in a while. Campgrounds are a special place. They really are. It's a special place of family. And as you RVers will find out, whether you're a newbie or a veteran, these RVs, doesn't matter what size space you have, it's your home away from home. And the big plus of it is not just the indoor space, it's the outdoor space. And you want to make that your home away from home, but definitely this space your home away from home. I don't know about you, but I'm a glamper. The interior is very important to me. So it stands to reason that the exterior is going to be just as important. To me, it starts with your mat. For us, we had an experience on our very first camping trip. You remember that, honey? Yes. We went to a nice campground on our first trip and it was complete dirt and mud. And if you're guys, if you're anything like me who lives with a wife that likes a clean house, you need a good camping rug to keep the dirt outside, not inside. And not just a good camping rug. You're gonna need that entryway mat something that they can dust their feet off on or dust their, their shoes off on before they come into the RV. That's gonna go a long way in keeping the inside neat and tidy. Well, now you've got your mat, you got your area clean, but where are you gonna sit? To me, there's nothing as important as a good, sturdy, comfortable camping chair. Our kids can go out and play all day long and we can be sitting here reading, we can be eating, we can enjoy. I need a good, comfortable chair that's number one on my list. I've been through four or five different camp chairs. It took me that long, and it might take you that long to figure out the exact one that fits your body, fits your lifestyle right. But for me, this camp chair is the best of the best. It's comfortable. I love it when I'm reading, and I can't tell you how many times I've dozed off in this chair just listening to my kids play at the campground. I concur with that. Not only a nice, comfortable chair, but if you can, a nice recliner. But honey, if I'm in my chair, a cool drink is something I could definitely go for. Having a cooler by your side to keep those drinks cold, and with kids, the bonuses, it keeps them from running inside the RV. They have their drinks right here in your outdoor space. Absolutely. And also, you can have an ice maker on the outside. 
Now you're really glamping. Have an ice maker outside? Absolutely, I wouldn't have it any other way. You're gonna love it, guys. <laughs> to get ice right there without having to leave your comfy chair, I'm sold. Another piece that you might wanna consider is an expandable table. We use it for the kids to eat. We use it for the kids to do their Legos on, to draw, you name it. And we've been to campgrounds where they don't have picnic tables. That's right. Or even if they do, you're not gonna wanna sit in them. You might wanna think about carrying a propane fire pit. There's a lot of places you're gonna go, campgrounds, where they're gonna have restrictions due to droughts, so you can't do a nice wood fire. So having a propane-based campfire is gonna save the day, especially with our kids, because they certainly love to do s'mores wherever we go. I know you can always pick up that random stick to get those s'mores done, but it's very nice to have those telescoping skewers to get those toasty marshmallows for the perfect s'mores. And then I think about the time I got burned doing s'mores with the kids. Having a good first aid kit. Oh, and don't forget, it's very important to include those non-breakable dinnerware items, such as cups, plates. Please don't take your glassware. Everything is going to shift in flight as you're driving down the road, getting to your next campsite destination. And the last thing you need is a bunch of broken dishes when you arrive. Now, fellas, if you're particular about your grill, like I tend to be, you're not going to sit there and go to any campground and just use any old rusty, crusty old grill. Just bring your own, and there's tons of choices at Camping World. Whether you're a charcoal guy, or whether you're a gas guy, or whether you're wanting one of these newfangled flat grills like I have now, bring your own grill, you'll be happier. And what a special time it is as a mom to be sitting outside while my husband's grilling, taking care of dinner, <laughs> and watching the kids have a great time exploring the campground. A key part of making your outdoor space your own is picking the right campsite. Yeah. We have three boys. They love playing at the playground. So a lot of times we're, st I don't want to say stuck, we're, we have to choose sites that are conveniently closer to the playground. Or the pool. We had one experience where we were at a campground and we were a bit further from the playground than yeah. we felt comfortable with. There was a lot of traffic, yeah. which made me as a mom feel very uncomfortable with allowing my kids to go down to the playground. So it's very important just for your comfort and as well the children's safety, just to make sure that you are exactly where you need to be in your campsite. And for our boys, they thoroughly enjoy having their walkie talkies and being able to communicate across the campground with each other and with us. Not to mention the amazing lanterns that we found. <laughs> Well, both of those items give them independence or at the campground with the walkie talkies we have a sense of comfort that we can communicate with them at a drop of a hat and the lanterns give them the opportunity to kind of venture out when it's dark we've even gotten them some headlights to put on their heads and so they can play with the kids at the campground at night but not too late at night i know some of you don't have kids but your pets are your children we always try to pack a little container in the rv that specifically has our dog's favorite food favorite chew toys and don't forget some dog wash, a brush, because if your dog is like ours, inevitably they will get into some mess and you're gonna have to wash that pooch. Camby World has everything that you need to get your RV lifestyle started. From this rug to a table, whatever necessities that you feel that you need for your family. And even if it's not a necessity, it may be a want, like my wonderful grill over here. But I agree with you, honey. Whether you're a veteran or a newbie, you can find anything you need to enjoy the RV lifestyle. The best thing about camping, for me personally, is just being out with my family. Just that together time. The time that we might not necessarily have in our busy everyday lives, just to sit back and enjoy the campground where life just slows down just a little bit. Our family has benefited so much from the RV lifestyle, from campgrounds, from time together, from the friends we've met along the way. I mean, we've created some incredible friendships over the last six years. It truly is an inclusive community. It's for all of us. And this country is filled with wonderful sights to go see. So we invite you all to come RV with us. And when you do, when you see us out there, or you see other people out there, just say hello. You'd be shocked at how friendly the RV community is. They're there to help. They've helped us when we were having our breakdowns Absolutely. in our first year, and we've helped others. So we're glad you're part of the RV community. All you newbies, 
and we look forward to seeing you at the campground. Hey everybody, what's up? It's Chris Young here at the Ultimate Campsite for the Ultimate RV Show. You've had, hopefully by now, a chance to take a look at some beautiful RVs, but you think, when I hit the road, this might be my first time. What can I do to make my campsite feel more like home? Or maybe you've been doing it for years. You're on your seventh trade in, and you're thinking, what can I do to spruce mine up a little bit? Hopefully this segment right here will help you out, pick out some items for your campsite to make it feel more like home, because at the end of the day, what does more home feel like? Having some of the creature comforts of home, but also enjoying a homey atmosphere while you're out and about. So we're gonna try to cover all of that here. First things first, for me, when you're talking about being out and camping and having that homey type of feel, you wanna have kind of a clean environment. Start with one of these mats. We have them in multiple sizes, multiple shapes and color styles, plus we have some with the LED lights on it. These are gonna make your campsite just pop a little bit more. And if you have stuff outside that's comfortable, you're gonna want to go outside and be comfortable. Speaking of comfortable, look at what Lauren is sitting in right now. She is in the padded club chair, which, is this not comfy? It really is. Do you not just wanna take like, a nap really right now, great. right? <laughs> And with any chair, I would always suggest get an extra pillow. Pillow and blanket, that's key. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Pillow and blanket are key. You want to be warm. You want to be cozy. These blankets, and look, together is our favorite place to be. Cute. Isn't that cute? It is cute. We have so many of those cute items. When you see it, you're just going to go, aw. I'm not, but Lauren might. <laughs> I'm the one that goes all, all the time. Now, also when you're home, once again, convenience and comfort. These right here are great. Not only do they screw in and come together, but these are solid metal. Stick them in the ground, and that's your drink holder right there. Sturdy, that is very convenient. Just grab and go. Speaking of, and you see me holding this right here, that's because when you're camping, what is one thing the family and the kids always want to do? Campfires. 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 Burners. Either one is great. This one right here is just a regular old fire pit. We threw some wood chips down there. It's got the grate for if you want to grill burgers, you want to do dogs, you could put them on there. Or if you just want to roast the marshmallows, I got it here. But these are the ones I really love. And when you're camping, they come in so handy. They're telescoping. Plus, they have the little slotted ends right there that you can put your hot dog on and the covers when you're not using them. But take a look at the length of that. Sometimes when you're out camping, you get a little overzealous, get a little too close. Ah! This is going to stop that. So you get your dogs, you're roasting them, you're flipping them. And they made this for me because they know I'm a too hot dog type of guy. This you could probably get two hot dogs on, but you know they're going to be lengthwise. So both work great. Both give you a little bit of that ease when you're on the road cooking and enjoying it. And since this one's a little bit longer, I got my captain's chair right here. I could pull up my little tray, have a seat, kick back, roast my dog, roast my marshmallows, get my s'mores ready. I got a tray right here, which is convenient, has a cup holder in it. And if you take a look, it's got the slots right there. Now, what are those for? This is one of those things that, you know, when they made this, they were just thinking about the convenience. And you're gonna hear me say that a lot when you're talking about make the campsite feel more comfortable, more homey for you. The last thing you want is a pool of water, condensation sitting right there, because it's gonna get moldy, it's gonna get dirty. And when you pack it up to put it back into your camper to stow it away in the, in the storage, you don't want that. Plus it easily comes out and you can clean it, but you got plenty of space there. If I want to make me a sandwich, I get my hot dog and cheese sandwich, I make myself a maywich. If you don't know what a maywich is, you need to Google it because you're going to find something you're going to love. Put that right there, got my drink right there. I'm comfy in my captain's chair, talking with my family, talking with my friends. Lauren's over there just enjoying life in the padded club chair. The comfort and convenience with the chairs and with the amount of different chairs you have to choose from, that's key because not everybody's going to like the same thing. So get yourself a good combination. Get a good mix. One might want to sit up a little bit higher than the others. One might want to be comfy and plush. Get you a good mix. Trust me, it's all about doing and having the things outside to make the family and the friends want to come outside. Plus, it's inviting. 
And you'll learn this real quick about the RV community. They are such a great, friendly community. You're not going to have any issues making friends when you go to the campsites. You have a good open campsite and you like that style, people will come by and they'll want to hang out with you. It is true. It really is true. Now, the one thing you don't want to have at your campsite are the bugs. That's why you got to get one of these. Now, there are numerous ways of getting rid of the bugs. This is just a tiki torch, but it's a patio shield as well. There's actually an apparatus in here that burns the oil. They also have the ones that have the uh, signal that sends out and it deters bugs. Because when you're on the campsite, you know, Everyone knows how annoying that is. Bugs are so bad. And you're not always taking vitamin E. Or if you got the O-type blood, which is literally the ice cream of yes. blood for <laughs> bugs, you want to get rid of them. So, great thing to have. It's aesthetically pleasing. Comes in handy. Plus, it's a torch. It's a light. Opens up the campsite a little bit. Brightens it up. You got the cab. You got the club chairs, the padded chairs. You're having fun. How about some aesthetic? Straight out of 1951. <laughs> I got my pink flamingo. Yes, look, when you're having fun, come on, everybody's got those quirky little decorations that you have at home. When you come out and you see this, it might make you laugh. It might, somebody might walk by and say, what, what are you doing? You know what? I'm enjoying what I enjoy because at the end of the day, when you're out with your family and friends, that's what it's about. Relaxing and enjoying what you want to do. And trust me, you got plenty of things like this to choose from to make your campsite more homey and feel more at home. Now, this thing, I love. this thing is awesome. This is great. So, this is a Coleman Lantern that's also a Bluetooth speaker. You got the little USB plug back there, the charger. You got your controls right here for Bluetooth, the volume, plus you got the light right there. You see how it can get brighter? Look at that. And it's just recharges. Plug in your phone, you know, or Bluetooth your phone, you're good to go makes life so much easier and, and you can enjoy stuff when you're outside. Now you got the dual zone speakers. A lot of campers have the dual zone speakers, but if you have something like this, it's just another layer of making it feel more at home. You got the light, the convenience. Speaking of convenience, how about some coolers? It's a must have on the campsite. Sure, you got a fridge inside your camper, but once again, making sure it's convenient to get yourself a cooler that's gonna work. Whether it's something that's easy to carry and bring around, you got the grill stuff in there, you wanna do the dogs, you got your stuff in there, or you know you got a big group of people coming, you got the big boys. Wow. The permatils, look at that. Thick, insulated, so many coolers to choose from. Just pick the one that's right for you. Pick the one that's right for your situation. I always will, will say too, two things about coolers. Get more than one. If you can get it with the wheels, get the wheels. But put the ice in the night before you want to put drinks or anything in. Goes a long way. When you're grilling, you're entertaining, you got the family over here, they're playing cornhole, get you some games to play outside. Do some things that's gonna create some activity, create that home feel, because when you're at home, you're usually not sitting idle, you're out playing, you wanna do stuff, you wanna be active. You're outside, you're absorbing the sun, you're absorbing the fresh air, and you're having fun. Same thing with the grilling. You got numerous options for grilling. For example, this one here I like because you have the griddle on one side, you got the grill on the other side. So if you want to do the burgers, want to do the buns, you got breakfast, you got the eggs, the bacon over here, you got the sausage and the steak over there, whatever. It's lightweight, they're easy to carry, folds down, stores away easily. That's also key. Having something that's easy to transport is key because if it's clunky and heavy, you're not going to want to use it. So you're going to spend money on something that you're not going to use, which means you're not going to come outside and enjoy that campsite. Waste of money. Do the research beforehand. Another thing that comes in super handy, this right here is a flip top table. I'm just going to move the griddle for a second. Multi spots to store stuff. You got room for your condiments, you got room for plates, utensils, food, and it's a tabletop. So if you wanted to put like a little smaller grill or a griddle, Put it right there. You can do all your cooking. You got the space to store. Folds up and stores away. Easy, lightweight. It's great. And speaking of great, <laughs> this right here, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Griddles. If you haven't figured them out when you're camping, I learned my lesson. Love it. Now, don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me. You're going out to enjoy the great outdoors. 
you're adventuring, but you want to make it feel like home, what do you usually have at home? TV. It's where people decompress. You get home at night, you watch the news, you watch you know, your NYPD, blue, red, greens, all of that. Get yourself a satellite that's going to work for you and fit your plan, okay? That's what you want. Some wood chips, they come in super handy when you're talking about the fire or just want to do some smoking. This is the actual box for those drink holders that I had earlier. They come in a four pack. <clears throat> I just love them because they're easy, convenient, and they're big. Now, this isn't really going to do anything for the aesthetic, but it's really going to help out with that homey feel of the camper actually inside. It makes a big difference outside too. Get yourself a regulator. Helps the pressure of the water coming in. Once again, that home feel. You don't have bad water coming out your spigots at home. Your showers are okay. Do the same thing on the road. Exact same for the filter, okay? Get yourself some clean water. Helps for the inside and the outside, trust me. You want to do some lighting? Tons of lighting options. Sure, your awning's got an LED light in it. You got external lights, but adds the air, adds the aesthetic. Just makes it more homey, makes it more pleasing. Now, what about the kids, Chris? Done. Got you covered there. So, we have these tables. This one right here is just a suspension table. Uh, it's easy, folds away, you know, this sets up in a breeze. But this is a good little kids table right here. And with this tablecloth, comes with these pins because this is a marker tablecloth. So you got the kids, you want to give them something to do while you're grilling or finishing up doing all the cooking. They could come out here and have fun, you know, just do whatever. This really gets them going. You also are going to need plates, bowls, all of that because once again when you're on the road you still want to make it feel like home so you want to have access to the stuff when you're preparing the meals we don't have any plates we don't have any utensils get you some that go in your camper so when you come out to do the eating voila there we go speaking of tables let me show you one now this is one that I discovered that really comes in handy this is actually a table we've been using here for the Ultimate RV Show, but take a look at this one. So it folds away. It's almost like a card table, but Bobby, see if you can get in there. This one has these under compartments that zip up. Great for storage. If you need spots for the utensils or maybe, you know, hey, the kids are coming in and we need some toys, the board games, bam, got you right there. So the campsite is really when you're talking about what's gonna work for you and what's gonna feel like home. What it boils down to is what feels like home for you. You have so many options, from chairs, to grills, to coolers, to aesthetics, to blankets, to pillows, to tables, seats, things that are gonna help you cook, extenders. I mean, there's so many things that you can take with you on the road that are gonna make it feel like home. What it boils down to is what you like and the good thing you're going to have especially with camping world and gander rv and outdoors is there's so many options for you to choose from you're not going to go wrong with any of them you just need to experiment find the ones that you like the ones that are right for you you might find that you know what chris i don't like doing the propane cooking okay great i love cooking with the wood chips but it takes extra time that's one of those things where you got to really fill it out. You got to go through it. You got to experiment with it. What, what's going to feel good home for you? If you smoke on a smoker at home, bring the wood chips. If you like doing the grilling, get you some of the propane tanks. These work great for the griddles, the travel grills. Plus, you're not hauling around that big 20 pound LP tank with you all the time. Some of the trailers even have the LP quick connects. So if you have a grill you can take with you, you can actually hook those grills up to the LP quick connect and run off the LP on the front of your camper. But once again, when it's coming down to what's gonna make your campsite feel like home, it's your taste. It's what's gonna make you feel at home outside of your camper. You've seen the campers that make you feel like home when you're on the inside. Hopefully some of this stuff here gave you some ideas to say, oh, you know what? I think the captain's chair would work, but if we had more of a plusher style, maybe as low, kind of like that plusher, regardless, it gets you thinking. And that's really what I want you to do. I want you to think about what's going to be right for me setting up my campsite. I'm Chris Young for the Ultimate RV Show. Thank you so much for joining me here. Lots of great stuff coming your way, but hopefully this right here gave you a hand. And next time I see you on the road, you can show me what you did to make your campsite feel like home.
Camping World is the one-stop shop for all your outdoor essentials. Shop chairs and side tables starting at only $9.99 and patio lights starting at $10.99. Grills for only $9.99? Who knew travel could be so easy? Your vacation just got a little brighter, a little tastier, and a little cozier. See America for less when you shop at Camping World. Camco's RhinoFlex 15-foot sewer kit is constructed of 23 mils of durable polyolefin reinforced with a steel wire, making it the world's toughest sewer hose. This ready-to-use kit comes with a pre-attached swivel bayonet fitting and a transparent elbow fitting with detachable 4-in-1 adapter, making for an easy, secure connection from the RV to the sewer station. The RhinoFlex's secure compression feature makes it easier to use and to store. Camco's RhinoFlex 15-foot sewer kit. Get yours today. Camco.net. It's time to do more of what you want, where you want, with the all-new EU2200i generators from Honda. They're quiet, portable, and now packed with 200 more watts of stable power and all new features. Plus, parallel another EU2200 for twice the power, with long run times, outstanding fuel efficiency, and the same reliability you expect from Honda. It's power you can trust. The best things happen outdoors, and they start at Gander RV and Outdoors. Did you know that you can get a fifth wheel that sleeps six for only $1.94 a month? To learn more, visit GanderRV.com today. Welcome back to the ultimate RV show and the <laughs> ultimate rainstorm. So thank you so much, Keith and Tia. Man, I really feel like a campsite is home, especially now. I've popped into these and I'm, uh, I need to fix my hair in one of these in these huge bathrooms. It definitely oh. feels like home. Where's my flat iron? It, it's, I would have always said the humidity is murder on my hair. And Brie, I know it's the same for you. Big but, hair, rain hair, yes, don't care. Yes, I mean, you know, look at it so hard. I ain't a duck. But you know, you're right. It, it, making the campsite feel like home is such an important part of enjoying that camping experience. Now, you guys are a couple. Yes. You like going to the beach. Actually, you guys are going to be moving to the beach We are moving soon. to the beach. I'm so excited. That's exciting. Well, you know, coming up, we actually have some couple fifth wheels. And guys, anything that you see here, Easy RV, just text that to 32094. Because look, you can stay dry while you shop and buy. Well, we're out here swimming like ducks in this downpour. It's a beautiful thing, but it's going to be even more beautiful for you when you get a chance to see how you're going to reconnect with the loved ones on the road. So with true. a couple fifth wheels that are coming up with the Ultimate RV Show right about now. Hey folks, welcome to Couples Fifth Wheels. I'm super excited about this session. We have a lot of great things. So we're gonna look at a couple front living floor plans. We have some rear living floor plans. And basically it's just built with the couples in mind. You know, if you're looking to get out, really enjoy some time away, spend some time in your fifth wheel, that's what we're gonna to cover today. So we're gonna start right here in the Sabre 37 FLH. Now this is a beautiful front living. Sabre does some things that a lot of other manufacturers don't. Uh, before we do get into that though, I just wanna remind everyone, if you're just tuning in, you haven't heard it yet, as we're going through, you're gonna see a lot of RVs that you're going to fall in love with, something that maybe you wanna go and check out, or maybe you want something similar. Well, that's great because we have a lot of different options for you. Here at the Ultimate RV Show, folks, we're truly trying to make it as easy as possible so to, for you to find your next RV. So all you have to do is text EZRV to 32094, put EZRV in the comment section, or call the phone number on your screen, and that'll do a couple things for you. One, it'll lock in your price. Two, it's going to get you in touch with one of our show specialists. They'll be able to walk you through a unit just like the one we're in right now if you're super interested in it. Or, even better, they can actually kind of compare and contrast. Like I said, we're going to show a couple front living rooms today. Not every front living room is the same. They'll be able to help walk you through all the options. You can do virtual visits, take care of the paperwork and everything right over the phone via and via mail. And we can actually deliver it to your front door. Without further ado though, let's jump into the Sabre 37 FLH. Like I said, folks, this is a front living and the great thing about front living is that it gives you that residential living room feel. You can see right up here, we have dual opposing slides really helping opening up this space. You have tri-fold sofas directly across from each other. 
One of the things I really like about a front living is that it's kind of what I like to call a transitional fifth wheel. While in theory it is for couples, if you have you know, maybe some older kids or grandkids or friends that like to come to visit, this can accommodate four adults, as long as they're okay snuggling up with each other. Both of these fold out into two large beds. I'll show you how that's done real quick here. So all I have to do is take these covers off. We'll throw them all over just like that. We'll lift this up, pull out. We have a couple legs, drop those down like so. And then just like this, drop the back cushion. And there you have it, folks. Make up a bed just like that. You can do the same thing on the other side. And so that way, again, even though it's a front living, even though it's a couple's model, you can accommodate guests. Something else that you'll see in the Sabre that's actually pretty unique is this right here. Uh, and this is from the Cherokee line. So they use it in a couple other models, but it is very unique to them, and that's the Zebra blinds. Now, how these work is they're weighted right here, so it lets you control the amount of light you let in. You can see right now that this is blocked out, but if I pull it down, you can see that we can kind of let in more or less light based upon what you want. So it's nice and easy and it gives you a lot of flexibility with the light coming into this front living area. Also right up front, you will see the TV front and center there. On both sides, you have electrical outlets, USB ports, plenty of storage, multimedia center right there, and also underneath is your fireplace. Now the other great thing about this front living, if we spin around right here, as I mentioned, we have the dual opposing sofas, but even better, is this, folks, just the theater seat, right? This is what it's all about. You get to sit right here, you can recline. If you take a look at the cup holder, you'll see several different options. You have a light, you have a massage feature, and you have heat. So when you talk about you know, being able to kick back and relax, this is what allows you to really do that. You have a straight shot across to the TV, so on those rainy days, or you know, just feel like relaxing, maybe you just, again, wanna kick back, take a load off, myself, maybe have a beer or two, right? This is what allows you to do that. And that's why front living fifth wheels are so highly touted. Um, you know, they came out, I wanna say in like 2004-ish, something like that. And they weren't super popular at first, but they really have gained in popularity over the past couple years because of a lot of different floor plans they've started to offer. And we're again, we're gonna see a couple different options. This one I like because it is a bath and a half, which we'll get to in just a moment. First though, we'll check out the beautiful kitchen. You'll see solid surface countertops throughout. You'll see that, that gray solid surface there. Again, electrical outlets and USB ports all over the place in this thing. You'll see some of your controls here, uh, including your tank monitoring panel. You have storage all over here. I'll open this up just to kind of show you, right? Nice side pantry, gotta love that. And a little bit further in, we get into a residential style refrigerator. So you can see the travel lock, nice and easy to take that off, open it up and boom, there you go. Big residential refrigerator, some crisper drawers. You have two freezer compartments right down. Whoop, I got that one locked still. But you have two freezer compartments right down underneath, so that way you can open those up uh, for anything that you wanna freeze. Now, with the residential refrigerator, folks, you will have an inverter that is dedicated to that because again, this does only run off electric. Now, as you take a look here in this center, you have the beautiful center island. They're able to achieve that by giving you dual opposing slides. Now, this island right here, again, solid surface, and I love the sink that they put in it. It's uh, like a black stainless steel is what they're calling it. It's becoming more popular on the residential side. I know, you know, I've went through Home Depot the other day, and you'll see some of like the Samsung refrigerators, uh, and they are using the black stainless, and I think it looks really sharp. You'll also see here, you have the high-rise faucet, so, you know, it's uh, elegant as well as functional. And then you have storage underneath as well as a bank of drawers. Across the way, you'll see the recessed cooktop there. So that way, you know, again, you can just fold this right up and back. And then right behind that is a backsplash electrical outlet there, microwave up top. And then over to this side here, we'll open this up again, another massive pantry plus a bunch of storage. So folks, if you love what you've seen so far, again, this is the Sabre 37 FLH. Let me hit you with the price. If you haven't seen it on the screen already, folks, this one is starting at $401 a month. So if you're looking to get away, this is something that is super reasonable. Now, as we go through these, I know that a lot of people that are getting into these bigger couples models, chances are you probably already have something. And folks, that's awesome. That's perfect because we will give you an excellent value on your trade. And again, you can get all of that pricing and everything we can get you taken care of. Just text EZRV 
to 32094. That'll get you in touch with our show specialist. And we'll be able to walk you through that trade process, financing everything you need and be able to deliver it right to your front door. Or if you do want to go to a dealership, that's great. We can find the closest dealership for you and we can have you pick it up there as well. Take a look over on the other side. As I mentioned, it does have the dual opposing slides. So here you can see your freestanding table and dinette. You got four chairs there. Again, zebra blinds all the way around, really letting in a lot of natural light. One of the things I do want to point out is that I'm six foot tall. And as you can see, I have plenty of room to the top of the, the slide here. So when I get up out of the table, I don't have to worry about banging my head on the slide. Now, as I mentioned, this one is a bath and a half floor plan. I think that's something that's very special about it. Uh, so as you open it up right here, you will see that this is a half bath. Now, this is one of those things that I think is kind of polarizing for people. And again, when I talk about having different layouts, different floor plans, this is one option. It's not the only option for front living. So if you like everything about this, but don't necessarily like the half bath, as I mentioned, just text Easy RV to 32094. We can have a specialist be able to show you some other front living. And again, they can do all virtual walkthroughs just like I'm doing right now to make sure you're getting the right RV for you. Uh, and But the thing I do like about this, and again, I know because of the proximity of the kitchen, it freaks people out, but I personally like having it. I think it's very functional. You know, I don't want my guests, as you'll see, to have to go through my master bedroom to get to the bathroom. So I like the fact they can just come in right here, use the bathroom, and head right back out. But as we do, oh, you know what? I want to hit this real quick. I'm sorry. There is a charging station as well as some additional storage. Um, I do kind of like this. I think it's a fairly efficient use of space because you couldn't really put a, a ton of storage in there. But that way you have a spot to put your cell phones, kind of be able to put things up. As we take a step into the master bedroom. So as you can see, you have quite a bit of space in here. And a lot of that is due to the slide out bed. So that gives you a lot of walking space. You'll see that you have some storage up above, some windows on the sides, and both of those windows do open, which allows for cross ventilation. And that's important in case you don't want to always run the AC. Of course, at the foot of the bed here, you will also see that you have storage on both sides. In the wardrobe, you have hanging storage there. Take a look right in that. And then you have the barn style door that leads to the big master bath. Now, I love this in here. And a couple of things I love is the fact you have the, uh, what they call, you know, commonly call it Jack and Jill bath, the, the dual vanity here. So you have two sinks, both people can get ready at the same time. Uh, this is oftentimes what is referred to as the marriage saver, right? You get, you're not fighting over the bathroom, getting ready at the same time. Uh, so I really do like that front living room floor plans are starting to include this. Over to the side is the shower. I'll take a step in here. And, and of course, as you can see, folks, plenty of room. Six foot tall. I mean, I could be seven foot five and still be able to stand in here and shower. I can spin around. As you'd expect, you know, in a little bit higher end fifth wheel, you get a little more space. You'll also see that you have storage right over there. So I'll open that up for you just so you can take a look. Uh, and you'll notice that you have a hanging rod there. Now, this also is, um, uh, if you want, washer and dryer. That is where it'll go. So it is prepped for it, and that is where you would have it. Now, as we spin around to the other side, storage all across the top here, as well as down below, and then right down in the corner, you will see your foot flush lever toilet with a porcelain bowl. Uh, so again, folks, this is the Sabre 37 FLH. If you are interested, text EZRV to 32094. And as I mentioned, folks, this is just one of several front living. We're gonna go check out another one in a little bit after we look at the outside of the Sabre. You're gonna be super excited. And, and you know, and I can't stress this enough, like the Ultimate RV Show, not only trying to make it easy, but folks, we have a great pricing and you're gonna to wanna to take advantage of that. So if this is the unit for you, 100%, make sure that you're sending that text in. If you're like, yup, I love it, but I want something else, then we just hold on for this hour. We'll get you some other stuff, but you still, want to text that number so we can get you set up. Let's come on out. We'll take a look at the outside of the Sabre here. We'll start right up front. So I always like to start on the, on the front of a fifth wheel when I talk about it, and you can see the front cap. You can see how that just kind of wraps around. You have some lights built into there. As we drop down underneath, you'll see a couple things here. Uh, one of them is auto level. This unit does come with auto level. And folks, again, that is something that you, when you start to get into some higher end fifth wheels, you know, it starts to be very convenient that if you've ever had to level an RV, you know that it can be a little daunting and pushing a button, whoo, maybe that's simple. You'll see that thousand watt inverter I mentioned right there. That is for your refrigerator. Spare tire is mounted in here as well. 
Now when we come back out, your propane is tucked away right back here and I have this open so you can also see the pass-through storage. So uh, pretty good storage in here. And one of the things that I really like, it, you have a worm gear driven slide on here, not to get too technical, but I like to get a little technical sometimes just because I think it's important. So you have a worm gear driven slide. The thing I like about this is the control for it is located right underneath. So when we talk about an RV, we talk about investment, there's always going to be maintenance involved. And so in the rare event that something does happen and your slide is stuck out, you can actually use this box to be able to move it back in. And there's a little button you can hit six times and uh, I believe hold on the sixth or seventh, but that will actually flash a code for you and that uh, you can call that code in and they will tell you exactly what's wrong with that slide and why it's not going in. You take a look right up top and you will see the big power awning. Of course, lights are built right into there. You certainly can appreciate that. And then coming around to the back, this, this is what I love, right? So again, as I mentioned, every front living is a little bit different. One of the things I really like about this one is they give you an outside, uh, I would say kitchen, because there is an LP quick connect. So if you have a grill, you can hook it up. But more importantly is this right here, right? This is what I'm all about. While you absolutely can go inside and you know get in your fridge to grab your beverages, when I'm camping, I like to spend time outside. And this right here allows me to do that a little bit easier. You know, I can put some beverages in there. Friends come over, they can easily grab it. If I have the grandkids, there can be juice right in here. And it just saves me from having to go inside and out of the camper and uh, kind of trudging that dirt throughout. Of course, a little bit of storage right up there. So you want to put some, you know, solo cups so you can pour those drinks in there. You can do that. You'll also see the sink and bowl. And as I mentioned right down below, you can see that ground control that is part of the auto level. And then you have the uh, propane quick connect right there too. Uh, one other last thing, and, and you know, it's kind of low. You probably won't be able to see it on camera, but if you take a look right here, you'll see that the valves are insulated. So you can take a look. Uh, that is something that I, I always look for when looking at some of your higher end uh, fifth wheels. Start to look at some of your couples models. And the reason being is because if you plan on doing any colder weather camping, sometimes late in the fall or early in the winter, Having those insulated valves is an important thing. Otherwise, what can happen, um, it's often referred to as the poopsicle, where uh, unfortunately things will freeze in that last little bit of the pipe. And that's something nobody wants to deal with when it's freezing cold out. So we come around to the back, folks. Last couple things I want to hit on here before we move on. And that is the fact the Sabre does have uh, the ladder on here with a fully walkable roof. And you also have backup camera prep right up there. So with something big like this, it's probably not a bad idea to have a backup camera so you can see behind you. And remember, folks, if you are interested in this RV or one like it, if you just love the front living, you're going to see another one in a second. And you'll be like, yeah, Ian, I love it, but I want to see what else is out there. That's great. That's what we're here for. We have people standing by literally to help you, whether it's in person, on the phone, all you have to do is text EZRV to 32094 or drop it in the comments section below. If you love this one, it'll also secure the price on this one for the time of the show, and it'll get you in touch with that specialist so we can give you that virtual walkthrough. Folks, we have over 25,000 pieces of inventory. All right, let's go check out the next. Hey everybody, thank you once again for joining us for the Ultimate RV Show. We are right here in the Ultimate Campsite. You spent a lot of time searching some beautiful units, picking out the one that's just right for you. Well now, we've brought in some specialists like my friend David Teague here to help you pick out the products that are gonna work best for your RV. If you're interested in anything that we have here in the Ultimate Campsite, you can message, you can call, or you can text. So, comment camp if you're watching us on any of the feeds. You can text camp to 32094 or you can give us a call 866-235-8751. Now, David Teague, thank you for joining us here at Ultimate sure RV thing, Show. Chris, have I said great. have I said Ultimate too many times? Never, never. You can say Ultimate as much as you want. This is the Ultimate Campsite. It is the Ultimate it Campsite. And That's we're going to give you Ultimate discounts on everything that you see here at the Ultimate RV Show. Yeah. So I brought in one of our Ultimate specialists, David Woo. Teague. Dude, so thank you so much for joining us. He's at our Concord Glad store. You. And whenever you get a chance to get into a gander or a camping world, you're going to meet people like David who help you figure out what you need. Lots of people buying new RVs. Yes. Power Definitely. is important. Power is key. Tell Power's me about key. these two right here. Venture well, imagine, Forward Cords. Imagine yourself going to a campground mm -hmm. and you're a little short. Always. Yeah, always two, happens. three. Yeah, it's always like two, three feet. Yeah. Every campground is different. All your RVs are different. Yep. You might as well be prepared. Never go without. Right. That's simple as that. You have a 30 amp and a 50 amp. Clearly, if you have a 30 amp, you want to go with your 30 amp campers. 
If it only has one AC, typically you have 30 amp. If you have two ACs, you're most likely going to definitely have a 50 amp, and you do not want to go down to a 30. Simple it, as that. It's not good to mix and match, no, right? No, why, why would you yeah. do it? I mean, you can always get the dog bones, but I always say if you're trying to go down or up, you're talking about changing voltage inside a unit that's using electrical components. Is that pretty much why it's not good to do that? Well, amperage-wise, I mean, you don't want something drawn off a of 30, a 50 amp right. camper drawn off of that. It's going to be too much. It's not going to supply the power. You start heating up cords. You're heating up mm -hmm. things. You want to make sure you have the right gauge wire. You want to have the right amount of power to it. I know these are heavy duty cords. Now this one here, this 30 amp, this is 25 feet long. Mm -hmm. This 50 amp is 30 feet long. But I'm noticing, I mean, we got like some heavy duty tubing on this. We got heavy duty handles. Tell me about some of the features on these Venture well, Forward cables. You have to have good insulation. So you mm -hmm. want to make the strongest insulation. So either way, uh, we've done really well with the Venture Forwards, making sure they're, they're made properly. Um, very well sealed for moisture, keeping that for moisture oh, getting that's in. You a don't big want one. that to happen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, these handle things are great because, especially with a 50 amp, yeah. they can be really hard to get apart. Let me tell you what, you trying to just, together, yeah, yeah. from the post, just trying to get that, yeah. Kind of, we're, we're fighting <laughs> to get it away from it. But with these things, that helps a lot. So we can really get and it's on, And Same, this one even has here. the grab yes. handle too. Oh yeah, you gotta okay. have it for that too. Gotta have that for that too. So if I'm powering up my units, extension and the right power is very important okay. and we have a special deal you know this is the ultimate rv show we're at the ultimate campsite we're going to give you some discounts for example this right here 25 foot 30 amp cord regular price 72.99 but right now during the ultimate rv show only during the ultimate rv show $46.07. Can't beat that unless you're a Good Sam member. Good Sam members, your price, $43.77. You want that, just comment camp in the comment section below. You can text camp to 32094 or give us a call 866-235-8751. Now, you need the 50 amp, you need the big boy. How about this? $222.99. That's the regular price on oh, this, yeah, which is still a pretty good deal. Promo price during the Ultimate RV show, you're looking at $178.91. You got two ACs on that new camper you just bought. You need this. Good Sam members, guess what? You're gonna save an additional 5%. Your total, $169.97. So if you want any of those deals, promo prices going on right now on both of these at the Ultimate RV Show, just message CAMP down below or text CAMP to 32094 or give us a call 866-235-8751. With the Ultimate RV Show, Ultimate Campsites, David, some of our other friends are going to be helping us find the right products for you and you're only going to get these prices during the Ultimate RV Show. So take advantage of them right now. And here we are. So this is the Wildwood Heritage Glen 378 front living. And as I mentioned a little bit ago, if you saw the Sabre, there's a big difference in front living rooms and you're gonna see it as we go through this one. Now, if you're just tuning in, uh, front living room fifth wheels are great for a lot of reasons. The main one being the fact that this is very residential up here. It gives you a spot to sit back and relax. And if you did watch the previous video, you of course will say, well, Ian, I know you say there's a lot of differences, but this is looking pretty similar. And you're right, because this is the front living room portion, and this is kind of the main area. This is what it's all about. This is, allows you to entertain. It allows you to have guests. If guests want to stay the night, you have beds they can stay the night on. If you don't want them to stay the night, just don't tell them the couch folds out. They'll go home. It's fine. Uh, and so as you can see, we'll take a look over here. One of the things I really like is the uh, in the Heritage Glen, I like the patterns that they've chose, the fabrics that they chose here. Um, it, it, it's still like a, a vinyl, so it cleans up nice and easy, but it almost has like that cloth look to it. Uh, it's kind of like a, a almost a matte finish, and I personally really like this. I think it looks nice and high end, and it's extremely comfortable. When I'm sitting in here, you can see that I can still clear the slide, no problem. We have lights up here, windows all the way around. And again, I like the window dressings they've chosen. They kind of like the little tabs that come over that are decorative there. You'll also see the roller shades that are built in so you can pull those down. Again, if someone is sleeping out here, that way it blacks out. Those are blackout shades so that they are nice and comfortable uh, while they're sleeping. Now we take a look up front. Again, in any front living, this is kind of how it's built. And you have the TV right on the center because that is going to kind of be this center focus up here on the side. A little bit of storage, the beautiful glass. You'll see the multimedia center right here in the middle has a DVD player built in to watch a movie. You know, maybe you have a movie collection. Uh, I know that streaming is a big thing, but sometimes in the campground, you can't necessarily get Wi-Fi. If you want Wi-Fi, that's great. You'll see it is pre-wired for it, so you're able to do that. 
Uh, but again, some places you just can't. So bringing DVDs, having the ability to play DVDs can be pretty essential. You also see to the side there, you have some speakers and then your beautiful fireplace right down below with more storage on the side. On the other side, as I mentioned, is another tri-fold sofa. And as I said, both of those do fold out into a bed. So we spin around here, we'll take a look at the theater seat. So right over here, Thomas Paine, it's all Thomas Paine furniture, great stuff. Uh, you'll see the, the cup holders that you have here. So you can actually double tap these. Um, oh, might not be working right now. There we go. So it, and it'll light up just like that. It lights up the cup holder as well as underneath. So you get some accent lighting. And of course, both of these are recliners because let's be honest, if you have a front living, you just want to kick back, relax, be able to watch the game, your movie, whatever it is. And this gives you the ability to do it. Um, now, we also have an AC up here. There's another one in the back. So we do have two ACs. You can see that those are fully ducted throughout. It also has a quick dump option, which I think is important because, you know, it gets a little bit hotter up here because it is higher, but you can open these up and it will dump all that cool air right into this area. And again, just kind of help cool things down. So, folks, if you love what you're seeing so far, you're going to want to text EZRV to 32094. Put EZRV in the comment section below or call the number on your screen. It's going to do a couple things for you. One, it's going to lock in the price on this unit. So if you're like Ian, the Heritage Glen, 378 front living, I want it. Perfect. We have great pricing here at the Ultimate RV Show. We'll lock that in. It'll also get you in touch with our show specialist, and they'll be able to help guide you through. They can show you other units just like this one on the lot, be able to compare and contrast some of the different front living room models. And as we see, as we step down into the kitchen, if you were watching for the Sabre, this is a very different kitchen space. You can see, you know, it, we have a wall here, right? Just a blank wall, which is fine because we built some stuff into the back. Different refrigerator. Take a look at this. You have kind of like a wine chiller almost on the side, you know, or it's kind of see-through, a little bit uh, more high-end looking, if you will. You can see right there, plenty of space right down underneath. We'll open that up and look at all the drawers you have. So freezer down below, fridge up top, wine chiller on the side. Man, feels like a nice night out, right? Right here, you'll see microwave. And I like the wood that they used here. It's a little bit uh, more natural than what a lot of manufacturers are putting in. So if you like that look, this is a, a great one for it. Then you have the herringbone subway tile in the back. They use a gray subway tile rather than white, which I think is a good choice in this one because of the white swirl countertop. Then three burner cooktop with uh, recessed. Also, you have the oven up top, but I wanna show you this as well. Take a look at that. You have pots and pan storage right down below, which is really cool. Of course, you have a center island because again, you have dual opposing slides here. This gives you plenty of prep space, undermount stainless steel bowl. You have the rolling drying rack on here. So that way, you know, you can have it just like that. You can use it as a drying rack, use it as prep space, roll it up when you're done with it. You have the oil rub bronze high rise pull out faucet, make it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes. We've got a bunch of storage up front and we have lights underneath just to kind of accent it and make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, across the way here, storage. I'll open it up just to kind of give you an idea of how deep this storage is, right? That's good pantry space there. Drawers all the way down. And then you have additional space here. Now, this is a, a kind of a multi-use space, right? If you want to put your cups, bowls, things like that in there, you absolutely can. Or if you want to make like a, like a little coffee bar, something like that, you can certainly do that. As you'll see, you have an electrical outlet right there, very easily accessible for your coffee maker. Some additional storage right down below. If we flip around, what I want to show you is right over here, and this is your, uh, your dining area. So again, they all have kind of a natural wood look, which is something we just don't see very often throughout the industry. Really cool. Uh, you have the four chairs. The chairs do lift up, so you have storage underneath, little leaf that pops up here, windows all the way around, and again, the nice balances, kind of a farmhouse-style residential light, which is pretty cool. Making our way back, main control panel is located here, window across the way, so this is going to let in some natural light. And then if you take a look, I'll pop this open so you can actually take a look at the bathroom. So stainless steel bowl in there, you can see the large shower, plenty of headroom. You'll also notice you have a mirrored medicine cabinet right there. And again, it's a very spacious bathroom, so you have plenty of room on the toilet. Now folks, probably one of the coolest things about this floor plan uh, is gonna be actually right up here. So before we go up, there is a door behind. I will say that, I'm sorry, so there's a door right here so that uh, if you need to exit or enter right through here, you can. But also, 
Take a look right up here. And the reason the door is there, folks, is because as you go up here, you will see something that you probably just did not expect in a front living. Now, most of the time, as I mentioned, they are a couple's models, and it still by all means is. But take a look up here. If you have guests, you have grandkids, you have kids, this gives you the space for people to sleep. It's tucked up. It's out of the way. You have two bunks. You have electrical outlets up there, USB ports up there. Uh, you can't really see it right now, but on the, the wall that is uh, on the stairs, there's also uh, cabinets there as well as a spot to hook up a TV. So folks, it really is a fully functional room up there, uh, which is honestly just, just wonderful. I mean, I love the versatility that it offers, but again, it's still out of the way. So, you know, that way, if you don't always have the kids, great, you don't have to use it. Guests come to stay, grandkids come, you have the space for them. And that's a big deal. You know, I know as you get a little bit older, well, yes, it's mainly just going to be two of you. You know, if you have grandkids, you want them to come. That's part of camping. You get to enjoy it, right? You get to live the lifestyle. You get to teach them how to ride a bike, teach them how to swim. That, for me, is what camping was all about growing up. And I love that my grandparents are involved with my, with my children because we can do exactly that. When we take a step into the bedroom, you will see the slide-out bed, kind of the checkerboard headboard, a little bit different, but you know, again, I like it. I think it's very unique. Windows, again, on both sides there. You have the big window on the back to let in that natural light, and as you saw with the rest of it, we have the blackout shades. Dresser right down here at the foot of the bed. TV hookup. If you want TV, you can see that right here. Again, storage all the way throughout. And if we spin around, take a look right over here. So what you actually have down there is another wardrobe. Now, that being said, if you don't need the wardrobe or maybe you want washer and dryer, that is where it will go. So if you want washer, dryer, folks, that's going to be the place for it. Uh, otherwise, again, as I mentioned, you get a big wardrobe. So making our way back out here, folks, you know, just something that I, I want to reiterate, right? I, when we started this, uh, this session off, I, I kind of mentioned that not everything is, is made equal. You hear a front living, you have an idea of what it is, but they're not all the same, as you can clearly see by the Heritage Glen. So that's why I say it's so important to text EZRV to 32094. I know a lot of people are thinking, well, you know, this isn't the one for me, and guys, that's absolutely fine. But just text to that number, because that way our specialists can reach out to you and they can find you the perfect front living and they can give you a virtual tour just like I'm doing right now. So it's truly the easiest way to shop for an RV. So you can do it all from the comfort of your home. All right, folks, let's take a look, uh, look outside here. We'll walk on out. Of course, we have the nice stairs. You can see the aluminum stairs here. It's very solid step. Big grab handle as well. So that gives you excellent control when entering or exiting the RV. Let's take a walk up front. Something I always like to show. Because, you know, this is kind of what your RV looks like going down the road, right? You want to see it. So you have the big, beautiful front cap. You can see it's painted there, uh, wraps around, of course, as you would expect, some storage right up front, auto level. That is one of those things that is uh, really important, right? When we talk about setup, when we talk about easy, you know, this, this show is all about easy use and auto level is all about making it easy to set up your RV. You literally touch a button and it will do the rest for you. No longer do you have to, you know, back up and pull forward and build up blocks. Nope. You just put some blocks underneath your jack pads, push a button, and in a few minutes, you're level and ready to start kicking back and enjoying some cocktails. You'll see some speakers right outside. I like this, right? They light up, which is kind of cool. Uh, but also, you know, it just it's a good place to be able to play some music. You can set up right here. I like when manufacturers have outside speakers, and these are tied to that multimedia center inside, but it is Bluetooth capable. As we take a look inside, you'll see a couple things. One is this big gray box, folks. That's the inverter that is dedicated to your refrigerator. That makes it so as you're, because it's electric only, as you're traveling down the road, right, it can take the power from your truck and make sure everything is staying cold inside that refrigerator. You'll also see this, huh, handy, little bottle opener, and then a battery disconnect. Now, that's another one of those things where it's quality of life. You can flip that battery disconnect, kill all power to the RV. So in the times you're not using it, if you're not living in it full time, you need to store it for a little bit, you can just flip that disconnect and you don't have that small drain on the battery draining it out. We take a look up top and you notice the power awning, big power awning on there. You have an uh, LED light strip running the whole thing. And if you take a look, you will notice right here, you have a spot for a TV. And again, it's underneath the awning, so it's covered to so get a little more shades. The sun's not beating down on it. Cable's going to be right there, electric right there. You can set up all your camp chairs. And again, you know, do we go camping to sit outside and watch TV? Not necessarily. But if you've never done it, 
It's a pretty good experience. I recommend it. To make our way back a little bit further, this is the secondary entrance that I showed you, the solid step. If you haven't seen these before, they do just, when you open up the door, they fold right up into the door jam. And again, folks, you have the extra large grab handles. This is something that's really important. If you're a little bit older and you have bad knees, this gives you a lot of control from that very first step. You can grab right here, use it to pull you up, and then you have this to help you up. The other thing I really like is for the opposite, and that's where I think a lot of people uh, really don't give this style bar credit, and that's because when you walk out, you have this to help support you coming down. A lot of times, it's a little bit tougher to grab a standard grab handle, so these big ones really do make life a lot easier. If you're a dog person, this one is also a great option. The reason being, you have a spot to tie your dog up right there. You don't have to worry about putting a stake in your ground, nothing like that. Super simple, built you know, right into the RV. And also these steps, one other thing I didn't mention, folks, is that these are dog friendly. These are pet friendly. You know, so it's nice and easy for the dog to be able to walk up in there. So uh, if you have pets, again, this uh, Wildwood Heritage right here is a great option. This one does have an extended season package. So that way you can, again, camp a little bit later uh, into the fall, kind of in the start of those winter months, maybe in the spring when it's a little bit colder. And when we come around to the back, you will also see here that rear mounted ladder so you can climb up onto the roof. Any RV folks, no matter what it is, we talked maintenance a little bit ago, you should always get up on your roof a couple times a year and do some inspection. Now, if you don't want to, that's great. You know, I know a lot of times people that get the uh, you know, the larger fifth wheels like this, they don't want to get up there. It's a ways up and that's fine. You can bring it to a camping world, folks, and we will take care of it for you. So again, folks, I just kind of want to reiterate, right? When we talk about front living fifth wheels, there's a lot of differences. We're going to see that when we get in the rear living in just a second. If, if you didn't like the front living at all, but you still want a couple's model, don't go away yet because we do have those rear living coming up. But what I want to tell you is it's important to text EZRV to 32094 or put EZRV in the comment section or just call us on the phone. Because folks, what that's going to do is it's going to put you in touch with our show specialists. And from there, we're, they're going to be able to kind of guide you through the process and make life as easy as possible for you. If you're not ready to buy right now, that's fine. That's great. Most people aren't. But what we're going to do is we're going to help find the one that's right for you. We'll be able to guide you through the front livings, rear livings, rear den. Be able to see a lot of things that we're not able to see today. Get you on a virtual show. If you have an RV now, that's fantastic. We can absolutely take trade-ins, be able to walk you through that process too. And folks, we have over 25,000 units on the ground right now. So when I say there's a lot of options when it comes to RVs, right, that's an understatement. There's a lot out there and we are truly here to help walk you through it. So folks, I hope you enjoyed the front living. As I said, in just a moment, we're going to head out and take a look at some of the rear living, a little bit different floor plans and see some of the differences between those. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. An RV isn't exactly a traditional mode of transportation, which is why the Good Sam Insurance Agency isn't exactly a traditional insurance agency. We're experts in RV insurance, and our plans, policies, and coverage are as flexible and open as the roads you take in your RV. See how much you can save on specialized RV insurance. For a limited time, receive a $10 Camping World merchandise certificate when you get a free quote from the Good Sam Insurance Agency. The Good Sam Insurance Agency, wherever your adventure takes you. You know, Ian Baker is out there just crushing it right now, Bria. He, he does such a great job walking through, giving you the features of those couple's fifth wheels. I mean, I'm sold. I, I'm sold. Too. Well, I told him last night, I already bought four, but they're on his credit card with his social security number. Add because me why not? Welcome back, of course, to the Ultimate RV Show. Chris Young here with Bria Sharon. And, you know, today 
We do have some inclement weather. It's not the most beautiful day, but that's why you can stay dry and shop and buy by texting Easy RV to 32094. We're going to give you a chance to see all of these units virtually, go through them, try to get through all that stuff. But when you text Easy RV to 32094, if you're interested in a couple's fifth wheel camper, you can also go by Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors. Somebody will be able to walk you through, answer your questions, the whole nine. That's so true. Now, I know you guys are a couple. That and, we are. And you have that big fitness company, yeah. you know, Miss North Carolina, United States. Try. So wouldn't you just love to be able to go down to the beach and have that couple's fifth wheel, like that that heritage that he just showed us, I'm sold on that one. The way they had the washer and dryer prep right there off to the side, a little special spot. T- tell me that wouldn't be great. And plus doing fitness on the beach from a fifth wheel. Honestly, it's perfect. And you know what? I was thinking in a day like to the, today. We, there's enough room to even do some push-ups on the floor, some well, sit-ups on the floor. I mean, you know, you can go run outside and you're right there on the beach, but there's room in the camper. They're so big. You say push-ups, plural. I'm thinking push-up, uh, as in push my butt up out of the recliner that I know Ian is going to have for us in one of these couples' fifth wheels. As the Ultimate RV Show continues, be sure to text Easy RV to 32094. Ian, what else you got, buddy? And as I promised, folks, here we are in a rear living. This is the Montana High Country 295 RL. Now, one of the things you'll notice right away, something that I really like about this one, is the fact that it's a little bit shorter. So, you know, if you're looking for something a little bit shorter, not, you know, overly large, the front livings can get a little bit big, then this is one that you definitely want to take a look at. And as you will see with the rear living, the main idea here is that we're going to kind of blend the main living area with the kitchen. Now, again, that's not always necessarily true. We have different rear living floor plans. Sometimes you have some, uh, you know, some different things in the back. The kitchen's a little bit more separated, but a lot of the floor plans will be somewhat similar to this. But again, everything's different. A little confusing, I know. So as we start off, one of the things I want to start off is right over here on the door side slide. So what you'll notice, folks, that you have four chairs you have your uh, table right here, and the table does have a leaf built in, so that way you can extend it out, get a little more space there, and that way you know you have a little more elbow room. You'll also see windows all the way throughout the slides, just letting in a ton of natural light. The blackout shades there as well. Theater seats right here, again, Thomas Paine collection. Uh, you know, very comfortable. And one of the things I like about this, you'll see I have little controls, right? Right here, so it's a USB port. That allows me to plug in my phone, but also controls. And what that does is when I push the button, everything is powered. I can kick back just like that, lay back, and we're done here. No, just kidding. Uh, but as you can see, guys, it is uh, extremely comfortable, very easy to use. Now, why I bring this up is because a lot of people, when, you are, um, when you're when you RVing and you have the recliners, a lot of times it's really hard actually to push those down and in. It can be a little tough a little bit of strain on the hamstring. Again, if you have bad knees, being able to, or having to slam that back in is actually more difficult than, than you may think. Uh, but with this, it's super simple. It's just touch of a button, it's out, touch of a button, it's back in. Now, the big thing about this pl- uh, floor plan in particular on the 295 is again, directly across the theater seating, right there, folks, is my entertainment center. I don't have to crane my neck. I don't have to look one way or the other. I can sit back, relax, and there it is. I also have speakers built in. I have the multimedia center, fireplace down below. Uh, I can see kind of the basket weave pattern that they have, kind of something that's unique and a good contrast from the the lighter wood. Uh, Also storage up top, you know, they used a decorative glass here, which I like. And, you know, as far as the storage space, you can see, I mean, it's, it's not insignificant, right? There's quite a bit of storage up there. And one of the things I think they did really well in the, in the high country in particular is that color contrast. They used a lighter wood, but they accented it with a darker wood. So that way it doesn't get washed out. You know, a lot of manufacturers are lightening up this year. I've, I had this joke with someone the other day. We were talking and they said, you know, Ian, I don't think anyone this year asked for darker wood. And, and you're absolutely right, right? Everyone wants lighter wood and that's what manufacturers are bringing in. Uh, but they don't want to make it too light because it washes it out. And I think high country did a great job in balancing that. You can see the storage all across the top there, and again, windows all along the back. Now, one of the things I do wanna point out, and again, as I said, everything is a little bit different. There's a lot of rear living floor plans out there. So as we go through this, folks, just keep that in mind, because after this, we're gonna check out another. And if you like either of them, or you wanna see what else is out there, 
then what you're going to want to do is text EZRV to 32094. Put it in the comments section below. Pick up a phone. Call the number that's on your screen. And if you love this one, that's great because it will lock in that show pricing for you. And folks, the price for this one, if you haven't seen it, it starts at $415 a month, which is extremely reasonable. But the other reason I want you to do it is even if you're just kind of in that beginning phase, you're just getting interested in RVing. Folks, we're truly trying to make the Ultimate RV Show as easy as possible. And so what we'll do is when you text, when you comment, when you call, that will get you in touch with our show specialists. And their job is truly to try to make it as easy as possible to show you options that are out there. So if you like real living, but you want to see some different ones, great. Text that number. We'll reach out. We'll be able to show you virtual live walkthroughs. And if you do love one, if you find one that you're like, yes, that is the one. I'm so glad they showed me. We can take care of everything over the phone, uh, right over through the mail, and then we can actually deliver it to your doorstep. So definitely something that you want to check out, folks. It's it's something new that we're offering, and it, it really will, I think, revolutionize things because it truly is the easiest way to ever shop for an RV. So uh, as, as I mentioned, when we took a look at the back, right, so we're talking about rear living. So you have the theater seats, you have the back, you will see the sofa. Now this is a trifold, right? And if you haven't seen it before, basically how these work is we take the cushions off right here. And what you'll notice on this one in particular, right? So we talk about, okay, what are some of the advantages, but you know, I guess differences between rear living, front living, besides being in the front or being in the back. When we looked in the front living, you saw you had two sofas, but if you noticed, both of them were love seats, right? They just had two cushions. This one right back here, because it's in the back along that back wall, allows it to be wider. So now you have a three cushion sofa, but that also means that you get a wider bed. So that way, you know, if you have a couple adults and uh, maybe they don't want to snuggle up quite as much, uh, you know, this gives you the ability to do that. Cause you can see right here, if I lay on my side, I mean, I have plenty of room for someone right there. You know, there, there, no questions asked throw a pillow there, uh, and it makes for a good night's sleep. If Again, if you're new to the RV industry and you haven't seen these before, the reason that people really like trifolds is unlike the traditional pullout where you have a bar in your back, you wake up, you know, you're sore, or an air mattress, a lot of times you try to hunt where the hole is, you know, it just keeps deflating. The trifolds, folks, are super easy to set up and tear down, and they are comfortable. And the best part about it is if you don't want to tell someone that they can stay over, they'll probably never know. You know, look at this. This looks like a normal sofa. Yeah, sorry. I love you, mom-in-law, but you got to go. Just kidding. I love my mother-in-law. Of course she can stay. Um, if you take a look across the way, you'll see again that entertainment centers I mentioned, folks. And stepping into the kitchen, what you'll notice is all of these solid surface countertops. So uh, again, you know, when we go into the higher-end couples models, you get higher-end amenities. So we have the solid surface all the way through. That allows you to undermount the sink. Now, a couple things here. One, I want to talk about the sink itself because that's something I think that Montana and Montana High Country do very well is they give you massive sinks. If you take a look, if you just without this other bowl, without this bowl right here, that's a big enough sink that a lot of RVs would use. But they give you this side one too, so you have one to wash, you have one to rinse. It's nice and deep as well, so you can fit some of your bigger pots and pans in there. And you have the high rise faucet. You'll also, there's also storage all down the front right here. We'll turn on some lights. And this is something else I want to point out. You have a spot for your trash can and it does come with sink top covers. So if you, you know, want to use it for prep space, you can just put one right on here, use this for prep, still have access or vice versa. If you just need like a little bar sink, making drinks over here, you have that too. Then right behind me, you will see that you have your cooktop with good uh, space on both sides. That's something that a lot of times You'll get one side or the other, or they will shrink it down, you know, so it's just super narrow. But this is pretty good space. And as you can see, you have an electrical outlet on both sides, making this a great spot for a coffee maker, toaster, blender, something like that. We'll see in just a little bit that there's another option too, but this is definitely a great option in this floor plan. And then I like the backsplash they chose, again, kind of pulling in some of those grays, tans, the beiges. Storage all the way around. You'll see the large microwave there. Underneath is your oven. Uh, again, this one does just fold up and back. You have the oven there, and then underneath, again, you have additional storage plus more storage on both sides. Moving back a little bit further, rather moving up, I should say, you get the residential refrigerator. So, oh, look at that water. I am getting kind of thirsty. Um, but you'll see how big it is, right? Uh, I believe it's 18 cubic foot they put in these folks. It's absolutely huge. You have uh, crisper drawers all over the place. You'll also see underneath you get your uh, freezer. And the important thing here, folks, 
is an ice maker. So uh, that's one of the things for me that I really like residential refrigerators because I always want ice and it comes with it. If you know you don't want that, you can always get a portable one. You know, we sell them at Camping World. You can find them other places, but uh, the portable ice maker is great. Put it in, you can make ice for your drinks. I go through a lot of ice. You'll also see this right here, pop-up countertop extension. Not only do you have the big island, but you have additional prep space right over to this side. And as I promised, you'll see right over here, you have this secondary little bar area. Now, you can, if you want it, you know, temporary, you can run something up and plug it right into here. But kind of the idea here is that this is just more decorative and that you, uh, they made this so you can put your phones and stuff up here, kind of like we saw in the Sabre where it had like a charge station, something similar there so everything's up and out of the way. Storage up top, storage down below, and right over here is your pantry. So that's something else that you'll find in, uh, you know, in a lot of rear livings. They're now putting pantries in, which is something we didn't see, you know, three, four years ago. And I'm glad that they are starting to do more of it. So we come up the stairs. Something I want to point out is actually right down here built into the step. And folks, that's your central vac. Sorry, my shoes are a little beat up, but um, you'll see the central vac here. So that way you can just hook up your hose and you can vacuum basically the whole camper out, right? One of the things we're trying to do is make it easy to clean, eliminate carpet. Um, and, you know, I forgot to point it out, but when we were looking at the dinette, they actually removed the carpet in the slide. It's now a, a marine vinyl, which makes it super easy to clean up. It's very durable. Uh, so, again, they're trying to make strides in making things uh, just easier for you. Now, again, I think High Country does a great job of it. We come up the steps. You'll see a bunch of doors here. So one goes into the bedroom. The other one comes into the bathroom. Then you have the secondary entrance into the bedroom here. So you have a medicine cabinet. You have, uh, of course, a vent right up top. The toilet is tucked back in the corner behind the door, uh, but there is plenty of space when the door is shut. And then you'll see the shower right over here. As I step inside, folks, again, I'm six foot tall. You can see that I have a uh, plenty of space. And then right outside the shower, you have storage. Open that up. You see big storage there. I'll open it up just to kind of show you down here. Uh, now, if you want washer and dryer, I don't know if you can see it, but there is washer dryer prep in there. And that's, again, something that will change from rear living to rear living. Not every rear living fifth wheel is going to have washer and dryer prep. So if that's something that's important to you, that's something that you'll want to tell our specialists when you text that easy RV to 32094. So that way they know that what you're looking for is something with washer prep and they can start going through some of those options. Now we come into the bedroom, you'll see all sorts of stuff over here. Of course, you have your bed uh, right here, and that is in the same slide as that storage. You can see the uh, window over to this side. And you have a bank of drawers right down here. But more importantly, if you take a look up front, this is something I love. And we'll see this when we head outside. But folks, you have a big, beautiful windshield. Open that up for you just to kind of take a look. Uh, but you'll also see they have a blackout shade. So that way, you know, if you want to sleep in, you still have the ability to do it. Of course, you also have chargers up there and then storage all throughout as well as on both sides. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we are going to head outside. Uh, so we can take a quick look at the outside. But as I mentioned, folks, if you are interested in the Montana High Country 295RL, you're going to want to text EZRV, put it in the comment section, or call the phone number, and that will lock in the price for you. Even if you're not, even if you're not sold on this one, but you still want to look at options, you're going to do the same thing because that will get you to our specialist folks. They're going to be able to walk you through and be able to find the right RV for you. Let's take a look at the outside. So as we take a step down the stairs, one of the things you'll see, folks, look, I'm over 200 pounds. Look at this. I can like hop on these steps and they don't flex, right? It's not like your standard steps where you have all that flex in there. I'm a pretty big guy. I can run up and down these and they are super sturdy. And just like we saw before, if you watched the previous video, they're also pet friendly so they can hop right up in there. One of the things I really like about this one though, and I'll show you right here, is how easy this is to lift. Look at this. Folks, I I'm telling you, my pinky. I can literally lift this, this huge step system with my pinky. It is truly that simple. You got the grab handle there as well. As we make our way around the front, let's come right up here. So I love the paint job that High Country has, right? So if we take a look, you'll see up here that big, beautiful front cap. And I want to show you guys that windshield. Because again, that is something that you don't find on, on a lot of fifth wheels and especially on rear living. I've seen, you know, you'll see it a little more in front living, but rear living, not near as common. So if you love the windshield, you want the windshield, you like that extra light, that is definitely one that you are going to want to uh, talk to the specialists about. You'll see the storage right underneath, right up front, access to the battery there, making our way down a little bit. You know, you have your propane tanks here, 
auto level, right? We're seeing a recurring theme with some of these, uh, you know, nice couples models. And then as we take a look inside again, big pass-through storage there. You have TV hookup if you want a TV. Took a look at the steps, but look at the awnings. Look at that. You have double awnings here. So you not only have the one over the main area, you have another one on the slide. Both of those, of course, are powered. And then you have your uh, LED lights on both. And you also see a slide topper on the one. Right above the slide, you'll see where the topper is there. Now, the reason I really like those is not just for rainwater, but for me, more importantly, is sticks, pine cones, things that you may park underneath will fall. And then a lot of times they'll fall on top of your slide. What happens is if you don't get up and brush that slide off and you go to pull the slide in, those sticks and pine cones and stuff can get jammed in those seals. So by having that slide top around there, when you roll that slide in, those are just going to fall right off. And that way it's not going to damage your seals. It's just a little bit easier and safer. So again, folks, I hope you enjoyed this one. This is the Montana High Country 295 RL. If you love it, you want some pricing, you are definitely going to want to text Easy RV to 32094. If you want to see some other rear living models, that's wonderful because we're going to hit another one in just a moment. And plus, if you text that number, you comment or you give us a call, we will be able to walk you through them. So folks, I hope you're enjoying the show so far. I'm excited we have one left. Let's go get it. Hey guys, Kaylin and David here at the Ultimate Campsite. Did you see that unit that they just went through? Oh my goodness, that was amazing. That was a beautiful unit. After we finish up talking about the porta packs here, I'm gonna go check it out. So, <laughs> if I go uh, MIA for a little bit, that's where I'm at. So, guys, we are going to show you the awesome porta packs. And if you, at any point during our uh, talk here, want to purchase one, you can comment camp below or text camp to 32094 or give us a call at 866 235 8751. So, David, why do I need porta packs? Oh, my goodness. Now, Wallex has, is one of my favorite brands, to be honest with you. So, I like simplicity. I want something I can drop right in and, and be done with it. All right, so some of the other ones you have to measure out, chemicals and whatnot. This guy, it's an already sealed little pack. It'll dissolve when it goes into the water, the wastewater, and flush a little bit of water in there too, and you're set. You get that nice smell. I don't know if you've uh, ever checked some of these out, but you can kind of get a little hint. It almost smells like bubble gum to me. Oh yeah, it does, yeah. it does, so okay. You always see those other ones that are like blue or something like that, and they smell like a, they actually smell like a porta john Not these, porta pack. Uh, by Wallex, uh, this one like bubble gum. They have a few other smells. They have like a tropical breeze, so we can get like a pina colada. You'll feel okay. like you're on an island somewhere, right? <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I gotcha. Yeah. Um, key things with these, you got to take deodorizer in there, but you also have enzymes. Um, this one's mostly going to be your deodorizer, a little bit light on the enzymes, uh, but at the same time, this would be for those people that maybe have a large crowd, maybe a short session that they're going to be there. Uh, they might want to use that. If they want to get one with a little bit more enzymes in it uh, for a long haul, then again, you get that, it'll eat away at all the waste and stuff. It'll basically disintegrate it quicker and it doesn't put out as much smell. So it's really, comp it's, it's really interesting how so many consumers and how many products we have, we have to circle around that. So porta pack gives us all those options. So is there anything else that I'm going to need to put in my tank that I might confuse this with? No, no, no. Anything else can mix in there if you want to. Um, you know, sometimes there's tank cleaners and things like that, but there's no, I mean, nothing's going to mess up with okay. each other. You okay. can definitely add other additives. Gotcha. All right. So uh, once again, guys, you can ca comment camp down below or text CAMP to 32094 or give us a call at 866-235-8751. And I did want to ask, mm -hmm. so whenever you are dumping, should I be worried about anything as far as like uh well the chemicals and is it a solid or is it like whenever i throw the pod in the washer and i don't see it anymore uh this does dissolve so okay. again, yes it completely dissolves out you're not going to see it you might notice it has a little t hint of blue with this one um some of the others have a different color to them but you might have that hint in there but again it's going to go with the waste when it's cleared out when you're ready to well, after you finish dumping close it up drop another pack in okay 
put some more water in there and you're set for the next session. Gotcha. Yep. So for the ultimate RV show, the Porta Pack here is priced at $11.99 or that's the regular price. The promo price is 881 and the Good Sam discount is 837. And you can just drop that word camp down below in the comments or text to 32094 or give us a call at the 866-235-8751. Uh, and guys, that's only good for the ultimate RV show through Sunday. And we'll see you guys again soon. Kaylin, you can take that to your uh, camper that you're going to go check out. Oh, right? thanks. No yeah. <laughs>Here we are, guys. Jayco North Point 310 RLTS. This is going to be our last one of this session. And again, another rear living. Now, what you'll notice right away, we take a broad look here, is that while it's kind of similar in the fact that we have a little bit lighter wood, a little bit darker wood, it's very different in design and decor. And that's what you'll find throughout. All RV manufacturers, while, like I said, a lot of them are trying to lighten things up, all of them have their own independent designers. And so those designers are going to try to do the best they can to make things trendy, you know, pull in some of the residential trends that they're find, finding, use different furniture, different light fixtures, and give you a whole different feel. So this one you'll find will be a fairly similar floor plan to the last one we did. But again, if this is something you love, if you love the look and you're like, Ian, yes, this is it, you're going to want to text EZRV to 32094. And again, folks, we will be there to help walk you through so you can check out all the different RVs available with over 25,000 pieces of inventory on our lots. Let's actually start off again on the door side slide. I kind of like starting here. Uh, you know, it feels like a, a general flow for me, but also I think it just, um, you know, it's kind of important because you'll be spending a lot of time in this main area. Now, the dining table, you will see again, they kind of went with a natural look here, kind of like uh, we saw in the in the Heritage, right? So a little bit, a little bit different than what we had in the high country, but a very natural look, a little bit darker and a different pattern here as well. And so you can see the chairs. Something else I want to point out, it's a little bit lower, but down underneath the table, if you can see right down there, you'll see there's actually an electrical outlet. The reason I bring that up, folks, is today there are more people working from home than possibly ever before. And why work from home when you can work on the road, right? You can take this with you, you can work, you can get Wi-Fi in here, and basically what you can do is set up a little mobile office right here, which is pretty great. Another thing you'll see if we take a look down at the floor, look, it looks almost seamless from here up onto the slide. So what they've done is uh, rather like you saw the Montana high country kind of had the woven fabric. What they've done is they've used the vinyl up over the slide to give you that flush floor transition. And when we lift it up, you can see that, you know, we still have the slide system right there. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's uh, just like that. That just covers it right up, makes it very smooth. And while I say it's flush, right, you can feel a little bump. But for, for all purposes, you know, you can step right on there. It's not like going to be elevated or anything like that. As you come down a little bit further, of course, you have your theater seats. And as I mentioned, in this kind of rear living setup, this is very common. Again, we have the rear living straight across from the TV. But one of the things you'll notice if you take a look, where is the TV, right? That's just a window. As we'll see in a second, it's powered um, and that one does pop up, which is great. Uh, so, you know, you kind of have some different options there. Now, these are also powered seats, uh, kind of like we saw before. It has a light. And, uh, if you, and I don't know if you can see it over here, but it also has kind of kind of small, but you can see it has a massage feature, a heat feature, and then again, a USB port. So folks, what you can do is you want, really want ultimate relaxation. This is it. You can sit back, relax, turn on that vibration, turn on the heat, and just kind of let your worries melt away. Uh, if we take a look at the ceiling or the slide height, again, I'm six foot. You can see they're nice tall slides here so that I'm not going to bump my head when standing up. And the light fixtures are a little more farmhouse style. If you can take a look right over like at the wall scones and kind of above the dinette, you'll see that, you know, it's like an oil rub bronze, uh, kind of like the bubble glass. And again, you know, it's something that's a little bit trendier, something we're starting to see in uh, houses today. And I really like that they, uh, you know, kind of included them in an RV. When we come right down here, uh, so I want to show you this too, because this is pretty cool. So you'll see that a lot of the lights are integrated right into this controller. And we have a couple of those throughout to control the lights. Rather than having a million different switches, this makes life much easier. Touch a button, boom, good to go. Across the back, kind of like we saw in the high country just a moment ago, you have 
the big tri-fold sofa. Now it is a, a different pattern and you can see even, you know, a different style, like right back here. Uh, I don't know what you want to call this, uh, not louvered, but you know, kind of almost like that look. Um, but I do like it. And then, you know, the different colored stitching, but again, this folds out to make a very large bed. That's one of the things that most rear living will have in common is this sofa across the back so that you can accommodate guests. You'll also see something very different with the side. So right here, right, instead of having uh, the, I believe the proper term is lambrequins that come down the side, uh, you know what you normally see stick out, they have eliminated those. Went to something a little bit cleaner, you can see right here, they just framed it out, right? Something like you would have in your home. You can see it right back here. It's just a window frame all the way around. If you've uh, seen some RVs on Pinterest, it's something that a lot of people are doing and RV manufacturers, right, they're picking up on it. They're like, hey, if this is what people are doing, why, why aren't we doing it right out of the gate? And that's exactly what North Point has done with the 310 RLTS. And folks, if you love what you've seen so far, again, you're gonna wanna text that Easy RV to 32094 to lock in the show pricing that you see on the screen. Right up top, you have additional storage. And again, they went with a darker wood up top. You know, it's nice light ceiling, light wall board, but a little bit darker there just to help break things up. And uh, also if we, you know, kind of pan across the ceiling, we'll see a bunch of different features here. You have your ceiling fan to help circulate air. You have the beautiful light fe feature right here above the island, exactly where you want it. And if you see the, the two kind of white things on the side, the, um, the vents basically right there, what that represents is this one also has the quiet, cool AC. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with it, the reason you want that is because it makes it about 30 to 35% quieter. So that way, as you're sitting here in the main living area, you're entertaining, you're talking with friends, family, you're watching TV. You don't have to yell at each other or blast the TV to hear it, to, to have uh, be able to hear it over the AC. In the entertainment area, so as I mentioned, so there is a power uh, TV that pops right up out of here, which is great. You have an electrical outlet, the window behind it with the blackout shades. Uh, you have some storage up top, brush nickel pulls. Again, I think that was a good choice with the darker cabinetry, helping to break things up. And you'll notice the lighter cabinetry, right? They went with darker pulls. So again, this is something kind of, some of those differences, the tr you know, a um, little bit more trendy. They have uh, opposite color pulls in here. Most manufacturers will just use one pull type you know, because it's a little bit uh, easier to, to uh, inventory and stuff like that. So just put one throughout, but you can see that they did uh, a little mix and match in here. And if we drop down below, you kind of have like the shiplap look right here, which I really like. JBL sound system in the center with speakers on the side. You know, I'm sure you're familiar with JBL, very popular stereo company. And then of course you have the fireplace there too. So as I mentioned, folks, for a real living, you can see that there are a lot of similarities that we saw in the Montana high country as far as floor plans uh, set up, but there are a lot of design differences. We take a look at the uh, kitchen island. And again, we have a kitchen island because we have dual opposing slides. It allows you to fit that in here. This is a little bit darker countertop, right? It's kind of like a, a tan almost, not it, it, in which works because you have kind of the cream, you have the brown, this pulls both of those in together. You'll see that you have your little faucet here over to the side, uh, you know, for um, like, like filling up glasses of water, things like that. And then right here, you also have your high-rise pull-down faucet. A little bit different sink style. They want a little more modern. You can see it's kind of square is what they use. Still undermount. And again, why is undermount sink important? Because you're sitting here prepping your food, right? You're over here, you're chopping up your peppers, you know, boom, boom, boom. And then you have a bunch of seeds and stuff left over. What are you going to do? Well, simple. Rather than, you know, having to try to pick them all up and throw them in the trash, right? You can just sweep them into the sink and then get them a little bit later. And same thing with crumbs, right? You can just sweep it into the sink, just like this. If it's not an undermount, you have that top mount, you have a lip, it just makes it harder to clean. So, you know, there you have it, making life easier. Um, and then over on this side, something else I do wanna point out that's kind of nice. I always like to point this out when possible because for me, this is something that's very important and that is a dedicated spot for the trash can. Folks, I can't tell you how many times I've been out camping and you know, you have to take a trash can and tie it around one of your poles and then it's hanging there and it takes up space and it smells and it's unsightly. I want a place to put it and there it is. And this one's nice and easy. And again, I talked about, you know, chopping up your, um, your vegetables right here, put it in the sink, shoot right here. You can chop it up right down into the trash if you want, a little bit easier even. Then over across the ways, what you'll see a little bit of countertop right there. You kind of have the white and the larger uh, subway tile backsplash. And then you have the upgraded, right? A little more residential style 
uh, cooktop as well as oven. Now, with this one, the thing I like about it is it is a four burner, right? A lot of them you see are three burners. So again, we're getting more residential. You'll also see that, look at that, you can remove these. Now, that may not seem like a big deal to you if you're not familiar with RVs because, you know, hey, every house I can remove my grates too, but that's not always the case in RVs. Making these removable makes it a lot easier to clean. Beautiful stainless steel front. And when we drop it down, folks, take a look at the size of that oven. If you like baking, right? If you're into uh, doing all sorts of baking, cooking, you really like to use the oven or you want, you know, you think you're going to want to use it a lot when you're camping, this may be something that's very important to you. And maybe this is what, you know, puts that North Point 310 RLTS. Maybe that's what makes it your rear living. Maybe that's what puts it ahead. But again, that's why you reach out to our specialists, our show specialists. Just text easy RV to 32094, put it in the comment box, folks, because we'll be able to walk you through that. We can give you those virtual visits. We can set you up with people that are in the know so they can say, yeah, if you're into cooking, you know, you really like the rear living, what you're going to want is the insignia in the North Point. And we're able to help guide you through that. And again, we can do all of that from the comfort of the couch you're sitting in right now, or maybe, you know, you're on your cell phone, uh, you know, driving, whatever it may be. Be careful if you are. Uh, but again, it just makes life really simple. So you'll see the microwave there, storage up and around it. You also have the residential style fridge. Now, something you'll notice different with this fridge, and again, all the others we've seen, is this right here. When I say residential, this is probably what you think of. This is a Whirlpool, very residential brand. You have your ice maker and your water dispenser right there. And again, for me, this is huge because it reminds me of home. I'm gonna come up here, make my ice, you know, get my cocktail, whatever I'm gonna be. Maybe I just want ice water. I can do it here, but that is the residential feel. You know, actual stainless, of course, on here. We open it up. You can see how much space you have. Uh, naturally, you have your refrigerator here on the right, your freezer over on the left. And again, you can see the ice maker there. So, you know, if you, folks, if you're really looking into cold storage, residential is definitely a great option to go. One thing I did forget to mention I wanted to, to hit real quick was right here. So if you notice in the countertop, uh, what we have is a little pop-up power tower. So you can see that you know, when you bring this up, you have a couple electrical outlets plus some USB ports. When you're done with it, there's this little red button, boop, just like that, drops right back down and tucks away. Super simple, easy, convenient. Now, when we take a look over on this side, hey, look at that. You get a nice little, uh, nice clock, Middlebury, Indiana, in case you're wondering uh, where it's made. Um, but I, I like that they do stuff like this, right? They, they bring some decor in, help just kind of really uh, tie everything together. If you don't like it, great, remove it, but hey, it does come with it. Now, if we take a look in here, you will see your pantry. Um, you know, you have plenty of shelves there. And again, you know, as I mentioned, pantries are something that's a little more popular. Uh, one of the things that they, they do on this one, though, is they give you the blacked out glass rather than, you know, having a, um, something you can see through. A lot of them will go with like a, a frosted glass, but the blacked out glass is really nice if you don't want people to see what's in there. You know, sometimes you don't want people to see your cereal boxes. Right up top, again, we have more storage. Same thing right down below. And again, you have that beautiful backsplash right here. To make our way up the stairs, folks, I just want to show you into the bathroom real quick. Uh, I'll show you the bedroom. We're running out of time because uh, there's just so much to show here. But as you can see, you have a, a very almost like spa-like look. You know, you have kind of the tile-looking shower in here. As I step in again at six foot, I have plenty of room. Sliding glass door. You have a teak seat, which is perfect for sitting down on. Or if you need to shave your legs, can put it up there. It makes life a little easier. Obviously, I'm, I'm a pretty hairy guy here. Um, over across the way, you know, you can see that you have a spot for your shampoo, like an actual spot for it, you know, and not like a little smaller shelf that's going to fall off. And you have a bar, so you can move that wand up and down. You also see additional storage right up top there, and then your linen closet over to the side. Of course, your foot flush uh, lever toilet uh, right here in the corner. Now, as we go up into the bedroom, we're just going to take a quick peek in here, folks, and then we're going to head out. Just kind of want to show you what you're looking at. So if you look in here, um, you can see, first of all, the nice fluffy pillows. I just want to jump in there and rub them, right? Um, but it looks super comfortable. Uh, but kind of a cool headboard, windows all the way around, big storage up front. And again, a little bit different design. What you'll see is right over here is your washer dryer prep. So if you want it, that is where it's going to be. Then I'm actually going to spin around here. And what you will see is right here at the foot of the bed, you have both the TV. And then if you drop down right there, you have some drawers. So folks, there you have it. I'm going to run outside real quick so I can show you some of the outside features before we run out of time. And so what you'll see as we step down. So as we step down right here, 
you can see that we have the, um, the steps. And again, these are the solid steps. So just like you saw before, folks, you can flip this right up. It's super simple. And they do the same thing we saw in the high country. This is one hand operation. The bigger grab handle right here too lets you walk right up in there. Uh, as we make our way right up to the front, so we can make our way up here, you'll see the front cap. So as you can see, beautiful front, uh, painted front cap, just like we've kind of seen in the past. Big storage here. And last thing I wanna show you folks is that you have a big pass through. These are magnetic keys with, or uh, magnetic latches and you have frameless windows on this RV which look absolutely gorgeous. Folks, I have to end here. I wish I could show you so much more because there is so much more to show. Folks, we have a huge inventory, over 25,000 pieces. Simply text EZRV to 32094 so we can show you what all of your options are. Thanks again for joining, and this has been Couples Fifth Wheels. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. In a perfect world, you're always chasing adventure and relaxation in your new RV. But in the real world, life happens. That's why Camping World offers a suite of added protection products for our buyers. If the unthinkable happens, added protection from Good Sam will protect your RV and your wallet for the road ahead. Ask your Camping World dealer about Good Sam protection for your RV. Welcome back to the Ultimate RV Show. Good afternoon, everybody. Chris Young here with Bria Sharon. Bria, those couple's fifth wheels. Aren't those amazing? I love that rear living. That I is know. awesome. Let me tell you, that's so great when you get out on the road, you get a chance to get in there, reconnect with the loved ones. Because let's face it, this time of year, we're all kind of tired. We, uh, we want to get out. And we've been doing so much, it's been really stressful. So getting out and reconnecting with a loved one could really And be your good. dogs. Let me and just throw dogs. that in there. Yeah. It's perfect for dogs. Well, it's great. Yeah, because you've noticed Ian showed you how a lot of those steps are pet friendly. RV manufacturers think about that. They think about not just for families, but for pets. I knew I wasn't only, the only dog lover out here. Oh, no, absolutely. That, you, when you go to the campgrounds, you see them all over the place. And if you are a dog lover, you want one of those fifth wheels or you want anything. We get over 25,000 campers waiting on you. Just text Easy RV to 32094 right now. Now, it is raining out here. You can stay dry while you shop and buy in your PJs, in your fluffies, or in your muck boots like I'm wearing right now. But you know, if you want to have that real experience, go pour some water in the driveway, go out there and stomp around in it so I can feel the love coming from you through the screen. That's what I want right now. We actually have some $50 gift certificates no, to give away. Yes, ma'am. How about that? I love a good giveaway. Isn't that nice? Because you think about it, and a lot of, with, during the Ultimate RV Show, we got discounts on retail products, discount on RVs. It's like RVs. you get even, even more than a free, a free gift card. So like, if, I, great. if I give you five bucks, I'm really giving you 10, Winner, winner, chicken 20. dinner. That, that's it. That's it. Ding, ding, ring the dinner bell. Jacqueline Dickerson, congratulations. You just won yourself Woo. a $50 gift certificate along with Alyssa Christensen. Congratulations. Woo. You just won one as well. And James Hill. On top of the hill. Wow. Bobby, you just won yourself a $50 gift certificate. Congratulations, all of those. I Jacqueline think I have Dickerson. Some new friends. Yeah. Oh, I think we do have some new friends. Could you imagine? You just bought that fifth wheel. I did. You and your husband going down to the beach. They come by and they help you buy some of those sewer hoses. Winning. You need it. Hit me up. You absolutely need it. Now, we are here live at the Ultimate RV Show with Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors, and Good Sam. If you're thinking about you know, I hate the fact we didn't get a chance to see an RV show this year. That's okay. We're walking you through these units virtually. If you want to see one yourself, you can. Absolutely. Come on out to Camping World. Come on out to Gander. Our folks are there. They're going to make sure it's safe and secure. Mm -hmm. You can go see those units. We'll walk you through them. Or you can do it from the comfort of your couch by texting Easy RV to 32094. Stay dry while you shop and buy. With the Perfect. paperwork, is going to be mailed out to you. We'll let you talk to a finance specialist and the stamp's going to be on the envelope. Don't even have to pay for that. I don't even have to get on my PJs. No, you don't, which is, um, which is why I'm surprised you weren't wearing them out here. Thought about it. I mean, I would be wearing them, but eh. You can stay in your PJs while your brand new unit is being delivered to you. You get that same professional walkthrough that you would get if you were at Camping World or Gander. You don't even have to leave the comfort of your home. 
Winning. Winning all day long. So text Easy RV to 32094. Now, I know on, you know, the, the first day when you guys came out here to the Ultimate RV Show, you got a chance to see some of the industry first, the brand yes. new RVs. Yes. And one of the ones that you liked was the Georgetown 36D. Mm -hmm. that, that one's definitely one of my favorites. I'm a huge fan such bigger, a go beautiful home, coach. You know? Oh, I absolutely go big or go home. Well, speaking of going big, the big dog Ian Baker's got it right now. Hey, folks, I'm Ian Baker. I'm joined by my good friend Mike Hums here for the Ultimate RV Show. And today we're going to go over the Georgetown 7 Series 36D. Guys, this is a beautiful Class A camper. You're going to fall in love with it. And when you do, you're going to want to text Easy RV to 32094 to be able to claim the amazing price that we're going to be able to give you today. If you want to call, you can phone it in too. It's 866-853-3510. And guys, it is truly one of the easiest ways to shop for an RV. You text that easy RV, and we will be able to claim that offer, that amazing discount for you. You can shop right from the comfort of your home. We'll deliver the RV right to your house or your campsite if you're upgrading. Mike, thanks for joining me today. Again, as I mentioned, this is an absolutely gorgeous Class A. I love the colors in here. I love what you've done. Why don't you walk us through a little bit of the 3060? Thanks, Ian. Um, on the Georgetown 7 Series, so we, we kind of classify our motorhomes. We start with a 3 Series, then you go to the 5 Series. 7 Series is the top of the line motorhome for us. So you got the whole lineup. The 36D7 is unique to us. One, it's the highest end that we build. Number two, uh, this is a bath and a half model. It's our best seller. Okay. And, um, you know, starting the cockpit up here, we run with a large 10-inch display up here. We've got a power sunshade and a power visor up front. You know, when you're going down the road and the sun comes down, it'll come down as far as you want. Nice. Okay? Otherwise, when you get to your campsite, you can bring it all the way down. We've got a passenger workstation right here. Oh, okay. Like yep. Going down the road, you've got USB outlets, 110 hookups. Um, is that a dog window down there? Is that what that is? A little dog window, a little visibility window down here. Yeah, One I like that. One of the that. things we'll talk about on the outside of the coach that we pride ourselves is we have some of the smallest A pillars up here. Okay. So we have phenomenal visibility from the cockpit. And, you know, you see these seats that were in the cockpit. You know, we got six way power seats, adjustable armrests. Um, it's very comfortable up here. One of the other things I noticed too, Mike, and you can see that your foot's on it right here, but I, I like this. That A lot of times these are carpeted and they get dirty in a hurry, but this is tough. It's easy to clean. I like that you guys put that in there. So one of our pitches is, is there's absolutely no carpet in this coach. So you go through, you got a flush floor transition as well. So some of our competitors have steps to get up into the cockpit or they line this area with carpets. Yeah, it's very clean. And, and uh, there's actually a table that can go between the cockpit chairs as well. So nice little, little snacking area. Conversation table from when you're in the cockpit. Big visibility here as well Absolutely. on the dash. This is also going to be your backup monitor and your okay. side camera. So okay. the second you turn your turn signal on, you've got a really good shot down each side of the coach, depending on which turn signal's on, or when you go in reverse. And it's a one-way mic as well, so someone's telling okay. you to back up. Left you can right. actually hear them. Correct. And it is Bluetooth capable, I assume. Absolutely. Excellent. Wonderful. All right. Now, why don't you tell us what we, what we have above so us here, above Mike? us, you have a drop-down queen-size bed. So with the push of a button up here, okay, you'll undo this. And your bed comes right down. So the advantage of this is we're going to turn the cockpit area into a sleeping area. And that drops down pretty quick, too. Absolutely. Then comes got, with the mattress. You've got a ladder that's going to click onto this right here. Okay. Okay. And uh, now we just turn this into queen bed up over the cockpit. And I love that because that gives you the a little bit of additional sleeping. Because, you know, in its, in its essence, this is more of a couple's model. But if someone comes to visit, you quickly have a spot for them to sleep. Well, the other thing with this is, is when you look at sleeping on the inside, you know, all right, we got 84 inch ceilings. You're going to have a little bit more room up here on this coach than some of my competitors. Plus, yeah. we're going to put AC ducts up here. So when you are sleeping up here, you're going to get some cool air in the cockpit. Wonderful. So folks, again, this is the Georgetown 7 Series 36D. If you're interested, text Easy RV to 32094. Just put Easy RV in the comments section. Uh, why don't we take a look over at the kitchen? Because you have a beautiful kitchen here, Mike. You have the solid uh, surface countertops. You have the apron front, stainless steel sink. I love the look you have going on. Thank you. So one of the things on this coach is we run all 90 sheen solid wood Amish cabinetry in here. Okay. Okay. So one of the things with our construction in here is you walk in, you see the shiny cabinets and everything. It's real mm -hmm. wood. It's easy to maintain, easy to wipe down. All right. Uh, and each spot has a, a purpose. You know, right here, you're going to have your bunk switch. You got your precision plex circuits. They're going to be up here. I can control most of this coach from my smartphone. Very cool. I want cool. to run the awnings in and out. I want to run the slides in and out. I'm sitting on the sofa and want to dim the lights down. I can take care of all that from my smartphone. So it's all kind of integrated together. So 
as you walk in right here, you're going to have your 2000 watt inverter switch. And then you're also going to have the face plates right here for the precision plex. So easily excess. Very and cool. When you come into the kitchen galley area, you're right. We run a stainless steel undermount um, farm sink right here. You've got a nice stainless uh, kitchen faucet. You get into the Furion appliance package right here where we've got a larger oven than most of our competitors. You know, we run soft closed drawer guides in here. Something you don't see in some of the, uh, the units we compete against. Yeah, I, I really like the soft close. Again, it's one of those, those small features that when you put it in, I think it really makes a big difference in the, the kitchen and galley area. Uh, and folks, just so you know, this beautiful Georgetown 7 36D, you're probably thinking, Ian, what is the price? I love it. I want it. No problem. I'm here to help you out, folks. For the show, we have this one starting at $159,999. So it is under $160,000. Folks, that, that starts at $954 a month. So you want to talk about a good deal, get into a beautiful Class A, that is an excellent deal for the show. And you're going to want to take advantage of that. Simply text EZRV to 32094. You can take advantage of that pricing, and we will be able to take care of everything right over the phone, have your unit delivered right to you. So folks, you can order it and have it ordered today. And Mike, speaking of ordering, that is something too that with, with this uh, industry, the way it's in right now, if you order this, correct me if I'm wrong, but that will put you kind of above the stock inventory, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So, so if, if you're wanting, if you're wanting to get out next season with the way the industry is right now, probably a pretty good idea to get your name on that list. Yeah, get your orders in. That's you know, to right. To finish up the kitchen, you talked about you know sleeping extra people. The nice thing about this is we run a large residential style refrigerator in here. All right, and. You've got a French door refrigerator, water and ice in the door. Okay. And this is also able to be powered by the inverter that's on board. So okay. dry camping. Okay, 2,000 watt inverter we talked about. Absolutely. Awesome. So. And, and do you have uh, auto gen set on here too, so that, you know, if voltage gets too low or if it, you know, you have uh, your pets in here mm -hmm. and you need to kick the AC on, it'll automatically do it for you? You're camping in the desert in the summer and it starts to heat up inside the coach. You know, it's going to say, hey, I got a call for, for air conditioning. It'll start the generator up, start airs up, cool it down manage that and vice versa with heat. Love it, thing, so. love it. All right, Mike, let's flip over. Let's talk about the furniture real quick here. This is, again, gorgeous, plush, plenty of uh, space for cups and plug-ins, everything you need. So one of the things on our sofas, we spend a lot more money. You know, motorhome furniture is a little different than some of the travel trailers and the fifth wheels because we mm -hmm. have seatbelts. Yeah, yeah. And so the other thing is, is you've got, at this sofa, you've got ratcheting headrests, you know? So when I recline okay. all the way back, I'm not staring at the ceilings. I like that. You've got power underneath as far as lighting. For at night, so if you've got the lights dimmed down, you got you walk here. You got you know power recliners all the way up and back. It's got massage features. It's got heat features. There you go. USB everything. 110 cup holders, and I'm staring right at the television right here. So yep. this is a very comfortable coach. Got the fireplace down below. Get like, stay nice and toasty between the between the heated seats and the uh, fireplace. Absolutely. Yeah, like, stay nice and toasty on those cold nights. Now the other thing in this coach, like I said up front, is this is also our bath and a half. So the neat okay. thing about it is, is we've got a half bath here, uh, midship. If you want to go ahead and and take a look in there. So the neat thing about this is actually deeper than what it appears to be. So as you go in, the one thing to point out in there is the sinks. We do a solid surface sink, but the sink bowls are integrated into the countertops themselves. It's not actually like a stainless bowl or a plastic bowl that sits on there. Okay. And then you got a really nice brushed, uh, brushed nickel faucet so yeah. in the bathroom. So we're trying to give you some higher end appointments in there. And, and like you said, there's, there's quite a bit of room for being a, a side aisle half bath. Like it's pretty spacious in there. That's nice. Speaking of space, when you come into here, we've also got a huge, like a storage locker oh, or a man. pantry area Look right here. And these are also self-closed. So spots to store all the, the cereal boxes or wine bottles or whatever you prefer to camp with. Folks, you can get all that starting at $9.54 a month. Just text EZRV to 32094 or call 866-853-3510 or you can just comment EZRV in the comment section. So something back here, okay? Yes, You've got sir. a huge wardrobe, but a couple things happen back here. We've got a tilt bed. So okay. This is a 72 by 80 inch long. So um, full 80 inch, I like that. It's a full 80 inch King size bed, but okay. the nice thing about it is, is it ratchets up. One mm -hmm. for reclining, if you want to watch television in here. Yep. We've got, you know, you can flip up your television, have storage. You've got a wardrobe here, a wardrobe here, and you've also got a full stacked washer and dryer on board. Love so it. So the nice thing about this is you do all your laundry right here in the bedroom. Yeah, and I love that it's a stackable and not just a single unit. You know, when you're talking about doing laundry, uh, sometimes those single units can take a little bit longer. The stackable is nice and quick. 
when you come in towards the back of this coach, what's neat is I run the same integrated sink bowls. I got Jack and Jill sinks. Mm -hmm. We run a molded one piece fiberglass shower. So it's a larger shower with a glass shower door. So the nice thing about that is it's, it's very easy to maneuver in this bathroom, number one, because it's it's very large compared to some of my competitors. Yeah, and and I, you know, Mike, I like the faucets on here too. You kind of have like a like a waterfall style faucet there. That's uh, it's elegant. It's beautiful. Nice storage in here. Yeah, got the the vent fan up top. Now, does this have a rain sensor on it as well? It does. Okay. Yeah. So. That, and you know, and I love the the overall space you have here. And like I say, just the the feel you can feel how how plush it is. Uh, you get the bath and a half floor plan, Mike. And um, you know, just uh, again, it's I, I like the colors that you've chosen. You have a good contrast between the light and the dark. And folks, it, you're going to want to be able to jump on this one. We have the amazing pricing here at the show. As I mentioned, it's starting at nine fifty four a month. To claim that, simply text EZRV to 32094 or call 866-853-3510. Or in the comments section, if you don't want to use your phone, it's not a problem either. Just type EZRV in the comments section and you'll be able to take advantage of the great pricing that we have here today. Mike, uh, last thing I want to hit on before we head out is the dinette. Why don't you talk to me a little bit about this? So we call this the comfort dinette. The neat thing about it is, is you can sit with your back against the wall and it's comfortable. Okay. Right? The other thing is we trim out all these windows in wood, but you know, it's a little bit oversized dinette. It's a solid surface table. All right. Yep. It's got what they call the dream dinette bracket. So with the push of a button, I can lower this down into a bed just like that. You know, you don't have pedestals and all the stuff to move around. And now do you have storage in it too? It looks like a little storage bit of storage under, there. Yeah. Storage under both sides of this as well. Okay. Yeah. So sleeping space, storage space. And again, I like that it does wrap around because a lot of times it is comfortable to sit like that. Put your back there, especially if you have more people and you want to watch TV. Granted, you have a ton of theater seating, but maybe you're having a party, right? Well, and, Need and a couple more seats. To the people that are new on this, the one thing that's very unique little bit of uh, additional airflow, you know, if you necessarily, you know, maybe it's not quite hot, or, uh, hot enough outside to run the AC, open up a few windows, get some airflow going. Let me show you some stuff on the outside. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's one of the first things that struck me when we walked up to here is just the beautiful color scheme that you have. Um, I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So new for the GT7, we redesigned our front cap on this. And the okay. thing about kind of the front of our unit is you've got this big panoramic one-piece windshield. Mm -hmm. and these are all auto-bonded or they're glued in like you'd have in a car so you don't have the big rubber seals going all the way around them. Okay. You heard me talk about those A-pillars on the inside, okay? People see a, a Class C motorhome and they see that van style front end and they, you know, and they, this is the doors and the hood. And the nice thing about an A, well, this is a big steel structure up front. So, okay. you know, we've got a firewall extension, a big piece of steel that goes all the way up on this coach. All right. And you've got steel firewalls in, in here. We light the road up really, really well. We stack this with your fog lights on the bottom, daytime running lights. You got LED turn signals, LED marker lights up front. So, so it just um, feels safe. And you've got this giant LED strip. You know, one thing to note oh, yeah. is when you set up in your campsite, all right, and you flip on your LED, it's going to light these little strips up up here. That's cool. Going down the road, when you use a turn signal, this actually lights up like a turn signal in Amazon. Oh, really? So, so yeah, so it, it lights the road up really well. That's a pretty cool look. I like that. You know, you heard me talk about the side cameras on the inside. So yes, sir. Got your side camera's located right here. Okay. All right, so you can see all the way down this side of the coach when you put your turn signal on. The GT7 is on the Ford's F53 chassis. The mm -hmm. F53 chassis is a gas class A chassis designed by Ford for the RV industry. Um, this one here is on the new V8 that they just okay. released this year. Yep. So the nice thing about this is it's got some suspension upgrades and horsepower and torque. And um, this also has the 22 and a half inch um, aluminum wheels and tires. That's so, huge. Um, that, that makes a big difference. I, I, front to back on this, one thing that we pride ourselves on is, you know, you see that big residential refrigerator and those big sofas. Yep. We're able to take all those in because we run a 30 inch wide entry door on this. So yeah. the neat thing about that is, is some of my competitors are, you know, not as wide as and, and you know, and you mentioned that, Mike, and, and that's a big thing, right? Because when you buy an RV, you know, you're going to have uh, some sort of maintenance eventually down the road. And having the forethought when you're manufacturing it to be able to get the refrigerator out the door 
for me is a big peace of mind because mm -hmm. not all, as much as I hate to say it, not all manufacturers do that. That's not always the case. So uh, very happy to hear that. So on the outside of this, I'm going to kind of go through these bays really quick and show you what they are. But we've got our outside entertainment center right here. My gen set that's right here is going to act as my media center. So that's my, okay. my audio. Um, I can hook up down here. You know, we've got HDMI, USB. So if we want to put the game station out here for the kids there and they go. want to plug in, we can hear the sound out here. We're tailgating at the football game. But the other thing to note on this is we run Suicide Swing bag oh, stores. Oh, look at that. So the neat thing about this is this is one big giant compartment right here where most of my competitors are just going to put multiple doors. No, I, I love that. Right it gives here. me a place to be able to put my, uh, my cornhole set, you know? The other thing in here, if you look, the way we designed this coach is we run a macerator toilet midship. Okay. So the advantage to that is I only have to run one set of holding tanks because remember I have two bathrooms. Yep. Some of some of the motorhomes that are out there are going to have two separate gray and black tanks. So okay. we run one set of tanks. So the advantage to that is it gives me storage axle to axle. So I have a ton of outside storage in this I coach see that. for a bath and a half. And, and I love it's the full size doors too. You know, a lot of times on your class A's, you know, you'll get a little bit smaller door size. I love that these are the full frame doors. You're just getting huge storage out here. So weights and balances are also very important. Yep. You know, as you come into this coach, um, in this bay right here, this is going to be access to my freshwater tank, my water pump, my water filter. Um, yeah, the very easy access. Again, when we talk about maintenance, you know, if, if the water filter goes, or, or sorry, the, uh, the water pump, super easy to get to right absolutely. there. I like that. Uh, folks, remember, if, if you're interested in this one, you're going to want to text EZRV to 32094. This one is starting at $954 a month. That's a wonderful price. Take advantage of it here on the show. As Mike and I said earlier, get your name on that list. Mike, what do you have back there, my friend? So, obviously, when we're going to be camping with the barbecue, we got a quick connect LP hookup right here so we can hook up the grill. You got your hot water heater right here. It's a 10 gallon quick recharge. So, the nice thing about that is when you take long showers, you can do that in this coach. Nice. So, on the outside of this coach, there's four different full body paint options. Okay. You know, when we finish this, you can kind of pan out. This has been our best seller, your best seller. Yep. No, this, like I said, this is beautiful. I love the colors on here. Uh, you know, nice, smooth transitions on, on the colors. You don't get like, you know, a ton of ridges or anything on there. It's uh, gorgeous. Looks like you have awning toppers or uh, slide out toppers as well. Is, so that, is that a standard on here? Standard. And, you know, that's the neat thing about this. There's a handful of options on this coach as far as, you know, an inside color. You get a lighter or dark. Mm -hmm. And then on the outside, you got four different exteriors. You got a washer dryer stacked option if you want it. Dual panes and a mud flap. That's it. And, and so. you know, and so one of the things people don't realize uh, too when you're talking about options, and, and I always explain this to a lot of people, is that the more things you can have standard, the better it's going to be for the customer because when it comes to resale value, they're going to get the full value for that. If it's, you know, if they optioned in 30 different things, while it may have been perfect for them when they owned it, when they go to sell it, a lot of times you lose that value. So having the more standards that you can have, the better it is for the customer. So that's, that's wonderful, Mike. Now, uh, one thing we, we didn't touch on right here, looks like we have the, the power awning, LED light there. That's a big campsite. That's a big awning you have. So the nice thing about this is also we talked about you know, the ability to, to control everything from the smartphone. So you know, we can take and, and roll the awning up from our Look smartphone, at that. turn the lights on and off. You know, we can get to our campsite. We can run our slide outs in and out with this. So you know, That way you make sure you're not going to hit anything and super convenient. Absolutely. Now, are, it looks like you have frameless windows on here too, Mike. Is that Standard. correct? Wow. Yeah. Now, and, and, I, and again, I like frameless. I mean, not mainly for me, it's because it looks nice, right? But also, uh, the fact it protects the seals a little bit better, and because they kind of tilt open, you can have them open when it's raining a little bit, still get the airflow, not have a bunch of rainwater coming in. Yeah. You know, the other thing to note on the outside of this is we also run a fiberglass roof on this. Okay. Oh, really? So you're going to be a fiberglass roof, not a rubber or a, okay. or a plastic roof. Okay. Um, we're going to bolt two large 18 BTU equivalent air conditioners on the top of this coach wow. uh, with heat pumps. Wow. So the nice thing about it is it's going to cool this coach down as well. And, you know, the air conditioners we use are a little bit different than some of our competitors. So yeah. No, that's... that's they run a... quieter. They draw less amps. And okay. We like to think they're the best. <laughs> well, that's, again, that's one of those things, right, that, you know, you can see how beautiful it is on the, the inside. But when you talk about construction, you talk about having the fiberglass roof on there, the two ACs with a heat pump built in. Uh, you know, that, that's a big deal for me because sometimes, like I said, if you don't want to turn on the furnace, maybe it's just getting a little bit chilly, you can turn on both those heat pumps, kick on the fireplace, have the heated seats, and, you know, you're 
it's feeling uh, fairly toasty. You want? Let me show you what powers both of those air conditioners on the other side of this. Yeah, bed. yeah, please do, Mike. So one of the things we pride ourselves on, this is also a new rear cap for us. So you're gonna see your backup camera up top. Yep. Okay, you got your LED marker lights at the top, and then you've got a third brake light up here. If you're towing something, you can see it over the car. We've got a 5,000 pound tow hitch with okay. a seven way plug. Got your rear roof ladder on the back of this coach, and quite frankly, the styling on the back of this looks really good going down the road. It's, it gives you the diesel pusher feel and, you know, for and, a gas price point. And I'm actually glad you said that, Mike, because that's kind of the whole feel I've gotten throughout the whole thing. I mean, from you know the beautiful paint to when you, you walk inside and you have the solid surface countertops, you have the residential refrigerator, you have uh, you know, the, the, auto gen set, you, the auto gen start, you have all these things that normally you find at the diesel pusher level in a gas coach, at a gas coach price point. So that is, that's fantastic you guys are able to do that. So each of these bays over here, first bay is gonna be my park cable hookup. It's gonna be my shore power cord. That's all gonna go in this bay right here. Okay. Easy access. Um, the next bay back is my wet bay. So this is my city tank fill, my fresh fill, my termination valves, an outside shower. There's also a couple, diff couple different means of tank heat on this coach. So let's say you're going okay. skiing or doing some cold weather camping. Yep. You're gonna have forced air from your furnace. Plus you're gonna have the Arctic pack system. A lot of people okay. don't remember water beds, but you used to have an <laughs> electronic jacket or pad that would go on your water bed. Yep. Right? It works similar. There are heat pads that go on the tanks that, that radiate heat into the tanks Okay. this coach. Okay. Right here is your generator. You've got an Onan 7KW um, generator. So wow. Big boy. You got fuel fill right here, and we also put a lockable fuel fill on this. So, you know... I, it's, it's again, it's one of those uh, peace of mind thing. Now, you know, hopefully you're camping somewhere where you'd never have to worry about it, but you never know. I mean, so on the backside, you had mentioned some maintenance items, okay? Yes, yes, this please. Pass through storage here, okay? All the way through this coach. We're Man. actually gonna store the ladders in here when we're new, all right? <laughs> but as you come to the front of this coach, there's a couple bays that I wanna point out, and that is right here. I've got my hydraulic manifold. Okay. On this coach, we've also got hydraulic jacks, so power down power up. When we go to set up at our campsite or whatever, we can level the coach with the push of a button. Okay. We got a 24 and a half gallon LP bottle right here. Okay. And then above it is a little bay and that's where we're going to put your 2000 watt inverter. Oh, okay. Right Straight up Straight over bay from there. your house battery. So you got to have two house batteries on board. Yep. And you're going to have one chassis battery. Now, Mike, a couple other things I'm noticing. So one, you know, you talk about the hydraulic system. And again, when we talk about maintenance, as you said, the pump is right there. If you ever have any issues with the pump, you know, it's very accessible. You don't have to go crawling around trying to find anything. Um, so I do appreciate that. Another thing I've noticed, and again, sometimes for me, it's the small things, is this right here. Just something so that, you know, your door isn't just flying open. Um, you know, I just like that that's there. It, just something to help kind of protect the coach a little bit. I like the fact that doors are side opening rather than top opening, so you're not competing with a slide. Mm -hmm. You know, I've seen that before too, unfortunately, with some of the, uh, some of the class A's, they swing up and they catch it with the slide and it's just never a pretty thing. Um, and also when you're going down the road, if for whatever reason you forget to shut one of these, hopefully the wind will help keep it shut rather than, you know, blowing it open. So that's, uh, again, some of the, sometimes it's the small things for me. So on the 7 Series Georgetown, there's two different models out right now. Okay. okay you've got the bath and a half, which okay. gives you one and a half baths, king bed. Mm -hmm. The other model that we also have is the 36 K7. And okay. that's actually two full bathrooms, and it has bunk beds on board. Wow. So you talk about sleeping, you can really pile them into that coach as well. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's, you know, like I said, this one's a little bit built a little bit more for the couple. You have the one that's built for the family, so you have a couple different options there. Now, I know we mentioned earlier that you guys also have the GT3 and the GT5, both amazing products. Um, it, it, what kind of differentiates the, the three series for me? Great question. So we start off with the GT3. Mm -hmm. and the advantage to that is, is it's, it's a lower price point. Mm -hmm. But everything we build is going to be on big wheels and tires. So okay. um, some of the motorhomes, you know, you start with their class C, you got 16-inch wheels. Then you go to the 19 and a half inch. And then you go all the way to the 22-inch, the 22 and a half inch wheels. So the nice yep. thing about this is, is all the GT3, GT5s, and GT7s are on the big wheels and tires. Wow. All right. It's price point and amenities. Okay. You know? And, um, you know, you got to start somewhere. And that's yeah, kind of absolutely. The, the, the GT3 gets you out camping, gets you in a motorhome. Well, and, and the thing about it is it's still, like you said, I mean, it's not like you're necessarily sacrificing on the construction, on the build. I mean, it still is built on the big frame. You still have the 22 and a halfs. And, you know, you still get to say that you have a beautiful Georgetown Class A. You know, Georgetown is built by Forest River. You know, mm -hmm. Forest River is a, a Berkshire Hathaway-owned company. 
Uh, we've got a production facility that's just a few years old, and it's dedicated to gas Class A motorhomes. So that's wonderful. Uh, GT3s are are non-painted units. Okay. GT5s are partial painted units. You can also get a full body paint on a, a GT5. Okay. And all your GT7s are full paint. So just like a car, you yep. want to maintenance this, and it'll look like this for a long time. Love it. Well, you guys, again, this is the Georgetown Seven Series. 36D. Folks, here at the Ultimate RV Show, you can pick this one up starting at $9.54 a month. If you're interested in this beauty, which I know you are, you're going to want to text EZRV to 32094. Or you can put EZRV in the comments section or call 866-853-3510. All three of those options will be able to let you claim that offer. It will get you in touch with our people. And folks, from there, it's super simple. Right from the comfort of your home, the couch you're sitting on, the desk you're at right now, the kitchen table. I know that's become my uh, home office as I work from home. You're sitting at the kitchen table there. You can just type in Easy RV. We'll reach out. You'll be able to take care of all the financing uh, right over the phone. We'll just simply mail the paperwork back and forth, and we will deliver the RV to you right to your driveway, right to your campsite, wherever you want it. Folks, it's truly something that's never been done before in the industry. The Ultimate RV Show is revolutionary. There's never been an easier way to shop for an RV than Easy RV. Mike, thank you so much for joining me, thank sir. It's much. a beautiful product. I appreciate all your time. Likewise. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World. The only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. It's officially the year of RV travel. RVing is fun, safe, and affordable. At Camping World, we have an RV for every lifestyle and budget, starting at less than $4 a day. See what the buzz is all about. Click, call, or visit Camping World today. The best things happen outdoors, and they start at Gander RV and Outdoors. Did you know that you can get a fifth wheel that sleeps six for only $1.94 a month? To learn more, visit GanderRV.com today. This has been so exciting, and wasn't that uh, Georgetown first look incredible? I mean, you talk about a luxury RV where you can get out in a Class A and have some serious fun and do some entertaining. Because I know, Morgan, you like to do a little entertaining. I do. I do. I love a good tailgate. And with that Georgetown, you can tailgate outside. you got a TV out there, uh, LED lighting in the awning. Okay, you can't beat that. And it's just beautiful. Yeah. Actually beautiful. Full body paint. It's lovely. We've got plenty more of those first looks. And listen, we've got all these incredible manufacturers and all the products that Chris and Ian and all of our product specialists have been showing you. And you say, you know what? I missed a couple of them. They were talking about this Coleman earlier, Sean. I wish I could see that. Listen, every single segment that we're doing is being archived just for you. And all you have to do is go to ultimatervshow.com. The on-demand button is right there. And you say, you know what? I saw this price. These show prices, by the way. They're not going to be seen anywhere. Once we're done here on Sunday, those prices are done. So 
get online, or you can just call one of our product specialists right now. Why don't you give that number? Oh, yes. The number is right there at the bottom of your screen, but you can text uh, Easy RV to 32094 and give us a call at 866-853-3510. Our specialists, show specialists are right there for you. I am so excited about this next segment. We're going to go back out to Chris Young. He's a guy. We're going to talk about uh, entertainment. Yes, more and, entertainment. Yes, family. And we've got Chris <laughs> Young standing by with an incredible look at a cougar for you. Hey, what's up? It is Chris Young. And yes, I am standing inside of some travel trailers that the segment I'm about to go through with you today is all about entertaining. So the RVs I'm going to show you are going to be great for entertaining family and friends. Now, does that mean you're going to have, you know, the bumping systems, the DJ stands and all of that? Not that type of entertaining. It's more about space, gathering, and just having fun with friends and loved ones. Now, the unit that we're going to start off with, the all-new 2021 Keystone Cougar 29 FKD. This front kitchen model has plenty of space to move around in, enjoy c communicating and just reconnecting with the friends and family, plus a ton of features and amenities you're gonna want from home while you're out on the road. And since this is the ultimate RV show, Easy RV is ready to rock. If you want this unit, or if you think, oh wow, Chris, I love a front kitchen, that looks great, we got you covered. We got 19,000 units standing by and one is in your backyard with your name on it. Just text Easy RV. 32094. Leave me a comment down below, Easy RV, or give me a call, 866-853-3510. Someone's going to show you that RV so they can answer your questions and make sure everything you have and want to know will be answered. Plus, we'll have finance folks ready to go, get you set up, then that unit can be delivered to you. The mail is going to take care of the documents, plus the postage will already be taken care of. When we send you the stuff in the mail, you got return envelopes already ready to go. So what do you say while we get ready to go, let's take a look at the beautiful 29 FKD. Love this layout because not only do you have a huge kitchen dominating the entire front and front campsite, you have a panoramic one-way window right here that if you want to take a look, you can see what's going on outside. Talk about when you wake up in the morning, you're at the beach, you're at the mountains, you get to see the sunrise or the sunset. That makes life so much better, especially when you're entertaining with your friends and family. You got the 50-50 split, stainless steel deep well sink with the high rise faucet here, sprayer nozzle, tons of prep and countertop space, tons of storage, storage for days. Even got a good spot for your trash can here. Solid surface countertops, shaker style cabinets all the way around this unit. And the best part, since this is the ultimate RV show, look at this price. Starting at $37,995 or as low as $277 a month. What does that mean? That means you can go out and see America the safest and easiest way possible in an RV for less than a car payment. Got you on that one. Come over here to the off camp side. This is where I'm going to start. Because when you're entertaining, it's about enjoying a good cooked and prepped meal and then coming over here to a comfortable booth dinette with large panoramic, panoramic windows, letting that air in. Just reconnecting, disconnecting and reconnecting. When was the last time you had a chance to do that with friends, loved ones, family? This reduces down into a sleeper, so when it's time to go to bed, you can put somebody here. We got comfortable recliners right here that are pillow top, massage, heat, recline. Once again, when you open those windows and let that air flow, especially when you got a dinette and theater seats on one side and a super slide, great space for just entertaining or being entertained. Well, Chris, what about my TV? Well, if you didn't notice, this TV is ginormous. 50 inch 4K L, uh, Ultra HD TV. Got your entertainment center right there. Got some component storage down here and your fireplace. Now, these fireplaces are electric. They got the LED backlit, the blower, multiple flame settings, multiple color settings. That's gonna add some ambience and take a little bit of chill out of the air. But when you're ready to get up after watching TV, grab yourself a drink, you got a 16 cubic foot Dometic fridge over here. Plenty of space, fridge-freezer combo that runs on both gas and electric with the automatic switch. Just take a look at the residential style facing that we have on there. Once again, this unit sleeps four easily, 9,500 pounds, so you can easily be towed by a truck. 37,995 is what this one is starting at. For monthly payment, you can get it 
starting at $277 a month. You can't beat that. For getting out and seeing the country, getting out and enjoying time with your friends and family. The other great thing about this front kitchen floor plan is the way that the bathroom and the bedroom are separated. So you have an access point right here. So everybody can come and go. They're enjoying time. They got to do some stuff. If you need to go to the bathroom, it has a separate entry not only to the master bedroom, but to the living area as well, but you have a pass through inside and a separate entry to the master here. So you don't have to worry about disturbing anybody. And once you head on in there, Kev, <clears throat> I'm gonna go into the bathroom here. And you're gonna see, we'll come back to the bathroom, but take a look at this king size bed back here in the master. Got the large windows there, storage up above, huge mirrored wardrobe with the space that you have here. The great thing about front kitchen floor plans is in the rear, that space that would usually be saved for a kitchen or a bathroom, you can use for storage and wardrobe for a bedroom. So if you like this floor plan, text EZRV to 32094, drop me a comment down below, EZRV, or give me a call, 866-853-3510. Someone is standing by to show you a front kitchen unit, perfect for entertaining, right now. They're gonna walk you through virtually. Hey, what's that bed look like? How high are these ceilings? How much storage is in there? Do we have enough room for this and that? Do these drawers fully extend on ball bearing drives and is that solid wood construction? Yes, it is. They're also gonna help you with financing. Then they're gonna make sure that the unit gets delivered to you. Now, it's gonna be a tight one for us, Kev. Can we get in here? Let's see. Access point from the master and from the outside. So double entry. If you already got folks staying with you. Maybe it's family, maybe it's friends. They've been entertaining. They want to stay up and watch TV for a little bit, but you want to go to bed. Not only can you come and go as you please outside, you're separated from the rest of the living space with this walkthrough bathroom. You don't have to disturb anybody out there. Great for entertaining. Large, solid surface right here in the bathroom. Plus, we got the undermounted vanity sink, brush nickel fixtures here, large. Medicine cabinet with the raised lip and the Neo Angle shower. Love this. Single surround with the large skylight, but even without the skylight, I got plenty of headroom. I'm not cramped left or right. And I got the glass enclosure. Just all around beauty when you're talking about uh, entertaining. Because, you know, when you're entertaining people, you got to entertain yourself too. So if you're going to be doing that, you might as well have some of the amenities of home. Large front kitchen, great high arched ceilings or the barrel ceilings. The other thing about entertainment is the entertainment systems. Speakers mounted in the roof. You have four of them, two here and two in the front. You got dual zones. You wanna play the music here, you wanna play the music outside. You got options for both. As we make our way outside, we do have more storage over here on the pantry. I'm sure you can't see that from outside, but Trust me, it's there. Solid steps coming out, extra large grab handle, fiberglass exterior with the beautiful graphics that Keystone is known for. Entertaining continues outside too because you have the large awning with the LED light, the dual zone speakers, the space and the style that's gonna make people feel invited. That's what entertaining is about as well. Not only inviting the, the family, but when you go to a campsite, you're gonna make new friends. The RV community is amazing. You're going to meet new people that are going to instantly bond with you and you're going to become friends. And it, trust me, it's just such a beautiful partnership. It's, it's tough to describe in words. You really got to experience it for yourself. And the same amenities that you're going to get with the Keystone Cougars, I mean, it's pretty standard. You got the heated enclosed underbelly. You got the, the leveling. You got the 15 inch aluminum wheels here on the Dexter Easy Lube axles with the suspension that's got the extra wide berth. And if you wanted to set up a TV out here, Got your connections, your power right here. But entertaining to me also means staying in a good mood. And if I have to set up leveling, not automatically, I'm not gonna be a good host. Keystone thought of that. Automatic electronic leveling. You got your controls right here in the pass through storage. So you push the buttons, boom, you're off and running. Starting at $37,995, or as low as $277 a month for the 2021 Keystone Cougar 29 FKD. It's about entertaining.
When you want something that you want to entertain folks in with the creature comforts of home, this one here is a great option. But you say, hey, Chris, I love that front kitchen floor plan, but can they do X, Y, and Z? Can we change X, Y, and Z? Absolutely. When you text Easy RV to 32094 or just drop a comment, Easy RV, four letters, down below. Give us a call, 866-853-3510. Someone's going to be standing by ready to walk you through a unit that's gonna have all the features that you want. There's one in your backyard. And with the Ultimate RV Show, the prices are not going to be better than they are right now. So everybody's hopping on the bandwagon. And there's a reason why. When you get out and you explore the country in a new RV or an upgraded RV, it just, life is so much better. You get to reconnect with your friends and family and make new friends and family. So let our specialists walk you through a unit, answer those questions for you. Finance people are standing by. They're gonna help you walk through the options as well. When it's time for the paperwork, they're gonna mail it to you. Postage is already paid on the envelopes included. You can send that back. You don't even have to pay for a stamp. Then the best part, when they deliver your unit, you're gonna get the same walkthrough that you would get if you were at the dealership. You don't even have to get out of your pajamas during the whole entire process. Next step, just enjoy camping. It can be delivered to your camp chair or your couch. Well, I mean, not actually in your couch because that would mean your trailer would go in your house and that would, that would just be a mess. We're not gonna, we're gonna ixnay on that. But having it delivered to you, it's a beautiful thing. You want this one starting at $37,995 or as low as $277 a month? Think about it because I got more of those entertainment-based travel trailers coming up. Hang on. Hey guys, it's Kaylin and Dave back here at the Ultimate Campsite, here at the Ultimate RV Show. And they handed me this thing that I don't know what it is. So it's all you, bud. Oh, well, hey, Kaylin, thanks so much. <laughs> uh, here at the Ultimate Campsite, we always make sure we have a water regulator. Water regulator, Water okay. regulator, yep. We gotta have these bad boys on every RV. If you're camping, you better make sure you always have one of these. Uh, as simple as you go to a campsite, you never know what the, the pressure is gonna be there. Uh, all across the nation, pressure is gonna be different. Now you got some areas where it's 100 PSI. So that's pounds per square inch. So, okay. Yeah, so we don't want to have that kind of pressure going into a camper. Can you imagine what would happen if you had too much pressure inside? You get in the shower and it like blows the whole shower head off. Uh, yeah, you don't want that flying at you in the, early in the morning. No. You're not ready for it, right? <laughs> um, and then the, I mean, toilets, you know, we have leaks there. Another area you definitely don't want to have a water leak. Uh, pressure underneath, the, the lines underneath, you may not even see them until after they're cracked. So again, Water regulator is key. It's a key essential for uh, for the RV. Again, uh, these are set for about 45, 40 to 50 PSI, um, but we do have some that are rated for about 55, 65. You want a little bit more pressure, but you don't want to go much over that. Uh, so I highly recommend you have to have these. I wouldn't go camping anywhere with, without, without one. Oh! Hello! <laughs> All right, and with the water regulator, we also have a water filter here. So is this like filtering drinking water or usable water? A little bit of everything, because okay. you can actually put this on the outside of the RV. All right, so with the uh, water filters, um, you're basically going to taste. You don't want to have the chlorine taste. You don't want to have bacteria, sediment. Uh, so you're basically filtering all that out. Again, you're at a, an area where you're constantly RVs are switching out. So it's just basically a water spigot outside that you're hooking to most of the time, right? True. So, I mean, you don't know what you're going to get when you pull up to those, those little areas. Um, I've seen people even put their sewer hoses to wash them. So I want everything to be filtered properly. And I also suggest always running the water first, right? Yeah. <laughs> so again, uh, very simple. You can actually put it at the spigot itself, mm -hmm. set up at the spigot itself. You always want to make sure the arrow is pointing towards your RV. Okay. All right. But you can even put it against the RV as well. So you have either option. Okay. Okay. Um, water filter. I think you uh, were curious about that too. We can actually put it at the spigot or at this end of the water, uh, water filter, whichever side, the same way. Okay. All, All right. right. Cool. So how often do I change my water filter? Uh, water filters, let's just say seasonally. Um, typically for home, you're always thinking 30 to 60 days, mm -hmm. depending how much use you're using it. Or so whenever I, my refrigerator yells at me. Exactly. Yeah. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> so with these guys, um, we're really going to uh, look at for more for, uh, for the season. 
So whenever it's uh, you're done for the season, you don't want to take an old filter back into your RV. Right. Because again, it might the water's going to get m musty, mildewy. You mm -hmm. don't want that. So toss it once you're done with the season. Get a new one at the beginning of the next. Okay. Okay. And if you guys are due for a water filter here with the Ultimate RV Show, we of course have the promo pricing for you. Those are regularly priced at $32.99. We uh, have it promo priced at $24.17 and our good Sam members are going to get this for $22.97. You can drop that word camp below in the comments or text camp to 32094 or give us a call at 866-235-8751. And your water regulator is regular priced at $15.99 on sale for the Ultimate RV Show at $12.60. And our good Sam members are going to get that for $11.97. So very low budget to keep your water clean and at a safe pressure in your RV. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and uh, drop your comments below or give us a call and uh, we'll see you guys again soon. Hey, what's up everybody? You know, right now at the Ultimate RV Show, it's Chris Young. It's all about in entertainment. Travel trailers that are great for entertaining. That includes toy haulers because toy haulers are great if you want to haul your bikes, you got side by side, you got a golf cart, whatever. But the garage space is also spacious enough to enjoy getting together with family. Like, for example, take a look at these huge couches on both sides and this six foot table that I have here. This is a great spot for if you cook the camp meal, you don't want to eat over there in the living area, you can bring it here. This ramp, actually lowers down and it becomes a party deck. It's also a ramp for the toy hauler, but the entertainment value that's on the deck of a toy hauler really is, is unmatched. You got so much space, so much versatility. This could easily sleep two people. I mean, if you take a look, I could probably fit two people right here just by myself. I mean, it's comfy as, wow, this actually is really, really comfy. If y'all just want to go to another unit and come back to me, I'll be fine with that. But if you like this unit, let me tell you, the Ultimate RV Show is going on right now. There is no better time to get a new unit. If you like this one and you want this one, brand spanking new, so it's going to be limited. But if you like the toy hauler style, you like the pass-through bathroom, we have over 19,000 RVs ready and waiting for you. All you got to do is text EZRV to 32094. It's never been easier. Leave a comment, EZRV down below. Give us a call, 866-853-3510. For example, this one. Sleeping capacity is seven. Dry weight on this one, 7,800 pounds, starting at 26,995 or as low as $203 a month. For sleeping seven? When was the last time you got away that cheap on a vacation? Yes, well now you can take this with you and it's yours, but it's only during the Ultimate RV Show. And if you say, hey Chris, I like this one, but can you change this? Can you do a little bit of this? Yes, we can. We have these floor plans all over the place. We got specialists standing by right now that are gonna give you a virtual walkthrough of these units. Answer all your questions, go over the highlights. Hey man, what is this? How much does this hold? That suspension netting, is it good? Can you tell me what it feels like when you grab it? What about these cushions? They're gonna also walk you through financing. The paperwork's then gonna be mailed to you with the postage paid on the return envelopes. The unit will then be delivered to you and you can go camping. That's Easy RV, 32094, text it right now. So. Plenty of space here in the garage. The ramp also when it's the deck can hold 1,500 pounds. So that's a pretty good number of people. You got your D-rings in here. If you did want to you know, latch some toys in, you have that option there. 11 feet, four inches total on the garage and you got 79 inches going across. So plenty of good space. Over here, you also got your access point. Got some USB and charging. Now, entertaining in RVs, is about separating space because you have areas that you can go do the entertaining, then you have areas where you can go be quiet. Usually that involves a pass-through bathroom. Like this one right here that we have in the 2021 Forest River Ozark 2700 THX. That's what we're in, by the way. Herringbone pattern in the floor, herringbone pattern into the bathroom here, and just take a look. Plenty of room, I'm not cramped. Got a skylight in here. I got my shower curtain. I'm good, not cramped at all. Got the bowl here with the foot flush. Plenty of bathroom countertop space, plus storage. And the thing I like about the Forest River Ozarks, they're exclusive to Gander RV and Outdoors. And this graphite style finish 
beautiful. The herringbone pattern goes all the way through the camper. We move through this 2700 THX, and right away, you're going to see the space, the style continues. But the separation also continues. And that's key in the entertainment. you got to have the space where everybody's going to be chilling. Because you know, entertainment isn't so much about the, you know, the big booming systems or the huge giant speakers. It's about reconnecting with each other. And when you think about it, when was the last time you got a chance to do that? When was the last time you disconnected from everything around you, took the family out, got six people in a booth and just laughed, laughed for as low as $203 a month? When was the last time you did that? That's the pricing during the Ultimate RV Show. Starting at $26,995 for this 2021 Forest River Ozark 2700 THX. 7,800 pounds, can sleep seven, can fit six right here and have a great time. Got a large panoramic window, letting in some air. Everybody's laughing, having fun. You can travel the country the safest way possible in your RV. That's why RVs are so popular right now. People figured out, hey, I can take my stuff with me. I don't have to stay in a hotel. I don't have to pay those huge prices for hotel rooms. I have to pay those huge prices for airline tickets. I can spend $203 a month and have my own and take it wherever I want. If you like this floor plan, there are some that are better than this or some that are more expensive than this, but you have the options. And our people are standing by to show you those floor plans, and that's what it's all about. You don't want to get up and leave and go somewhere. We got you covered. Easy RV. Just text that to 32094. Somebody's going to walk you through. Over here on the kitchen, you're going to see we got a huge farmhouse-style sink. I think I could probably fit inside of this. High-rise brushed nickel faucet here. You got that graphite-style combination on the shaker's cabinets here. Plenty of storage. Flush-mounted microwave, flush-mounted cooktop with the three burners and the glass cover. LED backlight right there. And then this one, you have a 13,500 BTU air conditioner uh, with the quick cool. Um, yeah, check out that glass cover. That also doubles back. It's a great little feature. But we can look up here. So you got the, the quick cool on the AC. That's 13,500 BTUs. You close that off, it blows through the vents. You want to come in here and just get chilled out. Boom, open that up. It's going to cool you down. Norco fridge that runs on both LP and electric. USB charging ports all the way throughout. Seamless countertops. That huge that, that huge tub, though, man. That, that's a tub. That's not a sink. That's a tub, son. That's beautiful. And then when it's time to retire, you got the family back there in the garage spot. Or if you're just a couple and you're taking your toys with you, Everything's back there. This is your entertaining space. When everybody leaves, you can retire right here on your bed, right up front. You got dual USB charging ports over here, like I mentioned. Power outlet, got a little shelf right there. Underneath, you got some storage. Spare tires under there, and this is accessible through the pass-through storage outside. So, great option for couples who have toys, Fantastic option for people who want to entertain. Fantastic option for people who want to just get out and about. So you walk outside, we got solid steps coming down with the oversized handle. And anytime you see the X at the end of a Forest River Ozark, the THX, that means you're going to get the laminate travel trailer. These are laminate sidewalls. Freshwater connection down here, more for the entertaining. The large awning with the LED light, the space out here. So if I wanted to set up a table, power my boom box, set up, charge my phone, absolutely could. Underneath, you're gonna see that sealed and enclosed underbelly, the 15 inch aluminum wheels on the Dexter Easy Loop axles with that extra wide berth on the suspension, which is gonna help with that rocking going back and forth. Here's our access point going to the garage and check out the LED lights on the speakers. That's kind of entertaining, right? Come out here, you got the dual zone music playing, People are having fun, kids going in and out. You got the party deck set up on the back, the gates down, the suspension is up all around it. Everybody's just having fun. That's what RVing is all about. Leveling jacks over here. We got the seamless Superflex roof going all the way over the top, diamond plated rock guard, twin 20 pound LPs, and power tongue jack. This is one of those things when I tell people, if you can get it, get it because you need it. Because setting up, Look, when you're talking about doing some entertaining, you also got to be in a good mood. And if you got to spend a lot of time hand cranking the setup, that's not going to be 
a really good time. It's not really going to foster a good environment for entertaining. Now, I wanted to leave the back gate up, too, so I can kind of show you this. Usually when we have the party deck set up, you know, you can't really see. You see that arch ceiling up there and those three-inch nozzles? That's going to help keep the elements, the rain and the snow, off of this camper and off of you. This is also set up for backup camera. But you got a secure latch here. We have it locked right now. But the way you would bring this down, you just lift the lip, pull it, lift the lip, pull it, bring it down. And then there's your ramp or your party deck. Toy haulers, people don't think about this because they think, oh, well, I don't have a bike. I don't have a side-by-side. -side. I don't have a golf cart. You don't need it. Toy haulers... For the families or for the people just looking to get out and entertain, if you're a couple and you love to have fun, you want to go to a tailgate, maybe you're a huge Texas Longhorn fan like myself, you want to pull that up to a tailgate. Talk about having fun. You put a smoker out there and lay a brisket down, you're going to have yourself a crowd, my friend. You will be known down there. So, 2021 Forest River Ozark 2700 THX. Right now, starting at $26,995 or as low as $203 a month. If you like this floor plan, Chris, I need to sleep seven. I need something around 7,800 pounds. But can we change a little? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Just text Easy RV to 32094 right now. Drop me a comment. Easy RV. That's all you got to do. Four letters. Give us a call, 866-853-3510. One of my pros is going to walk you through and answer all those questions I couldn't get to. Then they're going to let you talk to finance. What are my options? How long? How much? Oh, I can get it for that? Well, okay then, let's do it. Then they're going to deliver that, give you a walkthrough like if you're at the dealership. Pro's going to set it up, and then you're going to feel like a pro because you didn't even get out of your pajamas to get your new RV at the Ultimate RV Show with Easy RV. How easy is that? So take advantage of the Ultimate RV Show pricing. If you're looking to entertain or you just want to get out and about and see the country in the safest way possible, do me a favor, go ahead and text it now. Easy RV to 32094. I'm going to show you another one here in a second. Hang on. At Camping World, we've always been about helping you turn an experience into a moment and a moment into a memory. And we want to continue doing that just with a little more power. Chart the uncharted on a mini bike or go kart. Explore the unexplored on a golf cart, UTV, or ATV. Coleman Power Sports, now available at Camping World. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. Hope you are enjoying every bit of the Ultimate RV Show. Sean Parr, Morgan Cornell, and Morgan, when it comes to travel, are you a travel with a person, travel with a pet, travel alone? I want to travel with my friends and my boo. We love entertaining. We love cooking. And that cougar we saw earlier. Oh, yeah. Large countertops, deep sink. We love to cook. Love to have fun. Love the party. So, yeah. Uh, I love the party deck that we were looking at oh, there. Oh, my goodness. That's perfect. And we got the segment that's all about entertaining coming up right now because we've got some amazing uh, product right now that we're going to ship to you. And listen, as Chris is saying constantly throughout this uh, um, this Ultimate RV show is Easy RV. You just text it in. You got a comment. You got a question. Anything you need, text Easy RV 32094. That's it. And you can give us a call. Our show specialist number is 866-853-3510. They are here for you. Any question, concern about any RV, they've got you covered. Oh, let's go talk about entertaining RVs right now. Let's get back to some more of those beauties. Hey, everybody. What's up? It's Chris Young back to show you some more entertaining travel trailers. Entertaining because, yes, what you're going to see is absolutely beautiful, but these are set up for entertaining friends and family, which means you're going to have great open space that's inviting, but you're also going to have separation between the areas so that you can have your privacy, but also have the entertainment. The one that I'm in right now, the 2021 Forest River Rockwood Ultralight 2608 BS. And right now, this beauty is starting at $35,995 or as low as $262 a month. You can sleep four, 8,700 pounds, 
but wait until you see the features in this. We have the arched ceilings. We have the seamless countertops up front. What I like about the front kitchen floor plans is a lot of times when you get them, not only does it make you want to just bring out that camp chef and say, yes, Honey, please tell your sister to come over because I'm gonna cook something awesome in this in this spot. Look at all the space that I have. Look at my sink. I'm gonna be cleaning and washing and drying and cutting with my cutting board. It's gonna be all like a pot of neck bones. And then you look out the front of the end cap and you realize if I'm sitting here at the beach or I'm at the mountains and I got my cup of coffee and I'm watching the sunrise come up over the ocean, I go, I'm paying as low as $262 a month for this. I couldn't pay that to see this again. That's what RVing is about. You're paying for hotels, you're paying for airline tickets, you're paying for bus tickets. Man, stop it. Just stop it. Pick up your phone, stop looking for flights, and text Easy RV to 32094. Or just drop a comment, Easy RV. Or give me a call, 866 853 3510. If you like this front kitchen floor plan, or you say, Chris, I love the Ultralight 2608 BS, how do I get it? I got somebody standing by right now to help you get it. They're gonna walk you through everything. They're gonna talk to you about the options. Yes, Chris, can you, you know, hey, Chris didn't really get a chance to talk about, you know, the 1.3 cubic foot microwave or, you know, really show a lot of the space. Can you show that to me? That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna take the time to walk you through what this RV is like. Then they're gonna let you speak to a finance specialist who's gonna mail you out the paperwork. You're gonna get a return envelope with postage already on it, so you don't have to pay for that. Then your unit's gonna be delivered to you. Somebody's gonna walk you through setting it up, just like they would if you were at the dealership, and then you're gonna go camping. And the next thing you know, you're gonna find yourself sitting here at the freestanding dinette, looking at the beautiful panoramic windows. We got the breeze going from cross over here. Somebody on this side is watching the sunset and smiling or playing cards or we're eating the meals and just going, man, what a good idea it was to get this RV. Yeah, it was, right? We're enjoying it, we're reconnecting, we're entertaining. We are having fun. Because entertaining isn't always about having a big loud system, big DJ booth. No, sometimes it's just about having some creature comforts of home that are inviting, that people want to come in and enjoy. Like a huge 10 cubic foot fridge, freezer combo, that runs on both gas and electric. Having a big three burner cooktop with the grill style cover, the LED accent lights, on the burner controls. Being able to take off your dirty shoes after you've been fishing or hunting, put them in the mudroom right there, maybe hang my coat up or hang my bag or move these up and make this you know, from pantry to wardrobe space. And then come over here past this solid surface countertop under my TV, sit in my recliner that's plush. <laughs> Girl, plush, comfortable, and just beautiful. Man, you can't beat this with a stick if you try it. Open up the windows, let the cross breeze come out, recline this out, cut on the fireplace if I get a little chill, maybe turn on the stereo. I got Bluetooth, I got multi-zones, I got DVD, I got HDMI. Change my fireplace, change my entertainment, run the music through my speakers inside and out. Everybody's having fun, everybody's enjoying it, but then, when it's time for, you know what, I, you guys go ahead, I'm gonna retire. But you have a bathroom if you need to do something. I'm gonna be in my master. This is what's great about travel trailers that are set for entertainment. You have separation. I have my own door to the master. I have a door to the bathroom, plus it's a pass-through. So if I needed to access it and people were still out here having fun or just hanging out, I could keep this door shut because I have a pocket door right there that's solid. Porcelain bowl with the foot flush, Neo Angle shower. They could come in, they wouldn't bother me because I'm gonna be here in the master on my big bed, my padded headboard. I got my little LED reading lights. I got storage up top. I got a little night shelf. I mean, because entertaining it's not always about having to be the entertainer. It's about being entertained. Are you not entertained? And for me, that's sometimes just laying down and going to sleep. Getting away from everything, y'all hush. I got solid pocket doors, that's gonna help with that. I have my own AC back here, which is also gonna help with that. 
If I need it, I got big storage underneath. I can access the outside storage. I also have drawers here, solid wood construction on ball bearing drives. You're gonna get just great construction with that. Push that down. Somebody's outside and I'm feeling a little punchy, they could hand me my drink if I needed to under there. Just saying. Mirrored wardrobe right here. You have the hangers too. So instead of having the bar, you have the metal hangers up here. I like that. Plus you have some drawers down here. Just deep well, just, you feel how it all just kind of chilled out a little bit when we came back here. It was fun, we were upbeat, we were entertaining in the living area. Now it's like, no, 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 I'm in my space. I'm in my space, I'm enjoying it, I'm loving life. Chris, how can I find that floor plan? Easy RV to 32094. Oh, my wife and I would love that. Oh, my partner and I would love that. My husband and I would love that. Yeah, they would. They absolutely would. Do them a favor, get it for them for their birthday. You won't be wrong. You can get this one starting at $35,995 or as low as $262 a month. You can't beat that. That's the gift that's gonna keep on giving. Speaking of giving, we're gonna walk outside. Solid steps coming out, extra large grab handle. A feature, if you can find it, on any travel trailer is gonna be the external shower. So with hot and cold, if you have this, when you come back from doing the hunting, the fishing, the beaching, whatever you're doing, being able to kind of clean off before you go in, that's kind of nice, but also having the option to do it out here, you know, it's also kind of fun, kind of reconnecting with nature a little bit. Before we go up to the front, I kind of want to show you the back, because right back here is where all of our connections are. we got our cable and satellite connections, black tank flush, antifreeze, city water connection. I got myself a solid ladder with the handles going over the top, backup camera prep. You're also going to notice the seamless, solid windows that are tinted and safety glass all the way around this camper. Spare tire back here, hitch, 4x4 sewer hose. It's entertaining. I'm having fun. I can get all my connections back there so that when I get here under this umpteen gajillion foot awning with the LED light and my dual zone speakers going, if I want to bring the TV out, I got my mount. I got my power right there. Got my Furion TV connection right there. You can't be beat, man. Having, it, having the area that's inviting and having the space inside and outside, because now we got the dual zone playing, or I got entertainment going here, the game's there, something else is going on in there. Julia Childs is cooking a turkey. Who cares? It's entertaining to somebody. I might watch it out here. They might be watching something else. It's having the options to do it and the space and having the invitation which is what entertainment is all about. And you're doing it in front of a beautiful 2021 Forest River Rockwood 2608 BS. Solid steps going in both friction hinge doors. I got me some pass through storage, or excuse me, this is just our access and storage over here. And powered leveling jacks on the front and the rear. Heated and closed underbelly. Fiberglass end cap. Come here, see if you can see this. Look at that window right there. Tell me that wouldn't be an awesome sight, not only going down the road, but from the inside looking out at a sunrise or a sunset. Tell me you wouldn't just grab that loved one in their big sweater with a cup of coffee and just be like, mm, this is a moment. I love it. I love it. You need to have it. You need to have it which is why we're doing the Ultimate RV Show right now. Just do me a favor, text Easy RV to 32094. These prices that we have, for example, on this one, starting at 35,995, sleeping for 8,700 pounds with all those amenities in it, or as low as 262 a month, you can't beat that. But just do yourself a favor. Take the plunge and ask the questions. Do the what ifs. Well, what if we had, what if we did this? Hey, what if this trailer, what if, that's what our specialists are there for. Let them guide you through the process. Finance people are standing by as well to answer those questions there. Well, what, if, what about financing? How many months can I go? What can my payments be? What's the rates? They're going to walk you through that. The paperwork is then going to be sent to you. Camping World has it all covered. With Easy RV, the process has been thought out for you because we know you might not want to get up and go to the dealership. That's why we're doing this. It's the same way with taking delivery of your unit. Someone is going to bring it to you. 
They're gonna show you how to set it up. They're gonna give you that walkthrough as if you were at the dealership and you're not even out of your pajamas. How easy is that? You can actually find one in quicker time than it took me to describe the Easy RV process. But give me a text, Easy RV to 32094, or just drop a comment down below, Easy RV, so we can get you started on enjoying America the safest way possible in an entertainment RV. If you want to entertain, get yourself an RV. I got another one coming up in just a minute, so hang on. Hey folks, I'm Ian Baker and I'm joined by my good friend Melissa at the Ultimate RV Show. We're at the Ultimate Campsite. We have a number of products to go over. We're looking at some leveling blocks, we have some jack pads, wheel chocks. We're gonna go over a bunch of stuff, some amazing pricing. If you're interested in these items, you'll wanna call, text, or comment. That phone number to call will be 866-235-8751 or you can text CAMP to 32094 or just type CAMP in the comment box. Melissa. Why don't we start here on the big block and work our way down? What are we looking at? All right, right here we have our Camco leveling blocks. Um, these come in a pack of 10. Great thing about these, I love these. You got a carrying handle. Yes, comes right with it. Yeah, so you're not missing one later down the road. Yep, <laughs> well, that, you know, because that's exactly it. Otherwise, you know, you're gonna throw it in the pass through. You may have mm -hmm. some loosen up with this one. You got the carrying handle, all of it's right there, convenient. Yes. And, and you. You get one block and you're good to go. You're good to go. Um, one thing about these, uh, you can drive up on these or if you need to just stack them mm -hmm. underneath the wheel for that one side, then you can do that. Uh, only thing about them is they suggest not to stack over four. Okay, okay. On height. All so right. So spread them out, just don't go 10 up. Makes sense. Yep. All right, quick pricing on these ones. If you're looking for a quick set, there it is. Everything comes with it. Normal price, $43.99. Today's promo price, $33.65. But if you're a good Sam member, you can pick them up for $31.97. Let's move on over. What do we got here, little guy? Yeah, these are our Valterra brand. These okay. are gonna come as singles. All right. So you can buy multiples of these. Uh, Sometimes you might not need 10, you just made two or three of them. Sure. Same with these, you can drive up on them or you can stack them. Okay. I, only thing about with these, if you buy one brand, you need to stick with that brand. If you buy the Valterra, you can only stack with Valterra. If you okay. buy with Camco, you can only stack with Camco. That is good to know. So you're gonna kind of go one or the other. Yes. Any advantage to either one? I mean, I see I get a carrying handle here. Carrying handle with this one. Easy there to it keep is. up with. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pricing on the singles. And again, if you want, like you said, you want to buy three or four, you can absolutely do so. Normally it's $4.99 each. Today's price, $3.65. Or if you're a good SAM member, you can pick up each one for $3.47. Let's move on over to some jack pads. Yes, so these are our Camco stabilizer jack pads. Okay. These are gonna be for your stabilizer jacks or sure. your tongue jack. Okay. Something with a smaller foot on it. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, these also, you can flip them over. One side is for gravel and the other side is gonna be for Oh, concrete. That's good to know. Yes. Okay, and that way, like you say, if it is gravel or grass, you're not pushing those you're jacks down to the down. ground. Gets you something nice and stable to put them down on. Yes. And it looks like it comes with a pack of four we have they do. there. Yep, comes All with a pack right. of four. All right. Pricing on the pack of four jack pads. You're looking at sixteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Today's price is thirteen dollars and sixty five cents. But if you're a good Sam member, you're picking those up for twelve dollars and ninety seven cents. All right, it's moving on over. It looks like we have the same thing, but much larger. We do, exactly. Like you said, much larger. These are gonna be for your level levelers. So uh, okay. your leveling feet are gonna be a lot wider. Yes. Sometimes your tongue jack is gonna have a lot wider of a plate on it. Yes. You're gonna want something bigger. You don't want your level feet, your foot pads to go over. Makes sense. So if you have like or a- not a, have enough room. If you have like a bigger fifth wheel with like yes. auto level on there, motor home, you're gonna go with something like this rather than the smaller Then the guys. smaller ones. Same thing with these. One side is for concrete. The other side is for gravel. Perfect. So level out. Looking to pick these ones up. You're looking at $19.99 standard pricing today, Melissa. You can pick them up for $15.75 or if you're a good SAM member, $14.97. Last but not least, we have our beautiful wheel chalk here on the end. Yes, our famous wheel chalks. <laughs> <laughs> so wheel chalks are something that you're always going to need. I do hear a lot of people say, it's okay, I got some two by fours. Don't worry about that. Ooh. How often are you gonna replace those two by fours? Yeah, oh, exactly, yeah. Yeah, rotted from the rain and the weather. Yep. So wheel chocks, they're plastic, they're really great. And they're lightweight, they're and easy they to grip. carry, they have grip on yes. it. And you know, they're relatively inexpensive. I mean, today, 
You know, normally you're looking at $6.49, but today's pricing is $5.21. And if you're a good SAM member, you're at $4.97, under five bucks each. Yep. Get a couple for each axle, put it under each wheel. Exactly. That way your travel trailer's not moving around on you. Yep. Perfect. All right. Thanks, Melissa. You guys, if you're interested in any of these products, they have some great prices on here. It, definitely something that you almost need to have need. on a lot of these. So if you're looking to, you know, getting into RVing, you want to pick up some of the necessities, this is the time to do it. Call 866-235-8751 or text CAMP to 32094. You can also type CAMP in the com comment box and that will let you take advantage of the excellent pricing we have here today at the Ultimate RV Show. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Chris Young, Ultimate RV Show. You know, right now we've been talking about travel trailers that are set up for entertaining. And I know what some of you might have been thinking. What if we got kids? Got you covered. Ultimate RV Show, we're going to make sure you're taking care of entertaining the kids as well, which is why I am currently sitting in the 2021 Forest River Puma XLR 27 RBQC. A lot of letters, but really the only letters you need to worry about are EZRV. Go ahead and text that right now to 32094 or drop me a comment, EZRV. Give me a call, 866-853-3510. Because once I show you this one and you think, yes, a bunkhouse model for entertaining the kids. They have their own space. Exactly. Now you're getting it. You're going to see that the lifestyle fits everybody and there's options out there for everybody. And we have specialists standing by right now who can walk you through multiple floor plans and answer your questions that I'm not going to have the time to get to specifically, but they're there to make sure you get answered. Finance is going to be taken care of too. People are standing by for you to talk to about that. What are my options? Then the paperwork's going to be mailed to you. Postage is going to be paid already on the return envelopes. So is the delivery. We're going to take care of that. We're going to bring it to either your home or your campsite. You don't even have to take off those fuzzy slippers or get your hair out to curl us, because, which I do every Saturday. So we will have that all taken care of with Easy RV 32094. Now, this one, I'm actually just sitting over here on the jackknife sofa because it was comfortable. And I was thinking, this is a good spot for the family because you take a look over here on the campsite. We have the TV mount which kudos to Forest River for going ahead and putting the mount in there as opposed to just, you know, kind of leaving that to chance. It's on the swivel. You're pre-wired for Wi-Fi in this one too because, you know, kids, they got to have it. I got to have it too. Got to watch my Netflixes. Got your connections right there, your power right there. Your HDMI cable is coming out here. There's my command center with the CD, DVD, HDMI, USB, plus it's dual zone. So I could play the speakers in here or I could play the speakers outside. Open up, lots of good storage options. Now, if you got the games or if you just needed extra pantry storage, you got space over here for big stuff, shelf storage there. And then down below, I got me right here. That's good mudroom storage for me. Or actually, it would be good for like grab and go bags, maybe kavu bags, hiking bags, whatever, you know, kids' toys, be a good spot to put in there. And during the Ultimate RV Show, this 2021 Puma 27 RBQC, starting at $26,995, or as low as $203 a month. Now, you're talking about sleeping six people. If you got two adults, some kids, and the kids' friends, because they always tag along, you got the room to sleep them and have them be entertained themselves while you're entertaining yourself, because you have your own space, for as low as $203 a month. Do I need to spell it out? Cheaper than a plane ticket or hotel stay with all them kids. Easy, simple. You got double over double bunks back here with the teddy bear style mattress that's plush and comfortable. And Kev, I'm gonna get out the way so you can see up top. We got a window there and a dual USB charging ports. Cause you know the kids are gonna bring their cell phones. We also got the dual USB down below with the push button light and some storage down here as well which you got the access points down there too, but under there, breaker panel down there. Bathroom is over here on the off camp side and good space in here. If you notice on this plastic bowl with the foot flush, I got plenty of leg room. I'm six foot two, I'm gonna be fine. But if you're sitting there saying, Chris, that, that's a good idea for the kids. Can we get one with maybe the bunk swapped as opposed to, you know, on a campsite, maybe they're on the off camp side or, you know what? Yes, the answer to all those questions is yes. It will be yes. Just text EZRV 
to 32094. Let our specialists walk you through. Got the shower here, single surround with the tub. So if your involvement of the kids happens to be the furry four-legged kind, you could use the tub right here to wash them off after you come back from the beach or the hike. They can sleep on the bunks. Got plenty of room. I'm 6'2". I'm not gonna have any problem here with the headroom thanks to the skylight with the crystal inlay. Got plenty of shelf space, countertop. Got the single vanity sink right there and my medicine cabinet plus my storage down below. Because when you're talking about bringing the family on the road, you need those storage options. Um, you need to have ways of putting the stuff away so that it's not cluttered. We got storage over the sofa right here with this frosted glass inlay. Oh wow, that's textured. It's a nice touch, it's like bubbled, I like that. Shaker style cabinets, graphite style fixtures on there. Good storage space, that's a good spot for games or whatever. Now the booth dinette, the U-shaped dinettes, um, these are a great option for entertaining as well. I kinda wanted to show you what it was like with the table down, cause this is also a sleeper. But you can easily fit six people right here. So when you get finished making those camp meals, everybody's over here just chatting, having a good time, reconnecting, or maybe you're just, you just use this for the couples and you get the dogs. You get to the campsite, and you see another couple with dogs, y'all become friends. Everybody's over here just hanging out, laughing, having a good time. You got huge panoramic windows. You got breeze coming in. Maybe the sun is setting over here on the off campsite, and it just ends up being a great moment. It's those moments that you live for because you talk about them all the time. How do you have those moments? How do we get to those moments? How do I get to that place? Easy RV. You knew it was coming. I ain't that bright. Easy RV, just text it, 32094. That's how you get those moments. You create them. Got the L-shaped kitchen over here, modified l shape. Look at the countertop space that we have here on this seamless countertop. I got my drying rack taking up half of the space here on this undermounted farmhouse style sink with the brush nickel high rise faucet. Good spot for doing the cooking, doing the cleaning. I got my little window here, so if I do have the kids, I can look outside and check on them, make sure everything's going okay. Open up the window, get the cross breeze. I got my shaker style cabinets giving you kind of the barn door look here with the frosted glass in the top half. Very nice touch for the Puma. Flush mounted microwave, flush mounted three burner cooktop here with the glass cover and the grill style grates. I just like these because moving the stuff around, it's just so much easier. Plus we got the LED light, got the huge Everchill fridge, huge, right there. And when you're talking about getting away to your space, you got a solid door leading to the master. Walk in here, big bed, plenty of nightstand space. I got the LED reading light, the shelf, the mirrored ward storage. I got power over here, dual USB charging over there. And right here on this back wall, if I wanted it, we got ourselves a TV mount plus our connections right there. So entertaining, it does include the kids, but it also includes yourself. And having those options of being ready to have the open space, but having your own space. To me, that means you're covering your bases when it comes to entertainment. When we walk outside, especially if you have the family, this is where the entertainment's gonna kick up into high gear. So, got my solid steps, my solid grab handle, large awning running almost the entire length of the RV with the LED light. Just take a look at how beautiful that is right now. Dual zone speakers there. I got a TV mount and a TV port as well as a power plug if I need it. I got my double axle travel trailer, 15 inch aluminum wheels, that Dexter Easy Lube axles, got that extra wide berth, giving me some good suspension. But you know what, I'm already set up at the campsite. That's all good. Our specialists can cover that for you. I'm talking about entertaining right now. Would you just look at it? I got myself an outside kitchen, prep space, the mini dorm room fridge, this is our slide out here, so if you did have a grill, you could plug into the LP, because you got the, the LP prep down there. Got your sprayer nozzle here, the mini dorm room fridge, as I like to call it, so if you need to store some space, plus you got the little ice tray. But my favorite part, the griddle. 
This opens up so many options when cooking outside because you're not limited to just a grill top with like two burners. You now have a griddle. I can do bacon, I can do the eggs, I can do the pancakes. Got my little grease trap if I end up scraping the bacon off. But you know, when you cook the bacon on the griddle, you use that to cook the eggs. We know that, I got you, it's God's condiment. I'm following you. But put this away when it's all said and done, close it up entertaining space right here that people are going to migrate to because you're doing stuff, you got the sounds, you got the TV going on the mount, the table's out, the chairs are out, you're under the big awning, I got the adjustable pitch if I need to move it up and down. You're just having a good time, you're doing some entertaining. And right back here on the rear, I got my four x four sewer hose storage, my spare tire, I got my 30 amp plug here. We're set up for backup camera prep, and we got the arch ceilings, which you can see the AC is running. So that moisture is coming off the roof and it's not landing on us or the awnings. So when it comes down to entertaining, give yourself some options. Include the kids, include the family. This Puma, the brand new XLR 27 RBQC is a great option. If you like it, starting at $26,995 right now or as low as $203 a month. If you like this or if you like something similar, we got people that'll handle it for you. Just text Easy RV to 32094. Leave me a comment, Easy RV, or give me a call, 866-853-3510. Our folks are gonna walk you through the process. Paperwork's gonna be mailed out to you with those envelopes already stamped. Your RV is gonna deliver to your door or your campsite and you're gonna start entertaining before you know it. That's what the Ultimate RV Show is all about. Which, by the way, we'll be back with more in just a second. We're at the movies and we need to silence our phone. Who knows where that button is? I don't have silent. Everyone does, right up here. It happens to all of us. We buy a new home and we turn into our parents. What I do is help new homeowners overcome this. Was that an adjustable spanner? Good choice, Steve. Okay, don't forget, you're not assisting him. You hired him. If you have nowhere to sit, you have too many. Who else reads books about submarines? My dad. Yeah. Oh, those are... Progressive can't protect you from becoming your parents, but we can protect your home and auto when you bundle with us. Look at that. In a perfect world, you're always chasing adventure and relaxation in your new RV. But in the real world, life happens. That's why Camping World offers a suite of added protection products for our buyers. If the unthinkable happens, added protection from Good Sam will protect your RV and your wallet for the road ahead. Ask your Camping World dealer about Good Sam protection for your RV. How amazing has this been? It's Sean and Morgan, and we are having a great time here at the Ultimate RV Show. And Chris Young has been so busy, and some of the products that he has been showcasing have been incredible. But wait until you see the first look that he has coming up for you in just a little bit. But we've got something very exciting happening right now. This is huge. I know it. Giveaways galore right here at the Ultimate RV Show. I'm trying to tell you. So you need to make sure you're registered. Register for these giveaways, for these goodies that we have for you at ultimatervshow.com. We've got so much in store for you. But right now, a viewer is going to win a major prize, okay? A oh. Coleman mini bike. Now, this is the BT200X, and I'm going to tell you this right now. We have been having so much fun on this particular bike for the last couple of days Yeah. Well, before Sally decided to ruin all of the fun. But let's get somebody in with some fun right now who has been registered, excited, all over uh, ultimatervy.com, the ultimatervshow.com. Here we go. Mary Jagodzinski. Woo! Congratulations. Wow. You know, I thought that was going to be a tough name, Mary, but I do the Golden Globes and some of those directors for foreign <laughs> film are a little tough. So Mary, uh, Mary Jagodzinski, you are amazing. Congratulations on your big win. You know what time it is? It's time for our Veer Speak 101. Oh, man, I'm about to get tested yes. again. Here comes the big question for Morgan. Okay. Morgan, what is a galley? Is it A, a bathroom in an RV? B, the RV bedroom? C, the RV kitchen, or D, the RV living room. What is a galley, my Morgan? I'm going to go with C. Don't judge me. Is it correct? Did C? you say C? I did. C is an RV kitchen. You are correct. All right. We've already given away <laughs> the incredible Coleman bike, so you don't win anything, but congratulations. You are speaking RV. 
<laughs> this is amazing. Listen, if you have any questions about any RV that you've seen today, be sure to text us EZRV32094. It's that easy. <laughs> you know, the, one of the things we've been talking about this whole weekend, and this goes on through Sunday, is our show specials. And Chris has been mentioning these. Ian has been talking a lot about these. The show specials are incredible, but they're not going to last forever. And if you see something, you say, you know what, Sean, I want that particular unit, or I want to add something, as Chris would say, you need to act now. You need to call the number. You need to text right now. You can text Easy RV to 32094, and somebody is going to take care of you because they only last until Sunday. But then you say, you know what? I missed a segment. You guys have been doing this for a couple of days now. What did I miss yesterday? Well, we have archived everything, and we've made it really easy for you to log on and find out exactly what you missed. Maybe you missed some of the travel trailers. Maybe you missed a fifth wheel that you wanted to see. Mm-hmm. Whatever you, whatever it was, you just go to the ultimatervshow.com and go to the On Demand tab. Yes, and we have some more fifth wheels to check out. Uh, this thing right here, Arctic Wolf, is oh. going to be amazing. You're going to love all these features. Stay tuned. All right? Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Ultimate RV Show. Chris Young, a long time, my buddy Ben Hanlon from Forest River. We are here because we're going to give you a brand new first ever look at the Arctic Wolf by Forest River in Cherokee 3880 Suite. Now, it's so sweet, the suite is, that I didn't want to start checking out the sweet suite until we went inside later. So I thought, Ben, let's do outside first. Well, I appreciate you cool? having me and let's do the outside. There's a lot to look at. Out yeah, there, absolutely. Right? So first off, and also let me preface this by saying, if you want this specific unit, you want to get it, you want to get it now. Absolutely now. You want to text Easy RV, four letters, easy, Easy RV to 32094. Or just drop us a comment, Easy RV, or give us a call, 866 853 3510. Easy RV, have you heard about this one, Ben? I, I've heard about it. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, absolutely. We got specialists standing by who are going to walk you through a unit very close to you. Now, it might not be this specific one, but it'll be one like this. If you like this floor plan, we got one ready for you. They're going to answer all your questions. Then they're going to let you talk to a financial specialist. They're going to mail paperwork out to you with envelopes included and postage already paid. I'm not going to cheap out on you like I did at the bar. Then our specialist is going to bring that unit to you, help you set it up, give you the same walkthrough that you would have if you came into Camping World. Then all you got to do is enjoy camping. So if you want this one, go ahead and drop the comment now because trust me, once you see that sweet, sweet, you're going to love it. Outside, fiberglass. I love the color scheme that... Cherokee and Forest River did with the Arctic Wolves. Thanks, man. Uh, we we really wanted to, to make a coach that not only looked great, mm-hmm. but was going to be functional for how you're going to use it. Sure. And it's going to be able to say, I can have confidence that when I'm investing my money, that it's going to hold up for the long term, right? right. So we right. wanted to have a good looking coach, but you're going to have um, two inch thick walls on the outside. That's mm-hmm. one of the big things we hit, right? A lot of these brands, especially when you're talking about something you know, uh, in today's market where they're trying to find ways to say, maybe we do this here. Maybe oh, sure. A bit sure, here, sure. Right? We're going to be able to give you a full featured coach at a, at aggressive price point that's mm-hmm. going to be full uh, option in everything here, like the uh, the two door entry on the outside entry. I for like this layout, storage, man. Right? Yeah. Plus, we got the magnetic anti slams right here. Right. But the double pass through storage, because how many times you've been out with the wife or the kids and it's hurry up, all right, give me that, hurry up, give me that. Yeah, now you can load your own stuff and take a look at the space that we have in there. Right. Finished off. There's so much storage inside a coach. But we wanted to make sure we didn't skimp on the outside as well, right? right? So a lot of times you're going to have sections of this closed off. We opened up everything, mm-hmm. right? So that you can say, I can take as much with me if I want to go full-time living, if I want to go weekend warrior camping, right? You right. can do whatever you want with something like this. We did upgrade, like you said, to the slam latch baggage doors that are the thicker, heavier duty doors. Mm-hmm. Um, for insulation down here, you've got TV hookup outside along with the speakers outside for your radio or for your television as well. I saw that. Um, you're going to have the leash latch because anymore pets are family, right? Yep. So I want to be able to take my, my pets with me. So uh, hook up here so you don't have to find a place to, to, to leash your pet. This is another great feature. I think Forest River, you guys have done a really good job with. I, I know we put them here. We put them in the rear as well. Right. You got really good spots. So Because with those campsites, those animals might get run in a little bit crazy. Absolutely. The other thing I give you guys a tip of the hat for is the manufacturing process. You guys like to reduce and reuse and kind of shrink that carbon footprint, right. which is really what allows you to make the coaches 
at a more affordable price, right? Well, the more efficient we can be in our manufacturing process. Sure. We have you know, only certain bedroom sets. We have only certain kitchen sets. So we right. can be more exacting, not only from what we use, so we're not wasting, right. which is, like you said, going to be a more green manufacturing process. It also keeps the waste from adding up the cost, right? right? So we take the volume buying that Cherokee already uses, that Forest River all uses, and combines that with that type of manufacturing process. Right on. You can get a coach that offers all this um, at an aggressive price point. Beautiful. And it's an aggressively good-looking coach. I appreciate that. <laughs> now, this awning. Yeah. I see we got the LED lights on the arms, uh -huh. and they're angled in. I like that. Adjustable pitch. Yep. And it runs. What's the size of this one? So you're going to have a 20-foot awning on this. Okay. okay. So when you're outside camping, you want to be able to have some covering. We're going to offer a full-length awning, not the 10 or 12-foot awning like a lot of brands are going to offer. Sure. It does have lights, and they can be dimmed. Sometimes okay. the LED lights you get on a coach, yeah. that's just what it is. Right. And maybe I'm wanting to be outside. I just want a little bit of light. I don't want it blaring me out, mm -hmm. right? So you, there's a dimmer switch on inside. You can dim that out nice. um, and use the space the way you would like to. Now, the underbelly, you had talked about a little bit before. You guys have a fully enclosed uh, underbelly here that's also heated. Yeah, so you're going to have a full heated enclosed underbelly. If you want to do extended camping, um, that's why we offer the thicker walls. That's why you're going to have the insulation, thicker roof and floor. That's why we're going to heat and close the underbelly so that you can say if it's late in the fall or early in the spring and you want to get out, you're not limited by when you want to go, right? You've only got so much time to camp. We right. want to make it as long as possible. And you'd mentioned too, it's, it's partitioned under there. Yeah. So you have sections so that if something does happen, you don't have to take off the entire underbelly to get to it. Correct. So we do have a fully sealed underbelly, so it's fully enclosed and there's no holes in the frame. So right. the way we say it is it keeps the heat in and rodents out, right? Mm -hmm. So that's one <laughs> of the goals of the, the camping experience. But we also say if you want to get in there and change something out or access it, you don't have to roll back the whole underbelly, right? You right. can get where you need to go and then reattach it without having to take off the whole underbelly. I see we got the 15-inch aluminum wheels right there on the Dexter Easy Lubes. And right. is that a pressure monitor inside? Yeah, so on the, on the Cherokee article, if you're going to have tire pressure it's monitors right on all the stems so that the, the biggest cause of blowouts in a camper is improperly inflated tires, right. right? So if we can give you some way to be able to check that when you're stopping for gas, when you're getting ready to leave, mm -hmm. so that you can feel confident in, in the way your tires are inflated, then that's going to give you a better camping experience. I like the extra wide berth between the axles, too. That kind of helps with that suspension because right. even though a fifth wheel... It is a little bit easier to tow than a travel trailer because the weight is actually, it's distributed more into the beds, the, the, the bed of the truck right. as opposed to being pulled right behind. Right. Um, still having that? It's a mushed, man. No, it's absolutely look. great. Like the yeah. stability of these. So in addition to the stability of the overall coach, we have one touch push button auto leveling that we call tri-control because you can control it outside, you can control it inside, or you can control it on the phone app. Oh, okay. Right on. okay. So that way, when you're setting up, we want it to be easy. We want yeah. it to be simple, but it's also the ground control 3.0. So it's got sure. extra strong stabilization. Yeah. Sometimes you so, walk into a coach and you feel like you're, you're on a boat because you're yeah. tipping all over, right? Yeah. This is going to be nice and strong and sturdy. Yeah, this is what he's talking about right here. If you guys can kind of see, that's a great feature, being able to control it inside, outside, and through the app, leveling. Because that, dude, talking about taking it easy, making setup easy. Right. Auto leveling is a must if you want to make it easy. Right. Just like, Buying the RV, <laughs> if you want to make it easy, is going to be an easy RV. Uh, but if you think about it, you guys have kind of, every year, you, you revolutionize. You change, you upgrade, you update to make the process better for the customer. Right. Which is exactly what we've done with Easy RV. Because, let's, let's face it, man, there's, there's a lot of trepidation right now. People don't want to, I got to put on my mask. I don't want to get, I'm going to get on my pajamas. I don't, right? So why not give them the option of buying a floor plan from the comfort of their own home. We got specialists standing by right now who will virtually walk you through a unit and answer those questions that Ben and I probably aren't gonna get a chance to cover today in this brief overview. But they have all the knowledge. They're gonna make sure everything you want is taken care of. And all you gotta do is text EZRV to 32094. Leave us a comment down below, EZRV, those four letters, E, Z, and then RV. We're gonna make sure you get all your questions answered. We got a finance specialist you can talk to. The paperwork's gonna be mailed to you with an envelope that's already postage paid. So all you gotta do is send it back in the mail. Then when it's gonna be delivered to your campsite or your home, somebody's gonna help you set it up, professional, and all you gotta do is enjoy the camping. What is up with this door? 
So uh, a lot of times you just have boring doors, right? Yes. It's, it's a door, it's a door, it's a door. Yeah. So you talked about the outside looking uh, really nice. We, we, we invest a lot of money in our graphics package. Yeah. We want, you're pulling up in a new camper. You've invested your money. You want it to pop. You want it to look right. Yeah. So we wanted to not limit that to the walls. We wanted to go the door as well. So I saw that. I, I was like, look at Ben rolling up like the Pope Mobile. <laughs> I thought, is this, this is like the, the, the bulletproof glass? Like, can I see in there? No, you do, have a, you do nice. have a window, but you're not going to see in there. And it right. is friction hinge as well. So that way, even in high winds, you're not going to have, have it slam, slam on you, right? Yeah. So that coupled with our, our more ride entry steps, it's a more secure step. Step it's above steps. To get in. Now, this is something that's unique to us is that on most of these stairs, when they come out, that's the only way to do it. And if you have a permanent site, you might want to have a deck or something, right? Yep. And that yep. becomes a problem. So on our units, you can actually take out the two pins here and the whole thing comes off. So that if, if you have a deck, easy. there's so many things that people don't consider. Like we want to we want to not only have great features, we not only want to have great construction. How do you live? Yeah. How do you use How do you it? enjoy it? Are, we gonna be, are you going to be able to fight with your camper or are you going to be able to love your camper? Yeah. We want you to love it, right? See, and that's the experience. Because if you go out and you have a bad experience, you're not going to want to do it again. Right. And that is so huge because we've got a lot of people for the first time buying campers. They've Absolutely. never camped before. Now, I love the four steps, because you know with three steps, that last step could always be a doozy. But when we walk in here, first things first, I feel that AC blowing. That feels good. It feels great. What, is that a 15K BTU? So every Arctic Wolf has a 15,000 BTU standard and 50 right. amp service. On the Sweet Series, yeah. so this is gonna be my larger unit. Right, right. We wanna step that up a notch. We have two ACs and they're both 15,000 BTU. They're nice. both ducted. Okay. They're both thermostatically controlled. So let's say I want to sleep colder than I want to live. Yeah. Perfectly okay with us. Let's do that, right? So you've got controls up there. You've got controls down here. And you're going to be able to fully, even if, even let's say you know you get into a heat wave and it's going to be 105 degrees. Can I cool my camper down to a comfortable level? In this, Absolutely. In this coach, you can. Can you control it from the app too? Uh, not with the AC system. You can control your lights. You can control your slides. You can control your leveling. Uh, right. But the AC system is going to be on the AC control. Okay. Because that's I, I do like that feature. Yep. But it worries me a little bit at the same time. Because what if I'm half an hour out, all of a sudden I get stuck and something blows, my AC's burning. Right. I don't know it for 45 minutes. I get there and now I got something blown out. Right. So that kind of that kind of worries me a little bit. Well, um, I just kind of made myself at home. Yeah. It's a great camera to do that in, dude. So opposing slides. Yep. We got the super slide over here, super slide over there, and usually in the middle. We see an island kitchen, but I love that you've made a, a bar set up right here. Tell yeah. me about this. So, um, one, our design team uh, does a great job. Yeah, right? they do. so so they, they make it look amazing. But this camper, we're using our super lounge, right? So mm -hmm. on the super lounge, you're going to have amazing seating because so many times on a versatile coach like this, where it could be a couple's coach, it could be a bunkhouse. Sure. What if I want to entertain? What if we have more than just me and my wife? What if yep. we're doing this? Where are we all going to sit? What are we going to do? So we offered the super lounge, but we wanted to make sure we had two levels of dining. So you've got fold away tables for that, but this is going to offer you the ability to just pull up a seat, have a drink, have a breakfast, whatever just you might relax. want to do. Relax, right? That's what the coach is designed for. I love the distressed look on this too, man. Right. Residential and clean, look at that. That's so you're, you're gonna have nice high-end cool. um, accommodations for what's gonna be the current market and in, right. in the way people wanna live, right? So it's a longer bar also, a lot of times people when they have countertop space, it's very limited, yeah. right? So you've got three levels of countertop space. You've got all of this here, plus you're going to have it here by the stove to accommodate if you're cooking, whatever. And then over there on the far end, you're gonna have the sink and extra um, counter space along the hutch area, right? Oh yeah. So a lot of times people are saying, well, that's great, Ben, you've given me slides, but how am I gonna fit this? Where am I gonna put this? So we've got right. a dedicated um, trash can storage area here. Oh, right. okay, let's see. Oh, right on. I noticed on the other side, we had uh, the O2 LP detector and a power port over Correct. there. Plus, was that USB charging as yep. well? You're gonna find USB and uh, outlets throughout the coach because technology is a part of how we live. Right. And how we live is how we're gonna camp. We're gonna camp, we wanna right. get away, but you still wanna be able to charge your devices, right? So we're gonna make that as convenient and easy as possible, um, along with uh, trying to make a good layout for the coach, right? This layout, I, I, I gotta tell you, you took the standard rear living layout, right? You know, and you turned it into a suite, Right, but you also turned it into a sweet suite, which is what I meant outside. Because you got to admit, this is pretty sweet right here, man. It's 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 going well. Yeah, it's really great. Let's start right back here. Okay. Well, let's continue right back here because we already kind of came in and started. I saw the chair and I was like, bro, time out. I'm sitting down. The zebra shades. Yep, I'm a fan of because they just look cool. Yeah, they so, give you that kind of depth of feel a little bit too inside the camper. The zebra shades are going to look great. Like, so yeah. it's not just your standard one color blind coming down. But right. additionally, um, you can block out the light if you'd like, or you can allow as little or as much light as you want. So mm -hmm. we've got this great coach. One of the things that sets us apart is we're going to six and a half foot tall, six foot five 
foot slide heights I'm as opposed saying. to your 510 or 511. So you right. can get the bigger windows. That's great for panoramic. You sometimes sure. block the light out though. Yeah. Right? How do I do that? The zebra shades offer a really versatile option for that. Also notice you got wood balances right. all the way around. A too. lot of times people um, will have the old RV standbys. We think we got to put stuff in because that's the way right. the RVs have always known. We got the curtains right. on the side, we got the hard balances, we got things like that. You don't need it. That's not the way your house goes. Yeah. That's not the way you really want to look. No. So we framed it in, you know, we've taken it just like your house, and you're gonna be able to say, okay, we we framed it in like your house, and right. then we're gonna have the nice large panoramic windows still. Great residential touch. You got the residential glass blown right. LED lights on the sides. I got my bookshelf ends with dual USB charging ports on right. both sides. Got me a little cubby storage down there. Got the comfy fold out sofa. Now this full size queen when it folds out. Yeah, and it's a full trifold sofa, so it's not the jackknife or anything right. like that. Yeah, so the so bed actually folds out. In addition out. to the sleeping, which we'll get to in a second, right. you're going to have it down here as well. Um, the storage, every Arctic Wolf is going to come with the ceiling fan. Mm -hmm. um, every Arctic Wolf is going to come with the full pantry because that's great that you've given me uh, pots and pan storage. I got to have the food to cook it in, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've gone with the oversized 12 volt fridges so that um, the gas electric fridges have a lot of versatility for when you want to go dry camping, but they're, they, they take longer to cool down. You know, right. there's not as much space. So this offers you the versatility to go dry camping if you want to hook up solar and have that integrated to where you can say, right. I can charge my, my fridge, but also I can run it more like residential in those advantages. This is one of those fifth wheels that if you see and you're watching it right now and you say, Ben, Chris, how do I get this? Very easy. Just drop us a comment, Easy RV or text Easy RV to 32094. Give us a call, 866-853-3510. This one is going to go quick. Plus, it's a first look. It's brand spanking new. So if you're like, no, I want that one, I don't want Get on it now. You're not going to be one of those, well, honey, I think we need to go take a look at it next week. There's not going to be a next week, okay? Get it now. And if you say, I love that floor plan, I love that style, right. we have one standing by. Just get on the easy RV train and get your RV to your home quickly. You had mentioned the entertainment center, and the first thing I saw, the fireplace. Chris, it's great because- it Love those LEDs, ambience, right? Man. Yeah. So you've got great ambience. It's also functionally an electric heater. So if you want to take the chill off and you don't want to burn your propane, go ahead. Yes. Plus, we've a lot of times, this is just dead space. So it's great that you gave me a television, but what am I going to put behind right. there? If I've got a Removable Apple TV, mount. if I've got a DVD player, if I've got a video game system, and I want to hook it up, where am I going to set that, right? right? So we're going to give you functional storage behind the TV, above the TV, and then the fireplace below. And you got the shaker style cabinets with the frosted glass inlay that's tinted. Love that look. Privacy a little bit. So I've had some stuff I didn't want everybody to access or see. Put right. that up there. Got the component shelf here. Got the AM FM control unit with HDMI. Is that also Bluetooth on there? Uh, you're going to be. I know it's dual you're zone. Be Bluetooth audio. Nice. Yep. Right on. Okay. I like the pantry too. <laughs> Look, did you, you, know, you knew I was coming in. Chris don't know what that is. It's a pantry. Listen. Michelle does a great job when she's designing these chambers, she does, right? right? So even little details, like instead of just a dead door, let's make it decorative, right? Like yes. we talked about the glass inserts on the other cabinets. Mm -hmm. Let's set the pantry apart. Let's make it look sharp. Yeah. I, I want it to be well-built. I want it to be well-functioned. I want you to walk in and love it. I want you to want to show it off yeah. to your friends, to your family. When you're pulling up in that campground, it looks all good. When you walk inside, it's got to look great too. It does. And this this does look great. I, of course, I've always been a big fan of you guys anyway. It's just been one of those, you know, 26 dBH is what I started with. And, right. you know, moving up to these are just great. Solid wood construction on the full extension ball bearing drives here. Now, I know this is the matte black right. uh, graphite is, is what I usually call it, right. graphite style fixtures. Love the light on the dark contrast here. Prep space. I got a backsplash that doubles as a cutting board. Absolutely. Once again, you're thinking about functionality, making it easy. Right. You had mentioned this fridge, 12 volt. That's a sweet little touch. Yeah, the 12 volt fridge gives you the storage capacity of the residential, the mm -hmm. quick cooling like a residential, and it maintains temperature even in hot weather. Right. But you have the versatility if I want to go dry camping, right? If I want to, if I want to take it to a race, if I want to go out in the boonies, right? Right. You can get there with a 12 volt fridge in ways you couldn't with a residential. Right. Yeah, because I'm not running. I'm also not running all my LP out just to cool right. stuff. Right. Right. Yeah. Which long term, that's going to save you money. Yeah. Extra counter space over there has been huge for us. This was a touch that I said, okay, I see what you're doing. I like it. You took the island kitchen, you gave me entertainment space, and you moved it to a bigger spot than what an island kitchen would give me. Once again. Check out that beautiful graphite style matte finish. I got the sprayer nozzle here. Even got a hand sanitizing station because they're thinking about your safety. Top doubles as a cutting board if you need it, but of course they gave you one anyway. Dual USB charging, power here. 
at the frosted glass. Look at the storage that I have up there. Plus, we have more storage down here. Pantry drawer for the uh, utensils. Just, I mean, storage, 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 pretty much all the way throughout. Well, and, and all of this is going to be great. So you're going to have great storage, you're going to have great kitchen, you're going to have great all this. But one of the things that really sets this floor plan apart is the versatility, and that's what the next room offers. That's yeah. where the bunks are, right? That's, that's why I kind of, I didn't want to start on the inside. <laughs> you're like, why are we standing out in the rain? Right. This is the Arctic Wolf by Forest River and Cherokee, 3880 Sweet. Why is it a sweet? Let's go. You want me in here? You want me Can you check this bad boy out? So now you come in here and you think, oh, wait a minute, what is that? Is that storage? These are full over full size beds. Not even like a double over double bunk or a single over single bunk. Full size bed, over full size bed, bunks in a slide. Right. Chris, a lot of times people say, you know, I, I want to have people with me, but my kids are my kids are older, right? Right, my right, kids, right. My kids aren't Teenagers. seven year old anymore, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Or let's say that uh, I've got in laws or another couple that goes with us, or, mm -hmm. or let's say um, the husband uses it as a hunting cabin. Yeah, in the fall, right? it's a fishing trip. It's a ladies' weekend getaway. It's right, the, the, the beach trip. Da, 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 da. So there's a lot of middle bunk rooms with a loft above. We have that floor plan. Right, What's right. unique about this one is on. Here, you don't have the loft above, so you get more space here. So I can fit right. large beds. It can fit two adults, top and bottom. And what's different about ours specifically is this lift mechanism right here, mm -hmm. what it allows us to do is put on longer beds. So many people, when they have a floor plan similar to this, they can only put a 64-inch long bed, right. which means if you're 5'4 or over, you're, you're hanging pretty much off the bed. Luck. Yep. Right? Yep. Yep. So you can get two full-size beds because this lifts up. It can come in when your slide's in, right. and then when you put the slide out, you can have it come back down and you can sleep comfortably. Strut supported, and the storage that we have here, the first thing that popped in my head was guys hunting trip, ladies weekend getaway, 100%. beach stuff there, chairs, hunting rifles, fishing rods, it's solid wood, plus I got the strut supported so I'm not doing the shoulder. It does all the shuffle. Got the entertainment shelf here, TV mounts over here on this wall, you're just gonna have to trust me on that. Power port and cable connect. See if Kev can get on in here, buddy. See that? And once again, you'll notice they have these wall mounts for the TVs that have a backer that comes with it, and the TVs can just slide right in there. So if you only have one TV, you're cheap like me, that's going to be an easy fit. But, Ben, I got to tell you, when I first saw this one, and I knew we were going to do a first look here at the Ultimate RV Show, I said, people are going to go gaga for this. Easily go gaga. All right, so let's head to the bathroom, and then we're going to head to the master bedroom. Sure. Now, in the bathroom, um, one of the things you're going to find is that our entry is going to be larger than most, right? Right. So a lot of times you have that sliding glass door that means after the, the wet has gotten down into the track, you've got to clean that out and get yeah. that all. This offers a larger opening, right? Yep. That is self-cleaning on the inside, but it's also durable. Check out. Check this out. You ready? Mm -hmm. Oh! Did right? you get that? No matter, no matter what type of way you're going to use this, you're That's going to have super concerned. convenience and yeah. super availability. Ready? Look at it. That's pretty stout. I'm telling you. So it's it gives me a bigger opening. Right. It's going to be self-cleaning, so I'm not going to have to get down there and track it, mm -hmm. but it's also going to be super durable. Porcelain toilet, uh, farm-style doors. Mm -hmm. Every one of our bathrooms is going to have that fantastic fan right in there. Love the, yes, the big fan, the powered fan. We've got the barn style doors, which makes getting in and out a whole lot easier because you don't have the swivel door anymore. Absolutely. Large single basin vanity, brushed nickel fixtures there, oversized. Motion lights are something cabinet. new for this year because we basically wanted to have something that wasn't on all day. Right. You wouldn't have to worry about finding the light switch in the middle of the night. Sure. I can have something that can get me there in the middle of the night, right? Um, Love it. What makes the Sweet Series set apart from the original Arctic Wolves is that we're giving you the bedroom, right? Like so many times mom and dad are going, hey, you know, we've given the kids a great room. We've got a great living space, but what about us? Right. What, what about where I want to sleep, right? So we're giving you a full residential king size bed, okay? And it's so big a bedroom up here, you can actually have two foot of space on each side. I see this. So that you don't have to, so many of these, you're climbing out the foot of the bed. Yeah. Right, how am I gonna get in and out? This gives you space on the sides. You're not gonna wake up that partner when you're getting up in and out. Love the barn style door on the wardrobe closet that we have here. Now got the hangers there and washer dryer prep. That's going to have the washer dryer prep in there. So the majority of our customers haven't optioned in the washer dryer, but for those that do, it can be stackable. Okay. Okay. So that you're not having to do an all-in-one. Sure. But the beautiful thing is, is when I have shelving over there with outlets, right. and then I'm going to come behind you here. Mm -hmm. Ready? I have shelving right here as well. Right. Okay. 
so that okay. I can have a place. If I've got a CPAP machine, yeah. if I've got an iPad, I've got outlets, I've got USBs for your phone, for your iPad, for your CPAP, for anything that you're gonna wanna have so that you have places. Because a lot of times people put a little shelf here or a little shelf here. That's just not gonna be functional for the way most right. of our customers are living, right? Yeah. So bigger bed, bigger space, more storage, washer, dryer prep, uh, the second AC up here, um, keeping you nice and cool. Tons of hanging storage. There's a lot of storage in this one. Plus, right. I got under storage there too. Right. Kind of like a mudroom. So, you're going to have shelves, you're going to have hanging space, you're going to have drawers. Um, even below the drawer set there, you're going to see that there's a, a shoe storage there as well as by the front door where the stairs are there. But you know, Ben, I, I say this every time we have an RV show, and especially here at the Ultimate RV Show, I was not going to fall in love with a unit. I hear you. Um, but I, I do it every time. I do it every single time. But I told one of your colleagues, I have not fallen in love with a Forest River this year. <laughs> but dang it, man. The 3880 Suite. Arctic Wolf by Forest River in Cherokee. You guys did it. Well, I appreciate that. It, know, this we, is, we tried. This is beautiful. And I'll tell you what. Why don't we just cap everything off? We sit down over here on these beautiful couches. Sure. This, to me, was the thing I wanted to end on. Because you have couch, recliner, sofa, combo, kickback, whatever you want to call it. Right. Entertainment is what it's for. Right. So our super lounge is an answer to the question of how do you how do you have a coach that sleeps this much, that has this much storage? What if I want to entertain? Well, we've got more people in here, right? Right. I, I don't want to cram into a booth. So we we have a full length set of uh, recliners. So you're going to have four sets of recliners. Right. You're going to have cup holders. You're going to have storage. On the outside, Love you're it. going to have heat and massage. Okay. Nice. Now, if you do want to eat in here and you don't want to be out on the picnic table, we've got two fold away tables that come in here. That and, you can and set you up. You can have full table service in here if you want. But so many, so many times you're camping, you're using paper plates, you've got yeah. sandwiches. Heck, you might be out by the campfire, right? Let's give you more seating. Let's give you something to start with. If this is what you're looking for, we're going to let you have it. But if this is the unit that you want, you got to put in for it right now. Text Easy RV to 32094. Leave us a comment down below, Easy RV. Or just give us a call, 866-853-3510. If you're looking for this style of floor plan, our specialists are going to be there to walk you through that unit, answer all the questions that Ben and I didn't get a chance to get to. we got finance specialists standing by as well who are going to help you go through all the paperwork. And they're going to mail it to you with the envelopes, postage paid. I'm not going to cheap out on you. All you got to do then is wait for your unit to come to either your home or your campsite. They're going to give you that professional walkthrough that you would get at Camping World then you're gonna just enjoy camping. But if this is the specific one you're interested in, do it now. If you like the rear living fifth wheels, we got somebody standing by right now to walk you through. But Ben, hey. as always, my friend. Thank you, Chris. Fantastic Appreciate job. It. Thank you so much for showing us the Arctic Wolf by Forest River in Cherokee, 3880, sweet, sweet. Thanks for having us, man. Because that sweet is sweet. It is sweet? It is super sweet. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go crash on those double bunks right now. Ultimate RV Show will be right back. Hang on. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at campingworld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialists will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. This comparison will shock you. Did you know the average flight and week-long stay at a hotel for a family of four costs almost $2,300 or over $6,000 if you're traveling abroad? Rethink your travel. We have over 3,000 RVs for less than $5 a day. That's less than the cost to check your bag on the flight. See America for less. Click, call, or visit Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. 
an RV isn't exactly a traditional mode of transportation, which is why the Good Sam Insurance Agency isn't exactly a traditional insurance agency. We're experts in RV insurance, and our plans, policies, and coverage are as flexible and open as the roads you take in your RV. See how much you can save on specialized RV insurance. For a limited time, receive a $10 Camping World merchandise certificate when you get a free quote from the Good Sam Insurance Agency. The Good Sam Insurance Agency, wherever your adventure takes you. Welcome back. We are live at the Ultimate RV Show. It is day two. And Chris, we are having way too much fun for it to be a rainy day. We hope you're having just as much fun watching us at home. Don't forget to stay dry, shop and buy. And if you have any questions at all, our show specialists are standing by waiting for you to call. You can text Easy RV to 32094. We have that phone number for you at the bottom of the screen at any time you need. Chris, I haven't been... You know, I'm loving these fifth wheels and these RVs, but I was thinking. I've seen you eyeballing a few. Yeah. So, uh, but you know, I'm a little person. I don't require much. Right. So what if I just want to get in and go and, sure. you know, hop in, just drive to the next little town, to oh, the sure. Target. What do you I You know do? what? Camper vans and van life right now is so huge. And the Class B segment, which is coming up next, by the way, <gasps> and you had mentioned, you know, what's the difference between the Class Bs, the Class yeah. As, the Class Cs. The Class Bs are just kind of like more of a modified van. And they have a lot of amenities in them. They're great if you need to just get up and go do that van life. Just want to just go hang out for the weekend in the mountains, right. but still be able to pull into the grocery store, you know, the whatever, okay. and be able to maneuver around. You would love some Class B camper. Ooh, I can see myself driving one of these. Right. And since we're doing this live, <laughs> virtual, now granted, you can absolutely come into a camping world or gander location, see any of these units, text Easy RV to 32094, like Elise said, we'll walk you through, take care of everything, have it delivered to you. We got you covered on the trade-ins too. We're not going to lose that deal at any time in any way, guaranteed. The Ultimate RV is all about making sure whatever you want to do with your RV, we're going to help you do. And right now, it's all about the van life. That's right. Now, would you take a van up to the mountains, to the beach? What would you rather do? I'm definitely a beach girl, so I'd be taking it to the ocean for sure. <laughs> well, our buddy Ian Baker, who's out here doing yeoman's work, he's about to show us what it's like to do the camping life, the van life, in those Class B camper vans. So, Ian, I can't wait to see the sequence that you have coming up. So, brother, won't you take it away for us right here at the Ultimate RV Show? from Thor. And today, folks, we're going to do exactly that. We're going to talk about Class B motorhomes, in my opinion, even though it's a very niche, it tends to get underloved. People see it and they're like, how do you camp in that? It's so small. But here's the thing. It's a completely different kind of camping and one I personally love. So we have three amazing Class B motorhomes we're going to show you today. And folks, we have great pricing on all of them. It's something that you're probably going to want to take advantage of. In fact, I know you're going to want to. And to do that, you're simply going to text Easy RV to 32094 to lock in that pricing. You can also call 866-853-3510 or put Easy RV in the comments section below. And also, folks, not only do you lock in the pricing, but that will get you in touch with one of our uh, show specialists who will be able to walk you through. Class Bs are a complicated thing. There's a reason that it's, it's uh, a kind of niche, right? There's a lot that goes on inside, as James is going to tell you when we go through the sequence. So we have people that are on standby that are ready to help you through the Class B market and get you into the perfect Class B motorhome to start touring this great nation of ours. So James, without further like ado, it. my friend, thank you for joining me. Please tell me all about the Thor sequence. Wonderful. All right. Well, thank you for having me. Um, you know, really, it, it's it's this is a whole new frontier for Thor Motor Coach. And uh, for, I don't know, maybe you haven't heard a lot about Thor Motor Coach, um, but Thor is the number one manufacturer of motorhomes in North America. And I mean, whether it's Class A's, Class C's, diesel motorhomes, um, and, and really most recently into the B-Van market. And I, I think what makes everything so exciting about this is just the accessibility, right? I think a, a lot of motorhomes, maybe because of their size, um, or maybe they're just not used to driving them, but I think it can be intimidating for a lot of people. Um, and I, I think really one of the draws for the B van in particular is just how easy to drive it is. And, and I would I'd completely agree with that, James. I mean, you know, I've I've driven every style of motorhome that there is out there. You know, I've yeah. driven the bus, I've driven the Class C, and the Class B truly does drive most like your everyday driver. And on top of that, not that you should ever be looking at you know your mileage, you know your fuel uh, while you're driving, but you yeah. want to talk about great mileage. Class B is going to be the way to go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, and and that starts actually from the chassis. So. All of the sequence vans are built on a Ram ProMaster 3500 chassis. Want to go up front and show them? Yeah, absolutely. Let's, yeah, let's, let's, let's take go, a look. Yeah. 
For those that haven't seen it before, here we go. All right, we got the lights turned on too, so you can get a little better idea. Um, but it's, it's a nice sleek front end. It, it's nothing big sticking out in front of the motorhome. Um, with the ProMaster, it's 159 inch wheelbase, so it's very manageable. And uh, one of the, the neat things, it only has a 36 foot turning radius. So I mean, that's practically nothing to be able to turn this around, maneuver yes. some tight roads or parking spaces. Yep. So, and, and I know that's another big thing for people is the storage space. So um, it's just very compact. It's a 3.6 liter V6, 280 horsepower, 260 pound feet of torque. I mean, it's, it's plenty. Uh, to get you where you need and, to go. And James, when you talk about that, right? So that's one of the things, but with a lot of the other motorhome classes, when you start to look at a class A and a class C, a lot of people, you know, they'll have a towed behind them, which for people that don't know is, is a towed vehicle. You know, you'll bring another vehicle kind of as your grocery getter. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. it's great that you have all this space, the beautiful 40 foot class A, but a lot of times you want something that's a little more maneuverable, something that's easier to park. With the class B, I mean, this can literally be your everyday driver because it, it drives like an everyday driver. You can take it to the grocery store. You know, you can just take it pretty much anywhere. And I think, like you said, that's kind of one of the big appeals and the draws to the class B van. And one, one thing I should mention before I move, this is a gasoline engine. Mm -hmm. um, so you do have a gasoline generator. It has an Onan 2800 watt gasoline generator. Yep. Um, and, and mileage on this is, you know, typically we're estimating around the mid to upper teens. So, I mean, it's, yeah. it's phenomenal when you compare that to a lot of what's out there. Oh, sure. You know, I mean, yeah, that, that's absolutely true. And so that's why I say if you're looking for a, a touring coach, something that's easy to drive, easy to park, easy to maneuver, the Class B. And I know, you know, some people also uh, get into like uh, stealth camping or sometimes even do a little bit of boondocking. And that's the thing I really like about the sequence is it's built more uh, kind of for the adventure, right? To be, yeah. be able to get out there and do, you know, do just about anything, whether it's biking, whether it's kayaking. And we'll see that in a little bit when James takes us in the back. But it just gives you a lot of those options. Exactly. Exactly. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and, and take a look back here. I want to take yeah. you around to the back because this is there's there's a couple features that are over here that I think are really important. And first, you can actually see this because we're standing under. Yeah, here. yeah. Uh, but you have a, an expandable Thule awning. It is a power awning, and then of course you see here you have the leg supports that come out. And, and what's really nice is you can brace this right to the side of the van. So we've got these locked in place. Those are adjustable, so you can adjust your pitch on the awning. You've got your nice LED lighting out here. I mean we. Don't even have any other lights on right now, and it's lighting up this patio area very nicely. And, and kind of like James said, so you, when you can adjust the pitch, you don't have to adjust both sides evenly. You can have one side a little bit lower than the other, so that way the rain runs off. So if you want it to run off to the back, you can kind of tilt it you know, a little bit so it just runs right off the back. And you know, if it's that light, uh, light drizzle, I mean, you know, if it's a thunderstorm, you want to yeah. put the awning in. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah you know, I, I like the fact that it is very easily adjustable. And honestly, if you don't, you know, don't want to use the arms, as long as there's not a big wind, you can roll it out just as is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So here on the side, you've got this nice big sliding door. You can see this whole thing is a window here. Um, and that's really one of the things that makes the sequence special. So instead of starting with a cargo van, and I don't know how many people have, have looked into the difference, but there's a cargo van and then you have the, the window vans, the panel vans. And what's really nice about having that is you have this nice 360 degree panoramic view while you're traveling, as opposed to just having small little windows that are cut out. This really opens up the space and it makes it feel a lot bigger than it is inside. And you know, James, it's funny you say that because you know, you'll see a lot of manufacturers that rather than having the windows all the way down, they give the illusion by painting that whole section black, right? So it gives the illusion of the window van, but like you said, you don't get that light that comes inside. It's much smaller cutouts. I mean, you can see how big these windows are and how much light that it lets in there. And for this price point, to be honest, that's phenomenal. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, right here, you've got your uh, retractable screen door, so you can actually bring this all the way across, keep all the bugs out and all the gnats and mosquitoes and everything else that you know loves to follow you into the motorhome. <laughs> so yeah, you know, and it gives it the provides a nice breeze. You know, you can open the back door, uh, close the screen off here, have that breeze come through, open up the back, be able to see the view at the ocean. That's what it's all about, right? That's what, exactly what it's about. Well, James, speaking of that, let's. Uh, you want to head on back, or do you want to head in? Let's head on back. We almost quick. made it. We almost. Yeah, made yeah. It. <laughs> We'll head on back, kind of uh, show them, you know, why it is the, the, you know, like I said, my opinion, kind of an adventure van, right? And for me, it starts with this right here. It kind of sticks out and screams at you, you know? It oh, just yeah. looks fun. It looks rugged. Well, any, anybody that knows any, uh, you know, outdoor sports or, or uh, you know, biking or hiking or off-road, I mean, there's, there's so many different products that they make, but Thule makes some really high quality uh, bike racks and other accessories. So here you actually have a foldable Thule bike rack. So you can fold this up, you can fold this down. It'll hold two adult bikes. Um, so you've got somebody that can go with you. 
Um, if you, and, and actually, up on the top, um, there are some tie-downs. There are some racks up there that you could actually bring skis or snowboards or kayak or some additional equipment. Um, a couple other things here to point out on the back end that are unique. So yeah. you do have, if you notice right here, I know it might be a little bit hard to tell, but those are actually your backup sensors. So okay. you've got some parking sensors in there just to help you a little bit. I know it can be a challenge, obviously, even with the camera to, to see where you're going, but that'll just give you a little extra peace of mind when you're parking and maneuvering into your site. Um, you do have a trailer hitch on here. It has a 3,500 pound towing capacity. Uh, there is the wiring prep down below, so if you do plan on bringing a small vehicle or trailer, that's absolutely perfect to get that all set up. A boat, maybe? A boat. I, I like your thinking. <laughs> even better, even better. Yeah. So let's go ahead and open this up yeah. um, just to give you a little bit better view. So and so this one is a, is a rear bath, right? And I know that's something, um, you know, there's different floor plans when it comes to a Class B, and a rear bath is one of those. And, and it's a wet bath, which, you know, in most Class Bs, that's what you get. And uh, as we kind of talked about earlier, James, it tends to kind of, um, I don't know, the name freaks people out a little bit, right? So tell me, you know, why don't you kind of step up in here, kind of show people sure. the wet bath and, and kind of explain a little bit, um, you know, what we're looking at and why it really is the, basically the best option for a Class B. Well, in, in a lot of units, you tend to have either an all-in-one bathroom or a split bathroom anyway. It's just that they have a little bit more space to work with. Um, but what I really like about this is, you know, we're actually looking at this right now where you have the ability to open this up to let air in and fresh air. Um, and then everything is just, it, it's such a well-done use of space. So if you look at this here, you actually have a folding sink that comes down. Easy. It's magnetic. That's all you have to do. And then you can take your faucet, spin this around. Um, so this actually has a little drain that'll go right back into here. You have your light and your fan switches, and then this here is a med I know you can't see it, but there's a medicine cabinet here with a little extra storage. Um, and then let's go ahead and fold this up, get it out of the way. You have your shower nozzle here. This door will close off, and then there's a track that runs around the top where your shower curtain is. So that'll actually prevent everything, uh, that water from splashing around onto your cabinets or anything else. Um, but, but in terms of storage, if we, uh, let's go ahead and move this out of the yeah, way there here. there you go, there you go. Give Perfect. you a little better view. Yeah. But you've got a nice wardrobe bar in here. You've got some nice full-size deep drawers. I mean, there's, there's lots of storage space just in the bathroom. And then, of course, you have the vent fan to keep it from getting a little bit humid. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You know, that way after you're done showering, the vent fan just kind of sucks everything right out there. Yep. Um, and folks, again, you know, as we're going through the Class B vans, this one right here is the Sequence 20L. We'll show you the, the kind of the bed and couch configuration in just a moment. If you're interested in this one, you're going to want to text EZRV to 32094 to lock in the price on the sequence. And folks, it's a great price. If you're looking to get into the Class B, do some traveling, this is the time to buy. Now, James, this is something else I really like right here. Tell me all about the Thule Ladder because this is probably one of the coolest things I've seen on a Class B. Yeah, so uh, this was actually new to me. I, I didn't even know they had these until not too long ago. I, I really think it's cool, though. This is a collapsible magnetic ladder. And what's what's awesome about this, um, since we talked about having the roof racks and the additional storage space on top, it gives you the opportunity to get up there, get to your luggage, get to your cargo, whatever you have up there. Or if you have valuables, um, you can actually take this ladder down, and it gives you an added layer of security. There are magnetic mounts that are adjustable, so they can be placed anywhere on the unit. Um, and then there's also a stabilizer bar right here. This piece is actually magnetic. And this comes off, you can place this on the side of the unit uh, to brace the sides of the ladder if you're going to be climbing up by yourself. So, And the thing I really like about that is the fact that it's, it's multi-positional, right? Like you said, it's to be used to be able to get up to that rack. And based yeah. upon what you're towing, you know, if it's kayaks or if you have, you know, like a Thule uh, box up there, whatever yeah. you have, you may need to move it to sure. access different things. And that gives you the flexibility and versatility to do so. Absolutely. Cool. Well, why don't we hit on this real quick? Looks like we have a little bit of storage and a um, little water hose back here. Is that kind yeah, of Yeah, you've got, got a nice little cubby right here. You have a light over here on the side. You do have a water pump control, a 12-volt and 110-volt charging station. And then right here, this is actually a uh, quick disconnect port uh, for an exterior shower sprayer. So nice little nozzle. It stows away right in here. Just hooked it up so you can take a look. Well, James, can you kind of hop in and, and just yeah, kind of show us go. the, yeah, let's let's take a look at the um, the bed, the sofas, and just kind of, you know, the overall uh, 20 LT floor plan. Talk about, you know, the cockpit, how things kind of spin. Sure. Um, and just kind of just kind of walk us through the whole thing. Yeah, so um, we've actually got everything set up here so you can get a better feel for how the cockpit looks if you have this parked. Um, but here's the inside of the ProMaster chassis. You have dual swivel chairs for driver and passenger, which gives you another much needed uh, seating space to have up front for entertaining or having some friends here. It's just a nice place to relax. 
Um, one thing I would really like to point out right on the dash, I don't know if we touched on this earlier, but there is a, a seven inch Pioneer touchscreen. It's a nice premium uh, touchscreen upgrade. It's almost 30% larger than the factory screen. That does come with Sirius XM compatibility, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So those are also included along with your hands-free controls for your phone. Um, over here in the kitchenette area, we have a nice two burner gas cooktop. I really like this design because it it's, gives you your counter space. Uh, you've got an electric start, a uh, nice commercial style grate here. So that's a really compact design. Mm -hmm. You have a nice halftime convection microwave right here on the side. So you can do a little baking with that if need be. Okay. Um, you have your extension right here for a little cutting board or additional space. And, and one of the things that, that I really like here, James, is even though, you know, Class Bs are, are a little bit small. And that's, you know, that's one of the, the things that people always tell me when you're talking about Class Bs is, you know, how do you fit everything in here? And, you know, as we'll see, uh, there is a lot of storage. But oh, there's, yeah. also, there's also a lot of countertop space. I mean, you have a lot of prep space in something that, you know, realistically, like I said, isn't huge. And it's, you know, high-end amenities. We're looking at solid surface countertops in here. You know, the wood. I love the wood. Tell me a little bit about the wood in here. Yeah, so this is another very unique part of the sequence. This is Techniform, which is an Italian-made cabinetry. It's a very lightweight laminate cabinetry. Um, as you can see, it's got this beautiful mirrored high-gloss finish, and it really helps to brighten and open things up inside the motorhome. Um, but if you notice, you've got these nice hidden hinges, and it opens up all kinds of space for additional storage, and that runs all the way back to the rear of the motorhome. That's great. Now, uh, James, unfortunately, we're, we're running a little low on time, but so th th that's the bad news. So many news. good things to talk about. Yes, but here's the good news, folks, is, is I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to show you uh, a, a very uh, well-known Class B, something that a lot of people are very interested in, which is the uh, Airstream Interstate, the Tommy Bahama version. But then after that, we're actually going to come back, and James is going to help us on the Talaro. And so the great news is even though we got a little bit short on the sequence, we have the Talaro in their sister products, which means they're going to have a lot of similarities. So as we go through it, we covered a lot of stuff. We'll hit some of that again, but then we're going to be able to hit some of the stuff we didn't cover. Like we'll be able to show you some of the storage, talk about the AC units, the refrigerator, the bedding. Again, a lot of this stuff that these Class B vans offer that we didn't get to hit here. So again, even though it's a small package, folks, there's a lot to it. Remember, if you're interested, if you're loving this, which I know you are, you're going to want to text EZRV to 32094. That will lock in your pricing get a hold of one of our specialists, and we'll be able to help you out with your Class B. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Ultimate Campsite here at the Ultimate RV Show. Chris Young with my buddy David. You know, you just got finished taking a look at some of the most beautiful RVs you're ever going to see at some of the best prices you're ever going to see, the easiest way to get them. Now, how do we set up your campsite? Number one that you want to pick out, because we have so many different styles and models, is going to be the patio mat. Take a look at this beautiful black and white checkered one that we have here. We have American patterns. We have patterns that have LED lights, which is what we're going to show you here in a minute. But anything at the Ultimate Campsite that you're interested in getting, drop us a comment. Just put CAMP down below. Or text CAMP to 32094, or give us a call at 866-235-8751. Now, David, I understand the importance of having a good-looking campsite, and more importantly, having a good, clean patio mat. But tell our friends here at the Ultimate RV Show why it's so important. Well, let me t say one thing. You notice the race race flag here. Yeah, yeah. Love yeah. that one. Straight coming out of Concord, North Carolina. Yeah. We are home of racing. Well, okay? I, did, I, I did that for you. Yeah, you know, thank I, that I appreciate that. I appreciate it. So I'm really like that that you led me off. But I, I, um, I brought something extra for you. Sure. I, I always want to go over the top. So yeah. you like that? Yes. This bad boy, which right here, made by. Um, Made just for a camping world on Gander. Yeah, by Venture right? Forward. That's right. That's right. So we got it in a couple different colors, uh, the black and gray. So it goes with most most schemes of the RVs mm -hmm. these days, and then the brown and, and tan. Mm -hmm. So again, great color schemes for all the RVs. But here's the here's the clincher. This bad boy lights up. Yes. So I, I, I had yet to see uh, the patio mats until we had taken a trip, speaking of racing, down to Daytona. Yeah. And somebody had one of the Camping World LED lights. And here, I'm actually going to plug this in. Let's do that. So you can show you. Now, is there anything we need to know about this Well, you basically this just hook this up. It's just a little converter. So okay. you plug it right into any 110 outlet. Right. So you get some mood lighting when you're outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because like you it. want your ultimate campsite 
to have the ultimate setup and you yes. want to be known when people are walking through that that campsite at night right so bob hopefully you can get now it is in the afternoon here so hopefully you can see these led lights but even during the day these are pretty bright man yeah these yeah are pretty bright. these do pretty well yeah. do pretty well and at night yes they definitely uh, show off what you got so um these mats uh both styles they're a weave the weave is actually a pretty good for sifting out sand and whatnot so if you're at the beach environments you can get that and they will sweep off really, really easily easy, so right. you know we had all the grass earlier so easy to sweep off all these bad boys now are um, these now are these also porous enough where water will definitely go through them? definitely okay. you don't want to have to worry about standing on water dry as can be as you can see on the one on the ground here right. after all the dew we had this morning yes yeah, so yeah again yeah. we are good to go we're good to go we you dry feet your uh, water's gonna sip right through and uh, some of the other mats that are out there mm -hmm. kind of grass kind they'll they'll soak in that water and it can you imagine trying to pack up right after a rain or right. during a rain you got this heavy weighted down thing you throw it in your, in yeah. your compartment these guys shake them off pretty good right folds up pretty easily They're lightweight get them right back in the rv and not much left to, to dry off now how about okay. durability you know anything with mold resistance they, anything there yes they, they are mold resistant they okay. actually have a, a coating for that uh they are are made a little bit more heavy duty they're a little heavyweight material that they've done for that okay. uh these are nine by twelves right so nine which by we, have, we have multiple sizes too yes so, yeah, we do. Th sure do this it. one being nine by twelve yeah. and we got a great price on it too which i'm gonna get to here in just a second but All right. yeah i mean look at this bob see if you can get in on that that is heavy duty. I mean, that's a good, thick, solid mat. And this will last for a pretty good while too. Uh, and another thing is when you flip them, yeah. it's like reverse of the shade. So oh. like where this tan on this side, it'll be, it'll be brown on the opposite. Oh, right See? on. So it's, it's kind of like, like, like all my suits that I wear. It, and just reverse in and out. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why you can get more use out of them. I noticed that when you switch out your shirt earlier. Yeah, we yeah, had had a turn it inside 70s. out. Yeah, yeah and it looks it. around backwards a couple of times. Polyester yeah, coming too. back, baby. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. All right, all right. Coming back. You just wait. Well, I'm pretty stoked about the price. Mm-hmm. Any chance I can go ahead and rattle it off for them? Yeah, absolutely. Tell them. How, now, we, the regular, what does this cost? Regular is $84.99. But we have a promo. Okay. Promo for this ultimate RV show. Right. Ultimate campsite that we've got going on here. We got it for $73.65. I like my Good Sam people, though. Good Sam members always get the best price. Would you like to get it under $70? Absolutely. I'm going to do it for $69.97. For a nine by 12 light up wave mat that's gonna make your campsite look great. David, thank you so much. No problem, definitely. If you're interested, you want one of these, you heard the prices, regular $84.99, promo, which is only good during the Ultimate RV Show, which means it ends on Sunday, $73.65, and then Good Sam gets what? $69.97. Drop camp as a comment down there or text camp to 32094 or give us a call 866-235-8751. Ultimate RV show, ultimate campsite. It's all about making your experience as ultimate as we can get it. Ultimately. And this, folks, is where quality meets relaxation. So as you'll see, we are in the Airstream Interstate, Tommy Bahama, and when it comes to Class Bs, this is one of my absolute favorite. Um, there's a lot of things that they just absolutely nail here that they really do right. So if you're looking for the Class B lifestyle, you're looking for top end, Airstream obviously has that name. They have the reputation. Uh, most people know them for the trailers, but not as many people know them for the Class B market. And they do a lot of things I like. They bring some of the uh, common Airstream elements, things that you love, but you can see you know, you have the uh, the aluminum top there. You can see the pop rivets, right? Just like you would have on an Airstream, bringing those elements into this Class B. And everything about it is truly luxurious, including and starting with the sofa that I'm sitting on right now. So they use an ultra leather, which is not only soft, but also extremely durable. And that's important because this is going to be a high traffic area. This is where you'll be sitting a lot of the time. If you have guests, if you have people that are traveling with you, this is where they will be sitting. Um, now, bear in mind, this is the uh, the Grand Tour, so they, they do have other models. This one will have two seats up front. They do make another floor plan with four. If you're interested in that or you want to see a virtual tour on that one, what you're going to want to do, folks, is text EZRV to 32094 because that will do a couple of things for you. One, if you're interested in this one, it will lock that price in. But more importantly, if you want to see the one with four seats, you want that virtual tour, when you text that number, it will get you in touch with one of our show specialists and they'll be able to get you to the person who can walk you through it so you can see what the one with four seats is like and maybe that's the one you'll end up taking home. But what we, what I was talking about those, the ultra leather here, folks, again, is super soft, very durable. Uh, you have it here, uh, right here in the back as well as on the sides. Now, this whole thing is what becomes your bed. This folds down and the seats come together. The great thing about it is all of it is power. It's all of a touch of button up front. I can show you that in just a little bit. 
but the seat goes forward. You take the headrests out. This lays down. These come up. There's a couple pieces in the back you put up there with a little extender, and that basically gives you a king bed back here, which is phenomenal. Now, because this is Tommy Bahama, you will see the Marlin all over the place, folks. You have it in the headrests. You see Tommy Bahama right here. You get this special package. You get these throw pillows. Um, and I, I know this is something that sounds ridiculous, right? It's a throw pillow, but these are actually very quality throw pillows. The fill that they have in here will last you, so you're not going to have to replace them. You will also see these, as I mentioned, the seat belts back here. And when you fold this down, you'll just kind of tuck the seat belts in so that way you're not feeling them in the middle of the night. You also have cup holders on both sides, so any riders that you have back here, right? You can see right there, I also have, you know, a glass over here. You can see how that fits. You can have a little cocktail. It's a perfect spot for it. And if you open up the back, you know, you can literally just kind of sit right here, put your legs up, enjoy the view out the back, sip it on your cocktail right there in, in your holder. Now, if you take a look out the back door, you'll see this has a couple things. So it has the screen here as well as on the side door. And the purpose for that is so you can open up both doors and get that cross ventilation, feel that ocean breeze, just what Tommy Bahama is all about. And then you can also drop a privacy curtain like I have right back here. Um, when we go to the back, you'll see there is some storage. So there's actually a cover that we can cover that up. I'll show you that a little bit later. And right up top, we have these tucked away hangers. So what you can do are hanging rods. So these just drop right down. And what this is for is so you can actually hang your clothes up here. So it's tucked away in the back and you have that additional clothes storage. Now, again, when we go to the back, there is enough space back here for the uh, a golf bag because this is the extended chassis. So that gives you that extra space, and a lot of that is used right back here. And for proof of that, we can take a look at some of the storage. Now, this does have the special wood that comes with the Tommy Bahama. It's a matte finish rather than, uh, you know, kind of the shiny finish that a lot of the, uh, the other Airstream interstates have. But when I pop this open, you'll see it has an airplane-style latch. If you take a look in there, you can see how big and open that storage cavity is, folks. That is huge storage for a Class B. You'll also see the high quality hinges that they use on here. I mean, these are heavy duty hinges, uh, you know, and they close effortlessly. They open right back up, spring loaded. You'll see lighting all around. That's another thing they do very well in here is it is extremely well lit, not just in the ceiling, although you do have, you know, your whole row of lights, kind of like an airplane, but then they also have the secondary lighting going along the top. And one of the things I always hear about Class Bs, right? Everyone says, oh, Class Bs don't have storage. They don't have storage. You saw the huge one in the back. Folks, I'm telling you, look at this. You have storage all along here. There is a lot of storage in a small coach. So if you're, you know, again, thinking about getting into the Class B lifestyle, or, you know, chances are you've probably been looking at this for a while. This is, you know, the, the interstate is not a uh, just a, a purchase on a whim, right? This is something you do a lot of research on, and you will find multiple reasons why the Airstream Interstate is the top of its class. As we come right to the back here, another thing you will see is the TV. Um, it's kind of tough for the angle, but right here is a TV. There's also, you can see this. So this is one of several control systems in this RV. So right here on the home, you can see tank, you can see lights. You can see you control all your lights right there as well as power. And then uh, you can control the furnace and even the shade in the back. So all of that is controlled right by there. The water heater as well. All of it, it's very clean. It's not, doesn't have a bunch of buttons you have to worry about. All very simple and easy to use. Uh, as we step up a little bit further, we get into the kitchen, the galley area. And you will notice these solid surface countertops stretch basically the entire campsite. I mean, this is a huge galley space. You have excellent prep space right over here. You see both the recessed cooktop as well as the recessed sink. Both of those have covers so that you have, you can utilize all that prep space. Right here is your two burner. See the sink off to the side. Of course, your faucet folds up just like so. And you'll also notice again, some of the Tommy Bahama touches like right here, live the island life. Right next to that, you have a bar. So this is where you can stock your booze. So you, you know, throw wine in there if you want, you can put your liquor in there. And then right up top, this is one of my favorite parts. Look at that, you have a spot for your rocks glasses. So you can put them all right up there. You have the bar built in right here because folks, that's what Tommy Bahama is all about. It's about relaxing, it's about enjoying life. And this really is a marriage of two excellent companies coming together. And again, you can see more storage up here. As I said, folks, 
You know, for being a Class B, I know people say that there's not a lot of storage, but that's just not necessarily the case in here. And you'll also see, you know, how, how clean everything is right through the walkway. You can see that, you know, everything right here is flush. You know, you don't have anything that's really jumping out at you. Uh, the, the, I guess the, the one exception to that is the microwave handle, but this is really cool too. So this is a, a drawer style microwave. Um, and so what you can do is you can open it up just like so. Whoop. There we go, just like that, push a button, opens up. The cool thing about this, folks, is not only is this a microwave, but this is actually a grill, believe it or not. You can actually grill food on here, if you see right there. It actually has a grill setting, popcorn, you know, soften. You have all those options right on there. Touch of a button, drawer closes up, just like that. Super simple and easy to use. And again, when we talk storage underneath, look at this, I'm gonna open some of these up. I know this is gonna get redundant, but folks, I just wanna show you how much storage you can have in a class B. So there you have it. And you even have more, you know, if it was, uh, I had a little bit, you can see there was more there. Again, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but I'm telling you, there's a lot in here. We talk about bathrooms. That's another uh, point of contention with the class B. You can take a look right over here. Um, now, actually everything is very self-contained, right? Now it is a class B bathroom, so I'm not going to say that it's massive by any stretch, right? Because it is a side aisle wet bath but there is plenty of room. Um, you know, you can see that right here, you have a vent fan up top, you have some LED lights. Uh, you can see that there, dropping down a little bit. You can see your soap dispenser, shampoo, conditioner, sink. Uh, right down a little bit further, it will be your toilet paper holder. You'll see that is covered, so your toilet paper uh, doesn't get wet. And then of course you have the toilet there itself. And then you have the shower wand over to the side. You'll see that is hooked up to the sink. And so that is multi-purpose. Um, but again, folks, you know, I, I have been in there and I'm telling you, you know, if, if that is, if that is your, your holding point, I highly recommend, um, you know, texting that number that three, two, zero or text, sorry, easy RV to three, two, zero, nine, four, so that we can have one of our specialists find uh, an Airstream interstate that is nearby to you. So you can come out, sit in the bathroom for yourself and just make sure the space is going to work. But as I mentioned, it, it is larger than you would think. Uh, you also have the Nova Cool fridge freezer with this really cool uh, white pattern on here. No, I'm just kidding. This is obviously just a cover. It comes off. Uh, you have the chrome behind it. This is just obviously to prevent fingerprints. Um, but this is the, the, the Nova Cool, folks. And uh, this is a really popular one. It's a 12 volt fridge freezer. Uh, a lot of people really like this. Very popular in the, in the Class B market. Um, you know, again, kind of top of the line. You'll see that a lot of your uh, class B uh, motorhome manufacturers are putting in the Nova Cool because it's just been very highly touted. Right over next to that, we'll open this up. And there you go. You have wardrobe storage across the top, removable shelves here as well, and a bank of drawers right underneath, right above your furnace. You'll also see you have your vent fan up top here. So that way, you know, the thing I like about this is if you notice the uh, placement of your kitchen and cooktop, it's right here. Vent fans right there, so it'll quickly and easily suck all those smells up and out. Another thing I want to show you folks is this right here. So I talked about how everything drops down. Now, I didn't remove the headrests, uh, which you do want to do before you drop the sofa down. But what I will show you is right here on the sides. You can see these little, uh, little side ottomans. Take a look at this. I'll drop these down. Boom. Just like that. It just comes right out. The other one will do the same thing. That, uh, that back sofa comes forward and that is what creates the bed. So it's really just these three buttons right here. Two years ago, that wasn't the case. It was a little bit tougher. Uh, they listened to some customer complaints and now literally folks, three buttons, throw on some a uh, few cushions in the back. You're done, you're sleeping. Super comfortable, I may add. The, the padding they use in there is second to none. And then if we take a look here, you will see the TV. This is on a swing arm mount, so you can flip it around or you can leave it just as it is because of course, both your driver and your passenger seats do swivel. You also have a workstation. You know, especially today, we have more and more people that are working from home or working on the road. If you want this to be your mobile workstation, by all means, you have the capability to make it exactly that. And I talked to you about the uh, Firefly system that we have in here and some of the different controls we have all over. You'll see again here, you have that control. So, um, you know, you can see your tank heater on there, your water heater, water pump, all of that built in right here, as well as your energy management system. All of that is tucked away right in there. Now, I do want to hit the chassis real quick. I'm not going to go over it a ton because if you've seen any Class B videos uh, uh, recently or some of the other ones we've done at the show here, um, uh, the, the chassis, you will know that the Mercedes came out with a new chassis and it has a ton of options on it. The big takeaway here is that you do get the Hey Mercedes option, so you can talk to it. You have a nice big dash. Uh, I don't currently have it on. Let me see if I can 
See if we can pop it on real quick there. So just to have everything light up. Um, so you can see, you know, the nice big screen for the dash. Uh, you know, you can also see the, the center screen right here. And folks, they have a ton of safety features built in. It really is a, a huge thing. I just don't have the time to go into it in this video. Uh, but I mean, we're talking lane assist, uh, you know, lane departure. It has uh, auto, not auto cruise control, but you know, the, the auto distance. I can't think of, of what it is right now. Um, but just a, a ton of safety features. So if that's a big deal to you, then just know that you will be safe in here. And also because it is the Mercedes, you certainly will have excellent fuel economy as well. Uh, it is on the, the, you know, the diesel Mercedes chassis. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll take a, we'll take a step outside here. We'll take a look, kind of see what we got. I do want to show you that you have the power step right here. Uh, you also have power door, so you can hit that and that will close. This is the screen I talked about. How simple is that, folks? You know, they, they have some, um, you know, so the, the Talaro and other one we looked at have an accordion. This one here, boom, just like that, it is done. Super easy. You'll also see that right over here, we have another one of those touch panel controls. So if you want to do it, you know, right from outside, just reach in and hit it, you can. So, uh, you know, when I talk about features, you know, we go to the outside. And again, folks, you know, if, if this is uh, one you're interested in, I highly, highly recommend you text easy RV to 32094. Not just to lock in the pricing, but more importantly, this is one of those things that you want to do a lot of research on. You're going to want to talk to somebody because there is so much more than I can cover in 15 minutes. And you are 100% going to want to reach out so we can get you in touch with one of our specialists to go through why you are going to love this RV. And then if we come right back here, folks, I just want to show you this real quick. So this is power. This does roll up. But I just want to show you how big this storage is right back here. If we lift this up, you have all that storage right there underneath the sofa, plus the storage back here, plenty of space for your golf bag. And you have this, which actually, if I lift this up a second, will go right here so that when the doors are closed, people aren't seeing down in there, seeing your golf bag or other uh, precious items that you may have right here in the back. So one more time, folks, as I said, this is the Airstream Interstate Grand Tour Tommy Bahama Edition. That Tommy Bahama Edition is a perfect marriage with Airstream. You get so many amazing features with there, uh, with that, especially the, you know, the, the wood grain. You get the, uh, the rocks glasses. You get the holders. You get places, again, just things to make it more relaxing, which is what it's all about, right? That's why we go camping. We want to kick back, relax. We want to escape. This helps you do it. And folks, you're going to want to get more information. I urge you, text EZRV to 32094. Put EZRV in the comments section or call 866-853-3510 so you can speak with one of our specialists about everything this coach has to offer and why you're going to want the Airstream Interstate. Folks, thanks so much. I'm super excited. We're going to go back. We're going to be talking with James. And again, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be looking at the Talaro which is a sister product to the sequence and cover some of the stuff we weren't able to hit the first time. Chris, did you see that? Oh, did you just see that? Yeah, I'm trying not to get deep down the road. Did you see me driving off in it? I can absolutely see you driving off, which oh, that's the gosh. great thing about the, the van life that's going on right now. Hashtag van life. And these class Bs. <laughs> I mean, now, I think we're going to have to fight over that one because that Airstream Tommy Bahama is just... Bye. <laughs> it, it is absolute opulence. And if if you're not texting Easy RV to 32094 right now, it's hopefully because your jaw is still on the table and you're typing Easy RV down below in the comments. Because one of us is going to be taking that thing home at that price. Seriously, point. if you don't, we will. And you know, once again, we just want to let you know, look, the one thing you cannot control whenever you're doing anything is the weather. So this is a virtual show here at the Ultimate RV Show. We are giving you a chance to not have to worry about being inside the elements. So some of these are pre-recorded, as you saw right there. Ian did that one the other night. We did that in expectation of having some really bad weather. But you don't have to leave your couch. You don't have to get out there. You can stay dry while you shop and buy. Online, Easy RV to 32094. UltimateRVShow.com. Don't forget. You can also, if you got nice weather, if you're down there and beautiful wherever, you can come out, go to your local camping world, go to your local gander, walk around. You say, hey, uh, Ian just showed us one of those Class B camper vans. We love the van life. We think about just the couples getting out, going around, doing the thing. How do we do it? With over 25 thousand rvs right now across the country ready for you to check out one is waiting for you to just drive off and take home in i mean i'm gonna fight you for that one aren't i um yeah absolutely that's just definitely coming home with one of us i mean so, but the can great, i leave my car here i mean you can trade it in because <laughs> you don't need a car if you have that thing. <laughs> that's what i'm saying the great thing about the van life 
But someone just also picked up a Honda CRV because I'm leaving in the airstream. <laughs> and we just <laughs> and we dangled the carrot with you on that one. Text <laughs> Easy RV to three two zero nine four because Ian's coming up right now with the Thor Talaro twenty LT big dog. Ooh, impress me. And we are back, folks. Ian Baker here with James, and we're in the Thor Talaro twenty LT. Now, as I mentioned previously, if you take a look at what we have you'll probably see that it's very similar to the sequence because they are sister products, and these two just happen to be the identical floor plan as well. Uh, so folks, as I mentioned before, as we're going through, and this is this is one of those things that you know I kind of talked about earlier. When I say text EZRV to 32094 or put that EZRV in the comment section to get a hold of one of our show specialists, this is a perfect example because if you saw the sequence and you loved it and you, know, you, looked, at, uh, you, know, you looked at the website and you're like, oh no, they're all out of the sequence, well, here's the thing. By texting EZRV and talking to our specialists, they'll be able to tell you that we have a Talaro that's available. And again, it's a sister product, very similar. And you'll be like, yup, perfect. That's what I want. And so that, again, is the beauty of the Ultimate RV Show and the yeah. Easy RV program. So, James, if you would, you know, again, just kind of let's pick up a little bit where we left off. There were sure. so many features I want to talk about on the sequence Talaro has. So why don't you take it away, my friend? Perfect, perfect. Well, a couple of things that uh, I felt were really important for us to cover um, especially in this type of unit, is the technology. And I know that uh, whether it's at work or home, or I mean, I know technology is always changing and there's always new things, um, but what's so impressive is just how many features are packed into this. Um, and, and these are things that are, are really changing uh, the whole RV industry. I mean, these are, these are some really cutting edge things. So let's, let's jump in and cover a few of those. Um, right inside the door here, this is actually where you'll see a couple things. Um, right next to the fire extinguisher here, we have the battery disconnect switch. So it's a marine style battery disconnect uh, to save your batteries when they're not in use. Um, if you look over here to the left, you have a 1000 watt inverter. Uh, that will allow you to have uh, 120 volt power without having to operate the generator. Um, and then right below that, you have your solar charge controller. So this is uh, this and the solar panels that come standard on this unit are made by a company called Go Power. Uh, all of these come standard with 190 watts of solar. Um, so you've got plenty to keep those batteries charged up. And speaking of the batteries, uh, most units that you find, a lot of motorhomes and a lot of units out there are coming with a typical uh, 12 volt marine cycle battery, uh, deep cycle battery. But if you look at these, they actually have dual AGM batteries. And AGM battery stands for absorb glass mat. It's a maintenance free battery, very high quality. Uh, it's it's a it's a definitely an upgrade, um, and and that'll allow you a much longer lifespan on those batteries. So, and, and, and to the point. So when you talk about the inverter, the thousand watt inverter, right? Um, I think that's one of those things that, and it's a pure sine wave, correct? You guys. That's correct. There? Yep. Yeah. So. So a couple of things about inverter. One, the the, I guess kind of purpose behind it, like you said, is to give you that 120. So a lot of people don't realize this, but without an inverter, like let's say you have a, a classy motor home and you're driving mm -hmm. down the road, your 120 outlets aren't working, right? Like, like you know, yep. you're plugging stuff in and it's just not happening. You'll have 12 volt power, but not the 120. So with exactly. that inverter, it lets you, you know, basically plug something in here and and you know, plug in a laptop yeah. while you're going down the All road. Right. And, and the other thing is the the pure sine wave. Um, so, you know, there's a modified and a pure. And the nice thing about a pure sine wave is that it's it's a clean wave. So uh, when you're talking about sensitive electronics, like your laptops, like your tablets, and you're plugging those in here and you have that inverter running, it's it's not going to burn out your electronics. Exactly. You know, I think that's an important thing, you know, to, to always tell people. Yeah, absolutely. No, that's, that's a great point. Um, and and kind of leading off that you talked about the outlets, but if you look around here, I mean, you can see that you've got the pop-up charging station over here. You have USB outlets, another 120 outlet, and then even here um, underneath each of these spaces and down below, there's additional charging ports uh, for you to be able to charge all your electronics. Um, speaking of electronics, this right here is a multiplex control system. So we'll go ahead and turn this on and go to the main screen. Um, and, and what multiplex means is it's that there's a single wire that has multiple controls uh, to eliminate a lot of excess wiring and simplify the controls for your motorhome. Um, this is done by a company called BM Pro and it's, it's so easy to use. I mean, you have your lighting, your climate control, uh, your tank monitoring, um, this actually has your power awning control. And then even down here, you can see your batteries, your fuel levels, 
and there's a setting for automatic generator start. And automatic generator start, um, kind of think of that like a smart generator. So this gives you the ability to program your generator to run when it's needed and turn off when it's not. So it's a, it's a very intelligent system. Um, and again, you can pair this with your phone. Um, one thing that, that I think is important to note here is that these hardwired uh, I'm sorry, hardwired buttons down here at the bottom um, have individual functions that are programmed. So while this is turning on and loading when you get into the unit, you still have access to your most important controls and lighting right when you come in the door. And, and James, so kind of to play off of that, so a couple of quick things that, that I really like about what you said. And one, with the multiplex, not only is it cleaner and easier to use, Absolutely. but all your wiring is coming into right one place, right? It's so much easier to troubleshoot in the event that you know something goes wrong. Um, Definitely. And then when you talk about the, the auto, gen, auto gen start, that for me is something that's really important, especially in a class B. I know a lot of people that travel um, you know, they have, they have furry loved ones, right? They'll bring the yeah. dog along. And, you know, with the auto gen start, what that allows it to do is when your uh, temperature gets to a high enough temp, your generator will kick on, which means your AC can kick on and make sure that the, your pet stays nice and cool and they're not overheating in the van. Oh, you're exactly right. Well, we, I mean, we know that a, a lot of our RVers, I mean, it's got to be more than half of them are bringing their their pets and their uh, all their family friends with them. Exactly. Um, which actually, uh, if you can get a shot of this over here, this is one of my all time favorite oh, features. Look at so that. So look at that. Right inside the door, you've got a kibble dish, food, water, whatever you need. It's right there, easy to get to, right inside the entryway. So I love that though. Yeah, and, and that's and that's exactly it. You know, like I said, I've talked to so many people, and that's always one of the big fears when they bring the dog is that. Mm -hmm you know, that they, they're just not going to stay cool and, you know, they always have to check on them. But yeah. this this way, you know that they're going to be nice and cool. Yeah, exactly. Um, another thing that I wanted to touch on too, is, and unfortunately, we can't see it from where we're standing. Um, <laughs> you might be able to get a little picture here, um, but that is the WineGuard Connect 2.0 system. And this is phenomenal. So a lot of the questions that we get now are about internet, right? Mm -hmm. they, people want to know, how do I stay connected? Um, we've got a lot of people that are working from the road that are that are working remotely. Um, so really, the, the internet connection is a big part of that. And what's nice about this is it simplifies. So again, we're, we're trying to make this whole RV thing easier for people. And that system is a three-in-one. So it serves as your TV antenna. Mm -hmm. You can pick up all your, your local over-the-air digital channels. Um, all you have to do is run a channel scan on the TV, turn on your antenna booster, you're all set to go there. Um, but the other part for the internet, it functions as a Wi-Fi extender with a one mile range. Okay. And then you also have the ability to activate that into a 4G LTE hotspot. Okay. And that's really the cool part for me to be able to activate that. You can do it through an app. Um, you can set that up with all your devices. So that way, anywhere that you go, you have a reliable internet connection to be able to stream your favorite shows or you know do some work from the road, whatever you want to do. Yeah, and that, that really is a big part of it. Um, as you said, James, like I have a lot of people and they say exactly that, you know, they want to stay connected more and more people. Um, you know, and I've said this before, but more people are working from home today, possibly than the never before, yeah. you know, and people are working on the road and they want to be able to take work with them. You know, they enjoy spending time with, with their spouse or with family. Um, and, you know, and sometimes you still have to work while you do that. So yeah. having the capability to do it while you travel, um, you know, that's, that's what, that's what the world is today. And, and yeah. I love that part of it. Yeah. Well, and, and oh, I'm sorry, no, 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 please, please go ahead. There, uh, there's one other thing that's inside the cabinet uh, that we didn't get a chance to mention earlier, um, and that is actually for the water heater. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the, the comfort when you're traveling on the road or you're working on the road. Yeah. Um, but from a comfort standpoint, uh, this has the Truma Combi, which uh, Eco, which is a hydronic uh, furnace and water heater. So not only do you have on-demand hot water, uh, but you also have that set up as your furnace. So it really functions as a two-in-one. All of that's hooked up to your in-house propane tank. Um, and that's right inside this cabinet here, easy to access. Um, all you have to do is push a button, a little scroll wheel, and uh, you're all set up and running. Wow, that, that is very efficient. Uh, and when you talked about in the cabinet, that is one thing I, I do want to hit on. Yeah. Uh, one of the differences we do have here is a little bit different cabinetry color. And now, what color is this one, James? This is called Modern White. Um, and okay. this is New Forest. I, I love just, you know, again, the high gloss finish. Um, this is that Italian Techniform cabinetry that we talked about earlier. Um, but this really it helps in a couple different ways. Um, not only does it keep a nice, light, bright interior mm -hmm. um, to make the space feel nice and big, but also this cuts down on a lot of weight versus a traditional hardwood cabinetry that tends to be very heavy. Yeah. Uh, so you can see the, the AC, so we have a couple things up on the ceilings. So we have the vent fan there, 
Um, you know, in case it's just you know a, a, a little warm out, but you know not quite enough to turn the AC on. So sure. you can open up some windows, and that thing definitely has some suction. You can feel the the breeze coming through here. Then we also have the AC unit. So why don't you just hit on those real quick? Tell us a little bit about that. Sure. So uh, this is a pretty straightforward unit. It's a it's a Coleman Mach system. Uh, this is an eleven thousand BTU unit. Okay. Um, so I mean, again, if you compare that the size of that unit versus what's used in most of it, I mean, it's it's going to keep it very very cool in here, very comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, but the nice part with this is that it's it's very easy to operate. You can do that directly from the multiplex wiring system, um, and then you have some controls here for the direction and the vents, um, and then also here on the side for the air returns, you can actually pop those filters out and clean them yourself or replace those very easily. So again, it's real easy to operate. Yeah, and that's good. You know, always important to have the easy maintenance. Um, and James, you know, you're, you're obviously sitting on, on kind of the, the main part of the coach <laughs> here, right, which is our, our uh, sofa slash bed uh, slash convertible bed, twin to king, kind of, kind of the whole nine right back there. So why don't you tell us uh, a little bit about, about what we're looking at? Well, this is this is it right here. Like you said, we're looking at it. Um, but again, this this whole bed um, has the capability to actually come together as a one piece unit to make this a sleeping space um, that that's comfortable for multiple people. Um, if you look here, these these pieces actually will tilt up. So there's a ratcheting system back here okay. uh, where you can actually raise this. So if you prefer to sleep uh, at, a, at a little bit of an angle, um, you can adjust that to make sure you're comfortable. And then right here, if we lift this up a little bit, you can see the spring style uh -huh. system that they have um, to provide a little bit more cushion without having to do a separate box spring construction. So again, they're, they're cutting down on weight. Um, that's a very, very comfortable system. And uh, it, it, again, space saving and, and makes this all work together. Now, now and like I said, it kind of looks like, you know, we, we, have a lot of, we have a lot of little pieces that we can kind of play with because as you said, you can kind of prop that up. So if you want to sit back and as you mentioned, read a book, you can do that. Yeah, these we are also all have movable. These. Yeah. Yep, yep. So we have those right there. So you can kind of, you know, again, put your back against that. You can make it a sofa. You have the little armrest right there. There's so many different right? ways you can configure this. I mean, any combination you can think of, you can work that out. And then, and then now this also turns into a king bed, right? Isn't that correct for this one? Correct. So you this have will like convert. some uh, bars underneath, I think. And then you can put some cushions in the middle and, and basically convert this into a king. So exactly. So you've got that. Um, and right down here along the floor, it may be a little bit tricky to see, but there are two post connections. Okay. Um, so you can take a, a standalone table and set that up. So not only do you have a dining space or a space to work, um, but you know that kind of creates a lounge area when you have those tables set up. And, and the other thing I, I really like about this one, James, at least for me personally, is that you know, it also gives you um, kind of a, a big storage area right in the center, right? Like, oh, yeah. like, like not that, you know, you would want it there permanently, but let's say you need to travel, you need to pick up, you know, and move real quick. You know, this big area right here allows you to put some larger items there, um, you know, because as we said, in a class B, sometimes the storage is at a premium. Yeah. So, so I do like this layout and how it allows that. And the versatility where you have sofa, you have bed, you have, you know, uh, a dinette, basically everything built right into one. It's something I absolutely love about this floor plan. Um, now we talked about the, the window vans, right? We have we have the window running all down the side. Mm -hmm. uh, can you talk a little bit about the window systems, the shades, you know, for privacy, things like that? Well, if you notice on both, they actually have this nice valence that goes around the outside. So um, in this particular case, these have an actual pleated shade system. And so you can feel this when it gets down here, locked securely in place. So when you bring all these down to close this off for privacy, um, these are, uh, you just grab the ledge right here, um, but very easy to close this off. You Super don't have simple. to mess with any kind of blinds or, or fillers or anything. Cool. Quick, one quick thing, but before we have to close out, James, and, and I don't remember if we covered on the last one, but let's just hit it just in case. Why don't you hit me with a little bit of, of the Nova Cool here and then, uh, and then the convection uh, microwave oven? Sure. So a lot of units will have a typical microwave. Um, it, because of the, uh, the versatility, they're going with a speed cook convection microwave. So that gives you the ability um, to use a convection bake as opposed to a traditional microwave. And, and convection really is just the operation of the heat and the fan uh, to perform a baking function. Um, but they call this a halftime oven because the amount of time to do it in this versus a traditional oven or a traditional microwave is, is significantly faster. Um, here they have a 12 volt refrigerator. 
Okay. Um, and so it's battery operated, and that's one of the differences. So most of the refrigerators that you'll see out there are either a gas electric function, um, but this one actually has the battery function, um, which again, gives you that flexibility. You've got your upgraded batteries, you've got your 190 watts of solar. Um, so that's gonna be with you wherever you go. Now inside this, we'll open this up here, there is a separate freezer compartment. Okay. So you, even though this is an all-in-one unit, you do have the separate freezer inside. And there you have it, folks. So again, this has been the Thor Talaro 20LT sister product to what we saw earlier, which is the Thor Sequence. Folks, if you're interested in either of these, we have amazing pricing here at the Ultimate RV Show. Even if you're just getting into Class Bs and you want more, you want to know more, you want that knowledge, you're thirsty, trust me, text EZRV to 32094 to lock in the pricing on these units or get in touch with one of our specialists where you can see over 20 5,000 units on the lot. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Ultimate Campsite here with the Ultimate RV Show. I am here with my friend Melissa Flanagan. Melissa, thank you for joining us here at the Ultimate Thanks RV Show. Thanks for having me. How's your store? Everything down in Beaufort, Georgia, right? Yeah, super busy. Yeah, yes. and you know, we got a lot of people that are looking at new RVs. They're thinking about the things that they need for their RV. And here at the Ultimate Campsite, we wanted to give them the experts like you're gonna meet when you come into a camping world or a gander. People like Melissa are gonna be able to help you get the perfect thing for your perfect RV. Now. We're gonna talk about some surge protectors, which I'm a big component of because it's important to have. So why don't we start right over here? Now this is a 50 amp portable. Yes, it is. So tell me a little bit about this model right here. Why is it so nice? Okay, so this is gonna be our Southwire 50 amp portable surge guard protection. This mm -hmm. is very essential for your camper. Um, this is gonna be, this is gonna indicate where you're gonna have power problems at right. your pedestal. Sure. This is not, it's gonna protect, but it's not, it's gonna have more detail when you read into it. Right, and getting bit by the pedestal monster is not fun. No, it's not. Yeah, that's gonna be your number one fault. Yeah, because you don't know a campsite to campsite. Yeah, exactly, so you need to have mm -hmm. something that's easy to see. And yeah. I see we got kind of the little grid right here that shows us what the color combos are gonna do. Yes, and this is gonna do for open and neutral, but you are gonna wanna make sure that you plug this up before you have the power on in your unit. Okay. So you're gonna wanna plug this into the pedestal, and then you're gonna wanna plug your power cord into the that's, surge protector. That's a you're great You're gonna point. wanna make sure that this light on is at the bottom. That's right. your surge protection. If it is not on, you're not gonna have any protection going on in your unit at all. That's good to know. And this one has that. Plus, we also yes. have these sturdy grab handles, yep. which, I mean, I'm sorry, when you're trying to unplug and plug stuff. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> they get a little tight. <laughs> get about it. All right, this one right here. Now, once again, all these products you're gonna see at the Ultimate Campsite, you can get, because we have discounts on everything that you're only going to get during the Ultimate RV Show. I'll give you those in a little bit. But if you're interested, just message camp right now or text camp to 32094 or give us a call 866-235-8751. Now we got some wireless surge protectors right here, a 30 and a 50. Tell yes. me about these bad boys. So with the new 30s and 50s, these are gonna have an LCD screen. So oh. it's gonna be a little bit more easier for you to read. Okay. Here you're gonna have a booklet with this one. This one is gonna tell you exactly where you're gonna have your power fault Very at. Very nice feature. So if you're brand new to the RV, this is the area we should stay in. This okay. is the area. Okay, I like uh, it. Also, you do have an option to add Bluetooth. So if you don't wanna have to go out and check oh. at the post every single time, you can option the Bluetooth little screen and put it inside the camper. So it'll text me if my kid's running too much power on something? Well, no, it won't oh, text okay. you, but it will beep inside the camper where you don't have to go out and check it every hour Still or so. Still trying to you figure that just out. Make sure. What is this handy dandy little thing? This right, right here? here is going to keep it from getting stolen. Oh, Maybe okay. Somebody else wants one better than you do. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to so get it with gonna that. It's going to have a lock-in class where you can put the chain on it and put a right. lock on it. And both of those features are available both on the 30 and the 50. Yes. Okay. Awesome. You guys, so you got the cover there. This looks heavy duty, waterproof, all that good stuff. They are heavy duty, waterproof. No problems with anything. Again, this is how going to have when you're going to plug up into the pedestal, then plug your RV up. Then you're going to make sure your lights are on. Make sure that you have your surge protection. Then you're going to turn the power on in your unit. So important because you do not want to get bit by the pedestal monster. Melissa, thank you so much. So we told you during the Ultimate RV Show, you're going to get ultimate discounts for the 50 amp surge guard right here. Regular price on this is $172.99. During the Ultimate RV Show, $150.98. Yep, $150.98. Now, if you're a Good Sam member, guess what? You're going to save even more through everything. $146.97 for our Good Sam members. For the 30 amp surge guard here with the wireless, the original price, 
334.99 discount during the Ultimate RV Show. 282.07 for this. Good Sam members, 267.97. Yep, with Good Sam, you're always going to save. But these prices, the promo prices, you're only going to get during the Ultimate RV Show. And last but not least, the big boy, the 50 amp surge guard. If you're running a double AC, you want this. Original price, 459.99. Promo price during the Ultimate RV Show, 387. And good Sam members, 367.97. If you want any of these, you need any of these, just message CAMP down below or text CAMP to 32094. Don't want to text, don't want to message, give us a call, 866-235-8751. The Ultimate RV Show here at the Ultimate Camp site with my friend Melissa. It's all about saving you and making sure everything you get for your RV is perfect. That's what the Ultimate RV Show is all about. It's time to do more of what you want, where you want, with the all-new EU2200i generators from Honda. They're quiet, portable, and now packed with 200 more watts of stable power and all new features. Plus, parallel another EU2200 for twice the power, with long run times, outstanding fuel efficiency, and the same reliability you expect from Honda. It's power you can trust. Back to the Ultimate RV Show, it's we... day two, and that, Chris? No more for you. Chris, did you? Yes. You changed your shirt. What? You, did you change your shirt? No, I didn't, but you know, I'm actually glad you mentioned that, at least because we do have some weather going on right now, but don't let that bother you. You can just text Easy RV to 32094 because I want you to stay dry, <laughs> shop, and buy. That's what it's about. You don't have to worry about coming out here and doing this stuff. We are going to take care of it for you. You can stay at home if you want to see fifth wheels, if you want to see class B's, you want to see class A's, you want to see whatever you want to see. We <laughs> have a lot of class between us, just like we have a lot of RVs out there across the world. 25,000 RVs 25, right 000? now. 25,000 RVs Ooh. right now. And uh, over Ready 150 Camping World locations, mind you, yeah. across the country. So there's one near you. But here's the deal. You got to get on it. 32094. Text that. Text Easy RV to 32094. Somebody's going to walk you through those RVs. We have brand new units that have come out, too. And they're so nice. They're so beautiful. And you know, Chris, Chris, you know, no one loves to be a third wheel, but we <laughs> love a good fifth wheel. Hey, all. <laughs> That's a knee slapper. <laughs> and uh, we're about to transition to the, the Montana, right? Yeah. So so Montana, the Keystone Montana is one of the top selling high profile fifth wheels for Beautiful. probably the last 20 years or so. Beautiful camera. The way that they're made, you know, Keystone just knows what they're doing. And what we're going to have coming up here, my buddy Ian Baker is going to be out there in the Montana 3231CK. Now, this one is absolutely gorgeous and it's fresh off the presses for 2021. I got to see it. It's beautiful, light and bright on the inside. You got Spacious to go in it? for your friends, family. I haven't even seen I it sure yet. Did. Oh, I haven't even seen it <laughs> I yet. I might have snuck in. Shh. So first look is coming up right here at the Ultimate RV Show. Text Easy RV to 32094. Big Dog, take it away with that Montana. Hey folks, welcome to the first look for the Keystone Montana 3231CK. I am Ian Baker, and I'm joined by my good friend, the legendary Chris Stender. And today, folks, you're going to be super pumped to go through this one. This is a gorgeous floor plan. Chris, I love what you have done. And folks, when you see it, you're going to want it too. And you're going to simply just text EZRV to 32094 or put EZRV in the comments section to be able to claim the pricing for this unit. You also want to call 866-853-3510. So we have three different ways be able to take advantage of the pricing that we're offering for the Ultimate RV Show. Chris, my man, walk me through the Keystone Montana 3231CK. Well, they're seeing it for the first time. <laughs> this is the world introduction to the Montana 3231CK, Central Kitchen, however you want to put it. When we talk about fifth wheels in the RV business, Montana comes to mind. Absolutely. Because like we've always talked about, Ian, there's three guarantees <laughs> in life. We'll pass away. We'll pay taxes, and you'll see a Montana fifth wheel on a campground. You know what the craziest thing is, Chris, is I've heard you say that time and time again over the years, and you've always been right. <laughs> there's, a, there's a reason for it. It wasn't because of Chris Stender or Ian Baker. It's because of the customers that we've had since 1999. We've been the number one selling fifth wheel since 2003. No, it, it's, it's crazy. Been, it's been amazing. Over 76,000 fifth wheels that we've retail sold. Wow. And that's our specialty 
is fifth wheels. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of flash and trash out there these days, Ian, <laughs> but you really have to, don't judge a book by its cover. You have to open the book up, check the chapters out, and read the pages. We call it attention to detail, okay? One thing you won't hear about is, is we, we put items in RVs that sell. We don't put the Mickey Mouse, you know, the lipstick on the pig. It's still a pig. We put a lot of features in our RVs that sell. Yep. We have more repeat buyers than any other brand in the history of the RV business, motorhomes and tollables. There's something okay. to be said about that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and we feel we've got a great floor plan lineup. We've been a lot, we've been a, a manufacturer first, introduced the first front living room mm -hmm. in 2004, the first rear den five years ago, the first front bath and a half which was based off of my in-laws motorhome came with that idea. And we said, you know, bath and a half and motorhomes are popular. Why not put it in a fifth wheel? And it's been a huge seller. Then we took the front kitchen, which another division had it. It only lasted about a year. We took it, ended up being the 2016 RV of the year. And I've got a feeling, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag, but I think <laughs> this floor plan right here will be the 2020 RV of the year. Yeah, it's it's phenomenal. I hope I don't give all the secrets away today because <laughs> I'll tell you how we came about this floor plan. Our top selling floor plan we have is the 3120, 3121. The reason I say two different floor plan numbers is every Montana floor plan, you can get it with an 18 cubic foot RV refrigerator or 18 cubic foot residential refrigerator. Mm -hmm. That's up to you. So if you notice, there's two floor plan numbers by each floor plan. One's an RV refrigerator, one's a residential. It's easy for us to build, for salespeople to sell, and easy for the customer to buy. Yes. What we had was we had a void. 31, okay. 20, 21 was 35 feet long. After that, we went right to 40 feet. Yep. And we had people like, we really like the shorter, we don't want a 40, 41, but we want a little longer than the 35. Sure. So after a lot of phone calls, calling dealers, analysts at Camping <laughs> World and Gander, we really couldn't come up with anything. Mm -hmm. And then our product manager at Montana put a lot of different floor plans together and came up with a 3231 CK at just under 37 feet long. That's awesome. So I'm going to show you what you get for just under 37 feet, and it's a lot of floor plan, Okay. What I want to show you, first of all, is most of your floor plans, your cooktop is over on the off-door side in this area here. Yep. Okay. What we wanted to do was we still have the window here behind. Normally, the cooktop is over here, and you have your window. Yep. What we did is we took the cooktop, and we moved it to the front, which I'll get to in just a moment. But look at all this counter space right here, Ian. It's huge along with your counter space that you have here on your island. Well, and Chris, the thing I love about that is it makes it functional. You, you want to talk about prep space. I mean, you can just turn around, do everything you need to do, prepped right there, boom, here, here. done. A lot of manufacturers, they'll put a large pantry right here, yep. the big door, and you have minimal counter space. That's right. What we did is we gave you under the countertop pantry, okay? Notice the nice six inch deep pull out drawers, weight wow. bearing, where you can put all of your canned goods, your boxes, anything that you need. We've eliminated the big door pantries, yep. which people were getting tired of seeing because yep. you could see through them and they were just ugly. So I, I love that. You can tuck it away, put your uh, your toaster and everything in there. And Absolutely. Those, those slow closed drawers, by the way? Slow closed drawers. And slow cabinet closed doors? Doors. Doors and drawers. <laughs> That's Slow impressive. Flows. That's impressive. Absolutely. One thing I want to point out also is we give you another interior. Typically, this is what we call the modern maple edition. Okay. Your modern maple wood throughout. This has the cottage white optional wood core. $750 MSRP. What does it give you? In this floor plan here, how it flows from the kitchen to the family room, in your kitchen area here, notice the white cabinetry, which flows all the way around to this area right here. I love this it. This is our cottage white cabinetry, and you it only comes available with your bourbon color, which is your chocolate sofa here. Okay. It goes hand in hand. We tried it before with our champagne 
and it just, which is discontinued, just wasn't it, quite there. It's not there. It just doesn't pop. Yep. Just pops. So even in your floor plans, like your rear den, your front living room, where both ends are elevated and you have a sunken kitchen. Sure. This really stands oh, out. Oh, yeah. More. So this is a very, very popular cabinet color. It gives you the two-tone look. Now, Chris, is this uh, is this option available throughout the Montana line, or is it select models? Any Montana floor plan, you can get the cottage white. Love it. It looks different based on the floor plan. Sure. So when we eliminate the cooktop here to give you additional counter space, we now bring it over into this area right here, mm -hmm. which is unheard of. Yes. Okay. What I want to show you also is the counter space on both sides as well, too. Now, I'm going to give away a secret here. I'm sure R&D in the RV business is not research, developments, rip off and duplicate. <laughs> so I'm sure somebody's going to have this pretty soon here. <laughs> yep. Notice how this pulls out here. Mm -hmm. Notice how we can give you more counter space. Now, if I have too much counter space, will you let me know? <laughs> but also you have your drawers here as well, too. Again, now this gives you separation. A lot of people like to cook. And oh, they yeah. want as much counter space as popular, okay? And I love the hood. That's beautiful. The hood, top. especially with the cottage white, really pops. Yes. Here, I'm going to show you another secret. Oh, get out. Look at this. Gas struts. Look at the storage underneath there as well, too. That is awesome. A nice hood. Decorative. Love it. All solid wood. What? A, it, honestly, Chris, that's a great use of space. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's... It, throughout everything we've seen so far at this floor plan, I mean, you have a ton of storage sure. and stuff like that. You know, when you talk about actual R&D, like that is just mm -hmm. something I, I've never seen in the industry today. In all Montanas, except this floor plan right here, we normally have a vent, a hood vent on the outside. Being we don't have a hood vent here because it's against a bath wall, we give you two standard. Okay. These are power vent fans with rain sensor. Okay. They're both standard. Love so this one just assists the other way as well, too. Very cool. Okay. So this is what we call our CK, our center kitchen. And I feel very confident it's going to be the 2020 RV of the year, under 37 feet. Because what I want to talk about, you really can't hear it now, but your air conditioning is on. Mm -hmm. This is your Coleman Whisper Quiet Air Conditioning. It's 30 to 35% quieter than a standard RV air conditioner. The biggest complaint for years in the RV industry was the loudness of your air conditioning. Yep. And you know what's amazing about that is your TV could never get away from your air conditioner. <laughs> the TV would go over here, the air conditioner would follow it. Sure it seems that way. <laughs> it seems that it's always where your air conditioner is, there's your TV. Yep. So being quieter, okay, now you don't have to turn your TV up as loud. When your TV is quieter, now you don't have to turn, you don't have to talk over both of them. Also, that does have an electric heat pump in as well too. Okay. It's six, we have dual 15,000 whisper quiets on the Montanas. Bedroom and, and fit living room, we'll talk about them. The back also has a electric heat pump. Most campgrounds you go to, the electric's included in the rent. Yep. Burn their, burn their electric. Burn it. Save your propane. Yes, sir. So with your electric now, fireplace. Propane, or the fireplace there. Fireplace, yep. 5100 beats you. Electric, again, it gives you that flame look. Gives it a light and also it has a fan, which will take the chill out. That's 5,100 BTU. The heat pump is 16,500. So in a matter of minutes and a chilly morning, that heat pump could take the chill out because that runs through your air conditioning ducts all the way through the whole coach. And if you need to, you still have your 35,000 BTU furnace, which does run on propane. And, you know, we're talking about savings. Mm -hmm. And Chris, this is the first time this one's being, being debuted. And folks, we have an amazing price for the Ultimate RV Show. We're offering this one under $70,000. That's the starting price on it. On something like this, it, the features it has, the colors it has, and you're looking at starting at $426 a month. Chris, for this, that's very reasonable. That's a super reasonable price. Folks, to take advantage of that, you simply text EZRV to 32094 or put EZRV in the comments section. With that, we'll be able to reach out to you. You can get a virtual visit, be able to walk through one if it's nearby on your lot. And if it's not, that's great because what we can do is we can put your name on it. Because correct me if I'm wrong, Chris, something tells me these are going to be a little bit before they're built and readily available. And when someone puts their name on it, they get priority. Well, Camp World Gander put their name on a lot of them. <laughs> so I would highly recommend that you put your name on there. We have a limited production for them. 
yep. uh, on this floor plan right here. So I would not hesitate. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. Now, Chris, one of the other things that I noticed, and I'm kind of stepping on it right over here, and I see it on the other side, is you guys don't have carpet in here. We've eliminated carpet. Don't have any carpet at all. This is a vinyl flooring right here. Uh, it's, it doesn't soak up stains doesn't get as dirty. And what we've done, if you notice on our kitchen slide on the off door side, that is now a flush. You used yeah. to have a two inch lip on all kitchen slides. That is now a flush slide. That That's way awesome. you don't kick your toes. Also, if you notice here on the door side, again, here as well too, I've seen these uh, in pontoons also. Yes, yep. You know, they're trying to eliminate carpet. It just, carpet is a thing of the past. Okay, I'll, I wanna show you the pedestal free dinette table that we have standard in all Montanas. Please do. How this works is we have two hard chairs. The other two hard chairs are folding. Okay. And this floor plan, they're up in the front washer dryer closet. Okay. Because most, this couple have told, these people have told us that normally it's two people. Mm -hmm. If you have four hard chairs, it's hard to store the other two. Yes. Because they're bulky. Yeah, absolutely. How this extends, you have a lever on the left side, the table pulls right out. You can lift it up and you have storage underneath. What I want to show you, this comes out here, flip underneath, and there's your extension right here. Now that is easy. Notice no pedestal underneath the table, nothing to hit your knees on. Now I do want to show you something else. It's what we call the chair buddy, okay? When traveling, this right here lifts up and you just put the chairs underneath here and it holds the chairs in place when you travel. Well, it's super easy. Normally, you have to take straps, strap it down to the floor. Absolutely. And, and you know, we yank on them. They're kind of sometimes they a pain. <laughs> they scratch your wood. Yep. You know, the straps, they scratch the wood. You have to, now you have to store the straps. Yep. But that's more I'd produce that. It's what we call the chair buddy. Love Very it. nice and convenient. It's just the small things. And it's not the big things that sell. It's the small things that sell. Well, and you know, Chris, and I say that, you know, when I do videos, I say the exact same mm -hmm. things. Because what it shows me, things like that, it shows that the manufacturer is thinking about, you know, the, the actual RV itself. They're not yeah. just making a product, you know, kind of run of the mill. They're trying to kind of revolutionize the industry and think about things that a lot of other manufacturers aren't thinking about to make life easier on the customer. And realistically, that's what it's all about. It's making life easy. That's, that's why we're putting this show on. That's the ultimate RV show is all about yeah. is people are getting to shop right from the comfort of their home with this. Being, being the king of the hill for fifth wheels. You know, our suppliers, they knock on our door first. Yep. They all have great ideas. Mm -hmm. hey, we engineer them. We just don't grab something and run with it. We engineer it. But you know what? If I'm a supplier, I'm going I'm going where I get the my most bang for the buck. I Absolutely. go to Montana. Yep. It's just a matter of time before others have it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I'm showing you today, your competition will probably have it about a year. Sure, sure. Okay. <laughs> Such as the USB 110 USB ports right here. Yep. Notice how they retract down. And they also pop up as well, too. Yep. And I have that in the kitchen also on the left-hand side as well, too. Yep, a couple have of those different places there for it. those in the family in the kitchen as well also. With frameless windows. Mm. Today, we're wet. It poured today. Yes, it did. With frameless windows, they give you the jealousy feature. Notice how they slope out. Jealousy, you can have these windows open when it rains. Because if you have sliders up, down, or sideways... You get a little breeze, the water comes right through the screen. So these are jealousy windows here. Now, Chris, one of the things I noticed, I don't mean to interrupt, but you're a pretty tall guy. And how tall are you? Six foot six. Six foot six, and you are fully standing in the slide. These are six foot six tall slides right here. The taller slides you have, Ian, the bigger the windows are. The bigger windows you have, the more daylight. Don't know about you, but I, I don't like being claustrophobic. I absolutely agree. And with big windows to give you protection, whether it's night and daytime, as we do have on the Montana Standard, we do have day shades. We also have night shades. Dual, Love it. All throughout the whole coach. Okay, that will also eliminate the heat in the daytime as well, too. And it gives you privacy. No more pleated shades. No more wood Venetian shades. Yes, we're putting solid features in there. Also, here's a key thing too, people don't think about. A lot of manufacturers have eliminated these, le have eliminated these legs. Do mm -hmm. you know what happens by eliminating these legs? Tell me. Do you realize in the daytime, for example, here, if I have the shade down here or at nighttime, it's the legs- peak right through. Yeah, you have, you have about a half to three quarter inch gap and you're yep. gonna have daylight, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. So by putting point. the legs on here, 
It eliminates the light. It, elim- it gives you more privacy, too. Yeah. Because, you know, people stand outside. They can see down right through the sides of them. Oh, yeah. That, that's, that's actually a great point, Chris. It's never something I thought about, but you were absolutely correct. And, and I think it looks naked without the legs. Yeah, it gives it a little more. Yeah, absolutely. It's attention to detail. Now, you have theater seats in this floor plan, too, straight across from the TV. We do. On uh, Montana, the theater seats are power recline. Okay. They're also heat. They're also massage, and they also have lights as well, too, on them, with a USB port on both sides as well, too. Now, this floor plan right here, okay, is a shorter floor plan, so you'll have a center armrest. Okay. When we get into 40, 41 foot, you'll have a larger center armrest as well, also. Sure, but I, I love that you're actually able to put one in there, because uh, you know, I've seen a lot of manufacturers, and they have like the little... Uh, removable one. The pontoon. Yep. But, yep. But but it just doesn't stay as well as what you have It just here. all blends. You get no separation. Correct. I mean, you know, listen, I, I love my wife, <laughs> but she wants to have her privacy at times. So I give her that much. six inches. Of, I give her six <laughs> inches of privacy. So even like also you have a dimmer switch here as well, too. I just hold your finger on it. Okay. Okay. Just again, attention to detail as well. 12 volt ceiling fan. If you're pulling like over that. for an afternoon or for a lunch or something, you don't have to be powered to electric. That's a 12-volt multi-directional ceiling fan as well, too. Very cool. And remember, folks, this is the, the Premier, the Montana 3231CK. If you're interested, you're going to want to get your name on one now, so you're able to get one in the spring. Text EZRV to 32094 or put EZRV in the comment section. Trust me, we're going to move through a lot of these. As Chris said, this is going to be a very hot floor plan. I'm sure you love it. Make sure you text Easy RV. Ian, we could be here all night talking about this. We only got so much time. If I yes, don't get sir. there before midnight, they're going to get my hotel room. Boy. <laughs> but we have here also, we have, a set, we have a central vacuum with toe kick. Okay, Here's your port right here, which you have a 25-foot expandable hose. Also, this is what we call the toe kick right here. When it sweeps up, you can sweep grass right up in there, and it just sucks it right up in there. And then it empties in your pass-through storage. Super simple. No more of those chargeable wizards where it takes eight hours to charge and <laughs> only runs 15 minutes. Let me show you another huge selling feature hey, come on this in floor here. plan. <sighs> Love it. Right there. That Dual sinks. This is what I call the marriage saver. This is our largest <laughs> bathroom that we have in the Montana is in this floor plan right here, along with the 3781RL that has dual sinks and also our 3931 front bath and a half. Notice the nice, large dual sinks. Yep. Notice where the toilet is located. It's not stuck in a corner. Look at that. I'm a big guy. Room. On a good day, I'm 265, <laughs> but I need room. Okay? Yes, sir. What do you have behind you, Ian? I got a window, sir. Don't homes have windows behind toilets? Yeah, yes, they do. It's, it's, it's a thing. Yeah. So, again, motorhome mentality. You have a nice window that opens up behind the toilet. Yep. So you can get some fresh air. Love it. Also, a 30-inch by 48-inch one-piece fiberglass shower with a seat. And that's one of the things that, you know, a lot of times, Chris, I don't. I think that people miss the value of having a one-piece shower. And when you don't have seams, it's less chance for leaks. I mean, this is water inside your RV all the time. When you stood in there, it did not sink. Not at all. It's plastic very pans, solid. Plastic pans, the plants have to put little two-by-twos under there to, to beef it up. You have no opportunity for leak. The double-sided tape doesn't come off from the surround. It's a one-piece fiberglass shower with a seat. It's 30-inch by 48-inch. Every bathroom we have in the Montana Inn has an air conditioning duct and a heat duct. Look at that. Again, if you're going to be away from home, you might as well take home with you. There you go. Well, Chris, let's hit the bath or the bedroom real quick so we have time to get outside. Looks like we're running a little low on time, my friend. Gotcha. There's so many features to cover. Quiet cool. Here's your whisper quiet cool. Dual 15,000 B2 air conditioning in Montana, both whisper quiet cool. You've never slept so good in your RV and career until <laughs> you get into a Montana. Okay? Because now. It's quiet. It's almost going to put you to sleep. There you this go. This is a 72-inch wide by 80-inch long king bed. You can full still get queen. Size. Yep, they full residential size. Full residential size here. Roller shades in this floor plan right here, too, like all of them. 
we have a window right in the headboard, and that's Love a that. cushioned headboard. So you can it's, actually lean up against it. It's, it's functional. It's not wood. It's yeah. not wood like at the hotel, you know, you're like, you get a crimp <laughs> in your back, you know, you get a splinter in your back. It's nice cushion. You have countertops on both sides. And look where we put the 110 outlets, sleeping machines, yep. you know, alarm clocks, anything that's elevated. Most of them, you have to go searching down on the sides or they may not even have them. Yep. Standard 32-inch bedroom TV. All of our TVs, family and bedroom, are on swing arms. Washer dryer closet here, okay? Stackable washer dryer closet in all Montana floor plans. Okay? I, I love that it's stackable. Because with the wash and dryer prep, folks, you have to think about a six gallon wa water heater is not going to get it done. We have a 12 gallon gas and electric water heater standard on all Montanas. And in the front wardrobe floor plans, you have a nice hamper. There you go. And a nice storage for shoes, hanging storage as well. That's amazing. Benefit of a high profile fifth wheel, Ian, is the overall height. There you go. Six foot eight height in the bedrooms and the bathrooms. It's not like your shorter, smaller fifth wheels where the roof line drops down right here. Yep. It's full height. I love it. Well, Chris, let's hit the outside features real quick okay. while we still have a little bit of time here. Again, folks, text EZRV to 32094 or put EZRV in the comments to be able to put your name on the brand new Montana. Let's head on out, sirs. Tell me a little bit about some of the outside features here. All Montanas have a standard 12-inch I-beam frame, standard 7,000-pound Dexter axles, standard 6-point hydraulic auto leveling all standard. The only options that we put on this floor plan right here was king bed and slide toppers. That's it. Everything else in the price you gave includes <laughs> all that. Yes, we sir. keep it simple. We don't give you a lot of different options because it gets difficult. Yep. One thing I want to talk about is the drop frame. You Love have a 12-inch I-beam frame, and notice the drop frame you have here because if it did not drop, your floor to your passenger storage would be right here. Yep. So it does drop that 12 inches to give the large pass-through storage. This is what he likes. Yeah. We've already <laughs> talked about what she likes. She's sold, she's sitting in there already. We're out here talking to him and showing him. You can this never have too much storage. Huge, massive storage. Double awnings. Any Montana floor plan that has a super slide, sofa dinette slide, will have dual power awnings, okay? And you can see your frameless windows here as well, too. Yeah, it's covered, covered in the entire RV. I mean, the whole length of your campsite, you have awning coverage. Absolutely. Road armor, pin box. Your road armor pin box minimizes bucking and chucking. You have rubber right here, rotates front and back, minimizes bucking and chucking. Those of you that pulled fifth wheels, get that bucking and chucking at decelerating and accelerating. And do you want to finish up, Ian? Yeah, absolutely. And real quick, I do want to say, Chris, it's actually funny that you mentioned that because we transport a lot of RVs. Sure. And every RV transporter says they love towing a Montana. When I used to work for other manufacturers, it'd take two to three weeks to get a fifth wheel to a dealer. It takes me less than seven days with a Montana because these guys that deliver them can cherry pick on what they want to tow. I have no problem. They love towing Montanas. And that's them telling me. Right. Same with the retail customer. You got it. Well, folks, again, this is the brand new Montana 3231 CK. If you want to put your name on one of these, you do, and trust me, you're going to want to, because as Chris said, not to let the cat out of the bag, but this is going to be a hot floor plan. Folks, all you have to do is text e oh, text Easy RV to 32094 or put Easy RV in the comment section. Or if you want to call, you can call 866-853-3510. And folks, as I said, because this is the ultimate RV show, we're truly trying to make it easy for you. So you can do it right from the comfort of your home. You just text that, call, or put the comment. We will reach out to you. We can take care of everything over the phone and through the mail. And we will deliver the brand new 3231 CK right in your driveway. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it, my friend. Thank you, Ian. Appreciate it. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. 
Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. Traveling down the road, tire issues occur more often than you think, and you don't always know about it until a good Samaritan flags you down, resulting in thousands of dollars in damage and trouble to your trip. Introducing the Tire Minder tire pressure monitoring system with external sensor, signal booster, and bright color monitor. This system wirelessly alerts you of any tire issue instantly. Winner of Reader's Choice Awards in Trail Life and Motorhome Magazine. Located in beautiful Stewart, Florida. Tire Miter. Peace of mind for the road ahead. We're at the movies and we need to silence our phone. Who knows where that button is? I don't have silent. Everyone does right up here. It happens to all of us. We buy a new home and we turn into our parents. What I do? is help new homeowners overcome this. Was that an adjustable spanner? Good choice, Steve. Okay, don't forget, you're not assisting him. You hired him. You have nowhere to sit. You have too many. Who else reads books about submarines? My dad. Yeah. Oh, those are... Progressive can't protect you from becoming your parents, but we can protect your home and auto when you bundle with us. Look at that. Welcome back. Wow, that Montana was awesome. I love the luxury of that fifth wheel Montana. Let me tell you all of the features. Uh, I just love it. And you know, RVing is the safest and best way to travel across America. Oh, heck yeah. Wow. And now let's talk a little bit more about fifth wheelers. We have some new fifth wheelers, some different fifth wheelers coming up with some uh, extra stuff. Morgan, tell us more. Yeah, the fifth wheel toy haulers, they are all about the party decks. Okay, perfect for uh, motorcycles, ATVs, dirt bikes, you name it, it could fit. It's your garage on the go. Well, it's it's also like we can get the party going in there. We could get the tailgate going in there. You know, it's funny. We're going to be getting into this fifth wheel section. My kids and I, uh, we used to go racing our motocross and my daughter with her four wheeler. And it, it's so perfect, the transition from the uh, outside where the bikes go and right into the luxury living. And they, they got the restrooms there. And listen, we're going to show you everything. And obviously, we knew the weather was coming, so we shot some segments in advance. You saw the outside of a lot of the vehicles. You saw the sunshine. Uh, Chris is inside. He's going to show you mostly inside because this is a live segment. But trust me, once you see anything on the inside, you're not going to have any worries. And if you need to see the outside, they can actually call and talk to a product specialist right now. Or they can text that easy RV number. Whatever you need, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to see, or even if you want to make some uh, amenities, some changes, some different things that you would like to maybe add on to, we can take care of that. 866-853-3510. Tell us what you want. We'll take care of you. And don't forget the show pricing is only good till Sunday. Awesome. And don't forget to register for these dope giveaways that we have. Go to ultimatervy.com. Register for these giveaways. Giveaways galore. All right. It's the Ultimate RV Show. We're rocking out. Big things popping, right? Yes. And you can't win if you don't register. Just saying. 
All right, well, let's get to Chris Young right now on the inside. This is live, checking out that awesome fifth wheel. What do you got for us, Chris? Garage on the go is probably the best term I've heard in a long time when you're talking about a fifth wheel travel trailer. You nailed it with that one. Yes, I'm standing inside the all new 2021 Heartland Fuel 352. Now, toy haulers are for if you got that motocross team or if you got the bikes you want to take down to the beach, the golf cart, the side by sides. They are great for that, but they're also great for families who just need additional space that maybe you also want to have some separation between who's going to be in the back, who's going to be in the middle, and then who's going to be on the front cap, which is usually where you're going to have most of the living space and areas, hence the toy hauler aspect being in the rear. So with this 352 that I'm standing in now, you're looking at 38 feet long. So if you're looking for a toy hauler that is less than 40 feet, got yourself a pretty nice one right here. For example, look, this one will sleep six, you can see my doctor type handwriting, 38 feet long, but this dry weight on this one is 17,000 pounds. And that's the thing with a fifth wheel. You're gonna need a heavy duty truck to tow these. But 54,995 is what this wing is starting at during the Ultimate RV Show, or as low as $401 a month. Now, to sleep five to six people, that's a great value. And if you wanna take the family out, People ask all the time, when we show the fifth wheel toy haulers, you know, you have the, the, the couches and the beds down on the sides. You never have them up. What do they look like when they're up? Well, as you can see right here, these are my two bunk beds on the chain drive. We have them all the way up in the up position, so you can see I can't even hardly reach the top one here. But both of those can come down. This separates into our couch. You have a table that you can put right here to do some entertaining. And since the fuel has the 1500 pound max capacity here on the uh, party deck that I like to call it, you got the cables that'll hold it. You got the suspension surround that'll go around. This is great for, I love them. And granted, this is just me. Everybody's got their own thing. I love these for fishing. Because you can lay down that party deck. You got the kids, you got the family. What a great first experience for the kids, too, to go fishing in your own home. That's something, a conversation you can have internally. But you pull up to the lake, you got the party deck down, you got the surround there, so everybody's going to be safe. They're not going to be falling off, and you're at the lake, and you can just cast off the back. Whatever you catch, bring it in, clean and cook. Another great option for the fifth wheel toy haulers. But for those race enthusiasts, those toy enthusiasts, this is where you live, this is your space your garage. We got the dovetail coming up. You got a 13 foot garage in this one. I got my solid mounted D-rings down here in multiple locations. So you got plenty of spaces to anchor whatever you need to anchor. Multiple windows here. So if you do use this for an entertainment space or if you use this for a living area, um, because this one also has a half bath. Yep. A fifth wheel toy hauler, less than 40 feet that has a half bath. <laughs> I know, calm down. Ultimate RV show has been blowing your mind all week. Your jaw's on the keyboard right now, so you can't text Easy RV to 32094. You can't comment Easy RV because everything's just going everywhere. Oh my goodness, Chris and Ian have shown me everything I want for my entire life from here on out to the end of eternity. You're welcome. Plenty of windows, plenty of cross breeze to have here. Good space for pretty much anything you want to do. The other thing that we would use this for um, was we would have card nights. We'd set up a card table right there on, in between the couches and just kind of hang out, have the back gate down, play the cards. My buddies like to smoke cigars and you know I'm not a fan of having that you know inside where I'm living. But with the back gate down, it was absolutely fine. The half bath is what I mentioned on this one. Now with Heartland, you're gonna get solid construction. You're gonna get great insulation. You got a 15,000 BTU main air conditioner, 13.5 secondary AC over in the bedroom, 35,000 BTU furnace on this one. And for less than 40 feet to have a half bath with some storage space here. I got my storage space up top as well here in the loft that's lit. I got a solid door and granted, Kev, I'm not gonna shut you all the way because I know your cord's coming through, but look at the residential privacy glass that we have here. That's solid glass, solid wood. That's gonna do a great job of separating not only the sounds and the smells, but the privacy. So if you do wanna use this for a residential space, if you got to say, hey, I wanna put the kids back there, they're loud, they're noisy, they have their own access point so they can come and go as they please. You wanna to go to bed, they wanna stay outside and have some fun. 
you got it right there. Now, our industry specialists are standing by right now to give you a more thorough walkthrough of everything you're gonna see here at the Ultimate RV Show. I'm not gonna get a good chance to answer all your questions, to walk through everything and show you everything that I'd love to show you, but they can. We're also open, we're safe. If you're worried about getting out and about, but you say, you know what, I do want to come in and I do want to see one of those Heartland Fuel 352s, or I want to see another one of those great fifth wheel toy haulers that Chris and Ian have been talking about, then our folks are standing by. They can take you in, social distance, keep you safe. And look, with the inclement weather that we have right now, stay dry, shop and buy, stay inside. That's the thing that would reek about going to an RV show was the rain, man. You get there five days thinking, oh, it's going to be great. And then all of a sudden something would hit and you're raining. And look, don't mess with that. Let us mess with that. I'm already soaking wet from head to toe. I got muck boots. I think I have a fish in this one right here. So let us handle that stuff. You stay dry, shop and buy. We're going to show you what you want. Somebody's going to walk away with this and guaranteed. Shaker style cabinets, brushed nickel fixtures here with the frosted glass inlays. Look at my space that I have right here. Good storage space. And you know, that's one of the things people will say sometimes about fifth wheel toy haulers. Well, what about the storage space? Because they use up so much room for the garage. Heartland heard you. A lot of the manufacturers heard you. You wanted some more amenities from home. You wanted some more storage. So we got you covered there. Built-in speakers. I got my Jensen Command Center with my AM FM, my multi-zone, my CD player. DVD player, some more storage down below. That's a good spot for if you needed to put like a helmet, some bags, whatever. Got the TV on the swivel. Big old TV. Kev and I were trying to catch a game a little bit earlier. Then we realized it wasn't a game on today. And I said, well, Kev, that's your fault. Solid surface countertop going all the way around, giving us plenty of prep space here. And we do have opposing slides on this unit, which really opens up the space and allows us to have an island kitchen here that's attached to the wall. The design here is really reconnecting entertainment, but also fun and spacious. With a toy hauler that's less than 30 feet, to have all of that in one, it's a pretty big accomplishment. So Harlan did a good job with this one. Solid wood cabinetry on the drawers here. Ball bearing drives, full extension. There's a remote we were looking for before, Kev. That's why we couldn't cut the TV on. Look at that. So you got those all the way around. Brushed nickel fixtures, stainless steel, undermounted sink, brushed nickel high-rise faucet, residential, clean. Got my prep space. Got my good little hangout kitchen. So I could be in here chatting about what we did today with the fish, the hunt, or, you know, toy haulers are great too because uh, I know a lot of ladies that'll take them down to the beach and do those girls getaways because it's big, it's spacious, they're fun, they're inviting, and you have enough room to sleep your friends without everybody having to feel cramped. Good option there. Residential lighting here, high ceilings, because this is a full profile fifth wheel. Come over, got a little storage space right there. A little pantry notch, maybe spice rack. Keep my mustards, my mustard seeds. Got the flush mounted three burner cooktop with the glass cover that doubles as a backsplash, and of course, the accent lights there. That to me is just a great touch for, if you, if you need a night light, you don't wanna wake anybody up when you're moving through. Oven right there. Down below, you got some more storage. Good spot for the pots and pans, or you know, really anything you want. Um, because that's the great thing about having an RV. It's, it's your RV. You don't really have to use this uh, as a kitchen area. If you're taking it for that girl's wake it weekend getaway, or you're doing it with the, for the family vacation, the family trip, the hunting trip, the guys are going to set this up as a hunting cabin. Put your tools there, man. Put your fishing gear there. You absolutely can. You got plenty of space in this all new 2021 Heartland Fuel 352. Once again, this one's starting at $54,995 or as low as $401 a month. Got the large Dometic fridge with the automatic switch, gas and electric here. That's good space. That's gonna be enough room there so that if you do need to go for that extra long trip, you can. This one, since we're not really gonna get a chance to show you the outside, which is another reason why I wanted you to text EZRV to 32094 or drop us a comment, EZRV, or call 866-853-3510. When you're talking about the safest way to see America, the easiest way to get out and see America, it is with an RV. It's your home, you can take it out. And we got bad weather, huge electronics here at the Ultimate RV Show, so we're not really gonna risk going outside and showing a lot of things outside. But our industry specialists that are standing by right now, they can. 
You might find somebody in Tampa, because you're in Tampa, they're gonna walk around. You're in Bartow, we got a spot in Bartow. They'll walk you around the outside, show you what's there. We have over 150 locations across the country and 25,000 RVs ready for you to check out. This is our command station right here. You're gonna see light control, run your slide in, the generator. This one does come with the Onan 5K generator already on it. And I'd mentioned that 30 gallon fuel station. Check your stuff there. Got some hangers. Got my little mirrors I'm coming in. Another little storage shelf up there too. Good spot to put the helmets, whatever you need. Make our way up into the master. Solid door going into the pass-through bathroom. And I'll tell you what I'll do, Kev. I'll go, let's see. Which way you wanna go? You wanna go left, you wanna go right? I'll go up, you go down. All right, we're gonna do this. We come into the master bathroom right here and right away you see there's plenty of space. Plastic bowl here with the foot flush, but I'm not cramped at all. Got some countertop prep space here. Large vanity sink with the brush nickel fixtures. Got storage next to my medicine cabinet. So they heard people talking about the storage options. You know, I don't have enough storage in my fifth wheel toy hauler. I need more storage. They heard you. That's why with these 2021s, they tried to add some of those things in. They kept the light on dark interiors, the decors. They kept some of the, you know, some of the same features. The large shower with the bench sheet. Got the skylight inlay here. Brush nickel fixture all the way around. Got the brush nickel handles. Got my corner notches. And you can see, being over 6'2", I'm fine. That's the great thing about having a high profile fifth wheel is you have headspace in the front cap. That's where the bedroom's going to be. Now, I'm gonna shut this for you, Kev. Bye, everybody. Walk around over here to the master bedroom and right away, inviting, modern, and nice. I got shelves on both sides if I need space. I got power on both sides if I need juice. So if I need to set up my CPAP machine, my reading light, I got a storage spot right there in the end cap. This is walk around and you're gonna see once again, shaker style cabinets with the brush nickel fixtures, the glass inlay, solid wood, not press board, because moisture will get in those press boards and those will start separating. So it's nice to have a travel trailer, fifth wheel, A, B, or C with the solid wood fixtures there. Plenty of space. Got the mini ward storage there. But you say, wait a minute, Chris, that's not a lot of side storage on the side of the bed. Do we have any underneath? Sure. We sure do. Right there. Okay, well, Chris, that's nice too, but what about a wardrobe? Well, Kevin, I'm glad you asked. Because <laughs> right behind you, buddy, is the wardrobe on the slide. Now, why don't you come on in here, and I'm going to show you the special feature in this bedroom. Got your wardrobe here on the slide. Got the drawer down here to give me some additional storage. Just take a look at the space there. What can you use that for? Whatever you want. It's your RV. But we shut this door that's on the magnetic latch. The magnetic latch. And you got some sit and prep space. You also have a window to check out what's going on outside. Wood valance, seamless countertop. Got that deep drawer, solid wood construction on the ball bearing drive, just like we've seen all the way around. So if you're looking for a fifth wheel toy hauler, you need something that's less than 40 feet. You need something that's starting at less than $55,000. 2021 Heartland Fuel 352. I know I got some bike and golf cart enthusiasts right now that are jumping up and texting Easy RV to 32094 and dropping a comment down below Easy RV or picking up the phone to give us a call 866-853-3510 because they are saying for as low as $401 a month to sleep six at only 1,700 pounds and 38 feet long, that's one that I would like to know more about, which is why we have those industry specialists standing by. Now, they're also going to help you with the paperwork, the financing, the whole nine. They're gonna send you those documents. The envelopes are gonna be pre-stamped so you don't even have to worry about buying a stamp to send them back. And when it's time to have this puppy delivered or one like this, this one's brand new. So you might not be able to get your hands on exactly this one, but if you like one that's under 40 feet, you like this style with the opposing slides, 25,000 of them somewhere sitting around waiting for you to call and say, hey, can I take a look at one? Why, yes, you absolutely can. So stay dry, 
shop and buy with the Ultimate RV Show. I'm excited because we're talking about the fifth wheel toy haulers and I get to work once again with my brother Ian Baker and I understand that Ian is right now about to show us the Heartland Torque 371. So big dog, I'm taking it from the 352 to the 371. Ultimate RV Show is all yours, man. Take it away. Thanks, Chris. How about that weather we're having today, huh? <laughs> uh, we're here in the Heartland Torque 371, and folks, this is another gorgeous toy hauler. You have a nice big kitchen, a ton of seating, 13-foot garage, and this is a bath and a half floor plan. Before we get into it, though, I did get a call a little bit ago. got to uh, uh, do a voice call, or rather a video call with my daughter, Lumen, and I promised I would give you a shout-out. So, honey, just know that Daddy loves you, I miss you, and I will be home soon, I promise. But folks, here we go, the Torque 371. As you can see, of course, this is a toy hauler. The, the thing about toy haulers is a lot of people get stuck on the fact that the, you know, the word toy is in it, meaning that people think you have to have something in the garage, like, a, like an ATV, motorcycles, quad, whatever it may be. And absolutely, it's built for it. That 13-foot garage is able to fit most of your side-by-sides. But the other thing about a toy hauler, as you can see, is some of your higher-end toy haulers are absolutely gorgeous. You have amazing kitchen space. Folks, if you, again, we, if you like to entertain, we did a session last night on RVs that are great for entertaining. This is another option. We're actually gonna come back into the living area, but if you are someone who wants a toy hauler for toys, probably your primary concern is going to be right back here in the garage. So that is where I wanna start. Now you saw when we came in that you have an actual solid door with the glass cover there. As I mentioned, this is a 13-foot garage, so you can fit a lot of your side-by-sides in here. Of course, you have the tough floor. You have the diamond plating uh, along the corners as well, a vent both in the lower corner and up top, just as you would expect in any toy hauler to be able to vent exhaust fumes. This one also has the Happy Jack bed system. Double rollover sofas here with the queen bed up top. Now, if you're new to toy haulers, you haven't seen this before, it is a touch a button to drop these. The bed does have pins in it to lock it in place. So if you push the button down, just these sofas will come down. If you pull the pins out on the bed, then all of it will come down. Um, so that way, again, if you need to get up into that bed, you can. These sofas are able to stay up just like they are right now, or you can drop them against the wall. So if you need the width, again, if you have that side by side, you put it up like it is now. If, on the other hand, you need the additional height, maybe you have a golf cart with like a really high top on it or something like that, you're able to swing these down along the sides. You'll see windows all throughout here. I actually like this because it does bring a lot of light into this back room because again, a lot of people, as I mentioned, think toy haulers, you have to have toys, but folks, if you have a big family or you like to go camping with a lot of people, you know, maybe you do something with your church and you just have a bunch of people that go on a trip, this is an excellent option for it because you can sleep, you know, essentially two people per bed here. And plus, if you take a look right up behind me, you will see that there is a loft. Take a look at that up there, folks. You have a loft, you have a vent up there because you're up higher, right? You don't want to be, uh, you know, too hot when you're up there. So you can open the vent up. You have stairs that lead right up to it. The stairs just tuck away when you're done with them, just like so. And then you do have the, uh, the second entrance to be able to enter right here in the garage. But again, perfect for a big family here too. Uh, you have the seating, you have the sleeping capacity. It's just one of those things that I really enjoy about the toy hauler. The other one, another big reason that people get toy haulers is this right back here. And that is, of course, not just the ramp, but the fact that this one drops down into a party deck. And folks, if you've never seen a party deck, uh, I promise they're 100% worth it. I would drop it now, but with all the rain, it's just gonna be an absolute mess. Uh, but you can see the cables right here. I'll grab these. So this is what supports it. So uh, if you need to, to bring your toys up or down, you simply remove the cables, right? You'll just pull this pin out, the cable comes right out. That way the ramp will drop all the way down. But when the cables are attached, uh, it'll be able to have that uh, deck, or this ramp stick straight out, creating that deck. And then you will see your safety rail system here. Now this Moride system, again, is super simple. I really wish it wasn't raising, ra raining so bad today because I wanna show you how easy it really is. But it, you can see kind of right down below here that it's on rollers. And so you literally just, uh, you just undo the Velcro here and you can roll this whole thing out, you connect it, and then it's safe so no one's falling off. You also have these steps right here. And what that's for is when this safety gate is fully uh, extended, right um, at the end here, 
you can see where you have the little clip. And what that is, is that's gonna be for your steps. So uh, when you extend that gate out, you have a spot where you have steps so you can actually uh, enter and exit right into the party deck without having to come through the camper, which again is pretty cool. When you wanna take the party outside, uh, that right there is definitely the way to do it. One other thing you can't see, and I'd reach it, but I, I'm a little short. <laughs> I'm six foot, but for some reason, uh, it's tucked way up there. But there is a screen right there. You can kind of see the, the fuzziness. Um, but that, that pulls down. So that's, that's going to be a, a screen. So that way, if again, you, you have the party deck out, or maybe if you just have the ramp down, whatever it is, you're able to get the airflow. You know, if you have a beautiful view out the back, folks, if you're doing like ocean side camping or lake side camping, that is a gorgeous view sitting out there, sipping on your coffee, folks, that, that really is what it's all about. You know, being out there, just really reconnecting and being outdoors. The other cool thing about this one is the fact you have a half bath tucked away right in here. As I mentioned at the very beginning, it is a bath and a half floor plan, so you can see that. It is a porcelain bowl too, which I uh, really enjoy that because it stays a lot cleaner and it's easier to clean. You'll see the sink there and you have a mirror. Something else that's pretty cool though is with this wall, it normally wouldn't allow you to fit that side by side in because you're not able to get that width. But what you can do, if you take a look right here, you can just undo this and look at that. They have a folding wall, so you can fold it back, you can lock it in place, you'll shut this door right here, and now you have enough width that you're able to fit the toy hauler, or the uh, the side-by-side -side in there. Um, you'll also notice washer dryer prep here, so if you need, uh, if you need, want a washer and dryer, then you do have the capability of uh, installing a unit. Electrical outlet here, of course, you have TV hookup, as you would expect, and all of your controls, will be located right here, so you can see that. Uh, just to show you the bed, let me see if I can drop the bed down for you. You wanna circle around, I don't want the bed to hit you, but I do just kinda want to. So, as I mentioned in the very beginning, I talked about how there's safety pins. You can see the pins right up here. That's what's keeping this upper bed in place. So as I mentioned, this allows you to just bring these sofas down. Now, when you do this, right, you can also uh, have some space here so you can have two beds and that's why I say you can sleep four people because you have basically, you know, this queen bed here when the sofas are rolled over plus the queen bed up top. And as far as seating goes, once you bring it down far enough, I'm going to stop it right here just purely for time. But once you do bring it down far enough, these roll over just like that. And again, you have these sofas on both sides. So an absolute beautiful garage back here. Again, you get the versatility. So that's why I say, you know, when you think in toy haulers, whoops, hold on. When you think in toy haulers, don't just get stuck on toys. There's so, there's so many uses you can have. And another one I talked about was entertaining. You want to talk about entertainment space, folks. You have four recliners right here. The end ones have your cup holders that light up, USB ports, but all four of these seats recline. Even your center ones will recline. Allure furniture, it's an upgraded furniture, really nice. Uh, and again, as I mentioned, you wanna talk about being able to kick back and relax, this is it. The other cool thing, you have solid surface countertops, gorgeous, but folks, look at this table. How cool is that? You have a table where you can fit six people. You have the bench seat right over here, but look, I mean, if I sit here, you can definitely fit two more people there. Plus you can have three bar stools. So you can fit six people at this table. Folks, I mean, you, you know, you can have 10 people in this living room and have seating for all of them. So again, if you like to have big parties, you know, you, you wanna be the center of the campground, you can fit everyone in here. You can sleep a bunch of people if they wanna stay the night. If you like to watch TV, something they've really improved in a lot of toy hauler floor plants is this right here, where they now have a straight viewing angle to the TV. Rather than having to crane your neck like you have in the past, Folks, that's a 55 inch 4K TV that comes in here. If you can't see that, you need to get to the eye doctor. You need to get your eyes checked because that thing is huge for an RV. I've had people before, right? When I say a 55 inch TV is huge, they're like, Ian, what are you talking about? I have a 70 inch. Dude, if you put a 70 inch TV in an RV, it's gonna take up half the wall. So, but trust me, in an RV, 55 inches is pretty big. When you look at the cabinetry, um, you know, they, they did uh, kind of have the darker cabinetry in here, but I, again, I like it because they went lighter elsewhere. You know, you have the really bright countertops and because it is so big, because you have that ceiling height in a toy hauler, I mean, take a look at how high the ceiling is. So you have this huge height, the, the slide out boxes, we talk about light, look at, you know, I'm six foot tall folks. Look how much space I have with the slide out box. And do you know what that does? 
that allows you to have huge windows, which brings in a ton of natural light. So between the big windows, the bright countertops, you know, the white sink, it allows you to have the darker wood, some of the darker furniture, and it doesn't feel closed in. It still feels bright and airy and clean. Speaking of the sink, it is an undermount double basin sink. This is American Stonecast. The great thing about this, folks, is that you won't get damaged from any heat. It doesn't scratch very easy. It's very easy to clean as well. And you have the high-rise pull-out faucet, so wash and rinse and dishes is a breeze. Of course, the microwave, your cooktop is recessed with the cover. So that's another thing. You want to talk about prep space? You have prep space all around here, right? You know, because this uh, drops down, also if you sit for sink top covers, you can utilize that as well. And then you kind of have like this little buffet bar area. Like if you have people sitting at the dinette, you know, you can make a snack dish, put it right here. Who's ever sitting there can move it to the table. Uh, it just kind of has a good flow throughout the kitchen. Uh, but as I was saying, I'm sorry, undermount, uh, uh, Cooktop right here to flip this up and back. That doubles as a backsplash. Three burner, that front one being high output. If you like the look of the blue lights, you can flip that on. You will see uh, the blue lights here. And then you have the oven. And if you want to lighten the oven, you just flip it down. And then that will give you the light in the oven. For storage underneath, I like, I always like to show this, folks, look at all the storage underneath there. And you might be thinking, Ian, that's fantastic. There's enough room for a trash can because that's one of the things I always talk about. And if you, you really want your trash can underneath the sink, you can absolutely do that. But take a look at this too. Boom, we take the countertop off. If you take a look right down there, yep, there is space for a trash can. So you can put a trash can there. We need to take the trash out. You just open it up, pull the trash can out. You're good to go. In fact, it looks like we already made it a trash can. There's a bunch of stuff in there that I need to have cleaned out. But, um, you know, that, that is kind of a, a pretty neat feature. Again, you know, when you talk about ease of cleaning, I always talk about the, having the undermount sinks, how easy it is to sweep stuff in. You can do the same thing right here, but it's going right in the trash. So um, I, I do like when they're able to put that in there. And then you have the little bar top. This is kind of neat. Um, you know, for me, I guess I wish there would just been a little bit more space here uh, just because, you know, maybe I would have liked to put uh, like a coffee maker or something like that there. I understand that you want to maximize cabinet space. And so maybe they, the manufacturer intended this to be more of like um, somewhere to put cell phones, things like that. But again, it does look wonderful having the bar top. Super pretty. If you want to put some decor up here, uh, I think it would really make the area pop. And then just to kind of give you an idea of storage size, folks, because storage is always important. You can see you have absolute massive storage. Speaking of that, you have to have cold storage too. So you have the Dometic, uh, what is it? It's quad door <laughs> fridge freezer combo. You can see how much room you have in there. So if you're sick of not having enough refrigerator space, you're not going to have an issue here. Uh, this is a RV refrigerator too, which means it does run off of both propane and electric. And when you have something like this and you plan on having a lot of people, chances are you're gonna be eating a lot of food. So that right there will allow you to do it. If we spin around real quick, I just wanna show you kind of where your controls are. When I open this up, you will see all of your controls, uh, including your power control system there, your gen set. This one has a 5,500 Cummins Onan generator. That's another thing, that, another um, reason that people really like toy haulers is because most of them either come with, have prep, or have the option to have a generator installed. So if you like to go somewhere and be self-sufficient, not have to rely on having a post with shore power, then a toy hauler may be the way to go for specifically that reason. Tank monitoring panel lights, you know, awning, everything else is in there too. Let's head on up into the bedroom and the bathroom. I just kind of want to show you what you're working with. So in the bathroom, again, porcelain bowl. This, of course, being your master bath. We saw the half bath in the back. You have the sink, the medicine cabinet, kind of the standard. Uh, I do want to show you the size of the tub. So uh, I'm six foot tall. One of the things I really like that they did, if you notice, the tub is not raised. Most manufacturers will raise the tub so they can put the plumbing underneath, but they knew if they did that, you wouldn't have the head height. So instead they put the plumbing underneath the floor, which again, I'm six foot tall. You can see I can be six, three, you know, maybe six, four before you max out the ceiling. So uh, I, I definitely give them kudos for that. As we make our way into the bedroom here, We'll be, we'll see there that you have the tilt to bed. So you can see how the bed is lifted up, makes it easier to get out of bed. Great for reading storage all along the top and wardrobe storage right over to the side. So you can see that you have plenty of room for clothes and everything else that you need. 
Folks, again, if you love this toy haul or you love the one that Chris showed you, we have a couple more coming up. You simply want to text EZRV to 32094 to lock in the show pricing for the Ultimate RV Show. That will also get you in touch with our show specialists, and they'll be able to help you kind of navigate the waters that is the toy hauler world and find the perfect one for you. Before I do forget, I do want to add that this one does have a fuel tank outside. Uh, we're not going to go out there because of the rain. Uh, this one also does have backup camera prep. And speaking of backup cameras, as I said, a lot of these segments are pre-recorded. You can watch me talk about backup cameras right now. Welcome back to the Ultimate Campsite. I am Lauren, I'm here with Dave, and today we are discussing backup cameras. So give me a rundown. Well, so we have our friends from Furion have presented us with three different models. We carry these at Camping World and Gander. Nice. Um, definitely a huge thing, huge on the market right now, because a lot of these RVs are coming with actually the mounts already put on the back. Right. So they're ready and pretty much pretty much wired for us to just complete the job. Wow. Okay. So it's pretty easy, very easy setup. Customers couldn't even do it at home. We always like our professionals at the Camp Worlds and Ganders to do them. Uh, so we can definitely do the installs, but we have a 4.3 model, a 5.0 and a seven inch model. Okay. okay. Uh, at any time, if you're looking and you're interested in getting one of these, you can comment camp down below, or you can text camp at 32094 or call 866-235 eight seven five one all right so uh not much difference besides the size in the three boxes so we'll just go straight into the cameras the furion of course mounts into your your vehicle so behind any travel trailer or fifth wheel you put your you have your vehicle and you mount, no, mount the monitor up in front with your truck or suv and then these and many of these have actually the mount part already installed so all you have to do is take the camera put it in place the wiring is just as simple as getting to the 12 volt. So we get some 12 volt power to it. Usually the clearance lights will cut that on, which will give power to the camera. And immediately you link up, sync up your monitor and you're ready to go. That's awesome. You now have view of what's in the back. And Lauren, I don't know, have you ridden in, a, in an RV before? I have, Okay, yes. so have you ever seen somebody trying to back one of these bad it's boys up? It's not easy, it's <laughs> really difficult. Okay, so imagine, you know, somebody's in the back saying, oh, back up, back yeah. up. And they're not watching the, the rooftop. Right. Crunch, right? right? So those things happen. Right. Absolutely. All right. So this camera is going to be your eyes for that. Say they're not actually telling me about that up there. So I'm not going to run into that because my right. camera is now doing all the work. That's awesome. Yeah. So this is a great little feature. Uh, it saved so many folks these yeah. days. I'm just I, I can't imagine how uh, how we did it without it. Right. Yep. Yeah. These are great. So again, if you guys are interested, you can comment below camp. Um, you can text camp at. 32094 or you can call us also at 866-235-8751 and let's get into pricing if you want to. So we have a 4.3 model that is $476.99. We have a 5 inch model that is $549.99 and then we have a 7 inch model that is $649 or $644.99. All great prices. Okay. Great value. Yep. <laughs> I mean, we, we're running them off the shelf, but yeah. Furin is keeping us stock, so please, you know, get yours before you don't have a size that you wanted, right? Right. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one. Shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. Camping World is the one-stop shop for all your outdoor essentials. Shop chairs and side tables starting at only $9.99 and patio lights starting at $10.99. 
grills for only $9.99? Who knew travel could be so easy? Your vacation just got a little brighter, a little tastier, and a little cozier. See America for less when you shop at Camping World. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. Sean Park, good to be back with you. We've got Morgan, we've got Bria, and uh, the amazing team here at the Ultimate RV Show. And we are still in our fifth wheel. We're talking about toy haulers, and we love talking toy haulers because we know everything there is to know about them, especially when you have product specialists like Ian and Chris taking care of us, Morgan. Mm -hmm. Our toy haulers are amazing. They're all about the toys. Your boats, your motorcycles, your dirt bikes, whatever. It's a lot of space for them, okay? Those toy haulers are special. I love the deck where you can actually go and uh, bring the back down and do a little party. And But we also want to thank uh, one of our amazing partners, and I'm talking about our great friends at Progressive Insurance. And, you know, say you get a toy hauler or any one of, one of our products and you say, look, how do I handle the insurance? Progressive can build a custom insurance policy just for you. I and mean, we're talking about everybody knows Progressive, first of all, and you've seen how they take your boat and your RV and your home and they put it all together in one amazing bundle. They are the third largest uh, insurance company in the world. So we're so proud to partner with them and we're glad to have them with us, especially uh, on an event like this. They're going to give you the best deal possible, the best customer service possible. Progressive insurance really is what it's all about. You know everything there is to know about Progressive Insurance. I, I have Progressive Insurance and I love Progressive Insurance. We switched with the latest car that I got and we actually ended up saving money upgrading our car. Explain how that works. You know, some people might think that's a surprise, but not with Progressive Insurance. So thank you again to all of our uh, friends and our good partners at Progressive. And you Flow. Know, yeah, and we love Flow. We love yeah. Flow. So it's, <laughs> we're going to get back into uh, some more products where, and, and think about this, when you get on the road, this is the safest, easiest way to take the family and see this great nation of ours. Let's get back Let's, to some more fifth yes, wheelers, right? back to the fifth wheelers. Let's go. Just tell me. Just tell me, go. Go. Kev, when was the last time you had to help a man up? I'm just joking. I'm just joking. What's up, everybody? Chris Young. And, you know, people have been asking uh, a lot of questions about some, some of these fifth wheel toy haulers. And I'm currently sitting in the 2021 Forest River Wolfpack 315 Pack 12, which this is also my plea to the Pack 12. Come on back. Everybody else is. Just saying. But people say all the time, what do these beds feel like back here? So these, in, inside the garage here of a toy hauler, a lot of times you will have two beds. You'll have one up top, one down below. When you're hauling your stuff, you know, it gets put back away. But these couches also convert into a bed and they are really comfortable. Now on this Pac-12 that we have here, the couches also have a cup holder option here in the middle. So I'm, I'm going to plead and I'm going to make a lot of people angry when I say this. Love toy haulers for hauling toys. Love this one, not for hauling toys. Love this one for entertaining and having those family vacations. Or better yet, those family reunions. Because you can easily sleep eight people on this one and it's a little bit lighter than most. Dry weight on this one is 14,000 pounds. Still need a heavy duty truck to tow it, but to be able to sleep eight people at less than 40 feet, we're 39 feet, three inches, separated space, comfortable, entertaining. You got the opposing couches here that also double as a bed, which two people could easily sleep on. You got your bed up top as well, which two other people could sleep on. So imagine if after all this silliness, we decide we just want to go see the family and hey, you know, we're bringing the kids. Uh, you want to have the kids just have a camp out uh, here in the toy hauler? Sure, yeah, it sounds great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a vacuum bonded residential style glass door right here that when it closes, it's going to seal off the sounds. It's going to seal off the smells. Uh, but it's also going to seal off the kids where they can go back here, have their fun, 
play and then crash out when everything is said and done. Now you still have on this Wolfpack, you're going to see right here, you have a 12 foot garage, 96 inches wide, 96 inches wide. That is wide body construction and good space. I mean, you're looking at a good area here. If you wanted to pull up the golf carts, if you wanted to pull up the bikes, the whatever, you got D rings here, got the diamond plate rubberized floor, which is easy to clean, the solid mounted D rings, got my dovetail here. Once again, the ramp does double as a party deck. So you can lay this down, run this out, let the kids run and play. Doesn't matter if you're going to the beach, the mountains, the lake, or just pulling up at somebody's house. You know, they have their own access point right here, own entry point, which I'm going to show you that when we get outside. Uh, yes, Kev, unfortunately, we got to take you outside in the rain, my man. But we got a big awning. This, oh, no, you're going, man. <laughs> you are going. We got washer dryer prep right here on this one. Another great addition for a fifth wheel toy hauler that's less than 40 feet. Solid wood shaker style cabinets on these matte black uh, graphite style fixtures. And it's, it's pass through. So, or I like to call it the peekaboo closet. So if you want to put some stuff up there for the kids, you know, hey, you don't really want to come in because then you're going to get stuck in that 20 minute conversation about why does Z come after Y and all that stuff. You can put the toys up here, the food, pass it through if you want, or just great storage access from both sides. You see where I'm coming from. Ducted system up here. You got twin 15,000 BTU ACs on this one and a 35,000 BTU heater. Great ducting, great insulation. Got your solid steps right here for your stuff outside. We make our way into the living area. And this is what I was talking about more with the, uh, this is for living, this is for entertaining. This is a combination of a fifth wheel toy hauler and a rear living, center living, regular fifth wheel. Because look, we got our campsite kitchen, modified L shape right here with the 12 volt vibration smart ever chill fridge 10 cubic foot plenty of space for those weekend getaways we got the slip resistant residential style flooring right here easy to clean large cabinet doors and i'm digging on this glass inlay right here which is textured got the dark accents and that wood and look at that good storage space right there but you come over here, now this is the uh, Platinum Edition on this one too. I got my flush mounted three burner cooktop, the glass cover that doubles as a backsplash, but I also got a dual purpose backsplash, cutting board, and backsplash right there. Love that addition. That's a little small creature comfort of home that look, if you're thinking this is your first time looking at a fifth wheel toy hauler, but you're thinking about hopping into that RV lifestyle, maybe you got bikes, maybe you just need that extra space and that separation for your family. Ask your specialist at Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors. You can come see us. We're here. We're open. They're standing by. Or you can just drop that comment, Easy RV, or text Easy RV to 32094. They're going to be standing by to answer all those questions for you that Ian and I won't really get a chance to get to. I got my prep space here. Look at my giant sink farmhouse with the apron undermounted. I got the high rise faucet with the sprayer nozzle right here. What this is, this plastic bag and this pink fluid, that's winterization fluid. And it's always smart to talk to your techs at Camping World and at Gander about getting your unit winterized, getting your unit dewinterized. We have some of the best service techs in the world working for Camping World and Gander. They don't get enough credit for the work that they do, but that's a good reminder that if you need to winterize or dewinterize, get your folks to help you do it. Solid surface countertops, got my hand sanitizing station there. I got myself a window to check out what the kids are doing on the campsite, but taking it away from the toy hauler aspect and coming to the reconnection aspect, look at my booth dinette. Fifth wheel toy haulers, historically, you don't get the recliner booth dinette combo. Usually you get, you know, a kitchen, maybe an island, and you get, you know, the big couch or the recliners. Great feature that makes this extremely versatile. Just like the Pac-12, which needs to come back to football. I mean, come on, y'all. This one starts at $46,995 or as low as $342 a month during the Ultimate RV Show. That is a deal that you can't beat. For almost 40 feet long, sleeping eight, a fifth wheel toy hauler at 14,000 pounds dry weight, you can't beat that. It also has a 5.5 thousand watt 
generator in it as well. Reconnection space right here. Got me some storage underneath. Slides out, good space to store whatever you need. Race team, clothes, games, books, the whole nine. And check out the barn style decor that we have on the drawers right here. Upgraded, great features, ball bearing drives down there, full extension drawers. Got my hangers here. Got my entertainment component shelf here with my TV backer, my power, my AM FM control with dual zone and HDMI, plus large cabinets. Once again, with storage. You heard me say it before, hopefully, that you know the manufacturers heard what you said about storage. You need more in the fifth wheel toy haulers. They hear you. Fireplace. Yep. Now, we got a great furnace on this unit, but to take the chill off, multiple flame settings, multiple light settings, once again, reconnecting with the family, getting out here and just having some fun and having those good times, getting away from everything and seeing America the best way possible. We are out here at the Ultimate RV Show in the rain so that you can stay dry while you shop and buy out here. Got your storage. I was sitting on those comfy recliners. Sorry, Kev, I would have spent more time on them, but I had to get up right fall asleep. Plus, we got people who will show that to them, okay? Raise lips up here on my storage shelves to make sure that when you're in transit, stuff's not gonna fall out on you. Love this waterfall stairwell. So if I needed to come out of the master bedroom, I could make my grand appearance. Good evening. Thank you for joining us in my Wolfpack fifth wheel toy hauler. Would you please escort me into the bathroom? Kev, I'm gonna go this way so you can see the Neo Angle shower with the glass doors. Plenty of room in here. I'm not gonna be cramped up and down or left or right. Got the skylight in there, my corner notches. Once again, I'm not gonna raise that because I don't wanna get pink stuff all over me. Porcelain bowl with the foot flush. Large single basin sink here with the graphite style fixtures and also large vanity. Boom, medicine cabinet with the raised lips. Love it. Now, I'll get this. I will see you in just a second as we go over here into the master ba bedroom. Now, I love this layout because the bedroom is passed or the bathroom is passed through from the master. So if you do have family and friends down there hanging out and having fun, you're not gonna disturb them if you need to go to the bathroom and vice versa, they're not gonna disturb you because you have your own access point. Component shelf over here. So if you wanna put a TV, you could right there. Cable connection right there. Got me a little storage area right here. Good space for some hunting, fishing gear. Cause that's a great thing about RVs, man. You can use them for whatever you want. Got the king size bed here too. Check this out. Strut supported storage underneath. Having strut supported storage, look how much room you got in there. That's great for cases, fishing rods, clothing. I mean, if you do the racing, you can throw your stuff up in there too. Your suits, your boots, your helmets. Good, just store away. Mirrored wards on both sides. Plus, I have a USB charging port over here on the off-camp side. I got shelves on both sides and little nightstand areas underneath the ward storage. Side opening storage up top. There we go. Solid wood construction. There's my second AC. We got dual 15K BTUs with the quick cool. That comes in handy when you're talking about uh, when it's hot, you want to cut this thing on, boom, hit the dump. It gets cool extremely quick. So now Kev just has to be real careful going back down these angle steps here at the 2021 Forest River Wolfpack 315 Pack 12 toy hauler, baby. Starting at $46,995 or as low as $342 a month. You are talking about a fifth wheel toy hauler with my command station here as soon as I enter. That is less than a car payment in most places. And for you to get out and sleep eight people, can't be beat, man. Cannot be beat. Now we are out here in the rain and in the elements showing you these RVs so that you don't have to. You can shop, stay dry, shop and buy. Now we got a large awning here. We got some LED button lights and you're gonna see sealed safety glass all the way around this unit. Got the TV mount right here. The solid step above steps. Made life a lot easier coming out, didn't it, Kev? Got the pet lease right there beside the door. 
Got my double axle right here on my 15 inch aluminum wheels with that extra wide berth. It's gonna help with that suspension, but I really wanted to come outside so I could show you this. This is what the doors look like on these Wolf Packs. Forest River said, we're gonna give it a cool, sleek look. It's glass, solid glass, and you have the little window inlay right there but that is attractive. Got my dual zone speakers here as well. I'm not gonna make you go around, but we got power leveling. And this one has a 30 gallon pump station on the other side. So toy haulers, you have the generators, most of them you have the pump stations as well. And this one's got the 30 gallon. But if you're looking for a toy hauler that can also be that go see the family hauler, this is a great option for you. And with this one starting at 46,995 or as low as 342 a month, it's not going to last long. If you want something less than 40 feet, but still have a garage big enough to hold some stuff, hold the family, hold the kids, jump on it right now, because the Ultimate RV Show is about showing you things that are gonna make the RV life fun and exciting for you, but they're not going to be around long. This is not a, oh, I think we're gonna go see it next week type of situation. We do have 25,000 RVs across the country right now, over 150 locations that you can absolutely go to and see. Or you say, Chris, I'm really comfortable right now. I'm in my jammies, I'm not going anywhere. Text, R text easy RV. 32094, drop me a comment, easy RV. Somebody's gonna be there to walk you through one of these. I love that toy hauler that they were showing. Can I see that one, but with X, Y, and Z? Yes, they'll send you the paperwork, they'll deliver it to you, you enjoy the camping, and see America the safest way possible. I love doing this here at the Ultimate RV Show. I also love the fact that I get to tag team some stuff out here with my brother Ian Baker, who is right now in the all new Keystone Impact 367. Ian, I saw this one earlier. It's exciting, man. What you got? Thanks, Chris. The Wolf Pack is a beautiful toy hauler, but can it compete with the beauty of the Keystone Impact 367? Folks, I really like the interior they have in here. As you can see, it kind of is following the trend we've seen with some of the other stuff earlier in the show where they went to a lighter cabinetry. And again, that's the trend we're starting to see in a lot more toy haulers. You know, originally uh, the toy haulers were, I don't want to say overly masculine, but that's kind of what I would initially say. And now they're starting to make the interiors feel more like home because, you know, at the end of the day, that is still what we want. Just because we want to go out and you know, tear around on the ATV, do some two tracking, maybe have a drink or two. I still want to come back. I want to sit, you know, want to sit back and relax and still feel like I'm in a clean environment. And that's exactly what you have here. Again, it kind of has that, that white cottage or that farmhouse cabinetry. You have a lot of storage in this kitchen, which again is something that toy haulers are starting to, you know, get more of because for a long time you just didn't have the storage. But I mean, as you can see, folks, I'll open some of this up for you. You got decent storage there. You have more storage here. And again, when I talk about nice finishing touches, look, you have crown molding. You know, when, when, we're, when we're talking about making it feel like home, like it's residential, they're putting crown molding in your RV. Up on the ceiling, you still have great speakers. You have, you know, if you want to listen to music, if this is Party Central, you can see the speakers right up there. Uh, plenty of lighting, so it is nice and bright. You have the big windows, the bright cabinetry, bright countertops. And uh, again, it just feels, um, you know, like, like you're at home. I like this too, folks. This is where I would put my coffee maker. You have the little coffee bar right here. You have the light or, you know, as I always say, if you want a Margaritaville margarita machine, it's a great spot for it right there too. You have the subway tile backsplash, the seamless countertops, and the seamless countertops are going to allow for that undermount stainless steel bowl. Then you have the faucet that comes up nice and high. It is a pull-out faucet with the big hand wand right on there. And folks, as you can see with the pricing, this one's starting at $3.95 a month. That is very reasonable for what you're going to get. When we go in the back, you'll see that this one is uh, has a 13 foot garage bath and a half and you can sleep up to eight people in here and now that's my numbers you know sometimes the manufacturer says it'll different but as you go through we're gonna start counting sleep positions you tell me if I'm wrong uh, right here you'll see that you get the slide out kitchen again which kind of allows for this peninsula space of course the microwave the hood nice big nor cold fridge freezer I'll open that up for you so you can take a look and this one, of course, does run off both propane and electric, and it has automatic switch over. The recessed cooktop there, fold this one up. Again, that beautiful backsplash. And then the oven, and underneath the oven, this one also has a drawer. You'll see right here, looks like we get uh, 
what do we got? These, oh, these are your tables. That's what these are. So when we go to the, the sofa, you'll see in just a second, we have an option for tables. Um, we, what, you know what, I'm just gonna grab it. Why talk about it when I can just show you, right? So there is more storage, just to, just to point out, I do wanna show you this real quick, because again, this is one of my big things. At first I thought these were these right here. I thought they were sink top covers. So it does have sink top covers. I knew it did. Um, and then you have your, your trash can uh, right down there. So that way it isn't a convenient spot. You don't have to have like your, you know, your trash bag hanging on a pole, hanging on a handle. You have a big old bank of drawers. But what these are folks is if you see you have, uh, well, that's a wrench, but underneath that wrench is a little post. So the post will screw right into here. Then if you take a look at this big, beautiful seating area, the Thomas Payne collection, you'll notice a couple things. You do have the recliners on both sides, but if you look right down here with me, you'll see this cup holder not only has a light and also heat plus the uh, massage feature. It's pretty nice after a long day of hard work, but it also has this right here. So that post will go right down into here. And so this way you have a little, uh, little table because if you notice this one doesn't necessarily have a designated eating area um, in this main living space. So it kind of gives these little, ta uh, these little TV trays, if you will. Uh, so that way you have kind of somewhere you can eat, have a meal whatever else you want to do. Again, you know, when I'm camping, I eat outside a lot, so this doesn't bother me at all. And to be quite honest, and it drives my wife absolutely insane, but I'm someone for whatever reason, I like to stand and eat. So I'll just have my food right here at the countertop. And you know, I, I don't know why, I know she hates it, honey, I love you, but um, it is something that I do a lot of, especially when we camp. So again, not having a permanent table doesn't bother me at all. But you will see this is big seating. Now the thing I do like about this, again, folks, I'm six foot, I would put my feet on here, but as you can see, I'm rocking flip flops because it's so wet outside. But if I lay down, you can see that even if my feet were on the sofa, I have plenty of room. So I can sleep all the way across here, even though these are uh, theater seats. So I count this as being able to sleep one. You will also see over here, you have a great angle to the TV. So that's again, as I mentioned earlier, that's one of those big things they're doing in toy haulers and I love it. So you're able to view the TV storage all the way around. Look at how deep this storage is right here. You know, again, Putting storage in kitchen spaces and toy haulers is something that needed to be done for a while, and now you have it. Underneath the TV, of course, is our multimedia center. This one is a DVD player, and underneath is your fireplace. You can see how nice that looks. That does kick out heat as well, folks. That is a space heater. It's not just there for looks. And then you will notice your control panel there. Um, of course, you have your generator uh, uh, control on there as well. Right up top is a loft. If you take a look at that, so again, you can sleep one more person up there. So now we're up to being able to sleep two. And one thing I do want to show you, why don't you come on in. We have you come in and then I'm going to have you flip around real quick. So before we talk uh, too much, of, whoops, gotcha. Before we talk too much about uh, the garage space, I do want to show you something. And that is the doors in the Keystone Impact. Now folks, this is one of those things that I know sounds ridiculous and it's something that's really minor, but something I always notice, one of the tests I always do when I go through RVs is shut the doors. It seems to me that it would be a simple thing to get a door that is square and true and sometimes that's not the case, but something the Impact does very well is they put in nice solid doors. Rather than having like the plastic framing, they have actual wood framing on here, just like you would have in your house. It's a residential application. The door shuts, it's solid. You know, it's not doing a bunch of wiggling, it's not popping open. I love things like that. It's the small things to me that make a big difference. Now, in case you didn't see, this is the half bath. So I'll come in here and pop a squat. Um, as you'll see, I have plenty of leg room. I'm six foot tall, good shoulder space, porcelain bowl, easy to clean. Of course, your sink right in here so you can wash your hands when you're done. It, it, I'm another one where I kind of get a little bit weirded out if I don't have a sink in the bathroom. And then you get the mirrored medicine cabinet up top there too, and an electrical outlet in case you need to plug anything in. I don't, maybe you want to do your hair back here or something, I don't know, but you have the capability to do it. Maybe an electric toothbrush if you're staying the night in here, right? As you'll see, there will be a lot of sleeping space. Also TV, this is a big thing is having the TV in the uh, garage and so you have the capability to do that. You have a separate thermostat right back here. There are two AC units in this unit and each one has its own control. So that way, 
you know, like my wife and myself. I personally run really hot. I like it really cold. My wife is always cold. So, you know, we're constantly battling over the temperature. When we're in a car, she's cranking it one way, I'm cranking it the other. She's turning up the heat, I'm rolling down the window. So here, it gives you the ability to uh, have both people control kind of what they want, depending on where you're at in the RV. You'll also see underneath is your washer dryer hookup. So if you want washer dryer, this is where it would go. And of course the flooring, you have the tough flooring on here. So that way uh, any spills or anything like that, if you have any oil spills, gasoline spills, it's nice and easy to clean up. The big heavy duty rings that you can see right there, um, you know, screwed in there, glued in there. And of course you have the ladder to climb up into the loft. And then up above me is the Happy Jack system. Uh, so again, it has a button that you can drop this down. Both of these are rollover sofas. Something that's kind of cool on this one, of course, it looks weird because the position it's in, but when you're sitting in it, it makes sense because it's rolled over. Anyway, the, you do get the center part that drops down, so that way it kind of uh, creates almost like a pseudo theater seating, right? Uh, which is really nice. The cup holder is right there. You know, that way it just, I don't know, creates a little separation, just kind of a, a nice seating space. Right in the back, you have the pull-down screen. So again, as I mentioned last time, um, you know, you can drop that deck, you can have the screen down and just be able to feel the breeze, enjoy the beautiful view out the back without having the bugs come in, especially at night. If you're hanging out here at night, you know, it cools down a little bit, you can enjoy that nice breeze without getting chewed up by all the mosquitoes. And then the same, you have the more ride party system here, or the party deck system. So um, you have the cables, you'll see the cables right down there again. Those just hook right up, you can drop that down. The um, rail system slides out nice and easy. Again, it is on rollers, you snap it into place. Folks, again, I, I, would, I would show you. Um, it, it's super simple and easy to set up. Literally a matter of, I would say two minutes and I could have it fully set up. In fact, if, if you wanna check it out, if you do wanna see it, uh, because you know, I feel bad that I can't. What you're gonna wanna do, folks, is text EZRV to 32094, and what you can do is that will get you in touch with one of our show specialists, because they're gonna have more time than I have in this session, and it might be somewhere where it's not pouring rain like it is right here, and that, uh, what they can do is actually give you a virtual visit, a virtual walkthrough, just like we're doing right now. So someone can drop that, they can actually show you how it works, and you can see in live time how e uh, truly easy that is to set up. Plus, if you love what we're looking at right now, when you text that Easy RV to 32094, it will lock in the pricing for this unit. You will get that show pricing, be able to take advantage of the amazing prices we have here at the Ultimate RV Show. As we make our way back forward a little bit here, I do just wanna show you that you have the secondary entrance. Uh, so that way, again, if you just wanna uh, head right out from the garage, come right back in, you can do so. All of your controls will be located there and you will also see that there is some additional storage here up top. Let's make our way to the front. As we uh, come up the stairs, so you will have some more of your uh, some more controls here. You'll see your slide rooms. Um, you will have your other thermostat. As I mentioned, you have two AC units. So uh, those are individually controlled by your thermostats right there. A courtesy light. This I like right here too, right? So uh, that way, if you wake up in the middle of the night, you know, or maybe someone's sleeping out on the couch, and with this courtesy light, they're able to walk up into the bathroom. You know what I did forget to do? We were counting sleep positions. I had the couch as one, the loft is another. We had those rollover sofas. That makes a queen bed, so that's two more. That puts us at four. That queen bed drops down. That's two more. That puts us at six. And guess what? Up front, as you'd expect, in the master bedroom, we got a bed there too. That puts us at eight. It's a lot of people to be able to sleep in an RV, folks. Making your way into the bathroom here. Who? All right. Who is doing this? And what happened? What happened to her? My poor girl, she broke. She died of a broken heart. Oh, poor thing. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So, oh gosh, this is throwing me off. All right, so we're here in the bathroom. Um, I, I really gotta know what happened. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Someone, someone broke my girl. Someone's gonna get hurt. Um, so you will see you get a big countertop right there though. Uh, you have a drawer here. You have storage space underneath. I'm just gonna put you right there. You're safe. 
Right over here is our toilet porcelain bowl. Easy to clean, folks. The shower, let me take a step right in here. You can see the space I have. Nice big skylight, hand wand, the, the arm right there for it. Then as you make our way up front into the bedroom, as I mentioned, you got the bed there, the beautiful accent wall, couple electrical outlets, and a slide out wardrobe over on the other side. For those of you that are wondering uh, what the doll was about, I highly recommend you watch uh, yesterday's sessions. If, you watched, if you've seen the show from yesterday, you know what's happening there. If you haven't, you're probably like, Ian, what is going on? Uh, she's been following me the, the entire show. So uh, unfortunately, it looks like she broke. I'm going to find out what happened. But folks, again, this uh, is the Keystone Impact. It is a beautiful toy hauler. Toy haulers themselves have so much functionality from being able to sleep a lot of people to hauling toys to being an entertainment party central. All you have to do is text EZRV to 32094 and we can help walk you through all sorts of toy haulers. We're gonna take a quick walk outside here. I just wanna show you guys uh, what we're working with because again, this is a virtual show and with the virtual show, we're able to do things, whoops, that normally wouldn't be able to be done. Now, if this was the show, and this is what you had, this probably wouldn't be a super fun experience for you. You can see my feet, you can see why I'm wearing flip-flops, but folks, the great part about it is with the Ultimate RV Show, we get to show you all these awesome RVs. You don't have to do anything. You get to sit right at home on your couch and enjoy it. You can see the outside of the impact right here. You get the power awning, LED lighting. You have speakers outside. You can see the, the big storage here. Here's my umbrella. <gasps> There's the broken half. What is happening? <laughs> um, but again, folks, I, I hope you've enjoyed this session. As I said, these are toy haulers. They, they're super versatile. We have a lot of beautiful ones. Uh, double axle, triple axle, big, a little bit smaller. You can get toy haulers in travel trailers. You can get them in fifth wheels, all sorts of different sizes to fit all sorts of things for a ton of different purposes. Again, folks, just text Easy RV to 32094. Let one of our show specialists help you narrow down the search and find the perfect toy hauler for you. Baker and I am joined by my man David. We are at the ultimate campsite for the ultimate RV show and David is going to go over the Anderson 24k hitch. Folks, this is one of the lightest fifth wheel hitches out there. I mean, that's one hand. Yes. David, yep. take it away. Man, they uh, Anderson came out with this one and we all were like, what in the world is this? But <laughs> honestly, that lightweight, there's so many folks that ask us about that. Like, oh my, my goodness, we need something really lightweight. Yep. I have the hitch for you. Now again, this one's great for, uh, this one's designed great for anybody that has a uh, gooseneck ball, has okay. a ball in their bed. Like, yep. uh, you know, your farm equipment. Yeah, if you have a horse trailer. Horse trailer, yes. Yep. So they already have the ball there. They're used to towing that way. We don't want to change a bunch of stuff. We don't want to rip the guts out of the bottom. They may still be using that ball. So exactly. we, we want something that will convert it and help them so they can still pull this fifth wheel. Sure. So with this, we actually will install this. Camping World Professionals, Gander Professionals, will get these installed for you. Okay. Onto the actual fifth wheel. Okay. Um, we also want, we'll want to know what kind of pin box. So again, these are things that we know and kind of look for. Yep. So if you're, if you're trying to do it yourself, just be, be mindful. There are other pieces you might need to get. Uh, depending on what type of pin box is on the fifth wheel. Okay. 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 But you mount that up there, it's going to be pretty much a permanent mount that stays there. You have a, a release cable for it that will get mounted as well. Okay. Uh, so it makes it easy and easy as can be taking it off and on from the camper to the truck. Yeah. And now in the truck, right here is where it'll actually hook into the ball. So your ball from your uh, truck will go off right under here. Neck, right in there. Yep. And you can adjust the height here, you can adjust the height here. So whatever your needs are to make your you know your fifth wheel level okay. when you're all hooked up those are all things that you can have get set as well before before towing okay. so we'll have all that hooked up very simple drop it in put it over that ball put the pin in back up to your uh, fifth wheel lower it down right onto the ball okay and locks in place and you're pretty much ready to start towing now it looks like it's it's offset a little bit too correct it's not quite straight up and down so does it give glad you glad you brought that up a little glad more room there up. yep yep okay. so we have so many short bed trucks coming in these days. You know, yep. everybody's looking at, well, I want to still be able to get it in my garage maybe, or at least, you know, into the driveway. <laughs> you know <laughs> at what? the very least. So, so you, yeah. get, you get a lot of folks getting those, those uh, short bed trucks. Yep. So we have the option here basically with an offset head. Okay. So it gives you a little bit more 
room to maneuver. Excellent. Definitely want that a lot more room to maneuver when you're yes. dealing with these big fifth wheels. Oh yeah. So that offset head makes it a, a breeze with that. No, no worrying about your, the rear of your uh, cab. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I've yeah. seen it. It, it, it hurts every time. <laughs> every time. Every time. Like, Ooh, yes. Oh man. <laughs> I, we, I know we warned you about that. <laughs> and, and like I said, the the how lightweight it is just absolutely shocks me. I mean, you can see it's 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 very durable. I mean, it's strong. It's you know excellent weld all the way around. You can see. Oh yeah. Well, hey, and the thing is, this thing is designed for twenty four thousand pounds. <sighs> Okay, so you that's, say lightweight, yeah, yeah, yeah. then you say it can handle what? Yeah, that, that's so, impressive. Yeah, that's a pretty monster uh, hitch you got going on here. So yes, it is. These things are very, are definitely uh, selling really well. Yeah. Selling really well. Again, you can pick them up at any Gander Camping well, World. And, of course, in the Ultimate RV on Show. RV Show, here it is. Yeah. And like you said, it's super versatile. works for just about everything. David, why don't you tell people what they can pick it up for today? Okay, my friend. so the Anderson Hitch. Nine seventy nine ninety nine regular price. Regular price, today. <sighs> ultimate promo. Ultimate RV the show. The ultimate RV show promo. Let's hear it. Well, I'll tell you, we've got it for eight forty two, oh seven. Seven cents. Seven cents. Okay. Eight forty two oh seven. That's that's a pretty darn but good, the good price. Good Sam members. That's a really good price. The good Sam members. Yes, sir. We got it under eight hundred. Seven ninety nine ninety seven. Seven ninety nine ninety seven. Under 800 bucks, and it's essentially, in my eyes, the hitch does everything. It's lightweight, it has an offset. If you got a shorter truck, it works with the gooseneck. It's almost like a one size fits all, 24K on that thing. We can get it installed pretty quick for you, too, so it's not that much involved in that as well. Under 800 home. bucks, folks, if you're a good SAM member, if you want to claim that offer today, you're going to want to call 866 235 8751. Again, for good SAM members, it is under $800. Looking at $799.97. You can also text CAMP to 32094 or type in CAMP in the comment section to claim your offer. An RV isn't exactly a traditional mode of transportation, which is why the Good Sam Insurance Agency isn't exactly a traditional insurance agency. We're experts in RV insurance, and our plans, policies, and coverage are as flexible and open as the roads you take in your RV. See how much you can save on specialized RV insurance. For a limited time, receive a $10 Camping World merchandise certificate when you get a free quote from the Good Sam Insurance Agency. The Good Sam Insurance Agency, wherever your adventure takes you. Welcome back. We are here at the Ultimate RV Show and the Ultimate Rainstorm, but we are ultimately <laughs> having a great time. Always having a great time, Morgan. And we're just uh, we just came out of the fifth wheels and the toy haulers, and we're just loving this particular segment uh, most of all. But we've got some exciting giveaway still to get to. Ultimate giveaway time. Let's yeah. talk about it. We have a yes. hundred dollar merch certificate on the line, and I have a winner. Ooh, oh, man. drum roll, drum roll. Uh, the winner is Betty Hughes. Hey, Betty, Betty Hughes. Hughes. You've won a $100 merch certificate. Use it how you please, girl. The question is, what would you do for 100 bucks? And uh, Betty, you've got a, a wide array of choices with some of the retail products that we've shown you uh, here for the last couple of days. Listen, these show prices are only good through Sunday. That's a reminder I want you to know. It's so easy to get to, uh, easy to get to our, our product specialist. All you have to do is go to Easy RV. You text Easy RV 32094. Text Easy RV. There it is, 32094. And here's the good news that Voyager has made it easier than ever to to install a wireless observation system on your RV. Now, here's the easy part. If your RV has one of those amazing Black Voyager Y-Sight technology plates on the back, a screwdriver is all you're going to need for this amazing uh, camera because they've got the WVHS 43 camera system for you, and it's a patented Y-Sight technology. It allows the camera to transmit to the included 4.3-inch monitor. It's so simple. And you can get freeway speeds in real time. This is really good up-to-the-date technology. And if you don't have one of those plates, that's not a problem either. like your running lights, and uh, we saw some explanations a little bit ago about that, but they also have a 5.6 monitor that you can get uh, with that system as well. So this is truly amazing up-to-the-date technology in real time that you need on your RV. 
which I love. Real deal. Yeah, we're talking real deal. We don't mess (laughs) around here. You know, uh, one of the things that we're going to talk about here in just a moment is uh, setting up your campsite uh, because fresh water is so important. And you know, and we were talking about this uh, before we we came back from uh, from the fellas. Uh, We were talking about the odor sometimes, Mm. you know, from uh, the RVs, and we know all about that. That is true. We're going to go into that uh, system here in just a little bit. But we've got so many things to do. And remember, if there's a segment that you missed, every single one of our segments is archived now. And you can go to ultimatervshow.com and you can just put the uh, push the on-demand uh, little button there. It'll take you right to the segment. They're all lined up. Which one do you want to see? And I also want to remind our viewers to register for our giveaways. Go to ultimatervcom so you can qualify for these goodies that we have, like our $100 merch certificate and more. There's so much great information there as well. I mean, RVing is definitely the safest and best way to travel across America. We've made it so easy for you. Let's find out now about that fresh water and the odors right now and, uh, and get to our wonderful family. We're Tiffany and Caleb, and we're from Us the Remingtons, and we want to personally welcome you to the Ultimate RV Show. We got married in May of 2018, uh, and right after we got married, we decided to wing it. Tiffany got really inspired one one night, stayed up all night looking at different RVs, and when we found this one, we walked in and we pulled both of the slides out, and we're like, this is insane how much more room that like three feet gives you. When we moved into an RV, we had to downsize and be more minimalistic. We were driving down the freeway and Tiffany called me and she's like, I can't believe everything we own is going 65 miles an hour down the freeway right now, so. When we first got the RV, we had no idea what we were doing. It took us four hours to figure out how to plug in the RV. Um, And it was pitch black and it was dark. And so I would say the first month and a half, maybe two months is like a learning curve. We use this, um, it's called a snake. It's from Camping World and you stick it down your toilet and you, um, it like spins to clean all the sides and everything. And I didn't realize (laughs) <laughs> the the latch was on and I told Caleb to turn it on and it just started spraying everywhere and we couldn't stop it because the hose is like 50 feet away from us so while he's running to and slipping and sliding trying to turn it off it's going everywhere you know starting off your journey as RVing yeah things are tough and we picked it up pretty quick like it took us you know a month and we were able to to break down the RV or or set up the RV within 30 minutes. And so don't be fearful because you just got to jump right in and you're going to make some mistakes along the way, but it is a a fun, adventurous journey of learning and learning more about yourselves and building that relationship. It was actually really convenient and nice because we did go to a camping world and um, one of the uh, representatives helped us there and walked us through everything and kind of taught us how to almost like Lego land, like put piece things, together. piece things together. There are so many products in the market, so many different brands. So we're going to take you guys around our RV and show you what products we use. So we'll start off with the fresh water source. We have a pressure gauge here um, and there's a couple type of pressure gauges that you can use. Um, Here's one that is a straight pressure gauge. Um, This one you can't really turn the water pressure up and down, um, but the one that we have you can. They both uh, make sure that there is an appropriate amount of pressure of water coming from the source to your rig without over pressurizing and bursting your pipes. We hook it straight to the source, then we use a drinking water hose, um, which is different than a gray water, black water cleaning hose. They're generally different colors. Um, And we hook the water hose straight into the pressure gauge right there. And you wanna make sure that there's a tight seal and we slowly turn the water on and check for leaks. Awesome. Our water hose is connected to a filter. 
Uh, these filters come with attachments so that it can connect, have an inlet and an outlet. Uh, and this water filter does a good job of cleaning out bacteria, sediment, and making sure your water is nice and clean. And if you want to be extra bougie like us, um, you can connect the water filter straight into a um, water softener, um, which this heavy duty guy can be again found at Camping World and we absolutely love it. It softens our water. It helps kind of keep and protect the longevities of your water system in the coach. And attached to the water softener, we have our drinking hose again because our inlet for the RV is so far away, we needed two hoses. So this is where our black water, sewer, and gray water is. Um, and then you can see right here, we just have uh, the hose that just connects to the RV and that goes and disperses throughout the RV. So next to the fresh water plug-in is the gray water and black water tank and where you dump. Um, this is a special let me show you right here. It's a little heavy duty. It's a portable black water tank cleaner. What you do is you unhook your sewer hose and then you just hook this straight up to it and then you use your gray and black water um, hose. Very important, not your drinking water. Um, and then you hook it straight up to the spigot and then you just simply turn this on since it's portable. It's so easy to use. Um, and then the water gets rushed and um, it swirls around on the black tank and then you're able to uh, fully clean it out. Here we have our black water. You want the black tank water sitting in your sewer hoses. So you basically pull this one first and then flush it with the gray water, which is going to be your sink water and shower water. So the thing you see here is we got our slinky hose attached to the bottom of our tank outlet. And so with this slinky, they do get heavy and they kind of can move around. So they make these handy uh, slinky holders that you can basically create a line from your black tank and gray tank all the way to the sewer. And what's really nice about these um, slinky hoses is it creates kind of like a downward slope. So it helps the water go through um, as you're releasing the tanks. We attached, let's see, one, two, and we're gonna be attaching three slinkies um, just to make it from our coach all the way out. Here we go. These are really easy to snap in. Um, they're very universal, so you can connect multiple together. But as soon as you connect it, then you adjust the slinky to this line. And then what we always like to do is create a little kind of like bend, um, a J. It helps keep the gases from the sewer coming back up and backing into the coach. Here we have uh, our 50 amp connection from the RV. This is connected to the uh, campsite hookups where you put in the electric. We always have way too much uh, line. So this cable caddy is super convenient for keeping things not so tangled. Um, it also is really nice for storing the cable. Sometimes when you are boondocking or dry camping, you don't always have that ability to dump whenever you want. And if your tanks get full, this product is 100% necessary. You basically hook this tank up to your outlet here, your black water, gray water tanks, and then you basically flush them right into this. It closes up. No odors get out, no seepage. It's super portable. You can move it around like a big wagon. And then you store it basically. And when you get to a station that allows you to dump, you can then use that same setup. Uh, this has an aeration hole. So basically you take the plug off. Uh, it gives it oxygen. Uh, it's then able to, to dump out using the pressure. You can even lift it up if you need to get that last little bit out. But, this can save you big time. Um, there's nothing worse than being on the road and your tanks are full 
and people got to use the restrooms. So now we're inside our RV and you might be asking what this is in my hand and it's actually a water pump. If you are planning to dry camp or boondock, um, the water pump is turned on so you can push your water through your lines to get it out of your faucets, into your toilets, and also into your showers. And where our water pump is located, it's hidden right under here in this little cabinet. Once you've replaced your pump, you come under here. We have a faux hood vent where our microwave and our levels are. You basically flip the pump water switch on. It'll then start taking water from your freshwater tank. This coach comes with a 100 gallon freshwater tank so you can boondock or dry camp for quite a long time. Uh, but yeah, that pump will be running, sucking up water and putting it to your, your sink and your shower. This is a really useful tool. It's called the RV Flexible Swivel Stick. Uh, basically, you hook up your uh, tank cleaning hose to the end of this. Make sure it's in the off switch before you turn the water on. You it stick, only happened once. <laughs> yeah, stick this end down your toilet and then turn the water source on, flip the switch into the on position. And it goes like it basically just spins around and cleans the tank walls because those sensors can sometimes get coated. You could sometimes have buildup on the walls. So this is a very useful tool for getting all that stuff off and flushing it out of your tank because a clean tank is a, is a good, good tank. tank. And some of the things that you do clean off the walls are toilet paper that gets stuck um, in the tanks and if you get RV toilet paper, like this one, um, you have less chance of creating that buildup. Um, there are some uh, folks out there that use regular toilet paper and that's where it blocks up the sensors all, and also creates that um, almost like tar-like on the sides of your tank. So another thing um, to consider also are pods for your toilet. So this also, again, helps break down the waste as well as deodorizes your tank and keeps everything nice and fresh. Um, and yeah, it, they're really easy. All you do, it's one pod for each time that you fill your tank back up. You've seen our RV, obviously it's intimidating at first, it might be difficult, but once you learn the ropes, it's super fun, it's enjoyable. We're so grateful that we have been able to connect with you guys, and we hope that your future holds tons of adventure and um, so much joy. We hope you guys are enjoying the Ultimate RV Show, and we'll see you around next time. Hey everyone, I'm Ian Baker, and today I'm going to go over RV Setup 101. So if you're new to RVing, I have some items here that in my honest opinion are the absolute necessities, things that you are going to need on that first RV trip. So I'm gonna briefly go over them and then kind of show you the order in which I normally hook things up. Everyone's a little bit different, um, but just gonna kind of show you these items, why you need them, and again, go through the basic steps. So one of the first things you're going to want is some form of leveling blocks. There are certainly different ones available. This is the one I like because it already comes in a 10 pack, which for the majority of the time will uh, be able to get you level in most campsites. It has a nice carrying handle here too, so that way you're not losing them in your pass through wherever you have them stored. It just makes it nice and convenient. Uh, these ones are stackable too, which for me is very important because again, if you uh, do have a fairly unlevel campsite, you might have to stack one side a little bit higher. Uh, you, you may need two of these, again, depending on where you go camping, but I would absolutely recommend at least getting one. Wheel chalks, guys, this is just a pure safety thing. Um, you know, again, I, I would have at least one or two of these in with your camper, so you make sure that your camper's not rolling on you. It's just safety, you just don't want the thing to move, so definitely recommend those. These right here, jack pads as well as, uh, well, these are jack pads too, but a little bit different. I'll show you, this is for a tongue jack or if you have uh, like auto level with the bigger feet. Um, and I'll show you up here, we didn't use them on this RV behind me and I'll show you exactly why you want to. Uh, so I'll show you those in a little bit. Water hookup, you obviously are going to need a fresh water hose or portable water hose. It's a, a, a safe 
drinking water hose. Okay, that's gonna be for your fresh water coming in. You also are going to want this right here, which is a pressure regulator. This will drop down the pressure. Uh, the campsites don't have very regulated water pressure. And you know, as people are turning their water and shutting it off, that water is gonna fluctuate. And what ends up happening is you get too much pressure inside your RV and you will start to get like a slow drip in your plumbing behind the toilet, right? There's just too much pressure for the fittings. This will help eliminate that. And then this one is probably the only one on here that I guess is uh, not truly a necessity, but something I highly, highly recommend, and that is a water filter. Um, again, you don't know what kind of water you're coming in. It can be extremely hard water. It can have a lot of sediment in it. This will help with that. So it'll help with some of the staining on your appliances as well as help you not drink sand or whatever else is coming in. So uh, while not truly a necessity like the rest of them, I definitely do recommend. You're gonna need some kind of sewer hose. Uh, you know, you're, you're gonna have, to, you're gonna be able to need to dump your black tank and gray tank, so that's what this is. The reason I like this one, a couple reasons, but the main one is this right here, and that is the fact it has a clear elbow. As gross as it is, the reason I like that is because you can see when your black tank is running clean or when the hose is running clean. Um, we'll get to dumping tanks in a little bit, talk a little bit further about that in detail, but I do recommend getting some sort of clear fitting, whether it's a coupling, an elbow, something, so you're able to see what is going through there. A power cord um, will obviously come with the unit, whether it's detachable or built into the unit, I recommend getting an extension. I say that because depending on where the power cord is on your unit in relation to the post, there's been many times when I've been camping, go to plug in the unit and the power cord just doesn't reach. So an extension is highly recommended. I don't have one here. Um, I have one back there, I should have grabbed it. But if you have a 50 amp unit, I also recommend getting a step down from a 50 amp to a 30 amp because again, some campgrounds, like the one we're in right now, some of these older posts don't have a 50 amp plug. They only have a 30. So that step down will allow you to still plug in and get shore power. Otherwise, you just don't have 120. You're just gonna be running off your 12 volt battery. The other thing is this one right here, and just like the surge protector, or oh, sorry, it is a surge protector, um, just like the pressure regulator, folks, these are probably the two best things you can possibly get for your RV for preventative maintenance. This will help prevent water leaks inside the camper. This will help uh, eliminate damage from either low voltage or a spike in voltage, a blackout, a brownout. All those can be extremely damaging to your electronics inside. A lot of people don't know this, but RV refrigerators are extremely expensive. If you need to have one replaced, it's often upwards of you know $1,500 to $2,500 to be able to get that replaced, especially uh, you know if it has a narrow doorway and it can't get through the door, if it's like a residential refrigerator, sometimes you have to take a slide out to be able to get that residential refrigerator out. So extremely expensive. This right here will save you a ton of money. They're not super cheap. You know, you're gonna be looking at a couple hundred bucks, but again, it will definitely save you money in the long run. It's very easy to hook up. You take this, plug it into the post, take your power cord, plug it in right there. Good to go. They make them for 30 amp and 50 amp. So that's kind of the gamut of the, the stuff that you're gonna need. You get your RV, you're super excited, and I'm super excited for you. You're gonna be able, you're gonna love it, especially if this is your first time camping, or if this is the first RV you've owned. I just wanna make sure you're gonna be set up for success from the first day out, and that's what these items will allow you to do. So let's quickly go over the process. Uh, we're gonna start with this guy right here. So you back it, you're backing into your campsite. Uh, I do recommend, you know, kind of moving it a little bit to try to find the most level spot. Now, you will want some kind of level, whether you buy the sticky levels that go on the side of your RV. You know, you can put one here, put one up here, so you can kind of check and see how level it is front to back as well as side to side. Um, or if you have a level that you just put inside the camper, you can do that as well, but you do want some kind of level so you know. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is level side to side. So you back your camper in. So you're gonna look at that level and you know, look at the level that's going side to side again, whether it's here inside the camper and say, okay, one side is high. So let's say, you know, the far side is high, the off door side, so we're, which makes this side obviously low. So we have to bring this side up. So that's where these right here come into play, the leveling blocks. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna stack those up and you can kind of see, see they kind of have a picture right there to give you a basic idea. So you're just gonna wanna stack those up to the required height. And it doesn't matter if you put them in front or behind. You, you can put them either place. So that way you can pull forward onto it, you can back up onto it. Again, it's whatever you prefer, it doesn't matter. You just wanna be able to get up on there so you can get the trailer level. 
Uh, once it is leveled side to side, you then want to level it front to back. So uh, what you're gonna wanna do, well, wheel chalk should say that first. So before you detach from your truck, this right here, you're gonna wanna put the wheel chalks in, make sure that you know you, you put them in there so that way your tire isn't rolling them away, get them in there nice and snug. I do recommend putting them on both sides if you're able, uh, but again, you know, you're, you're going to wanna make sure that the, the RV is not moving on you. So you have it leveled side to side, you have your wheel chalks in, you disconnect, you're about to disconnect from your tow vehicle. That's where this right here comes in, the bigger jack pads. If you take a look, and why I say you need them, you can see where the ground level is. Look how far that tongue jack sunk into the ground, folks. It's a little wet, you know, it rained a little bit, as you can see, and the ground got soft, and this thing just pfft, nosedived. That is not what you want. The reason you want these bigger pads is because it gives you a larger surface area versus something like this. Well, technically, yes, that pad would fit here. It's still a lot of pressure on a small space. You want the bigger one like this, so you have all that surface area, helps redistribute that weight, and that will prevent your tongue from dropping down into the ground like that. So we'll put that there. Once you have that done, and you level it out, now your trailer is level both side to side and front to back because you know, you're gonna crank it up or down depending on you know, how you have to move the front, of course, that way it's nice and level. The next step will be to drop your stabilizer jacks. And that's what these right here are. So these are gonna help make it so your RV isn't uh, you know, moving around as much when you're walking around inside. It's just gonna help stabilize the RV. And so you have these jack pads right here. And for the same reason we use that one, it's the same reason we use these ones. We don't want them digging down into the ground. Uh, but because these don't have near the weight that that tongue jack will, right? They're, you're not, you know, you, whatever you do, don't try to lift up the RV with these stabilizer jacks. These are not to be used to lift the RV off the ground or to level it. It is purely to stabilize the RV, but you'll drop those down onto the jack pads. So that way things aren't moving around. So we got all that hooked up, we're level, we're where we wanna be, now it's time to start hooking everything up so you're good to go. And it doesn't really matter if you do water first, if you do sewer first, if you do electrical, but all of these have to be hooked up. So we're just gonna start right here with water so it's nice and easy. Here we go. And just as you would expect, come right back here, take a look, and we have a spigot. And that's pretty common, right? Nothing super fancy. That's where this pressure regulator comes in. You'll put that pressure regulator on there so that way it regulates the pressure coming through. It will show you the direction of flow. And obviously, you know, it's pretty obvious you have a female end, you can't, you know, you can't go uh, male to male there. So you're gonna put that one on and then you will take your drinking water hose. You will then attach that to the pressure regulator. The opposite end right here will go into your city water fill. Now that of course is assuming you have water available at your campsite. If you don't, you want to fill the fresh water tank. Now, again, this is something where there's some mixed reviews. If you're able to fill the fresh water near your destination, um, I do recommend doing that rather than uh, just towing that extra weight. If that's not an option, fill up your tank before you go, uh, you know, tow it down the road and at least that way you have water. But if you have it at the post, this is what you do. So after you get that in, you will have this water filter. You will see this just uh, goes in line. So this will actually go, um, you know, I guess I probably should have put that in sooner. It doesn't really matter where, where you put it. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, before the hose, after the hose. Um, you know, they show it right here at the very beginning. So maybe put it right after the regulator. But this right here will, again, prevent all that stuff from coming into the RV. So uh, it'll help with taste. It'll help with smell. It'll help with sediment. So definitely something that I highly recommend. Not required. Pressure regulator. You, you definitely want, I recommend the filter, completely up to you. So next we have electrical. Again, assuming you have power at the post. If you don't have power at the post, you're gonna be running off 12 volt or you're gonna be hooking up a generator, uh, which is a little bit different story. For the generator, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have one uh, that has a direct either 30 amp or 50 amp connection, depending on what you're running. You can just plug that right into the generator from the unit, good to go. Have the post right back here. And as you can see, you know, I already have this unit plugged in, but when you come back to the post, you'll open this up, you'll see a couple different things. And one of the things you will see is, as I mentioned, see this one only has a 30 amp. You don't have a 50 amp plug here. You will also see some fuses. So those of course will be off when you get there. They should be. If they're on, I recommend flipping them off. Then you will plug your surge guard into it, right? This right here, you're gonna plug that in. And then you're uh, going to plug your power cord 
into here and then obviously plug it into the unit and then you can turn the breaker on uh that way you're not running live power you know it, it, again not that something would happen but you want to be safe and if it's wet it's raining and you already have power here you go to plug it in it's going to spark a little we just want to be as safe as possible so i recommend plugging everything in then you will flip the breakers on and be good to go but again you want that surge guard already in line when you flip it on um, so that way you don't you won't have that again that power spike if it does spike power right off the bat you'll still be good to go last thing of course is commonly known as the slinky stinky um stinky slinky there we go and uh, that is essentially your sewer pipe so as i as i said definitely recommend getting some kind of clear fitting with that and as we make our way over here you'll have to find your termination and you will see that is located right here now some rvs will have more than one this one does not this one only has a single termination uh, but if you have several gray tanks a lot of times you'll have two terminations or if you have uh, like a bath and a half floor plan where you have a whole separate bathroom rather than trying to run the plumbing all the way through the rv you just have two separate terminations so make sure that when you go to dump the tanks you dump one pull forward dump the other or if you're at like a seasonal uh, i recommend wiring them together so that way you can just uh, dump it in the one spot but it is pretty simple. You will remove this cap right here. I'm not gonna do it because there's probably a bunch of antifreeze in there and I don't want it to dump on my hand, uh, but you're gonna wanna unscrew that. You will then take your sewer hose, twist it right on there. It's a twist lock. So you'll put it on, twist it, that will lock it into place. Uh, when you're dumping your tanks, when it's time to dump, I always recommend dumping your black first, which your black, if, if you're not aware, is your, uh, your solid waste. So that's what's coming from the toilet. So I recommend dumping that first and then dumping your gray. The reason being is it just helps wash things out a little bit, you know, once you get here. So when I talk about that clear fitting, you can dump your black, you know, kind of wait until it empties out, which again is pretty gross, but then you're going to pull the gray and it'll help run that out. And you should see that for the most part, it helps clean that out a little bit. Um, I always do recommend when you're done camping to wash out your black tank. There's a couple different ways to do it. You can either, uh, they have, uh, things that you can basically stick down the toilet and wash out or if you have a black tank flush you can use that as well and then after you wash out the black tank you're going to want to close all of your valves you'll want to put some more water in your tank uh, in your black tank to do that you can just you know put the put the foot flush lever down like halfway uh, that'll open up your valve a little bit and just continuously pour water in there and then you will uh, put some chemical in there for odor okay to help odor control um, you generally don't want to leave your tanks empty because they'll dry out they'll start to smell really bad so you want to put a little bit of water in there with some odor control also if you, when you're at your campsite I again always recommend closing your valves don't keep them open because what will happen especially in your black tank where you have all the solids is it's going to come in the bottom it's going to hit the bottom of the tank all the water is going to run out and the solids will be left behind and again that's not something you want especially if it's getting on like your sensors because then it's going to mess up your sensors and your readings uh, so again you're going to want to close those open it up when it's time and as i mentioned highly recommend getting something uh, with a clear fitting so that way you're just able to see that it has run clean and that's pretty much it, folks. Um, as I said, you know, this is kind of a RV setup 101. There's, of course, a lot of other great items you can get for your RV, things that are uh, useful, like, um, you know, you can get like some tire pressure sensors, things like that, things that are fun, like lights. We have all sorts of them at campingworld.com. Feel free to go on there. Uh, you know, that way you can basically customize your RV, make it yours. But as I mentioned, for things, if you're just getting into RVing, things you're absolutely going to need are what I went over today. And hopefully this helps you out a little bit so that way your first camping adventure will be fun, successful, and you'll start making great memories. Man, Ian, oh, that was amazing. Us, the Remingtons, they made RVing look so easy. The setup, sometimes people think it might be a little difficult. That's how easy it is. I'm Sean Parr. This is Morgan. Uh, Bria, thank you so much for tuning in. You know, we had 117,000 people check in on day two, which means more for you. And uh, we're not going anywhere. We're getting ready for the power hour coming up in just a little bit. And also an amazing first look, if that is not enough. That is awesome. You know, we are over here at uh, Lake Camping World, but you guys, <laughs> I mean, I can't believe all the views we've had. You guys are staying home, staying dry, and shopping and buying. I love that, by the way. Yeah, and don't forget that this is the safest, fun, 
way to travel, okay? It's Everybody famous. knows that. Oh, yeah. wait, Can't all forget the way that. across America. You know, when you think about taking the family out on the road, and uh, and again, we, we've been talking a lot about this. I launched a show a couple of months ago called Sean Parr's Across the Country, and we're all about jumping in the Par V. That's what we call it around the, our house. And we hit the highways across America in our Camping World RV with our studio right there in the back. We're hitting your neighborhoods, your lakes, NASCAR races, PGA Tour events. And it's like, you know, Chris and, and Ian were saying all day, whether you're pulling up to the lake or the mountains or... You know, you're going to go to the you know motocross track or wherever you're going. We've got the product that you need, and you're shopping from your home this weekend. If you have any questions, text EZRV to 32094. We've got what you need, and our show specialists are on standby just for you. Or you can call that number on the bottom of your screen as well if you'd rather. You know, the first look at this Raptor is truly remarkable, and Chris Young He's having so much fun, and I know he's excited to get this right to your eyes so you can see it. So let's check in with Chris right now. Take it away, Chris, and that amazing Raptor. Everybody, welcome back to the Ultimate RV Show. What's up? It's Chris Young, my buddy Kane Thomas from Keystone. We're going to be talking and showing you the all-spanking-new 2021 Keystone Raptor 352. Now, the thing I love about the Raptors, they're extreme. They got extreme durability. They're built for people who love extreme sports and extreme comfort and extreme style. So you kind of get everything wrapped into one. But here's the deal. If you like this unit right here and you say, Chris, got to have it. I love that 11-foot garage. Love that it's under 40 feet. How can I get it? Can I get that one? You can, but there, there's limited. You know, This is your first chance to see this, your first look at it. That's why we're calling it a first look. What you need to do is text Easy RV to 32094. Drop me a comment, Easy RV down below. That's going to put you in touch with one of our specialists. Have I told you about Easy RV yet? No, I haven't, you haven't heard about it. Nope. Dude, check this out. All right, so you know how technology has come so far in you know where we're at today. You can microwave a meal in 30 seconds. I can call you from Indiana to wherever, send you a picture of a layout via email. Technology is allowing us to send an RV to someone without them even having to leave their couch or camp chair. That's awesome. How cool is that? That's All you have to awesome. do is text Easy RV 32094. Drop a comment down there, Easy RV. Somebody's going to be there to virtually walk them through each unit. You and I, we're going to go through this one, give them some stuff, but we can't answer questions. Right. So our specialists are standing by. They're going to walk through. Man, what's that beaver tail like? How, you know, what about those connections? How high is the bed? How thick is the bed? But they're going to go through all of that. Then they're going to have a finance person talk you through the process. We're going to send you the paperwork via mail. Postage is going to be included on the letters. You only have to pay for a stamp to send it back. Then they're going to deliver the unit to you, show you how to set it up, give you the walkthrough as if you were at the dealership. Bing, bam, boom, go camping. That's easy RV. That's awesome. Sounds One beautiful, right? Shop. Sounds fantastic. Kind of like fishing off the back of this deck if we could pull up to a lake right now. Well, let's do it right after the show here. Man, I wish we could. How great would that be? So... All new 2021 352 Raptor. Tell me about it. What's different uh, this year? So one of the unique things is, is the fact that we have a tried and true uh, floor plan called the Raptor 356, which has been great for Raptor for years. Sure. What we did is we had an east-west bed slide to it. Okay. okay. Yeah. So let me go over some of the you know standard features you see on a Raptor. For instance, the uh, actual deck we're standing on here, this is going to be a Moride um, zero-G door. So what it allows you to do, basically, is anybody can lift it. Mm -hmm. um, it's a spring-assisted door. It's lightweight. Um, if you have a bomb arm, something right. like that, you have kids, once you put the rail in, this thing is easy to lift at that point. So as we're standing on it right now, it allows you 1,500 pounds. Okay. When it's down as a ramp, you got 3,000 pounds you can go up on there. So That's a good way. That, that's a good hangout spot. Absolutely. I love how you have Isn't that awesome? the entry point for the solid steps. Look, you guys even thought about putting solid steps going into the party deck. 100%. And this is where most of your flow of traffic comes from is off the yeah. side. Yeah. So you just put your steps down, flow of traffic goes right through here. You pull the cable, you're good to go. And we have legs underneath that are going to support it too while you're going up. Now, that zero G coming down was super easy too because the pull tab is actually on the inside. So this will handle right here. That's right. See if you can get that, Bobby. You pull that and it just comes right down. Super easy. These cables help keep it upright and stable. Love the scissor arm awning that we have back here, LED lights, backup camera. And to your point, backup camera, that is a standard feature on Raptor, mm -hmm. and it's very unique to us. Most of the time you see toy haulers are going to be prepped for backup camera, things right. like that. We make it a standard feature for you. So what that allows us to do is when we do it at the factory like that, we can actually put a kill switch in there for you. Oh, right So on. it doesn't drain your battery down. So it's a nice, unique feature. Something else we have with Raptor is the dovetail storage. 
So if you need extra storage area down through there, you can put whatever you need down in there. That's Hoses, uh, straps, whatever. Bike gear, golf Bike equipment. gear, you got it. That's it is a, heavy duty, man, so don't worry about riding your bike up on it. That's a good use of space, man. Talk that, about maximizing the efficiency. I mean, which, so so here's here's my thing. 11 foot garage. Mm -hmm. I'm used to 13. Okay. But love the placement and I love the anchors. It's not just Absolutely. a D-ring. You got in-floor anchors. Um, tell me, what can I fit in here? What's my width? What's my depth? So you've got 11 foot in depth here, mm -hmm. and you got right around 94 inches in right. width. Okay. okay. So your a uh, couple Harleys. Uh, you can do a two seat side by side in here, no problem. Yeah, easily. You can put kayaks back here. Mm -hmm. If you guys have, um, if it's family that doesn't have necessarily the toys, they can use this into a giant bunkhouse. That's what I love about toy awesome haulers. Versatility. Yeah. It's one of those. It is. It's one of the most versatile things you can get as far as an RV. Because to that point. This is a suite back here, if you think about it. With the insulation, you got beds, not only here. Now, this folds out into a sofa, but it's also almost a king-size bed. I mean, we've got queen space. Yep. So, And you got one up above as well. So you got double full-size beds, queen-size beds, whatever size you want beds. to call it, uh, on top of each other. Easily sleep four people back here. You got it. And, and with my TV there, I got my entertainment. I got my storage up above, like right here. So if I'm doing, you know, whatever, it's a hunting, fishing trip, I set this up as the hunting cabin or the fishing cabin. I can put some stuff up there if I need it. Got another space there. Got my entertainment space. And at the end of the day, we're back here hanging out. These are the couches. We got the tables in between. We're watching the game, having fun. Absolutely. We don't want to track the dirty stuff into the main living area. You got yourself a half bath back here. Yep, and it's recessed. Love it. Recessed. So you have your full Love 11 foot it. garage accessible there. Bob, get in there and take a look at that. So you got the porcelain bowl with the foot flush, plenty of countertop space there, storage. You even added the residential nozzle. And since this is a full profile fifth wheel toy hauler, um, you know, you got plenty of headroom in there too. I've seen people take right. those and put the hangers up, like those mm -hmm. command strips, yeah. and that's where they'll put gear. They'll put yeah. it like high up. It's a great idea. Well, but that's what's versatile about having the toy hall. Absolutely. And the other thing is we have a third AC back here too. Oh, How right cool on. is that, man? That is cool. And it's a dump AC. Oh. So what that means to you guys is basically, let's say you bring your Harleys in for the day or whatever, right. side by side. You don't have to worry about fumes getting into your living area or bedroom, okay? Because it's a dump AC, so it's not directly ducted into those other ACs in there. So it's like a whole separate suite back here. Whole separate suite, man. That's and then a great point. You did point out the uh, the uh, welded tie-downs here. The yeah. frame-welded tie-downs are awesome. Like he said, you know, you don't have to worry about anything being bolted or screwed into the floor. These are actually rated for 5,000 pounds. This core right here, and it is welded straight to the frame. That's something we've been doing for a lot of years now. Yeah. Um, we know that D-rings over time, you know, yeah, not necessarily pull. fail, but yeah, yeah, they might pull. They'll so pull. we went with a frame loaded tie downs. We've been doing it for quite a while. That's a very nice touch. I'm just a fan of toy haulers in general because of the versatility in the space. 100%. You got a party deck, you got outside space, fishing, pull this up to the lake, cast off the edge, tanning spot, hangout spot, tailgate spot, mm -hmm. boom, there. Then we talk about going into the, to the residential area. We have a privacy door, solid, and if I'm not mistaken, once you close it up, it's because it's got the vape seal in there. It's a vape seal. So it's tightly sealed. And not going to get sound. It's right up in there. Not going to get smells. Nope. That's and then one more other feature we added into here too. Here, let's, let's look from this side right here. So basically what these allow you to do is sit there and obviously have your privacy, shade, things like that. But mm -hmm. what you don't have to worry about is your toy is hitting blinds back here and knocking them off the wall. Oh, so that's why we do these button up blinds. Right? It's a great touch. Yep. Yeah. Dude, see, that, that's what I like. Keystone thinks about a lot of things. And to me, it's those little things that are going to make the experience even better. So, 100%. because if people, we got a lot of people who are first timers looking into it, a lot of people upgrading too. But it, it's one of those things where it's the little things that'll change the experience. If somebody does not have a good experience, they're not going to want to come out and do it again. Right. So, it's if you think about the things they might think of, and you guys have been doing it for umpteen 17 years, years. Yeah, now. I was going to say umpteen bazillion years. That's what's great about RVing, thinking about the little things. And look, when you text Easy RV to 32094 or you drop Easy RV down below and you do get in touch with one of those specialists, ask them the questions. Let them guide you. Hey, I'm thinking about a toy hauler. I want to get this X, Y, and Z. Will it fit this? You know, what? Well, I got this type of toy, but I got these many kids. Well, 
Ask them those questions. We could help you, but we can't hear you. That's why EZRV is set up to make sure that they can. And speaking of setup, would you like a... Uh, <laughs> Look at that. You like that? They, brought that, they like brought that it. just for us. Well, the cool thing is, I can just flip up my bar stool right here. And, and just sit back. Hang on out. Yeah, tell me about the hunt. So now, this is this is something you need to the Razorback bar stools. Each mm -hmm. one holds 300 pounds. I mean, it allows you to have a sit right up here at the countertop. Wow. And if you notice, there's no sink at this countertop. It's over there. So you have full use of this as a table if you wanted to. The LED accent light Isn't that cool? is in the actual seamless solid surface countertop. That's a cool touch, man. Yep. That is a cool touch. Yeah, so if you're sitting here watching movies, you can shut the other lights off and still have this guy on. Kind of sets the mood, right? And, you know, obviously, since it's Keystone, we're going to have the solid, constructed, solid wood on full extension ball bearing drives with everything. We got the matte black or graphite style fixtures all the way around as well. Plenty good storage under there. Even have your trash can right there. Or, you know, this is your RV. Do with it as you wish. Put your boots down there. Put your yeah. put your shoes down. There. Do whatever. Um, <laughs> I just love the loft bunk, man. Oh yeah, such a nice touch and good use of space because with these full profile fifth wheels, you got so much headroom. Mm -hmm. Why not maximize it? So putting a bunk up there is a great spot. Now you didn't see the ladder to that is actually back here in the garage. We just didn't bring it in so we could kind of show you as we walk through. But there is a ladder that takes you up there in case somebody was thinking about that. And believe it or not, I do get that question a lot. No, you don't. How do I get up? Your, yeah, you don't yeah. talk about throwing your kid up there. We got a ladder for you. Well, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, frosted glass inlay here, solid shaker style cabinets. Look at the room that we have here to put stuff. I like how the TV is on an angle. Tell me about this entertainment center. Well, what's great is one thing you were showing right there uh -huh. is we have residential soft closed cabinet doors. Now, how cool is that? That is something you don't see in a towable no, RV. No, not at it's all. It's usually just a motorized. Yeah. That's a feature we've been doing for a little over a year now, and people love it. Yeah. Um, as far as the entertainment center go, you got a 50 inch TV here. So you got your stereo here. You got JBL surround sound. So we got premium surround sound inside this Raptor. Um, entertainment value. That's what people love these things for, is yeah. to have fun and entertain, right? This then, extreme, man. Yeah, absolutely. This extreme. And then you also have um, a fireplace here, which obviously puts out quite a bit of heat, too. If you don't want to use like the gas furnace, you can use your electric fireplace. Got multiple flame settings, mm -hmm. multiple light settings too. That beautiful blue, those crystal lights, or those crystals down at the bottom just lights up. This is a great night light as well and ambiance. Absolutely. You got the LED running lights under the Thomas Paine extra large couch here, which, you know, you got the multi recliners, we got heat, we got massage. And this is the thing that a lot of people don't think about, especially with toy haulers. Why is it just one big couch on one side, on one slide? Well, a, entertaining, mm -hmm. but B, look at all the windows that we have here. Below those beautiful wood balances, those screens, you open those up, you get the air flowing in here, the cross breeze, you put on the massage on this thing, kick it out in the recliner, it's a sleeper. 100%. I'll pass out on those just about every time. I say it every time in RV. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong about a recliner being oh, a sleeper. Tell me I'm wrong. So amazing. Yeah. They're all four recline too. So all recliners. Now, you guys updated the decor in here, too, because I like the rustic kind of barn style look that's in here. That's exactly it. So um, we always say it's, uh, what's the, what's that couple, uh, HGTV? Oh, the ones that are always doing the... Uh, yeah, we yeah, say yeah. it's a Chip and Joanna. Okay. We always say Chip and Joanna inspired. <laughs> um, but, you know, in, in years past, you know, toilets tend to be really dark wood, things yeah. like that. We went real modern and lightened it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, like you said, big windows, but you want to go lighter woods. Yeah. So we went with the gray tones are not popular. We still kept the wood grain look, though. I like the light on dark. That's a really good contrast. Got a pantry over here. Plenty of space. Plus, I got storage up top. Love the fact that I got a four-door fridge sitting over here behind me, too. Look at this beast. Now, if you need to feed the whole race team, this is where you're at. 18 cubic foot RV refrigerator. Wow. Gas yes, and electric. So does it have the automatic switch? Yeah. So you can run off your electric, run off your LP. If you're going down the road, it's going to make sure stuff stays cold. Got a little prep space over here. My three burner cooktop, flush mounted. Got the LED accent lights here on the controls. Plus I got the large oven. Stainless steel is a good look too. I'm used to seeing the black. It's a good look. How cool is that? Pot Extra pan storage, storage, helmet storage, yep. tackle box storage. 
And yeah, it still matches the stove, the stainless steel. Yep, stainless steel. Now, you mentioned three ACs. Mm -hmm. I know we got the ducted heat, the ducted air, and you guys use the tough locks. Mm -hmm. uh, so the tough lock is great. That's where you don't get those soft spots in the ducting. A lot of times you just get the tubes with the tape. Those tough locks really help with stability. But what type of heat or furnace do I have in here? 35,000 BTU furnace. Okay, right on. Is that a convection oven? Sure is. Oh yeah, convection microwave, you got it. Top, look at that. Storage. And the sink over here with the LED light once again inside the solid service countertop. Kane, what were y'all thinking? I'm telling you, man. Just add, 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 add a residential feature there, man. This is the drying rack right you here. got it. Also a cover. Love these because you can just ball them up and put them away when you're done. But look at how huge this undermounted farmhouse style sink is. I'm gonna clean the whole bird in that one. Plus, I got the residential <laughs> sprayer, more storage up top. Love the touch with the top, man. The way it looks like it's it's a it is a hutch that has just been put in there. Well, in the cabinetry up top, something that's really important to us is depth, right? You yeah. see cabinets a lot of times in kitchens, and they're short. You can't even fit a full plate in. Yeah. But these are seriously deep cabinets, so you can fit a full-size plate in them for extra storage. Hideaway hinges. Plus, yeah. I like the slow close. Isn't that that's, awesome? Yeah, because people, you know, especially oh, yeah. kids. Yeah, you don't worry about the kids waking you up at night. Got my controls over here. Oh, you got the Jaboni power, and we have in-command. Um, so in-command is great. You can control... Awning, AC, slides, lights, everything from not only here, but from your cell phone, too, which is great. Even time. your generator. Oh, you can Prime, generator? start, and stop your generator from your cell phone. Get out of here. Yep. All right, so. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I'm walking into the bathroom. Love it. I see I got my porcelain bowl, foot flush, large single basin sink here. Once again, with that graphite-style fixture. Got the mirrored medicine cabinet, single surround shower with the extra large skylight, got my bench seat, my corner notches, graphite all around there as well. Once again, matte black graphite, whatever you want to call it. Some storage up here. I'm not going to slap the camera there, so I don't want to knock Kevin back again. He's already mad at me for that one time. I locked him out of the bathroom. So Kane, let's go up here into the uh, master bedroom and kind of talk about, before we head outside, because I know we got a lot of features outside to get to. Uh, you got it. So the one thing I've noticed, I don't know what this is. So that's your actual thermostat. So this right here, this little knob, which is all over the camper, mm -hmm. this is the thermostat. Yep, each one of your zones has one. So that's one for the master bedroom right there. That is cool. Okay. This master bedroom is pretty opulent. Oh yeah, you got a full-size wardrobe closet here, washer dryer prep. Yep. Even got extra shelves. You can pull the shelves, put your washer dryer combo in there if you wanted to. Right. Or if you don't want to do washer dryer, you got hangers up here too. Got Some a TV storage. in its own cabinets. Mm -hmm. I got a large window. See, this is with toy haulers. I'm so used to the master bedroom just seeming like. Did you did you get this from Miami Vice? <laughs> just kind of how the you know the feel. This is residential and beautiful. Yeah. I mean, this is just great. Nothing, nothing, there's anything wrong with Miami Vice. I still got the white blazers. Got storage underneath. And they're on struts. Supported. And there's your extra table, which can be used inside or out. 100%. And that's why we want the east-west bed slide on here is to give you more room inside the bedroom. Right. But if you notice too, this is something we thought a lot about. We wanted to make sure we had big shelves on the fascia itself, CPAP machines. Oh, sure. Right? Yeah, That's yeah. a big thing nowadays. It is a big so thing, yeah. Make sure you can put your CPAP machine there. And underneath each, which, here you go, Kevin. I'm going to move out the way so you can kind of see. You'll see on each side, underneath that big shelf, they have some cubbies right there. So you can put your cell phone. You can put, you know, whatever you need down in there. And we got USB and a receptacle down here, too. Right on. So for this, this one's right here is actually got solar panel built onto it. Right. That's one of your solar power receptacles. Oh, okay, cool. And there's our third AC in the bedroom. See, that's I like the fact that in the garage you got the dump, the dump AC. Mm -hmm. That's a good. That's a very good touch. And once again, if if you like this floor plan, you like this layout, you like this style of toy hauler, Easy RV three two zero nine four. Leave me a comment down below. Easy RV. Give me a call eight six six eight five three thirty five ten. People are going to be standing by waiting for you to show you the one that's closest to you and then say, how do you want to get it? We want to bring it to your campsite. You want us to bring it to your house. We got you covered either way. Solid steps coming out. We got the four here, the Morite steps and the extra large grab handle. Tell me about the extreme temperature package. Yeah, so what that's basically going to allow you to do is 
camp all four seasons. Because we got so, great insulation in there. That's right. So what we do is we go ahead and we got a heated and enclosed underbelly. We also have heated tanks now too. Okay, so you got a 12 volt. 12 volt pads. Yep, you got Love it. it. Love it. See, the one thing to me, the toy hauler just kind of brings out is the fun. I always think tailgating and party. Because, mm -hmm. and not, that's not a bad thing. I'm not generalizing at all. Okay. But you think about it, it's a good way to just have fun. And these mm -hmm. are built for fun. So right here, I see we got a just ginormous awning that runs the entire span of this RV. LED floodlights here on the side. It's a Solera arm. Entertainment speakers right here, that JBL sound that you were talking about. Now we got the road armor. No, this is the CRE 3000. Yeah, the Moride. The Moride suspension. Right on, man. Tell me about that and those wheels. Well, the nice thing is with the Moride suspension there is it gives you three inches of give. So it's a natural motion when you're going over a pothole. Right. So you got three inches of dive to it. Um, we also use G-rated tires. That's a standard feature on wrap. We've been doing that for years. Right we don't, you don't have to option or anything. These are G-rated. Dude, that's beautiful. And so once again, there's little things that you think about. Those small features that are gonna help make the experience a little bit better, which is gonna hopefully make you wanna come out and do it again. So, as we kinda begin to close it out over here, I wanna finish off down there with the tanks. Heated pass-through storage right here. Got my in-command there. Hydraulic leveling system. Absolutely. Love it, automatic leveling. Got a little bit more storage there. Generator comes in it. We got a 5,500 watt Onan Quiet. You got it. Love those. Now, man. if you notice one thing that's really specific to us right here is that mm -hmm. divider wall. Oh, sure, between the, the propane you tanks. You got it, because yeah. we've all known that generators can make a little bit extra noise and things, so we have a divider wall there, so there's less room for vibration. Yeah, that reverb shake in the front. You got which it. Which can also, especially when they're up front, wake you up if you're sleeping in the front cap. Molded end cap right here. Got the Rotaflex fifth wheel hinge. This will hitch. I love this thing, man. Yeah. It's natural motion again. It pivots up when you slam on the brakes. So there's not that. Back down. You got <laughs> it. There's not that jucking and bucking, baby. You got it. Nobody likes that. So I just love the way these look, too. Good at the campsite, good when you're going down the road. Come around over here to the off camp side, as I like to call it, the external command center, mm -hmm. if you will. Got my termination controls right here. External shower, winterize. Fills, flushes, bypasses, it's even color-coded, just like the wiring inside Keystone. Everything's color-coded, so it's easy to find. Man, you guys do a great job with that. Twin 30-pound LPs, strut supported on the doors. Ah, the seamless glass, the edgeless. Safety glass, it's tinted all the way around. Now, this also has the TrueFit slides on it, doesn't it? It does, absolutely. Okay, so with the TrueFit slides, that not only makes sure that the slide is a true fit, but minimizes the use of components. What happens when you minimize the use of components? You minimize the chance something's gonna break. Less stuff to use, less stuff could go wrong. The back of my fridge there. <clears throat> now tell me about the fuel station. What's my gallon size? How much stuff can I fill up? So you got two 30 gallon fuel cells. Right They're on. labeled right. So you got your gen tank here, mm -hmm. you got your auxiliary fuel here. Let's say your gen tank's getting a little low. You don't have a tool you need to fill up at that time. You can just go ahead and flip it over, and you got your pump right here. You can go ahead and right fill on. up the gen tank right there like that. Right on. Got the nozzle and everything put inside. Just like your gas pump. Love it. Got the solid mounted ladder so I can get up on there if I need to do the roof maintenance, if I need to. 50 amp service. And the leveling system is six point? Six point. You six got point. it. Six point. Okay. So what, what that means, six points, is... With that hydraulic automatic leveling, when you go to set up, there are six of these legs throughout this, throughout this fifth wheel that are going to come down to make sure that it's stable. So when you're moving in there, especially if you're bringing vehicles in, you're not going to have the wugga bugger bugger when you go up and down. <laughs> Just always going to be one of my favorite things, the party deck, the versatility. But also, check this out. A little extra added touch. You got it. So what we have here is, in order to come in off the side, you would want to pull the cable over there. Well, that's what these legs are for. They'll give it the full support, and you can level it out at that point, whatever terrain you're going to be on. Leveling's important. So <laughs> we wouldn't want anything falling off the back. No. <laughs> <laughs> so fifth wheels, and you can see, you didn't get a real, real good chance to see when we were at, at the beginning, but you see that awning right there? It's a scissor arm that expands the awning out over the back of the, the deck right here. Plus you have those LED floodlights. 
beautiful at night. Plus, they're so bright and they give you so much extra time to enjoy being outside. And you know, at the end of the day, that's, that's really what RVing is all about. It's about getting out and enjoying, whether it's going on a race, going to the track, taking the team. We got our gear that we got to go do something, or it's the family and the friends. We got 10 people we need to sleep. You know, we're going to have a big, you know, week-long trip across the country, and we need space. We're going to be hitting campgrounds along the way. That sounds like an awesome trip. Yeah, it does. It sounds like an awesome trip. <sighs> Toy haulers are more than just hauling toys, but they're perfect for hauling toys. So the versatility makes them one of the best RVs that you can get. Now, they are heavy, they're big. You do need a big truck to tow them, but it's worth it. Absolutely. They are absolutely worth it. The amenities that's in there. And if you like this one, if you like seeing this brand new Keystone Raptor 352, baby, and you say, I got to have it. What you need to do is text Easy RV right now to 32094. Drop Easy RV down below in the comments and say, hey, I love that one. How can I get it? When can I get it? But if you say, do you have any other fifth wheel toy haulers that aren't 30 feet? You got any other Raptors with a 11 foot garage like that? Yep, we sure do. People are standing by right now to walk you through them, answer your questions, get you over to a finance specialist who's gonna help you make sure you get everything covered up. The paperwork's gonna be sent out to you in the mail. You don't even have to pay for a stamp to send it back. Then when your unit's ready, they're gonna bring it to you. They're gonna show you how to set it up and give you that walkthrough as if you were standing right there at the dealership. No, you gotta do is just go camping. Easy RV is it's the best thing, easy. man. It, it is too easy if you think about it. But that's why we're doing it here at the Ultimate RV Show. We wanted Easy RV to be the easy way for people to get their RV. And it just makes sense. Because you think about it, they don't wanna go out right now. We don't wanna make anybody uncomfortable. Right. There's a lot of trepidation about moving in and around. So Easy RV, that's the way to get your RV of your dreams. And discovering the RV life right now, there's more people are doing it than ever before. So, Easy RV 32094. Text it right now or drop that comment, Easy RV. Kane, Thomas, I Raptor it. and Keystone, man. Thank, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Thank Hope you. you enjoy this 352 because the Ultimate RV Show is coming right back. Introducing Easy RV by Camping World. The only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at campingworld.com. Step two, show me an RV. Schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step three, make it mine. You can discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. Step four, check the mail. All the paperwork is handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes provided. And step five, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with Easy RV by Camping World. We're at the movies and we need to silence our phone. Who knows where that button is? I don't have silent. Everyone does right up here. It happens to all of us. We buy a new home and we turn into our parents. What I do is help new homeowners overcome this. Was that an adjustable spanner? Good choice, Steve. Okay, don't forget, you're not assisting him. You hired him. You have nowhere to sit. You have too many. Who else reads books about submarines? My dad. Yeah. Oh, those are... Progressive can't protect you from becoming your parents, but we can protect your home and auto when you bundle with us. Look at that. RVing is the best method of travel. It's easy, safe, fun, and affordable. Did you know you can get an RV that can be towed by your car or SUV and sleeps five for less than $5 a day? That's less than a foot-long sub or a fancy cup of coffee. See America for less. With over 35,000 RVs to choose from, we have an RV for every lifestyle and budget. Click, call, or visit Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. And welcome back here to the Ultimate RV Show. We are having some ultimate weather. We've had some ultimate giveaways. It's been an ultimate day. I, I love the way you say ultimate. We've had so many incredible people. Thank you all for tuning in, but we're not going anywhere. We've got something very special happening in just a little bit. I want to take a moment, and we've had over 120,000 people check in from around the world, and we can't thank you enough. Listen, it we've made it so easy for you to take care of 
All your RV needs, everything you can possibly need is so easy. Just text Easy RV to 32094 or you can call one of our specialists right now at 866-853-3510. How much fun have we been having though? We have had the ultimate time and an ultimate thank you to our ultimate crew here too. <laughs> I couldn't resist. They've been awesome in this weather though. You know, it's only day two. This goes through Sunday. And the most important thing to remember is if you saw something you see, uh, if you like something that you saw, these prices go through Sunday. It's not like they're going to last forever. You can go to your local. No, this is happening right now. We're making history with the virtual RV show. So these show prices will not last. Once comes uh, Sunday comes, they're gone. She talked about our crew. We've been here. Uh, Hurricane Sally turned into Tropical Storm Sally, dropped six inches of rain. The elements were here. Our crew was out and did such an incredible job. You did not feel one drop because that's what this show is all about. You shopping from home and buying, right? Staying dry? Stay dry, shop and buy. I love this. We're here with the crazy weather hair for you. Uh, Speaking of crazy. Don't judge. Something crazy happened last night that has now become a tradition for every night. I can't wait. I think this could happen and we may make the local news or even TMZ, but let's go ahead and get to it, ladies and gentlemen, because it is time for us to finish in a big, big way, just like we did last night. I'm going to count this off because it is that big. If you're ready, so am I. I'm I'm ready. I've been ready all day. What time is it? It's five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. There's your turn. Power hour. Wow. (laughs) Let me tell you what, if that wasn't the ultimate intro into the ultimate power hour with the ultimate man, big dog himself, Ian Baker. Everybody, welcome once again to the ultimate RV show, Power Hour, right here in Lake RV, Mm. Camping World, just right below Gander at the base of the mountain. Chris, my dude, you know what? What you doing? Dude, I'm just out here catching deals. Woo! And look, oh, and speaking of, look what we just caught. You know, the Power Hour is all about the inventory that we have. We have had over 120,000 people join us today for the Ultimate RV Show. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you have a trade-in you want to do, mm-hmm. you just caught the best deal of the day we got the Good Sam Assurance program going on right now. Chris, hit me with it. Best offer or $1,000 cash? Chris, what can you do with $1,000? I can buy all types of stuff to go fishing on that'll catch me something bigger than this. You know what's great with $1,000? $1,000? The, what you can buy? Yeah. Here, the accessories? Yes. On yes. the little list we have? Yes. Up to 75% off. With a thousand bucks, that's like with seventy five percent off. That's like seventy five hundred bucks to me. Ooh, buddy, not doing math. That, but don't, that's yeah, some good math. That's some Look good at you. Math. You want me to do your taxes? <laughs> Chris Young Incorporated doing your taxes at the Ultimate RV Show. Now you also get twenty four hours cash in hand. We also will come pick up your trade, mm-hmm. guaranteed. Bring you the camper that you just bought. Pick up the one that you're trading in. You cannot beat the Good Sam, the Good Sam Assurance Program. You can't beat the Ultimate RV Show. You can't beat the pre-owned inventory that we have across the country right now. Ian. And Chris, that's what I love about the whole Easy RV Program we have. Just like you said, we had we had 150,000 people mm-hmm. join us yesterday. Yep. 120,000 people join us today. Yep. We have 5,000 pieces of pre-owned inventory when we started this. You're the math wizard. Tell me how that's going to work out. Do you, you think you can sit around for a few more days and just wait? Or do you think maybe it would be wise to text? What code is it? You, what you need to do is you need to text SAVE to 32094. Mm-hmm. And you're going to get a little link sent to you. It's going to be broken down by your area with that pre-owned inventory. Now, when we say pre-owned, we're not talking units from like 10, 15, 20 years ago. These are things, or some of them are 2019s. Mm-hmm. Some of them are 2020s. Yeah. We have overstocked items as well that are 19s and 20s that are brand new, have never even seen the light of day. Unless you click verify, yes, I want it, because if I'm doing the math, 120,000 people watching, 5,000 units, I got, what is that, like a one in 40 chance? One in 400 chance? You get yeah, that, that's a that's, quick that, chance. That, that's, yeah. You gotta get on it. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. And as you said earlier, one of the great things about the insurance program, Chris, is that once you do purchase a new RV and you're getting a great deal mm-hmm. at the Ultimate RV Show, mm-hmm. we will deliver it to you. Yep. And because you probably already have something, maybe you do, maybe you don't, but if you do, we're going to give you the best value out there for it. And then, Chris, we're going to go pick it up. And bring it to you. 
Just bring it to you. Not only that, we're going to give you that same professional walkthrough that you mm -hmm. would get if you were standing right there at the Camping World or the Gander RV. And it, we're still open, too. So it's yes. not like, you know, you're going to have to go out of your way to get anything. You know, we, if you want to sit there and not have to worry about splashing around back here in Lake Camping <laughs> World and saying, man, I'd love to see that Airstream that Ian was talking about earlier, but whoo, I think I just caught myself a big old fish. <laughs> you can do it from the comfort of your home or we can bring it to you. But man, the pre-owned inventory that we have right now, the best in the country. Absolutely. You can't beat it. Now, we actually have a couple of samples. Do yeah. we not? Yeah, we do. Of some yes. pre-owned inventory. Absolutely. Let's go take a look Let's at one. Let's start right over here, Chris. Okay. Splish, splash, I was taking a bath all along a power hour night. By the way, yeah. I, I love your bracelet. Thank you, sir. Yes. This is this is one of those, uh, what are they called? Uh, Lusas? Lufa. <laughs> Lu yeah, you know, you do the scrubbing with it. I'm thinking later on I might actually jump in Lake Camping World and see what I can find. Oh. Ooh. Look at see this. See what we got in here? Flag class, uh, Flagstaff Classic Super take, Light. Take double a look entry. up top, buddy. You know, and here's the thing. Just like, just like we have right here, mm -hmm. stay dry, shop and buy. If you want to stay dry, the Flagstaff will help you out with that with the double awnings yep. that are on this camper, Chris. Yep. You see that this whole thing right here mm -hmm. is covered. Even if it was raining right now, I'd be super dry, buddy. Yeah. This is great coverage. You're talking about entertainment space, bringing the family out. And you know, that's, that's one of the things I've been trying to talk about the whole time during the Ultimate RV Show, mm -hmm. is uh, people don't understand it's the safest way to see America. It's yeah, the best way to take your family out. You're taking your home with you. You're taking your stuff with you. You don't have to worry about setting up reservations at a hotel, buying yep. an airline ticket. And you know, with the payment plans that we have set up, our finance people, over 150 locations with the best sales, service, finance people on the planet. Mm -hmm. You're going to have a good experience. You're Absolutely. going to get yes. a great. You're going to get a great RV because our pre-owned inventory is checked in and out like crazy. We're not going to put anything out there that we wouldn't have ourselves. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Chris. And actually, I'm glad you brought that up because that's one of the things, right? Like, you know, I, I like to do family vacations. I'm a family man. We yeah. all do it. And you know what I don't want to do is spend a ton of money. Yeah. And that's what I love about the Power Hour because right now someone can pick up a beautiful pre-owned unit or, like you said, an overstock, something that's never even been used before. Yep. All they have to do is text SAVE to 32094. And once you get out there, you want to talk about an efficient vacation? Yeah. This is it, buddy. Yeah. You know, you get out, you get to get out. You know, maybe you're going to the woods. Maybe you go to a park. Maybe there's a pool, a river. Yeah. All these things, you get to just bond with each other. Right. You know, how, how often have you went on the vacation? Maybe you went to a, a resort down south. I'm not going to throw out any names. But, sure. you know, you go down sure. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You spend a boatload of money. Just did it. And, <laughs> just did and, it. And listen, and that's great. And I know it's going to make great memories. But, you know, you're just running around the whole time you're busy 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 this gives you a chance to just kind of calm down right yeah. bring things down a notch right now we're all super busy yep and sometimes you get to go rving you get to go camping you spend the times with the ones mm -hmm. uh, spend time with the ones we love and chris i don't know about you buddy i don't work for a hobby i work to be able to yeah. spend time with the family with, with the family yeah absolutely we spend you know, we, we work really hard to try to show people how great the lifestyle can be because so many people are discovering it just now mm -hmm. uh, and having that 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 cadre of tremendous industry professionals who we can't show you everything that we'd love to show you, not only with the new, with the pre-owned, but with just in general. That's why we have such a great team behind us standing by to help answer those questions, to make sure if you want to see this, you want to see that. What about these arms? Do they adjust? Hey, what about that fold-out sofa? Blah, 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 blah. They're there to walk you through everything and help you along the way. But at the same time, you got to keep thinking the math is there, the numbers are there, and numbers games don't lie. Mm -hmm. If 120,000 people are looking and there's 5,000 units available, yeah. if you don't click on that thing and click verify that it's there so then you yes. can get in and see it and get that deposit put on it, chances are you're not going to get what you want. And, and Chris, I'm actually Just calling it like it is. I'm super glad you brought that up because that, you're absolutely right. Once they do, once they tax save to 32094, we'll send that link, and like you said, there will be a green button. It says mm -hmm. check availability. You click on that. It'll get you in touch. You 100% want to check availability <laughs> yeah, because it, it could be gone. Yeah. With, with the way inventory is right now, with how many people we have watching this event, you got you to make moves. You got to make moves or else you're going to get lost. Yep. This is not one of those, let's go see it on Thursday because mm -hmm. let's go see it on Friday. Let's mm -hmm. go see it next week. No, you don't. 
the luxury of time is not there. Mm -hmm. But also paired with that because we knew it was going to happen. We're not just doing the Ultimate RV Show by happenstance. We're doing it because there's a purpose behind it. And the purpose is to help you get that RV of your dreams the most efficient, effective way possible at the absolute best value. At the end of the day, now is the time you're going to get the best value. Why else are we standing out here with saying shirts that say stay dry, shop and buy? <laughs> Come yeah. on, man. Well, and, I don't and, need to explain it. <laughs> and and that, I'm, I'm actually really glad you brought that up because we're going to talk about time to buy, Chris. Mm -hmm. With the way the industry is right now, I mean, people are finally starting to realize, you know, the, the value and how great camping can be. Yeah. And so there are so many people getting into the camping lifestyle and loving it, which, yeah. which truly makes me happy. Yeah. And for me, when you're starting to get into it, the stuff we have right now, the, the pre-owned, the overstock, that's the best way to kind of dip your toes into yeah. the lifestyle and to get in there, you know? Yeah, and, absolutely. And really just be able to uh, get out there and start making memories, experiencing life. Yeah, having fun. Let's check this one out. Go yeah, ahead. buddy. After Head you, on please. In. By the way, your towel is magnificent. Th thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you. I am so happy you, looking at that. If you take a look at this, I even have uh, little spots for oh, my hands. Oh, man, get out of here. But, no, wait a minute. We didn't take these from your kids, did we? Because, <laughs> no. you know, you got those gorgeous little daughters. I would Thank you. hate Thank if we you. stole these from them. Yes, but. yes. I, I don't know if you heard it earlier. Um, my, my daughter, Lumen, she actually called a little bit um, while you were actually filming. Oh. And, yeah, so you may, you may not have heard it, but um, she, you know, called. And she's like, Daddy, I miss you so much. And yeah, it's, it's heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah, you know, it again, and, and that's why I say, you know, we're out here. We're, we're working. Yeah. And I will get time to get back there and, um, you know, again, be able to just kind of reconnect and settle down. But I made sure to give her a shout out in one of the videos today. Nice. And, uh, yeah, my wife sent me a message and she's like, oh, my gosh, she was so happy. And it's, it's things like that. You know, yeah, that makes the kids day. Being able to reconnect. Yeah. And, and you know, that, that's the other thing that I think kind of falls by the wayside. We have such a good team of people. Yes. That are good people. You're a great dad. Thank you. I've seen it. I've experienced it. I appreciate it. that. Same and, to you, buddy. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I love my two boys. Um, but it's... It's at the same time, we, we try to convey to you on the platform that we have here with the Ultimate RV Show, the, the personalities that we have, the professionalism, hopefully, but the personalities <laughs> as well, that look, we're doing this because we love it. Oh, 100%. We love our families too. You know, we love spending time with them, but at the same time, we want you to experience what we know and love, and it's not a pitch. Yep. We're not sitting here, you know, with the pinky rings flashing, going, look at the deal I got for you now. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. No, man. We are real people that just love what we do, and we love having fun, and we're a good team. Oh, oh, 100%. Awesome. I mean, I, there's, there's a bunch of people that I've met out camping, and, you know, sometimes they'll recognize me, sometimes they won't. It doesn't yeah. matter either way. But it, it's, always, it's always funny, you know, because... Like you say, you know, I, I try to put on a, a air of professionalism. Yeah. Uh, but you know, when I'm in the campgrounds, when I'm relaxing, like like that's me. You know, people actually yeah. get to meet the real me, and yeah. it's more like this, where we're just hanging out, we're having, having a good fun. time. You know. Yeah. That's what it's all about, buddy. And we're catching deals like crazy, man. And now this one would be a catch. It absolutely wow. is. Look how clean it is. That's that's one of the things that it really again makes me happy about our pre-owned program out. is that we go through, we oh, clean absolutely. everything, we check the seals, we check the roof. You know, we, we uh, try to fix anything that's damaged. You know, we go through it. You can see how well maintained and taken care of this unit is. Yeah. If you have a unit right now, if you're, if you're watching this and you're saying, you know what? I like my 16. I like my 17. I like my mm -hmm. 18. But, woo, that Montana that Ian was in earlier, <laughs> that's kind of nice, too. Let me tell you the benefit of that with the Good Sham Assurance Plan mm -hmm. and with how we do the trades. Yes, sir. So we're going to give you the best offer or a thousand bucks cash. Yep. You got three days to shop it. Mm -hmm. You got 24 hours guaranteed cash in hand after you say yes. Yep. And we're going to bring the RV to you and take your RV away. Even if you say, uh, you know what? I haven't used my RV in a while, but it might be a time to just trade it in or see if they'll take it. Mm -hmm. We will absolutely take it. And 100%. we will give you we'll, the we'll, best value. We'll cut your check for it yeah. today. And we'll come get it. We yep. will absolutely come get it. We want it. We will not be beaten either. So if you got somebody beating around the bushes, we're going to bush hog the bushes. <laughs> Plain and simple. I don't even know what bush hogging means. Oh man, let me what take you that? out on the farm and show you. It's fun. <laughs> it's, this is a load of work. <laughs> and, and Chris, you know that's one of the other things I I, like, I wanted to talk about too. And, and I said this, you know, um, a little bit yesterday, a little bit today. Mm -hmm. When we look at the the state the industry is in right now, as I mentioned a little bit ago, 
there are more uh, people getting into the RV lifestyle, RV lifestyle now more than ever. And so what you're finding is a lot of dealerships are running out of inventory. Right. Right. Because people are right. people are buying it up. It's it's moving fast. Right. And so we're now starting to get to a point. Now, granted, you know, we're the biggest RV dealer, so we do have still a lot of pieces of inventory, yeah, but again, they are, but they are moving quickly. Yeah. But that being said, with some of these newer models, there's some of these things that we're looking at. Mm -hmm. If you're interested in RVing, if you're thinking this is for me, I want to get out next spring, right? right? If you're not putting your name on something now, yes, yes, it's it might not happen. Yeah. Some of these manufacturers are six, eight, nine months out on right. production. And for people that don't know, that aren't familiar with the industry, when you order an RV and, and you you know you put a deposit on it and you say yes, that is mine, you get put ahead of dealer stock inventory. Right. And so if that keeps happening. It's not going to show up at your local dealership. No, You're not going to get a chance to walk through yeah. it. So right now truly is the time. And that's why I say, you know, if you're thinking about getting into it, if you're not ready to jump into the new, you got to text SAVE to 32094 so you can get that list. So you can see what's available. You can yeah. get in something today. If you're looking at the best values you're going to find across the country, the early bird's going to get the worm. So even if you're even if you're on the fence, man, if yep. you're thinking, hey, I might do this next week, I might do this, you know, maybe in a month or thirty days from now, sixty days from now, I'm you're just go ahead and do it. There's no skin off your back. It's not like something's going to happen and all of a sudden you're going to get bombarded. No, take the opportunity to invest the time because the return is going to be so worth it when you find yourself sitting on something like this a big giant plush couch or you're standing inside the kitchen talking with your buddy having a drink or just enjoying company and reconnecting with people i mean speaking dude, of that chris yeah next door right oh <laughs> Run right right here. No, I was gonna say Let's, what's in there. <laughs> Hello. So so when we're talking about beautiful units, oh. stop and hanging out. If you want to again, a real good deal. Mm -hmm. Oh, a good deal. Let's go check out our cougar, my you friend. Know, having that pre-owned inventory that we have, the biggest in the country. And when you talk about top selling manufacturers, mm -hmm. a lot of times it kind of goes underplayed a little bit. Yeah. Yes, we have the largest inventory, blah 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 blah. But when you talk about premier units, mm -hmm. Keystone Cougars. Yep. Top selling mid profile fifth wheel forever. And now all of a sudden, here's one at a great value. This is an investment. Dude, this right here is one of my favorite things when it comes to RVing. That's the right. outside kitchen, my friend, because when I'm camping, I want to cook outside for multiple reasons. You know, it doesn't heat up the RV. I like bacon as yes. much as I love the smell of bacon. My wife doesn't all the time. It's you know? God's condiment. It, How should she not? I, listen, she eats it. She, she loves it when yeah. it's being cooked. Right. It's the fact that it sticks around for eight hours that she doesn't love. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a good kid's project. Tell them to clean a grease trap. That's always a good one. <laughs> but yeah, I love being able to cook out here. You know, you can set up a little bar out here. Mm -hmm. Listen, I... I and, and I'm not shy about it, right? If you ever see me at the campground and you want to be a quick friend for me, just be like, hey, Ian, I got an old fashioned for you. And I'll be like, hey, how's it going? Yes. You're my new best friend. So like, let's hey, sit down and talk. Can, can I bring over some retail items that we, you know, we have that's 75% off? Let me help you out. Let me get you a little mat over here. Let me show you. Yes, hand me another old fashioned. That, that's right. And you know what? You can also set up the, the, the uh, grill that's available. There's yeah. a fire pit that's available. Mm -hmm. When you're talking about the retail products, and I'm so glad you brought that up, Chris. It slipped my mind. But with that 75% off, a lot of the items on that list are absolute necessities. There are yeah. things that if you're getting into RVing, you're going to want anyway, like the fire pit, yep. like chairs, like yep. the mat. Yep. The stands, the hoses, the hose caddies, the water filters. Let me tell yes. you, having the RV is great, but having the right setup for your RV so that you can have the best experience is even greater. If you don't enjoy the experience, chances are you're not going to do it again. And we have a ton of people experiencing this for the first time. Mm -hmm. This is the first time they're seeing these RVs. They've yep. heard about it. A friend at work had one. Oh, yeah, I got a trailer I set up on my land out near the lake we use as a hunting cabin. You know, we go out there, and they might have gone out once in the past couple of years. But now they're beginning to see this influx. They heard about the camp life. They're Heard yes. about the van life. They've heard about the you know the, the high par life, the party deck the life, party the party deck life, life. On the fifth that's, wheel. That's a beer, Chris. That's a beer. <laughs> Let's see. Poofa <laughs> says it's about beer. Thirty. <laughs> so here we are. Love the Radiant Capital Grill on this one. Just such a great and the 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 coverage that you have here. Upgraded, fancy. Speaking of upgrading and fancy, I got to get inside this. Cooler yeah, let's head it. on in. This is beautiful. 
For for the for the record, Chris, mm -hmm. uh, in order to get the list for the retail products up to seventy five percent off, yes, it's CW deals. CW correct? deals. You text CW deals to three two zero nine four. Now, if you want to get the list of the pre owned inventory, the biggest in the country, to see, okay, well, if I'm going up against one hundred nineteen thousand nine hundred ninety nine people, I might want to go ahead and jump <laughs> on it right now. Text save to three two zero nine four. Get that list. Check it out. You are a math wizard today. Man, let me tell you, I'm clicking on all cylinders. Before you know it, they're going to be asking me to start doing some adding and calculating. That'll be a big mistake. That'll be such a big mistake. Yeah, let Chris do a deal for you. <laughs> it's free. Do you know how many GMs and finance managers right now just jumped up and took out the bill? Yeah, no. Do not let Chris desk a deal, please. So, so here we are, Chris. So this one, again, I absolutely love this unit. When we mm -hmm. talk about you know, pre-owned inventory and how wow. we take care of things. I mean, you can see, dude, this sink looks brand new. Like, yeah, if does. I didn't know better, I, I would say this, this, this is a brand new unit. Yeah. I mean, you got the high rise faucet with a sprayer handle. Yeah. Solid surface countertops. I love the solid surface. Yes. In, in a floor plan like this, so, you know, you're sitting in here and you're like, oh my gosh, there's so much kitchen space. Mm -hmm. This must be a couple's model, but it's not. Mm -mm. You get all the prep space, you get all the storage, and this you get is a bunk, bunk model. This is a, this is a bunk room. Boom. There oh, it is, buddy. Oh, snap. Okay, yeah. so here we go. Oh, I love this modified step bunk here. When you got the, you know, the, the double over single, mm -hmm. and you got the jackknife over here with the single bunk over. You set this up. It's such a good entertaining space. You put the kids back here. You give them some games, or you just let them roughhouse a little bit. They're gonna have a good time and stay entertained for a while. I 100% agree, Chris. But I'll tell you what, buddy. Why they're back there? Why they're mm -hmm. hanging out? Why they're doing their thing? You know where I'm at? Chilling. Right here, buddy. Chilling on that plush sofa. I am right here because I'm watching TV. I'm hanging out by the fireplace. The kids are doing their own thing. Maybe it's raining outside like it is today. Yeah. That's what I love about a bunkhouse, you know? Yeah. Obviously, I want to spend time with the kids. Sometimes, though, it's nice to have let them have their own little space back yeah. there. You know? My, my uh, my oldest daughter would be back there, probably coloring a picture, putting a puzzle yeah. together. She loves puzzles. Yeah, mine does too. You, you want to talk about a great time while you're camping, folks. Again, you get to just kind of relax. Mm -hmm. How often do you get to put a puzzle together when you're at home? No, hardly ever. Right. When hardly you're camping, ever. folks, you, you have zero responsibility, basically, <laughs> yes. you know? You get to sit here. You get to spend the time with the kiddos. You get to put a puzzle together. Yeah. And again, just hang out as a family. And reconnect. Because, I mean, it hasn't been, you know, it, it has been a wonky time over the past few months. Yes, sir. And everybody has been just stressed just out of the wazoo. And eventually that stress is going to break. Before mm -hmm. it does, you got to get out and you got to reconnect. When was the last time you got a chance to actually do something with your wife? You and Nicole just going out and just, you know, doing the thing. Dude, it, I mean, it's, be, it's been a minute. It's for been sure. a while. Yeah, yeah it has. it's been a while. For Ryan and I, it's, it's the same thing. Yeah. So if you have that RV, it takes so much more of that stress off because now I'm not planning a trip and trying to see if there's a reservation at a resort yep. or, okay, well, now I got to plan out a plane ticket or I got to plan out this, I got to plan out that, I got to plan out that. If you got an RV, motorized, travel trailer, fifth mm -hmm. wheel, whatever it is, mm -hmm. you can just go. Yeah. It's the big giant water tanks on them. You just boondock. Just you know what? Go out for the weekend. And and, and you know the other thing too. You talk about you know motorized, and I'm starting to see um, uh, more and more of this, right? Mm -hmm. And that's road schooling, which is you know basically oh. homeschooling while sure. you're in a motorhome. Yeah. So I've seen a, a lot of people that are doing this now, and it's kind of cool. Like you know, you're talking about you know the Jefferson Memorial. Why talk about it when you can drive there? Yep. You know, you, you can actually go see it and experience yep. it. Yep. You know, th things like that are, are absolutely priceless. The van life is great for that. Mm -hmm. and motorized units, Class C's, especially if you got like a small Class C. Oh, they're, yeah. they're not that hard to drive. They're really not. No. Um, you get those, and you're absolutely right, because if you think about it, how distracting is it to have your kids in your house trying to school them? <laughs> you take them on the road, you take some of those distractions away, plus they're in a little bit of a smaller space. You can kind of... Keep an eye on them. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, if you're not texting SAVE to 32094 right now, getting that list of the best pre-owned inventory in the country, you are missing out on so many opportunities, not only for yourself, but for your family. I mean, and when it comes to stocking that site, we got retail items galore. Yes, sir. Let's mosey on over here to the, what we're going to call. Speaking of family, Chris, do you have a whole family of sharks on your back? Uh... Are they cute? <laughs> They're beautiful. That's all. Absolutely. Man. Love me some cute, cute sharks. little sharks, my friend. I'm gonna do the baby shark doo 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 doo. Now that's stuck in your head. I'm sorry, but I'm telling yeah, you what. It is a brain <laughs> worm. 100. <laughs> percent If you text save to 32094, it'll get it unstuck out of your head because you'll be too busy looking at all those beautiful pre-owned RVs that you're gonna buy. Man, retail items. Look at this. This is an item. 
Oh, it's an item. It's available. Oh yeah, we have, Chris, we it's up this. to 75% off. Yep. Oh, look at that. <sighs> you get out here and camp yep. in, in late camping world. This is the life. And this is the life. <laughs> now, forget the fact there might be the distant tree laying out here in the water underneath us. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't we're still having fun on these floats. <laughs> you know, we don't know what we're stepping in right now, but we know we got some great deals on great items and they are up to 75% off. Yes, sir. Camping essentials like mats, yes, sir. hose caddies, hoses, filters, steps. All you got to do is text CW Deals to 32094. Some of these products are up to 75% off. And what all do we have over here? Mm -hmm. Man, look, kayaks. We got fishing nets. We got, got all got sorts floats. of stuff. We so got much. We got baby pools. Water and filter. That's a necessity, buddy. Bio packs. Absolutely. You know what? Talk about the uh, the, the bio packs. Yes, sir. I know you like those. Yeah, just the, like I do. The bio packs are great because rather than having to, you know, pre-measure out to when you're dumping um, any kind of chemical into your black tank, you really just take a pack, toss it down there, boom. Super simple and easy. And you know, what? while you're out here, you can stay what is dry, happening? shop, and buy. <laughs> This is what, what is it's happening? About. Stay dry, shop, and buy. That's what it's about. Look at this beautiful Finding Nemo float Chris, or whatever Chris, it is right here. I put her Thing. away. You put who away? Marion. Marion? Marion. What Marion? Chris, I'm not losing my mind. We've been over this. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, what I do know mm -hmm. is that if you get a chance, if you haven't picked up your water filter yes. for your campsite, uh -huh. this is one that is an absolute necessity. I mean, dude. These go so well with cleaning the water, making sure, because you don't know when you go to the campground what type of water you're going to get. Yes, so when sir. You have the filtration. You, you, it's a key. You, you know what else, Chris? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know this. Right. But what we're standing in right now, all the swamp, all the water, one of the great things about the Ultimate RV Show. Sure. The Ultimate sure. RV Show. Right. Is that. We're doing it. We're out here so the people don't have to be because everyone else right, yeah. watching right now, they get to shop right from the comfort of their home. Yeah, absolutely. How, uh, how great would it have been if a few years ago, you could have just texted a number, right. got a list on a bunch of great deals, right. had your RV delivered right to your house. Had the paperwork sent to me, got the stamps already on the envelope to send <sighs> it back. And if I had a trade in, I'm going to get the best value. I'm going to get the most money. I got a guaranteed deal. They're going to come pick it up and they're going to come drop it off. And before I know it, I'm flying high with my RV. My woman is happy, my kids are happy, and I would like to accept this award on behalf of the Academy <laughs> and all the team here at Camping World, mm. the fantastic digital marketing team. Everyone yes. there has done such a fantastic job. Mm. I want to say thank you for giving us this amazing, wonderful, outstanding presentation and love to us. But wait, 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 what? But wait. What? Wait. Oh, the power what? hour. Wait. Oh, what is this? Did you do this? Was this you? <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> Here we go. We, Bum, sir, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. have Wait a, a giveaway. We have a giveaway. We have a giveaway. We have a giveaway. Because this is what? This is the Ultimate RV Show and the Power Hour. Stay dry. Boom. Shopping by. Woo! We got you covered all day long. Here we go, guys. You are going to get a Coleman Lantern LT17B. Who's getting it? Who's going to be the lucky winner? Oh, oh, oh. A lucky lady. Uh-huh. If you're a lady, I hope you're getting excited um, right now. You know it's, you know it's coming. A lucky lady named Jessica Soar. Jessica! You are the winner of a brand new Coleman Lantern LT17B. Congratulations. You are going to love it. Get them, Jessica. I'm yeah, let's hear for Jessica. Woo! The cast of thousands. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This has been the Power Hour here at the Ultimate RV Show. There's nothing better when you're out here with one of your friends doing what we do day in and day out, slinging these RVs like we sling them. Let me tell you, Ultimate RV Show, mm. day two. Wait day two. Till, wait until you see what we have for you for day three. Woo, four and five. Oh, whoa, we're going to blow your minds. Have a great night.